reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Abs from Holland Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Holland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. In my shows at Hachanda, I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland Create shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. Barbara and I'm Julie and together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products so watch this space. On our shows we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting because our motto is because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose craft shows on a channel. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Be Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda.
Good morning, all. Hope you're all well, fine and dandy on this Sunday morning as we come towards the end of November. It's lovely to have your company, whether you're watching with your first brew of the day or you're just coming in from a night out. You naughty, dirty little stop out here. Naughty, naughty. Um, anyway, it's lovely to have your company. Uh, my name's Scott, taking you through the next couple of hours, and luckily there's a professional in the studio next to me, and it's <laughs> lovely. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. Thank good, you very good. much. Are you fine and dandy? I am. I am a little tired because of the early start, but yeah, we're early all starts, good. <laughs> early starts, but listen, it's absolutely lovely for you to be with us here. That's First okay. thing, you've got a couple of shows lined up today. We have, yes. Yeah, we've got one, it's obviously now, and then at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock as well. So we've got loads and loads and loads of lovely, lovely items on here. And I do love a fabric show, especially ones when they feel so, so soft. Oh, we yeah. love that. But we'll come on to that in a second. We'll come on to that in a second. So let us crack on. We've got a lot to bring to you, and obviously we've got fantastic offers for you on the Black Tag event event as well. We've got lots of brand new items to show. So let's start off with, and in fact, the Christmas tree skirt, tricky to say first thing in the morning. Uh, <laughs> this is the fabric panel and it's so big I'm using it as my new warm-up this morning because I'm going to give it a full-on stretch out first thing so we can, it's much better to look at than me as well, isn't it? So there we go. <laughs> the whole of this with absolutely brilliant. Now this is three meters in circumference. Are you seeing all that under there? Is that all right? Uh, my, my face is right where the circuit is there, <laughs> just so you know. Um, <laughs> just about to see it. Um, this is a lovely idea, this Sarah. Yeah, it's so nice. It's just a nice way of decorating the bottom of your tree. You know, it's another little bit of a uh, bit of decoration really. It's, yeah. Um, covers up any wires in that horrible plastic stand and stuff. Yes, <laughs> yes, all those bits and pieces that you just try and, you're lucky to quickly go and get a present, actually, so that you can just cover over the, yeah. the plastic <laughs> legs. Here is the actual finished sample that you can see that's been done for you, uh, to give you a little idea how it would actually look as well. So you can see uh, all of that detail that's put together, but really, really lovely idea, actually. Um, show it off, I, I would say. Don't put any presents on until the last minute so you can see all the lovely images. It's only £22.59, it is brand you on the show for you here. 639 821. Get this now, get it home and get it going. Um, I actually put the tree up yesterday. Oh, mine hasn't talk. gone up yet. Have you not? <laughs> not yet. Well, no. we thought we'd make the most of that Saturday. So we've got the Christmas tree is up. So if yours is up, and if it's looking a little bit bare, Get one of these, get onto it now so you can get it all ready for your decoration. Now, uh, we've got, of course, it's already very, very busy on the show for this. This is your fantastic Moda, and it's your farmhouse beautiful flannel layer, the layer cake and pattern. You're going to be getting all of this in here as well. Now, in total, these 10 inch squares, you're going to be getting 42 of these in total, which is absolutely beautiful. And you're also going to be getting the brick quilt pattern, what we've got actually in the studio, which we'll show in a second. Now, I'll tell you, we're already over 10% of the stock here gone. Double two three nine six five. Sarah, I, I, I mentioned about how soft. This is oh. really beautiful it's fabric, It's really isn't lovely, it? yeah. It's such a, it's 100% cotton flannel or brushed cotton, whichever right. way you want to call it, but it's the, set, the same word, basically. Yeah. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's really, really soft. So soft. It sews so nice. It's so nice to sew because it's really tactile. Right, And it right. sews together really lovely. So you've got like a bit of a, a, a tactile feel as well yeah. as a, a creative feel. <laughs> exactly. It's really good. Bit of, bit of fun while you're doing all yeah. your stitch work on this as well. But if you were to put, so we were talking about this before the mm -hmm. show, if you were to stitch all of these together straight away, you'd have a project finished there and yeah, then, Yeah, absolutely. You? If you do nothing more than just stitch or stitch all the squares together, um, you'd get a double bed quilt. Right, um, you right. know, you don't, if, if you're a beginner, pre cut is brilliant because you can literally just stitch them together um, and create a really nice throw nice and quickly. It honestly, absolutely perfect. <laughs> Basically, you, you know, with this, you are just starting out with your stitch work and you fancy a project, and you're going to have a lovely feeling project by the end of it as yeah. well. And we've actually got uh, an image of the one behind. So you're, the actual uh, pattern that you're going to get is to make this uh, that you can see here. And that's lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. That. Yeah, again, really, really nice, simple pattern. It's a simple brick pattern. Um, again, you, c you could do this now, yeah. next weekend, ready for Christmas as a present. That will go together in a couple of hours. Right. Well, that's fantastic. It, really good deal and 38.99 so already I think did I hear 20% already gone 20% already gone first thing actually over a quarter of the stock actually now 223965 you know you're getting a great quality name with Moda but I promise you if it was Feely Vision you definitely get your hands on this have a right old uh, feel of that is lovely really lovely 223965 uh, right then 
Sadly, I offered to actually model this, um, <laughs> but they already had someone in the studio to do it, and uh, they said, no, Scott, no, no, uh, obviously, no. We've seen you modelling before, let's not go there. Uh, but you're going to be getting uh, the pattern to be able to make the hole that you can see here. It's the panel, so not the pattern. Yeah. Wrong wording. Yeah. You have got a pattern as well, because you've got the instructions on how to make it actually printed on the panel. Ah, yes, there we so, are, yeah. there we are. So yeah, you've got all the, all the instructions to follow there actually printed onto the actual material for you for all this one. Twelve ninety nine. Is it quite straightforward again for simple again? Again, very straightforward. You could make it reversible. You could put a lining on it quite oh, easily okay. and reverse it if you wanted to. So if you get your gravy down it and stuff, <laughs> yeah. you should cook in, you know, get any splashes, you can flip it round. But That's always good. You don't need to. You can just, just make it as is. Perfect. Uh, this one is 815 £12.99 only for you there, which is great. Uh, now, we've got a spray bundle here, and actually, never been put together as a bundle, what you're going to see now. So it's a brand new bundle being put together, £21.98, and a huge saving on here as well. Uh, you've got your £4 off for this one, so bring it down to £21.98. So you've got the quilt uh, basting spray, and you've also got the starch savvy. Um, First time it's been put together in a bundle, yeah. why would I need these? So the Starch Savvy is a really, really good product. Uh, uh What's the word? Item. <laughs> yeah. The word item, then. Good it's grief. Early. It's, it's early, early. Sarah. It's okay. Really good item. Um, what it does is it builds up in the fabric, so it allows you to sort of stabilise your fabrics before you cut them. Um, it, it actually gets rid of creases and stuff as well, so it's really nice. It, it, I mean, I use it all, genuinely right. use it all the time. It gives you more accurate cutting as well, if you're, oh, okay. you know, because it helps stabilise those fibres, so you just give it a quick spritz right. and then iron it in. Nice, yeah. nice and simple, perfect, and we get good results. And, and we've actually got the uh, the actual basting spray. Yes, yeah, so that's a spray basting spray, and it's um, it you use it for the June Taylor uh, Quilt to Go project. Oh, yes, yeah, we've got those it coming up. It actually sticks your fabric to the wadding. Right. So you can use it for that or any project. So it's it's really good. Perfect. Now, first one has been putting a bundle together for you, so do take advantage with that £4 saving on there. 562969. You're going to get both of those sprays for that price, which is a really good deal, which is great. Uh, now, I, I just got to feel this is going to be one of those tools, isn't it? That you yeah. sort of go, right, once you've used it, that's it, it's perfect. Yeah, it uh, really this is. is. Already busy for this. It's the Binding Express. It has a brilliant saving in this one of £9. So it's naturally down to down to £26.99. Over 10% of the stock's gone. Just tell me a little bit about the Binding Express then and, uh, and how this works. Yeah, so it's a little ironing mat with slots in the side. So rather than having to fiddle around trying to get your ironing, uh, your binding folded, you can actually put it through the slots and pull through and iron as you go oh, I and see. it just makes the job so much quicker so so much quicker yeah, it's one I, of those, I mean as a quilter I really don't like bind it, uh, ironing the bind and it seems to take ages on the ironing yeah. board this you can literally just iron as you're folding it and it makes three different sizes of binding as well. So it's got, I think it's two and a quarter, two and, two and a half, got, yeah. and then two inches. And the two well, inches as well. Depending on but what you so, want. But that's such a perfectly put together piece because oh. one of those things you think someone that knows what they're, totally. what they're doing yeah, has thought, this is what I need. Yeah, that's <laughs> been made by a quilter, most and definitely. Made, <laughs> it is perfect and a really good time to get There's a saving of over 20% uh, on this one for you right now. 398, 344, just 26.99 rather than your regular 35.99. 20% has already gone on that one. But, again, one of those tools, when you use it, you'll go, where's that been all my life? Yeah, absolutely. This is the one we need. <laughs> Perfect for you. Uh, now then, we've got for you the quilt as you go. Now, these, uh, I have it on good authority, is basically, if you are just starting out and through the lockdown, etc. I know a lot of people have been starting with a sort yeah. of different uh, sort of uh, uh, hobbies and have a little go at as well. These are perfect for you to go and have a little crack at. So, do you want to explain the principle? And I can just sort of show. Because yeah, the first absolutely. one we're looking at here is the table runner. Yeah, so it's pre-printed wadding, and you're going to sew directly onto the wadding. So it's like paint by numbers, but with fabric. I like that explanation, um, yeah. It's got a number system on it. There's a full pattern in there as well. It all ten always tends to be tucked right inside the wadding, which... Yeah, uh, <laughs> I can hear it. Like, it's yeah, in there. It's yeah, in there. in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you literally, it gives you um, all exactly what you need to cut out. I mean, that one's actually perfect for a jelly roll, which is two and a half inch strips. So oh, if you've right. got jelly rolls hanging around, really, really quick and easy to do that, Ooh, that particular nice. one. Um, but it's the same technique, it's the same system, no matter which pattern you do. And we will do a, a little demo quickly later on um, on how to do it. Oh, but, perfect. Yeah. And this is the actual uh, runner itself. 
uh, we're looking yep. at. But you say it's all. You could also make uh, one of the tote bags with this yeah, one as well. Yeah, absolutely. So if you don't want to, another table runner, you can turn that table runner into a tote bag. Um, we did bring it back up onto her chanda that a little while ago. Um, but the you can actually make it Ooh. into a bag which has got pockets and all inside. That is so great. it doesn't. They're very versatile. You know, if you're more experienced sewer, you could absolutely turn it into something else. Oh, I um, see. I'm just trying to show it on the inside because you've got yeah. those extra pockets. Extra just pockets there. The inside Flap as well. opens up as well. But and the front it's, opens. it's just an example that it doesn't have to be a table runner. No. Once you've made that piece of fabric, once you've quilted it up, it could, it, you can turn it into whatever you like. I love it. This is a lot of buttons for live TV. Yeah. Uh, I should have started you busy. earlier. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so we get the whole idea of the look yeah. on this one. But really, really, really lovely. It's thirteen ninety nine, basically, you're looking at, and that is to get the table runner. But again, as you say, you can make that into, it says, just dropping it, you can make it into the tote bag. <laughs> five zero five five four five. We're approaching 10% of the stock here. And again, perfect. If you have got those jelly rolls you want to use, uh, then just as you heard from Sarah, Perfect one of those uh, projects to work on 1399 uh, Now, then, if you are still in that festive mood, getting ready already over 10% of them, you can have exactly the same idea with your projects to make your Christmas stocking with as well. Just 9.99 here, so it has got that uh, three pound saving on it for it. So, again, 20% saving 624813 on the stocking. Again, you've got the design, you're going to be getting everything that's all there to go. And again, I like that explanation, Sarah. It's like Painting by numbers, but with, with fabric. But with fabric, yeah, definitely. Again. Really lovely that. I love that fabric that's been done with as well. That's, really, that's a mode of fabric that one. But it's beautiful. Um, again, it took me genuinely took me about forty five minutes to make the whole thing. Really? So you know you've still got time to do them for Christmas. You're really, really quick and simple. Now, so so I'm an absolute real beginner. Mm -hmm. Do I start now for 2021 with this project, or again, could I turn this around? If you can sew a straight line, you can sew, you could do that before Christmas easily. I, <laughs> see, I could do that before Christmas. I think I could do. I could do a straight line. I think I could do that one. Uh, approaching 20% now of the stock there, and six two four eight one three. Lovely. Uh, right, now then, we've actually got for you, this is a, a large one of the projects for you here, the quilt as you go. Uh, this is 15.99. This is your Express quilt, the Savvy Stripes uh, that we've got here. So again, a slightly larger project to work on? Yeah, but again, really, really quick. It's one of the quilt as you go Express kits. There's only 12 seams in the entire Ooh. thing. So you genuinely could make a quilt in a day, well, less than a day, yeah. an afternoon. An afternoon's yeah. project. It will take you longer to cut your fabrics out than it will to actually sew them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm liking that. We've actually got a couple of examples yeah. that you can see there. Uh, yeah, be beautiful uh, projects to work on. But again, only 12, 12, that's right, 12 seams you 12 said there. 12 seams, Just yeah. 12 seams yeah. in there. Uh, so again, really nice, easy project if you're just starting out. But something, again, I'd imagine on any of these projects, like you say, a quick turnaround of an afternoon, mm -hmm. for example, to do that. Yeah. But you've got something that you've achieved on your first yeah, attempt to do it. Yeah, you've got that instant satisfaction yeah. of actually making something and, yeah. and get it finished. But if you're a more experienced quilter, yeah. the, these large sections in the in the quilt, they don't have to be large stripes. You could uh, piece okay. sections uh, and okay. add them on. So brilliant for beginners. But if you are more experienced, you could absolutely play around with it. Perfect. And, um, like and do it, some pieced that. things. So. Love it. We got, we're catering for everybody on this one. Uh, now we're at over 40% of the stock. There's a lot of early birds catching the word this morning. This is lovely to see. Lovely to have your company. 812167. Six pounds saving. Again, don't forget, we're on the black tag event, so you've got over 20% saving on here for you as well. So really, really, really good offer. Uh, did I just hear 60%? Hang on, no? Yes, 60% 60, 60 flying out. Excellent. Over 70% now is going very, very quickly indeed. Uh, that's going to be gone uh, very, very soon, I'm not sure. Uh, always, always a little bit scary when you start putting a cushion on at this time in the morning. A little pillow, isn't it? We a little nap. A little nap. <laughs> little nap. A little nap. You wouldn't miss me, honestly. Um, I'll just put my head down for a minute. Uh, if you'd like to go, this is for, not for this actually, but you, the pattern that you can see in there, uh, this has all been designed using the ruler itself there. This is the uh, twist and stitch ruler that you can see. Um, so, 
a simple tool to work with and instructions that come with it? Absolutely. Take it? Again, instructions come with the ruler. Um, I'm going to do a little demo on it as well for you oh, to great. show you how easy it is. It's, it's one of those patterns that looks way more complicated yeah. than it yeah. actually is. Um, it's all done with squares and it's how you cut them up. So it's really, really easy. Really <laughs> lovely. So again, if you think I want to go with that one, uh, you experiment in pushing yourself out or you've, you've seen them, uh, the pattern similar on the show before and thought, I'd like to do those. This is your chance to do it. You've got, again, that fantastic offer there, £6 off. So it's down to 25.99. So once you've got that mastered, who knows where you'll be working with those. Uh, now, I love these, and I've got a feeling these are going to be really, really, really busy on these ones. Now, not only are you going to be getting the patterns that you require here with the fabrics themselves, you're also going to be getting uh, a lot of the half a metre of your linen fabric to work with the project as well. Now, you've got three options you can see here. You've got Fantastic Rabbit, we've got our Hedgehog, and we have our Rooster. I think I like I mean, I love, them. I love them all, but yeah. I do I, love the little hedgehog. I like the hedgehog. He's really cute. He's very, very I cute. I love the colours in the rooster, though. I think he's yeah. really, really bright and lovely. Are you demonstrating with the rooster this morning? I'm going to be demonstrating with the rooster, yeah. We're going to make a, a tote bag in the whole demo, hopefully. Ooh. We're going to do it really quickly. A real <laughs> quick, put-together tote bag. How but quickly can you make a present? <laughs> we shall find out. We'll put you to the test now. Um, yeah. But really lovely fabrics that you can see here. Obviously, the actual image themselves of the uh, the main part of those. But you're also going to be have uh, that fantastic linen that works with it with all the cute little hedgehogs for example all on there really lovely hedgehog rabbit or rooster two five three three eight four four pounds off so you got actually a good saving on this one again of over 20 percent uh, to work with which is great uh, just 11.99 and we are going to be demonstrating that with the rooster uh, on the show this morning as well uh, right then we've got uh Oh, yes. OK, so a bit of an update for you. Uh, we had for you the Express Quilt Savvy Stripes uh, offer uh, has m has sold out. Technically, it has sold out already. Uh, phenomenal. Really, really quick start to the day here. 812167 has gone. So congratulations if you managed to get that one in time. Now, the Moda Farmhouse Collection, it's, it was only our second item on the counter. It's very, very popular indeed. Uh, you're getting all those images to go with, and now over half the stock has already gone 38 99 223 965 it is super lovely and soft that kind of if you're making that into a, a pullover duvet what you're going to snuggle oh, yeah. up in the winter really nice and kutchy in, in front of the fire kutchy. Kutchy. i like that kutch, it's a welsh word kutch. is it yes yeah so kutch. it means like cuddle hug oh. it's a very welshy thing kutch perfect <laughs> perfect oh i'm liking the idea of kutch uh right so so what are we going to start with the project this morning okay so i thought i'd show you the twist and stitch ruler oh yeah um, great it's ever such a it's it's, again, it's one of those things that looks way more complicated than it actually is. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> so in, within the ruler, you get full instructions about how to put this together. I'm using, I'm going to use, do the smallest size, which ends up at three and a half inches. I don't, hopefully you can see that on the, on the ruler. We're going to be using the three and a half inch line. So you start off with five inch squares. So this is perfect for a charm pack for a pre-cut. Um, and you add a three inch border. Okay. Okay. Now, I've done these with a, a a cream on the inside and that's because this is going to end up lo looking a little bit like a Christmas wreath hopefully. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love the little caveat of hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I, I have absolute <laughs> faith, absolute faith. <laughs> you could however like I did with the pillow just join your um, charm squares or your five inch squares you can cut them out of your stash together in a grid. I've done four by four but I've done these clear in the um, cream in the centre. Right. On the ruler I'm going to just hope, I'm going to put this just over the cream bit here. You can see you've got this grid line here across the centre. Yeah. We're going to cut into every seam. So I'm going to line up this grid line on this top corner here. Like oh, that. I so I yeah. can see, you can see that the line here is along the seam and the line there is along the seam. Got you. And there's little slots in the ruler. You've got like a little teardrop bit piece here, which means you can get your rotary cutter in nice and easily. I'm going to pop my rotary cutter in there. Now, because I've used five inch squares, I'm doing it on the three and a half inch, but you can go right up to ten and a half inch um, pieces. So you can make really, really big, oh, right. you know, big Great blocks if you want large, to. Larger projects, yeah. yeah. And we're just going to cut down both of the teardrops either side, like that. I'm going to turn it again. So this time I'm going to turn it so the teardrops are turning it 90 degrees, like that. And then I'm going to cut down those teardrops again. There. Ooh. And there. And what I've got now is I've cut out 
the start of that. Now, you do need to be a weeny bit organised with this and yeah. make sure that it, you keep it all in level, uh, you know, all in order rather. Right. So that one's come out of there. So now I'm going to move on to this next scene here. So again, I'm going to line up those grid lines along the seams like that. So that one's down that seam, that one's across the horizontal. Cut this way. Ooh, like that and like that. Easier if you've got a turn-in mat. Obviously, we haven't here today, but it's a little bit easier. Then we're going to turn it that way and then cut up the seams this way. And you're just going to cut along the row. You're just going to work your way along cutting out these pieces. Oh, okay. And you're going to keep them in order. So I'm just going to do this first quick, very quickly. Just go along here and do this first row so that you can see how it comes together. So I see what you mean about being organised. I suppose it's making sure you just keep them in the order like yeah, you Yeah, absolutely. You I, would, I would cut along my first row, yeah. keep that together, cut along my next row and, right. and do that. Right. But they go together incredibly quickly once you've done this. You can see. Keep that one there. I'm just going to work way, way along. Just do this next one here and then we're going to very quickly stitch them together and show you how that pinwheel works. Okay, okay. So again, as with most things, I suppose it's your prep, your prep time once you once it's all prepped and cut and done. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's fairly uh, straightforward itself as a it principle. It is just quarter inch seam allowance on them. Once we've done that one, okay, like this. I won't, won't do any more now. And then when you pop them in, straighten them back up like this. Oh, hang on, I'm going to do these two here so you can see one like one whole yeah, whole yeah. block. Okay, so if we just do this one here. Again, it all comes with its instructions it as does, well. It does, yeah, there's um, full instructions with the ruler. It's nice and easy to do. <laughs> Although I'm making this look a lot harder than it actually is. <laughs> Without the turning, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> turning table there for There we it. go. Okay, so I'm going to pop that one like that. And I'm going to just do this one here so we can put one block together, yeah. one part together, and then it will... Uh, but if I was at home, I would do the whole thing and I would keep the whole thing in line, you know, in, in my lines. While you're going. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because yeah. it's uh, just a little bit more, it's a bit easier to keep uh, keep it more organised. But you're there saying that once, once you've got those cut out from that site, you can, you can work them up to ten and a half inch projects? Yeah, on the, so on you the can cut, yeah. yeah, you can cut, I mean, I'm doing the three and a half, but you can cut right up to ten and a half. So right. you could do really big blocks. You could use the flannel layer, layer cake, oh, right. put okay. that together and then do really, really big blocks. Nice. And then what you do is you, so you've got them all like this, okay, and you would sew them together in your rows. And this one's going to come in like that, and hopefully you can see the start of that pinwheel. Ah, so we're going to we stitch go. oh, yes. those two together. You can see you've got that little pinwheel there. Yes. And then you would work in your rows and jo gradually join your rows up. So if we're going to add this one to this one, and we're just going to do a quick quarter inch seam allowance on there. Now, see, already I can see how you're going to get some uh, really brilliant effects great results really, as well yeah. but and like you say once you've actually used the ruler and cut that through that's the, that's the sort of the longest part isn't it the, the cutting through absolutely there. yeah you know if do, doing the cutting and like if this is the first time you've done it you want to be sort of a little bit you know methodical and, and yeah, careful with it but i mean we, i've been doing this for a long time now and i can quite quickly you know make something really effective yeah, um yeah. It's, it's one of those things that looks like you've taken ages and ages yes, to do. And you really haven't. The ruler does all the work for you, all the markings for you. Okay, so I'm just going to pull But that now, now I've seen you actually cutting it out. And now I'm looking at actually, let's say, for example, the pattern that's now been done on the pillow yeah. here. You can, you can see those elements because when you see it beginning, you just see the wheel. Absolutely, but now when you yeah. sort of break it down, you're starting to see those elements yeah. that are just being cut through um, using the ruler. So you do get a really big effect by the simplicity yeah. of that. And it that. really does look like you've you've put a lot of effort yeah. into it, and you, you've cut lots of different angles and things. But the ruler's the ruler's doing all the hard work for you. Yeah. So I'd stitch them together a quarter of an inch, and I would work along my row. I'd do my second row, and then you could draw, join the rows together. And what you'll end up with now, this is a slightly smaller one. I only did nine nine by um, centre squares, but you end up with a little. Uh, sort of ah. Christmas wreath which if you put now this one the one that we were just cutting up would have more cream in the center but you get that idea that you get those little pinwheels yes. turned 
and uh, you could then decorate, you could stitch into it, you could quilt it, you could make a little wall hanging, yeah. you know, and add some decorations and sequins and, and all sorts oh, to it. What, what a lovely idea. And like you say, the results that you get really quite quickly once you've worked it out. And don't forget, you get up to 10 and a half inches on those ones, so you can make some really good size, larger projects. Yeah. Now, I think we've hit 20% stock already of this one has been allocated for you. It's got a six pound saving on the ruler to work with. And again, as I say, it all comes with the instructions. So if you'd want to try and get that effect, that whole lovely pinwheel block, if you've seen it on other designs, in the past and thought, actually, you know what, I want to have a go. I'm sure that uh, seeing the demonstration that Sarah's has done for you just goes, I could do that. Um, brilliant chance to do it with that £6 saving. Just 25 99 939136. You can get that effect that, uh, that uh, Sarah's uh, working on at the moment. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to join those two up yeah, now okay. as well, just so you can see one final block. Yes, thank And you. then um, it, what, what that'll do, I can hopefully you'll be able to see how it fits in. But the grid lines make it so, so easy to follow along with. Right. Um, and you're just going to match them to the seams that you've already sewn. So I'm just going to press that one out quickly. There we go, like that. And that would be my top corner, which you can see would fit in, like in that top corner uh, there. Ah, there it is, And yes. you'd work, work your way along and add on your next ones. And you can see there's the start of the next pinwheel there. Obviously, I'm not going to cut the whole thing out because no, it no, would no. take ages. <laughs> uh, but you would cut out all your little blocks, and just by keeping them in order, it does it all for you. That, yeah, it's exactly. All, it's such a brilliantly designed product. That really. is brilliant, actually, because I thought it was all, well, I've got to get the angles of this, but yeah. the ruler does it all for yeah, you, which really is does. brilliant. Uh, and that's what you want, isn't it? You want a tool that just says, right, come on, that's what I want to achieve. You need to do it for me. Uh, so you're just yeah. in the manual bit working Absolutely, it. Yeah. A quarter of the stock now is actually, actually, 30% uh, in fact now uh, has already now been allocated. 25 pounds and 99 pence only nine three nine one three six but with that uh, ten percent offer we're looking at there offwards and six pounds basically over ten percent uh, of that offer already been allocated which is uh, phenomenal which is great uh, that's lovely so that, that's it really for that ruler isn't it, it? Is. really I mean it's, it's I mean I can carry on cutting and sewing if you like if you'd like me to but it genuinely is the same thing over and over you yeah. just cut down those side cut down those um, seams um, and and sew them together and it will it's, it's, no, there is nothing more to it really no. it's so simple <laughs> we like, it really we is like so simple, simple yeah. yeah no that's perfect yeah. thank you very much okay. well, i'll tell you what we'll do we'll just give everyone uh, a moment we'll come back to uh, yourself in a sec sarah uh, and uh, look at uh, maybe that tote bag that you were talking about oh there's a challenge yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Um, if you would like to go for the twist and stitch, it's 939136, uh, £25.99. Uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Nice and simple. Ten and a half inch. You can go from, from three and a half inch on those projects. So perfect opportunity to take advantage. If you are just waking up just this morning, very good morning to you. Uh, it's a very misty, cold, damp, wet out there. Stay where you are watching with us as well. And uh, we'll keep you nice and warm and cutchy. Could she cosy? Uh, right, let's uh, just bring you. Uh, you may not have seen this if you've just woken up and you're with us, uh, but this is the fantastic Christmas tree, the skirt fabric panel. Now you can see the finished item here, but again, if you want to get rid of any of the wires underneath there from your Christmas lights, uh, or you want to just get rid of the, uh, the the feet that basically for the actual tree itself that hold it all up, or you just want it to look nice and pretty, then this is perfect for this. You can add more to it, of course. You can put your sequins on here, any other embroidery work you want to do on, which is lovely but what you'll be getting is the actual fabric panel for all of this uh, that you can see now I'll just hold this out again so you can see um, the whole project that you'll be working with but again we are looking at three meters in circumference for all of this so it's huge big project to work on but nice and simple and again lots of scope for you to add your own personal touches on top of that 22 pounds and 99 pence only 639821 um i think this one has been all been beautifully back. Look at that. It's really gorgeous. Again, you can really go to town with this one. Maybe certain colour themes you might be having with your tree or your decorations um, or for the room itself, but really lovely project to work on. That £22, 99 pence. It is brand new on the show today. 639 821. Uh, now, let's uh, work our way down. And Oh, there we go. It's a lovely, lovely feel this one. Over half the stock has now gone for this one. This is the mode of farmhouse uh, flannel layer cake and pattern that you're going to get here. Now these are beautiful. Now you're getting these 10 inch squares and there are 42 of these in total and 
This is really beautiful. It's so, so, so soft uh, that we're looking at here with that wonderful sort of brushed, brushed effect that you're going to get in there. It's stunning. Now, if you put all of these together, you've got enough here, basically, just as a, you know, as a project to start from scratch, just stitching all those together. Is, is it a double size uh, we could make? Easily cover a double bed. Just a double like, bed. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And that's nice and simple, but you are going to be getting the pattern included in this one that will give you the chance to make the brick effect if you want to work with that, which we've actually got a lovely example for in the studio. Uh, again, whether you're starting out or whether you're a little bit further advanced, you can actually add anything more you wanted to, but you are working with beautifully, beautifully soft material. There's an idea that you can see there of what you'll be making up there with the actual... Um, panels all together cut through but really lovely project but it's it's so 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 it's so really soft nice, isn't it yeah. it's quite nice to have sort of um more gentle colors as well because it's quite difficult to make for men <laughs> um, oh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of fabrics tend to be quite floral and things so yeah. um, the the quilt behind me that you were just uh, seeing that was made by um one of our friends linda she made it for uh, her son's man cave so he oh. had something to to put on him while he was gaming and stuff Not so a perfect uh, <laughs> idea. Yeah. I'm liking that. Uh, I think we're at 60% of the stock. And again, a really perfect chance, you know, just as Sarah was saying there, if you find some things on uh, maybe not what uh, your son or your husband, your partner, or just any other sort of male that might be part of your life, and they're thinking, well, not two kings on a tulip, but I do like this. Uh, go for this one, 223965. Two thirds of the stock has gone. So I would suggest speed is of the essence. And as, uh, we, as the morning goes on, more and more people are waking up and tuning in. So 38.99, do take advantage of that offer whilst it is there for yourself, really good. Uh, now, if you want to go for the apron, the fabric panel, by the way, uh, go for this one right now, it's 12.99, it's brand new on the show for you today, uh, 815222, uh, this is for anyone in the kitchen, anyone's in there, we have to fight so who's going to be in the kitchen on Christmas Day, basic, we're all... I don't fight with my husband. He goes in the kitchen and Does I he? don't, yeah. And I drink Prosecco. <laughs> that sounds like a marvellous idea. Marvelous he won't let idea. me in there. He likes to cook Christmas dinner. So, yeah, it's, it's, I don't argue. <laughs> no, well, why would you? Why would you? Um, I like to wear a penny. I used to walk around sometimes with a marigold on sometimes as well. And other rubber gloves are available as a mode. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but again, just doing the same. Yeah. Just look, look busy. Absolutely. If you put an apron on and you put a marigold on, it looks like you've been yeah. doing something. <laughs> uh, I, talk, I walk around the studio as well with a black bag every now and again it looks official looks like i'm doing something uh 815 triple two 1299 uh and you get the whole panel and it has the instructions on here as well by the way if i just hold this out for you so you can see but you will have the instructions uh here we go uh the sewing instructions are all there for you to take you through um with how to make that all included in the panel itself so a really good price that just 1299 uh, and again you can make it such so reversible as you was mentioned yeah. as well so. you could also like uh, you could personalize it as well you've got enough space there like above the houses where you could put someone's name yeah or something on it so you you could make it a personal present for somebody absolutely yeah love i love your idea don't use it as a hint though that you're never in the kitchen enough <laughs> that would never go down well that would never go down well 12.99 only 815 triple two uh, now, we are with the first time we brought this bundle uh, to you, actually. So we've got the quilt uh, basting spray, uh, you can see here, and we've also got the uh, starch savvy. So really, really good products. Again, as you heard Sarah talking about earlier on, one of those is just great to have handy and that you will always work on for loads and loads of different projects that you work on for the basting spray and also for the starch savvy as well. Now, it's the first time these two, and they're big bot these are big bottles, by the yeah, way. I imagine yeah. this goes a long, long way. It does, yeah. I mean, the starch savvy, I, I use it all the time and I probably go through one maybe once every six months. Right. Yeah, you know, and I'm I'm so in a lot. So in every day. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it does yeah, last. That's really, really good sizes on these ones. And not only is it first time in a bundle, you've got that four pound saving by buying them both of them together. So five six two nine six nine twenty one ninety eight. You will use them. If you do anything, you know, any of those projects that you're talking about uh, on the show this morning, uh, and these are the ones to go for, you will use them, won't you? Get them while that saving is there for you. Uh, now, if you haven't yet uh, met this tool here, the Quilt Binding Express, if you uh, do anything where you're going to bring those bindings together on any project, maybe you just do a few, maybe you do quite a lot in there, but if you haven't seen this yet, grab it whilst it's there because it has got over 20% off on the Black Tag event and we are now 60, 60, 60% 60 of the stock gone and the perfect here that you've got your three different measurements that you just bring that binding through, you've got two and a quarter inch, two and a half and you've got your two inch size and literally this placing this onto 
put your ironing board there, so it's all there, ready to go, slide it through, and you're going to get the perfect edging. I think, yeah. the, honestly, it's ingenious, but it's simple. Really, really <laughs> simple, but so, yeah, definitely made by a quilter, somebody yeah. who know, knows what we need. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. You know, those that uh, understand all the issues you've had, it goes, right, there must be something on the market that makes this easier. Well, this is it. 398 344, like I say, 60% of the stock already gone, and don't forget, you're looking over 20% off on this with the black tag event. Now, we've got some great projects, um, and some, actually, one's already sold out uh, from the quilt as you go. This is the table runner, and this is the uh, Jakarta table runner, and again, all your instructions on here, but if you haven't seen these, Sarah was saying earlier on, it's a bit like sort of um, colouring by numbers or painting by numbers, but with your fabrics. Uh, this is the perfect one, uh, I think we are talking about. If you had a jelly roll that was hanging yeah. around, this is the perfect size yeah, to work this project. Yeah, it's all two and a half inch pieces, so if it, you have got a jelly roll there, it's... it's it's ideal and again you don't have to do any extra cutting the jelly rolls pre-cut for you so you could do it really really simply really quickly quick present or you know decorate your Christmas table yeah oh that's a nice idea absolutely really lovely that was only 13.99 uh, just to show you actually one done as the table runner uh, because again you could work on that if you wanted to make into a tote bag uh, if, you, if you want to go with that but if you want to go for the classic for the table running itself then as you can see how that jelly roll that you may have maybe it's in one of your uh, drawers or in a little basket or just there on a the desk maybe near you you thinking I've not used that one yet um, or maybe you've got some of them in the, in the one day special for example you're thinking what a project 1399 505 545 uh, really like that I like that with those they're actually beautiful yeah. uh, now same principle but different design for you on the table runner we have got for you the Christmas stocking uh, the perfect time for these of course just 9.99 uh, you've got a saving over 20 percent again with the black tag event for you this morning so do take advantage running till Tuesday of course so lots of savings to be had but if you want to go for the project here it's all ready to go of course again just with your fabrics on this one uh, 624813 uh, a perfect one again if you are a beginner as we mentioned. Uh, right, we've got the uh, twist and stitch. Don't forget, we've seen the demonstration already this morning from Sarah to work with. And again, so, so simple. If you did look at the design on the cushion here, I thought, oh, that might take a little bit of mathematics of the old brain matter. How do I get that effect? The ruler does it all for you. All your instructions are there for you, nice and simple to go through. But right now, it's also got that six pound saving. This runs actually up to 10 and a half inches. So if you want to get that effect on even larger projects, the ruler will do it all for you, nice and simple. Again, just getting them all cut through, as you saw Sarah doing. Uh, so organization is quite an important part of that, making sure you place them all in the right place. But but then, once that's done, it's stitching them all together and you too can get that effect that you're looking at here. 25 99 only, 939 136 with that £6 saving this morning, which is lovely. Uh, now we've got, and these are going to be part of the next demonstrations from Sarah, we have got your animal fabric panels, plus you're also going to be getting the linen fabric, half a metre with those. Now, who's sold out? Oh, Harry the Hedgehog has yeah. sold out. Oh, Who's I better take Harry well? away for a second. <laughs> See, I, I did like Harry. I, I, yeah. I just called him Harry. I don't know. Could be Henrietta. We'll call him Harry. That's uh, We'll go with Harry for yeah. now. Uh, now, our little Bugs Bunny, our little rabbit down there, is 60% of our little rabbit. And we've also got our lovely bright coloured with our rooster. Now, we're going to be working with the rooster. I say we. Sarah will be. I'll be watching on from a socially, socially distance uh, space. Uh, but you've got your lovely rooster there. Now, these are lovely, lovely projects to work on. Lovely gift ideas, but really lovely projects once they're finished. And the price is brilliant. Literally, they're just 11 99 So really good price point. 253 384 is your item code for those. Like I say, Harry the Hedgehog's already gone. 60% of our bunny has gone, and we've got our rooster that we're going to be looking at right now, Sarah, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah, so what I thought we'd do is we'd do a really, really quick tote bag. Um, this is a nice and simple, genuinely take you 20 minutes maximum. I've done a little bit of it to start with, okay? Because I was thinking, you know, 20 minute demo is a little bit long. <laughs> <laughs> so all I've done is I've cut out, oh, excuse me, just flip this one around for me, for you. I've cut out my panel, okay? So that's now 17 and a half inch square, because they, they 18, 18 and a half. I've added a, a little three inch piece on the top, and then I've cut a piece of backing fabric, exactly the same size. So that's, they're all now, um, that now measures 40, uh, sorry, 40 inches across by 17. 
you do get quite a lot of fabric left over. So even after I've cut all that out, you've still got a really nice big piece that you could get oh, another wow. cushion cover or something yeah, from. Yeah, you can, yeah. We've also cut out um, a couple of little handles. Now, again, I've done one ready. These were 18 inches by 4 inches. And all you're going to do is you're going to fold them in half and give them a quick iron. Again, the starch savvy works well here because it helps give you really, oh, ni right. really nice yeah. creases. I've already I starched it before I uh, cut it, but you could add a little bit extra. Once you've got that centre crease, we're just going to fold these in and iron again. And we're going to do that on both sides just to get all those raw edges into the centre. Could you put, uh, I mean, would you need any wadding in that to give you it a little could, bit more, or would it be just strong enough and um, it's soft It's more enough? than strong enough without yeah. it, but you could put a little bit of wadding in there just to pad them out so they're a little bit more comfortable to yeah. hold if you wanted yeah. to. But yeah, okay. absolutely you could. Yeah. So we're just going to stitch down both sides of this one, just top stitch all the way down. So about sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch away from the edge. You don't want to don't go too far in because you want to enclose those edges. And just oh, right. quickly whiz down both sides to make your handles. So I'm just following along. I've moved my needle over so that it's about an eighth of an inch away from the edge of the foot and just using the edge of the foot as a little guide just to stitch down. Okay, so I'll just chop the thread on that one and we're going to go and do exactly the same down the other side. So do you know what, the, the, the colours on this one are lovely as a project, actually, yeah, and every time this, the roosters go in through there, just as you put it through the sewing machine, yeah. the sort of colours you can see, really, really vibrant. I really like the sort of watercolour effect of it as well. Mm. It looks yeah. quite painterly, you know, like yes, it's, it has. Um, yeah, it's been done with watercolours or something. It's, uh, so yeah, it's really pretty. So I can imagine if you pretty. want to get that cottage kind of feel, mm, you know, that yeah. sort of farm, really lovely yeah. sort of nature and a rustic kind of feel about yeah. that and I think there's something about the actual material that it's on as well that yeah. really you, adds to that. You could cover dining room chairs or something for mm. this as well you know oh, do a couple yeah. of cushions to go with it it would be really really nice, That's nice. because you know it's 100% cotton but because it, it's a linen it's a little bit more hard wearing. Yes oh, okay. I see it's good for that. Yeah so I've done both my handles like that really nice and quick and then what we're going to do is on the top edges of the panel so this is one nice long piece on the top edges we're just going to create a little small hem just iron in a hem like that all the way along and then fold over again so that you've got a little double hem like that okay we're going to do this on both sides you want to find the center so I'm just going to fold it in half like that and find the center and then I find the center again and so to get my placement of my, my handles. Oh, I okay, see. Okay, yeah, so I bring yeah. that to the center and that little point there, I'm going to place one of the handles. Oh, so right. it's going to look like it's upside down, but it's not. <laughs> we trust you. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to pop that one in like that and just pin it in place. Make sure it's not twisted and then do the same again. So I just want to find the center, sort of the quarter inch mark there and pop my handle in. Our bunny rabbit, by the way, has technically sold out Aww, as well. He's so cute. Um, so uh, if, it, if one hops out of the <laughs> basket, we'll let you know. But the technical sellouts on those as well. Uh, so it's Rooster. Um, do we have a name for the Rooster? Oh, Reggie, I think. Reggie. Reggie. Reggie the Rooster. Reggie the Rooster. Or, or Reggie or Rodney. See where we're going with that, can't you? <laughs> Oh yeah, I had just gone there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there go. All I'm doing now is just sewing down that hem. Again, about an eighth of an inch away. I'm going to go right across the handles. And we're kind of creating like a French seam here as well, which we're going to do on the edge of the bag as well. So down that way. And then just cut that thread. And then we're going to flip this up. So we're going to flip it up like that. And again, I'm going to pop a couple of pins in just to hold them. And then we're going to stitch again from the front this time, just to hold those handles in place. You know what? You're true to your word on, you know, <laughs> a, a fast project to do on, uh, with, the, with the stitching yeah. down. But again, it's a nice, easy project to put it together. It really but... is. You know, if you're looking for those last minute Christmas presents, you know, rather than, you know, environmentally friendly and everything, rather than use um, wrapping paper, why not put, make one of these? Oh, yeah. And then it's a second present as well then. Absolutely. You, know, you could just put a little bit of tissue paper in there with the, you know, the present you've bought and then you've given a, you know, given oh, I a think it's really tote lovely. bag as well. Okay, and then again I'm going to do the same the other side. 
Now, Just Rodney the quickly. Rooster or Reggie the Rooster, there's various names being used around <laughs> the studio at the moment. A third of the stock of, uh, of Rupert. <laughs> just We're just going to go through one. lots of our names, yeah. aren't we? <laughs> yeah, exactly. what, what can we come up with? We can with? get a few more, yeah, as well. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, but I really, the, the colours, like you say, on the plumage, yeah. is absolutely beautiful. It really yeah, really, is really, really nice. It okay. is, I love it. We're going to do very quickly, we're going to do the same the other side. So that handle is now in place there. Okay, so you can see you've got your handle nice in place. In, and I've just gone backwards and forwards twice just to hold that oh, in. Oh right, just hold Obviously, it. Yeah. I'll trim the ends up later on. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to sit in sewing ends now. You won't um, be very boring for you oh, to watch. Yeah. Okay, and then again, other side, we're going to create that little double hem, and I'm going to pop the handle in exactly as I did last time. Oh, yep. Yeah. And then we're going to do a French seam up the sides just to enclose all those raw edges. And that's the bag that will be done then. I mean, it's ever so really, really quick to do. Really nice well, and quick. Yeah, it really is. It's, yeah. But really, but again, great quality look when yeah, you finished it's it's it. Yeah, it's really lovely. It's really, really nice. And really sturdy as well. You yes. know, you're making something that you can, you know, again, helps the environment. You're not, you know, taking lots of plastic bags and all with you. No. They're a decent size. You can get, you know, Make two or three and take and do your Christmas shop, you know, your, your weekly shop and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, they are. I think they're, but there's a gift idea, I think, is really nice. And yeah. they are durable. And again, like the quality of the material you talk about, 100% But that, that, that fabric that we've got on this, yeah. it is, like you say, very durable. It and, really uh, and, is, and yeah. I mean, like I said, it is 100% cotton, but because it's a linen mix, yeah. you've got that, it's a little bit more sturdy yes. than like quilting weight cottons. Got you. Okay, so we're just going to whip in down that, end, that seam. And then I'm going to... Two thirds of Rupert, the, roast, the rooster, <laughs> has uh, now already been allocated. Mm. Awesome. I do, I love the colours on this. You know, I wouldn't normally have thought I was a, a chicken or a rooster person, but I absolutely fell in love with this one. I oh, thought I know. the, the colours are just uh... beautiful. There we go. Just cut that one. And the last little handle one there, so I'm just folding that up and... Ooh, stitching across. But like you say, you've got plenty of fabric left over as yeah. well, Sarah was saying. You know, even once you've actually put this together, actually within the bag, yeah. um, you've still got a lot of material that's been that, that's been left over for other projects to go with as well. Maybe a little matching item to go with the bag yeah, itself. Yeah, you could make it like a little zipper pouch or something to go with it, yeah. you know, really nice and yeah, nice. Yeah, you've got a really good size piece left there. There really is, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so once you both your handles are in, we're going to do a French seam down both sides. So it feels like it's going to be slightly, <laughs> it's back to front, but we're actually going to stitch on the right side first and you're going to sew a little eighth of an inch seam all the way down which looks like you're going to have your raw edges but then we're going to show you the trick with the French oh, seams. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> now a lot of you will have done French seams before they're a really nice way of doing um, of enclosing any raw edges. Um, it's used a lot in dressmaking actually more than oh, more than quilting okay. but um, because we're not lining the bag we're just using the fabrics that are, are in the bundle this way I, it, it meant it was nice and neat and easy. Okay, so I'm just whipping down that side. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So just really simple, straight line sewing. There's, you know, nothing complicated here at all. And, uh, I like simple. Yeah. Especially I like at simple this time. Yeah, and I, <laughs> <laughs> I like simple this time of year as well yeah, because we're yeah, all so true. busy with Christmas. Yeah. We've all got so many projects we want to do, and nobody starts early enough. So <laughs> that's we all, true. We all say we're going to start like beginning of the year, and and nobody does because time. So a simple project like this makes a really thoughtful gift, but it's it's quick. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So I've sewn down both sides. Okay, and then we're going to turn it inside out. So we're going to turn it through like this. And you want to just roll the seams, okay? You just want to roll your se the seams between your fingers. Make sure the corner is nice and poked out. And if you roll those seam, uh, roll, roll the seam between your fingers, what that does is kind of bring the seam up to the edge. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that you don't get any puckers or anything. And then we're just going to give it a quick press. In fact, actually, give that a quick squirt of bit start savvy just to... We've got that on the bundle, don't forget. Yeah. I can see why you would use so much of it as well, because uh, <laughs> just on those I... little projects, like you say, the, yeah. the little areas. It just helps set seams and all sorts. 
And then once I've rolled that one out and, and sewn it, I'm going to sew all the way down, but I'm going to sew a slightly bigger seam allowance now. I'm going to sew a, I'm going to use the um, half inch seam allowance on that. Our, and that would enclose all those raw edges. Our um, Roger Reginald Rupert Randy Richard Rooster uh, technically sold out. Uh, technically sold out as well. So uh, just 1199 253384. Make sure you do check those out of your basket. Um, otherwise, it will obviously pop out. Uh, we'll let you know if any of them do. So if you want to keep hold of yours, make sure you do check them out of your basket as well. Uh, we've also got the uh, the spray for you, of course, there. 562969 2198. First time they've been put in a bundle for you um, as well. So you've got the basting uh, spray as well there for the quilt. And you've also got the starch savvy that you've just seen of course that's being uh, used um, by Sarah for all of those all of that is comes part of that 562969 first time as a bundle and at four pounds saving on there as well for you uh, 21 pounds and 98 pence a really good deal for you as well uh, lovely 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 uh, it's very busy across the show actually if you are just waking up to this morning make sure you do check out the website uh, to see what has been on the show but some really lovely 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 items uh, set so we've got around about three or four minutes left only okay so just finishing off on the bag then yep. what's any my last uh, hints and tips yeah so I've just I've sewn down the one side I haven't done the other one yet but um, you would all you would do then is just add in um, get rid of all your ends trim them all off but that seam now is all nice and close it's all nice you've got no raw edges there or anything um, and it's a really sturdy to sturdy bag yeah. you could double the size of your handles if you want it to go over your shoulder oh yeah um, absolutely you can know, pop it over your shoulder then but actually it's quite nice as a as a carry one you know that way um, but yeah you could pad if you I, I think I'd put, put some wadding in if I was going to do it as a shoulder bag I'd pop right. some wadding in I think so, it's really uh, like but yeah Again, well lovely and colourful. Yeah. And, and with that sort of a Hessian kind of feel and look towards that, you know, as well as nice that it does actually, is so bright, you don't yeah. often see that as no, well. No, definitely. Really like actually, that. You find it easily in your bag as well, because it's nice and bright, you'll be able to, you know it's yours too. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, true. It's yours, it's definitely yours <laughs> as well, which is brilliant, I love that. Um, I just want to just uh, give you an update as well with regards to the uh, layer cake and the options you've got here. This is really beautiful, this one actually. Now, 80% of the stock has gone with this one. Uh, this is your Moda, the farmhouse flannel, the layer cake and pattern that you're going to get with this one. Uh, now, this is a really lovely, lovely kit that you can, even if you just work with, um, is it 42 squares? 42 squares in total. It's one of those are uh, 10 inch squares. Uh, and again, even if you literally were just to stitch these together, Sarah was talking about that straight away, just with the simple stitching of all these together, you better make a nice sort of double um, covering for your bed, basically. You know, that would work really, really nice and simple. But we'll also be getting the pattern that comes with this that gives you the chance to make the brick quilt as well, which we have got uh, over by uh, Sarah for you to look. But again, really simple, simple techniques works on this one. But again with yeah. really lovely big big lovely results yeah i mean you like, like i was saying earlier you could a beginner could use them and yeah. make a really beautiful cover in your quilt very very simple but there's thousands of patterns out there for layer cakes as yeah, well right. you know so if you're more experienced and you you know and you you kind of know fabrics and you know quilting for a little while do so much with it. I right. mean, you get you get nearly four meters of fabric in a layer cake. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, you know, get a lot, lot of uh, lot of bang for your buck. There. Yeah, which is good. <laughs> which is what we need. This is what we need. But I would be surprised if you find some as as beautifully soft as this. This brushed effect uh, that you've got on this as well. So again, cut cut she cut she. A yeah. kutchy kind of, if you, if you want to go with that lovely, gorgeous kutchiness uh, with it, 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 it's re it is honestly, you, I could sit here, I love a, I love a fabric stroke, so you know me, um, and uh, this is one of the softest you've definitely felt. We are approaching limited stock, I mean there's some beautiful parts here that I've not even had a chance to sort of show uh, with, with patterns that all come together with these, but they really are super, super, super soft, they are lovely, 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 and we are approaching limited stock on these as well. 38, 99 it is brand new on the show for you as well uh, this morning that Sarah's brought along for you, which is absolutely lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, let's just um, give, we've only got, I tell you what, we've only got a couple of minutes left on the show. It's really, really quick. Um, we're going to bring to you, this is the uh, Quilt Binding Express. Now, one of those, I think that if you haven't got one of these yet in your collection to work from, uh, with you do your binding, then this is one you have treat yourself. Now, we are 
approaching limited stock. We are on the black tag event, of course. So this is actually a great way of getting two, two and a half, and two and a quarter inch with your binding to work through. That you basically the instructions are there, but you just pull through, and again, all there ready to go onto your ironing board. Now it's got a saving of over 20%. So now is your time to get this one while you can. 26.99, rather than just a penny short of uh, 36 pounds. 3.98. Three double four for those as well. Uh, layer cake, by the way, technically it has sold out. Uh, that was double two three nine six five. So well done if you managed to get that one. Make sure you do get that checked out of your basket, of course. Uh, do not miss out on that. Uh, last but not least, we've also got the Christmas stocking. Uh, really busy we've been on. We've already had a sellout on uh, one of these projects as well. On these uh, fantastic the quilt as you go. This is your Christmas stocking. It's only nine nine. 6,24,813 and again really really busy across there the stock but over half the stock has gone here as well it's amazing uh, right uh, Sarah that's been a lovely hour yeah, it's gone can... really quickly yeah, it's <laughs> gone very quickly uh, so you're back with uh, Hayley it's 11 o'clock that's, yes, right. that's right what, yeah. what you got planned uh, we're gonna do some Manx patchwork Ooh, okay. um, which is a really really old technique right. um, uh, developed in the Isle of Man and it's all using the measurement of your hands oh. for so everything's unique to you and you don't use any rulers it's all all down to your hand measurements oh so that sounds brilliant it's yeah it's really interesting and you've got really, your demo in yeah i'm going to be that. demoing that yeah oh well yeah. i tell you what Hayley's in for an absolute treat listen <laughs> thank you for your company this That's morning okay. as well thank grab you. yourself a coffee i will <laughs> need <laughs> one <laughs> Uh, but I love that show. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, make sure you do uh, watch that show. That sounds fascinating, actually, uh, with Hayley and uh, Sarah from 11 o'clock uh, this morning. It's a lovely company so far. If you haven't yet, get yourself your first brew of the morning if you haven't had yet, and come back after this where you can join us for a fantastic hour. Yes, we have got the Wyndham fabric. It's the black tag one day special for you. Then we got Daisy and Grace also with your black tag offers for you. And then we got the Scarlet Rose black tag Bonanza. What a lovely Sunday morning. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Your Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with. And I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a Chanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away, or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888, and join her Chanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint but with me, Hachanda and the SAA I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Hachanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey.
So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on Hachanda. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection, and this was down to Josie, using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy V shows on Hachanda. A very good morning if you are just waking up with us, if you've been with us for the last hour. I hope your day's going well so far, so good. Anyway, if you were with us in the last hour, then obviously fabrics are a theme. You would have enjoyed that last hour, and it's a lovely way to continue on. And now I have the lovely guest, the pleasure, the pleasure, everybody, of being with the lovely Jenny for an hour as well. I know my day just gets better and better. <laughs> morning. Morning, lovely. Hello. I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Yeah? Have you, yeah. You've left the studio since the last time I was in here as well. You was, we was in similar positions like this. And then we I, were. I've not been in for a little while and I come back in and we're back here again. We're back. Is, you, is life okay? Life is great. Good. Yeah, good, good. yeah. It's and all good. Busy. Busy. Busy with a one-day special. Yes. Which is what we love, which yes, is what we love. Uh, and you've got obviously some great demos with us again yes. for the hour. Lots of hints and tips. Yes. We like, Always. All, we like all that. Um, <laughs> right, so let's, let's just bring up to date with where we are with our one day special. As you can see, I have a huge array of wonderful fabrics for you. Now, stick with me on this one because if you haven't seen the one day special, there are seven options available to. I know, I know, I know, I know. Seven options, uh, but you've got all of this wonderful wall of colour. Now, each one of the options, whichever options you go for, uh, you're going to be getting 20, um, over 20 metres, actually, 25. 20 half metres in total. So it means you're going to be getting 10 metres in total that you're looking at, whichever one of those options you go for. And there's a huge array of options. That works out at £6.99 per metre that we're looking at, actually. So really, really, really good value for this one for you. And it's actually available, of course, on a flexi bubble. We'll come on to that in a moment. So we'll go through for you and give you uh, to start off with. So let's start here. These are your 20 shades of fire, your beautiful bright yellows. You've got those rich oranges as well. We've got these gorgeous, gorgeous reds. Uh, do you want to just uh, chip in with some uh, on the actual uh, overall quality of what we're going to be getting in these as I sort of demonstrate? Because there's a lovely mix in whichever project or whichever option they go for, aren't there, Jenny? Yeah, the quality is amazing. And you're paying for one half a metre, you're paying what you would usually pay for a fat quarter. Right. So, That's brilliant. Yeah, it's it's they're the best stash builders because the colours are just fantastic. And if you go for more than one, so if you go for two, then you're basically getting buy one get one free, aren't you? Uh, you because you're yeah. half price. Yes. Yeah, so, of course. They're so great to mix and match, and they just go on forever. I have made so much stuff out of them, and oh. I have so much left. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 
But I, I mean, imagine, I mean, going through, I've had a, a sort of brief look, but I'm looking in a bit more detail now, and you've really got to make sure we pull each of these pleats back so you can sort of see, but I'm loving all the sort of florals, and each, each pattern's got, you know, it must be inspirational to work with again if you... Yeah, I had these. so much fun picking which ones I was going to use for for which project. <laughs> and they were just, there was just some suitable for every kind of project. Yeah. There's so much in here as well. So these are our 20 shades of five star, but that's option ones. Now, we're going to go from the fire into the skies in our 20 shades of sky. But again, the variety in all of these, whether it's floral, whether it's stripes, we've got in here some patterns. I mean, we saw some of the, almost like the metallic elements and glitter coming through. But, I mean, there's so much in each, in whichever one we go so for, isn't So much. There? And there's a really nice mixture of, like, more traditional prints with really modern prints. Right. So in the blue one, you've got those gorgeous... Like um, the ones you're holding right now, the birds and the gorgeous That's patterns. Lovely. And then next along, you've got hair clips. And um, after the florals, you've got hair clips and little uh, little grips as well. Oh, the one look. next to that. I love these That's ones. That's a lovely combo, isn't it? Yes. They're so much fun. And I mean, that must be that a lot of these. So how can I put these? How are these going to work together? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they've also got some gorgeous, like, blenders in with the blues as well mm, they're nice there's one that's got gold speckles going through it and it looks like um cork you just come into it there it looks like cork so you can sew with actual cork fabric but this is cotton cork looking fabric really? I love, like, that is one of my favorite prints <laughs> this, well, this yeah one. i love yeah. it and I'll yeah. tell you what, it looks lovely on screen as well, you can yeah, see that. But actually, when gold. you see it up close, you really do catch, they really do reflect the light, actually, those, those gold elements, don't they? Yeah. Loving that. So that was our 20 shades of uh, fire. We've had 20 shades of the sky. Now, of course, going into the wonderful greens, we've got the 20 shades of forest in here. So again, it's not like we're getting, there's not repeats on these ones as for them. I mean, each one of these bundles, whichever one's going to go for as an option, they're going to be getting something quite unique to that, to that particular yeah, collection, aren't they? completely. There's so many different prints. And then there are a couple of the prints. Like, so there's one in the green that you get the same option in the blue. Mm. And they go so nicely together. Though. Right, right. Yeah. You get some fun vegetable prints. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's quirkiness in here as well, isn't it? I yeah, love well, it. Yeah, yesterday I used the vegetable prints to make my big one bucket, and it would be great for a gardening bucket that you could just so take I, I, stuff out. I love the salad, salad. salad leaf. Isn't it great? <laughs> Much better than the bags I get that have always been whooped or something like that. They've got a bit squashy and a bit, you know. That's crisp green, aren't they? They are lovely. <laughs> lovely. But again, we've got the butterflies in here. I mean, some really beautiful, beautiful prints uh, that go through. And of course, you always know that with, with, the, with a brand name like this, you are getting quality throughout, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, it's amazing uh, quality. So we've got those 20 shades of forest that we were looking at as well. Um, how about all your sunsets, 20 shades of your sunsets that you can see here, which is absolutely beautiful. I apologize for my back to you for a second, no, Jane. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's, uh, you've probably got my best side, to be quite honest there. <laughs> um, but again, <laughs> don't agree. Um, but, uh, <laughs> but again, the quirkiness of these as well. We've got pencils. I love I'm that all these. Love the print, and there's a gorgeous hummingbird one. Oh, I think I'm coming to that. Oh, hang on, I've got a lovely owl first. Look at this. <laughs> these are brilliant. Absolutely fabulous. I'm loving these. Oh, there's this, a hummingbird. Yeah, and it's got gold going through it. And that hummingbird, I've actually got a tattoo that looks nearly exactly the same as that. Oh, really? Yeah. Which, which came first? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know which copied which, actually. But some lovely florals. Again, Gorgeous. we've got some really lovely, bold, bright. And the nice thing, again, the, 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 the palettes on all of these, again, the softness or brightness, you're getting a bit of mixture on everything, aren't we? Yeah, really? and it all goes together. And, and that's, is that, does that make it, must make it a lot, does that make it easier? Well, uh, it does, it see? does, because you might look at them and think, oh, I couldn't use all of those in one project. Well, I've used loads in my sewing machine cover of the pink, and again, the cushion. Yeah. And they all go so nicely they together. They work nicely. Yeah. Really perfect. OK. Let's go straight down now to the neutrals, 20 shades of the neutrals. And again, I imagine that these are going to be really, really popular, just because you could go with these with anything, really, to be honest. You can go with pretty much anything. Uh, but really, really lovely. In fact, let's start from the end there again that we've got. I mean, I don't know how we got sort of... That almost looked like sort of sketches, like pencil sort of uh, pencil lines marks. on these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
loving these. We've got some of the some mixtures of the got the tartans in here. Is you have you got a fave or oh, got more with those lovely gold flashes? Yeah, that's another cork looking fabric. I love that too. That's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. They and look it, great at the bottom of um like makeup bags. Ah, yes. That's a nice idea. We honestly we've got so 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 many different options in here again for the sort of neutrals and we have got again sort of m the, the idea of again the bigger images, bigger prints uh, as well. So quite retro actually we got here with a lovely circles working together. Really lovely collections all the way through. Um, I don't know which one's a favourite to be a quiet at the moment because they're all absolutely stunning to work with. Don't forget uh, to go choose from any one of these that you're looking at. There's a huge amount. I'll just step out of the way. And uh, now, Rainbow, it perfectly apt. Beautiful name of this one because yeah. bright, all the colours of the rainbow here yeah. in so many different ways. So again, I can see this being sort of quite a fun mix. Just at a glance, even. Yeah, these ones are absolutely great to go with other fabrics as well, and there's loads of them that mix well together. Loving the blues again, the green. Is there any, I mean, is this one the best one to go with if you wanted to put a couple of these together and work with? Because yeah, you've got yeah, a bit of everything. and the next one you'll show is really good if you're going to get a couple of them. These are really, really, really lovely, and again, great, great, great value for money. I'm liking the stripes. Honestly, there's such a variety in every single one. I'm loving the one with the, oh, the feathers. Look at the feathers. Really. I mean, you, you must be inspired. You must look at a fabric. And just, I mean, that's great, yeah, isn't Yeah, I it? love that. What? Loving that. But, I mean, you must look at that and think that'd be perfect for a pencil case or that must be, per you know, there must, certain things must come to mind just because of the yeah. images that are on there, whether it be clothing, whether it be projects. Yeah, there's quite a few which would look really nice as skirts. Yes. Paula mm. said last night that she wanted to make a red cabbage skirt because people wouldn't see it. They no. wouldn't realise it was red cabbages. No, that's true. At a glance. But this... Did, did, you know you've got red cabbage. Exactly. You know, yeah. <laughs> uh, not often you see an elephant uh, being used in a print as well, but I'm loving the elephant. Really lovely. Again, bold, beautiful shapes. Lovely <laughs> retro kind of styles that will work with all of these. Gorgeous, gorgeous collection uh, with all of those. And that's your 20 shades of rainbow that you can see here. And then we've got here uh, uh, the 20 shades of the black and white to work together. So again, I suppose as far as collection, just if you're just going to have a stash put together of, of your sort of neutrally, but, you know, to go with anything, your black and your whites are going to be... I yeah. mean, I think these are the most popular at the moment on yeah. there. Um, they are amazing. They go so well with everything. And then they also go so well with all the other colours. Yeah. You can use the other fabrics to make the black and white pop. And it just, yeah, they're great. I really enjoyed using these ones. Uh, I, but they are, and there's something about, again, with this black and white on them, the sort of the simplicity of it, the very stylish, yeah. really stylish in the black and white. Again, still got room for some colour. I'm loving that. That is brilliant. But you get a really lovely collection. Are we approaching a third, do we say? A quarter of the stock. A quarter of the stock. Uh, already allocated here. Uh, we've got a full day, of course, with the one-day special. Only last uh, launched, of course, last night. But really lovely. Again, I'm loving the script work on these as well. Um, and even we've got our little bub uh, bugs on here, little bees. Um, I love that, actually. And again, is that, that's like a silver thread in there catching the light. Yeah, so it's metallic that runs through it. So those, any of the prints that have metallic in, they're like even more expensive. Because metallic fabrics always cost a lot more right, than right. just the uh, the print. And they're all included in there, so yeah. whichever ones you go for. And there's quite a few of them that do have those metallic elements within them. Uh, really lovely collection. Now, of course, the, uh, I'll be honest with you, you're looking at here with the Black Tag event. This is a half-price deal for your one-day special, which is phenomenal. The hardest thing that you've got to do is decide which one of those collections you want to go for. And if you can afford them... Bundles like that, go for a couple if you can, uh, because it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, really, really nice, these ones. So we are looking at a price of £139, but 
Right now, don't forget, you've got that saving of £69, a massive saving when you start talking about the quality that you're going to be getting uh, with the Wyndham fabrics here. It is available in your Flexi, so actually you can get these home right now for just £34.95. Choose which one of those you want to go for from your options, but you are spoiled for choice. I'll be honest with you, uh, that's the hardest part of this one. 720470, they are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. And again, for that price point that you are seeing, uh, a really good, good opportunity to take advantage of. They are all beautiful. Now, that's your one-day special, but we've also got, if you want to go for your planes, your lovely pick and mix. And again, here, you get a chance here to choose any three uh, of your um, half-metre pick and mix for these one of the Wyndham fabrics. And they are, again, are absolutely beautiful. Now, here, by the way, just so you know, we're looking at a dispatch here from the 12th of December, OK? And anything you get from us on the show today on this particular hour, we are looking at, of course, uh, for the 12th of December. But these are beautiful colours. 13 97 so it's got a whopping £7 saving on these. Uh, the bold colours to work in, I mean, would they match up nicely if you went for some of these? They go so well. <laughs> I've used them for the bindings, right. the linings, even the some of the main uh, features on on my pattern. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So really good to bring out those patterns that oh, I've got in so there. Oh, so good, and they're really nice quality as well. Well, I'll tell you what, you're going to be very, very busy on these ones. There are 29 options to go for as well. So the best place, of course, is the website. When you get into the website, have a little look at your uh, pick and mix, and all the colours are there for you. All done in that fancy swirl. See what they've done there? I'm liking that. Um, but you can choose, of course, any three of those to pop into your basket, and again, really match them up. Maybe start looking at the ones you might be thinking of if you're going to go for the one-day special, uh, which ones you're going to go. There's lots of there I'm looking at that will go with a lovely rainbow collection, for example. Uh, but you can choose any three that you want for on those ones. Pop those ones into your basket. Uh, now, those are your planes that you're looking at here. We've also got the fantastic designer fabrics as well. Now, here, you can pick any five that you want to. Now, there are 39 options, a huge array for you. But whichever ones you're going to go for, you're looking at a saving of over 30% saving for you right now, which is phenomenal. So you're actually taking that down from 34.95 actually to just 22.95 for any five half metres that you're looking at for your pick and mix. But these, again, we've got something for everybody on their designs here. We've got quirky, we've got yeah. fun, we've got bright and bold. Yeah. They are stunning, aren't they? Really, really, really gorgeous, as you can see, with all of the different varieties on here. Of course, the website, you've got 39 to look at, even more detail, but really, really, really big, big savings here. Perfect chance for you to get those fabrics into your collection. Hopefully, it'll inspire you with your projects. Item code that you'll require is 141974. That £12 saving, really, really, really brilliant deal. Don't forget the website, because there's a lot of options that we've just thrown at you, of course. Please make sure you look through all of those. There's something there in those designs for absolutely everybody, for every project, and certainly for your price point as well. So, uh, all the w's.hachanda.com. Have a little look on there and uh, fill your boots or your stash, basically. Uh, get all of those, which is lovely. Right, that's all of uh, the inspiration you're going to require, but for even more inspiration on projects, I think Jenny's going to give us an update on what we're looking at this morning. Yes, so we're looking at something that's not my pattern. I was going to say, my patterns, if you get those today, they're dispatched straight away. Oh, right, they're dispatched yeah, straight away, not patterns, the 12th. Not the 12th, no, they all come straight away. You're good. Yeah. She's good. She's good. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> so I'm actually using, this is someone else's pattern. Uh, this is the supplier gave me and asked me if I could make up a little bag. Oh, OK. Um, you get two bags um, printed on the, oh my gosh, I've lost the name of it. The in interfacing? Interfacing, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it's the iron-on interfacing. So you actually get two patterns. I'll um, grab the bag so I can show you. Ooh. One get up. It's a little bag and it's really cute. I can imagine this being made for little girls. Oh, You know, that's that's some really call. cute fabrics to take because it's the perfect yep. size for them. But then it's also great for if you're just popping to the shop and you've only taken your purse and yeah. stuff. You don't need too much. Got it's you. a good little size, you can see that it still goes on your shoulder. That right? is Wait, no, I need to walk this way. There we go. There you, you see go. It there. So it is it's really, really sweet. And it's 
really easy to make as You're well. You're right. Do you know what? My little girl with a little bag like that, she can pop a little piece. <laughs> imagine in it there. with unicorns on or yeah, something. Oh, yes. Don't. Don't. I'll ask you to make one. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Can love I hang it. that back up quickly? Hang so that one. I now, don't. Just while we're looking at this, by the way, there are loads of different options for you uh, to be looking <laughs> through as well. Okay, so we'll show you all those pictures and those images that you can see on the website. So I know we're going to be following uh, Jenny, but there's lots and lots and lots of options as you can see as we go down on those. Uh, we're just working our way through. There we go. So it is a smart bag that you've been looking at, but look at all those options from there uh, that you can see. It's a huge amount. Definitely get yourself on the website and have a perusal, everybody. A Sunday morning perusal. Perusal. Lovely word, underused. Isn't uh, it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's our first one? Now, now we've got this out. So, um, the great thing is it only takes two fat quarters. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Brilliant. That's really so good. So it really doesn't use much fabric. So you've got one fat quarter for the lining and one fat quarter for the outer. So I'm actually going to show you. We'll just see how far we get. But I thought instead of ironing it on first, yep. I will do that during the show because some people get a bit confused okay, okay. with it. Yep, so cool, you want you. what you need is you want the bobbly side up. So you can see. So it's basically the back of it so that all the writing will be back to front. And all you have to do is iron your fat quarters. You put those basically the wrong sides together and as you can see there's loads of lining it looks confusing but once you've read the pattern and you see it's really not so all you have to do is make sure you can go just over this edge and you just iron it on like that so i've i've, I've oh, put right. it over here i'm gonna have to go to the other side now to oh, iron that's all right that's okay it's gonna I... be a bit awkward because i don't have much room and that um, one of those, uh, the, the fabric you're using there is actually from the collection of the, the fire, isn't fire, it? Fire, it is, Options yeah. Fire, yeah. I've tried to use a good mixture for the demonstration so that I could show all the different ways that you can use the print. I really like that one as well. It's one of those that stood out, the flower one. I like yes, that. I was, de I really, there were some of the fabrics that I was like, right, I'm definitely going to somehow use this. Yeah. So I'm hoping that this, um, irons on well using my little iron. It worked perfectly at home with my big old iron. Oh, uh, listen. But no. whenever I travel, I just bring this little one because it's just so much easier. The iron can hear you, and it's, it feels like it has a, pro a point to prove now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so it says on the printed on the uh, the interfacing, it says which fabric you pop where. So there's a little sign that says outer fabric so I'm just popping the outer fabric on okay. now but I mean this little bag would look so cute in all of those fabrics oh definitely <laughs> definitely and you could use the solids for the inside if you wanted but I was like nope gonna use the prints you don't care she doesn't care everybody she doesn't care nope a, a maverick <laughs> she's been known as yep good this is the iron is doing its job is so it? then if you just Turn it around and you line up your other fat quarter. I say that and it's come off a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so then you just have fonts. to make sure all, all bar, you can just leave a little bit in the middle so you can see the handle placement. Oh, yeah. Just make sure the top and the bottom are covered. But again, that's all marked out. With fo you're following the it lines. Is, when you're it's it's so easy. Yeah. When I opened it up, I was like, oh gosh, because <laughs> you know when you're not used to. Because I don't really use interfacing often. Right. I'm more of a just cut and sew without it. So when I first opened it, I thought, oh, Hello. this looks uh, interesting, especially because they come in both of the. Um, both of the bags, it comes as one piece, so you have to cut it up. Oh, so oh, obviously I I'm one of those, open something, look at it before you read anything. Right. Panic. Yeah. And, and then read and realise, oh, actually, it's really easy. Because <laughs> 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 at the start I thought it was just one massive piece for yeah. one bag, and I thought, well, that's a lot of pieces. That's a lot. Make sure you do read the instructions. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, a key in part. That's, that's one of the things I always forget to do on anything, though. I always, you know... I'll be all right, I'll be all right. And then after stress later on, I'll finally come out to go, let me just have a look at what it says. I right. put a blind up, I put a blind up uh, on uh, is it Friday or Saturday, me and Fee put a, two blinds up. Yeah. Well, uh, it, no, it didn't take all day, we was, we was on it. Fee was very, very motivated. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. And uh, two blinds, and I opened one of the first blind and it had no instructions. I was just trying to work out how to put the mechanism in. 
the instructions were in the second blind, um, which it's a, oh. so I know. I know. That wasn't very useful. It wasn't very useful. I mean, if I just if I just looked at them and said which one's got the instruction, a simple question, which I failed. Uh, you know, but they're both <laughs> up after 48 hours, and the kids have had a go with them, uh, and they're still where they should be. So, yes, everybody. Good stuff. Yes. Right. So the next stage is, as you can see here, these are the two handles. So you are going to. I would usually use my. Um, what would I usually use? My rotary cutter, but I'm thinking because I've only got a small cutting mat, it might be easier just to snip them with my scissors. So you're just going to follow the little dash line here to remove the handles from the pattern. You can actually sew your handles as one piece, but I decided um, once I'd ta taken them off this big large piece, you could actually sew them together, but I decided to cut them and sew them separately. Cause right. Just made more sense in my head to do uh, that. Uh -huh. Right, so I'm just going to cut the other two handles off. Oh, this has not. My, I don't think my irons. Don't don't hot let the enough. iron hear you. Don't let the iron hear you. Just don't think it's hot enough. Do you want it, Have we got another iron you could use? It, it's all right. I think we'll be fine because sure? it is quite. It's, it's if it was larger pieces, I think we might have an issue. Right. But we'll we'll just go. We're for all right. It. We're okay. We'll We're be okay. all right. Yeah. And I love the fact again that you'll be able to make all this just out of two fat quarters. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to have so much of your fabrics left over. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm so just what I'll do now is we've got plenty of options to work with these. Now I've got a smaller bit of fabric. I might just run the iron over it again. I'm just wondering if I can get it any hotter. Probably not. It's a travel iron, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for it now. I feel like oh, it's, it does, it's, it's it living does in your big job. iron shadow. It is, but it, it, it's great. It is, it is handy. It's great for seams. Great for seams. There it's we go. It's so great for seams. We've all got it's... our strengths. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and your travel <laughs> iron loves a seam. There we go. I'll just go over those again. I'm still looking for mine. I wish I, I wish mine was seams. <laughs> <laughs> good at blinds now. Oh god, I'm quite good at DIY. My dad had me building DIY with him from such a young age <laughs> that now, whenever I get any DIY product, I don't even worry. I'm like, I can do this. Yeah, see. We I mean, I take... might don't always have the right tools, but I've got a pink toolbox with a mirror inside. That, why do? You... For so the obvious question. Why the mirror in a toolbox? I box? have no, no idea. I got it years ago. Years ago, I think it was sure when I was a teenager. Box? No, because no. it came with like hammer. hammers and stuff <laughs> inside. So you're just gonna actually be quicker if I do wow. use my rotary cutter. Yeah, wow. it's great. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> it's I'm very impressed. old now. I've had it since I was a teenager. Right. So you're just gonna cut out along. The, um, the handle marks, and there's little scissors that show where you need to cut, so makes it nice and easy. We like easy. We yeah, like easy. This, this pattern comes together so quickly as well. So, so is this like an afternoon's project? Oh, easily. Oh, yeah, just a couple of hours even. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Drop my pattern on the floor now. I will have to read the pattern as I go because it's not my. I still have to read my own pattern sometimes <laughs> when I'm demonstrating, especially for measurements and stuff because I'm not very good at memorising. That's for sure. We've got. Uh, we're demonstrating one of your patterns at four o'clock in final call, aren't we? We are indeed. Is that the um, the machine cover we're going to do cover. it for? And then at twelve, I'm going to do the laptop case. I will, we'll, we'll, we'll expect that without without reading without reading any of the instructions at four o'clock <laughs> because it'll be Jenny's own patterns that are being put together. I so think I'll we'll... be all right without the instructions for that one actually. No, that's, okay. Yeah, I'll hold you to that. There we go. So I'm just cutting all the four straps. So you've got two outer pieces and two lining straps. 
Uh, shall I just run through the while well, you're just cutting up? So I'll just run up yeah. the options of, of everything we've got. Now, we've got nine different options, of course, and they do come with the um, interfacing patterns that are all on there as well. So uh, you can work with them, but there's loads and loads and loads of options for you that you can go through. Um, we've got, this is the Lone Star. This is the 38-inch uh, on the Lone Star uh, that you can see here. Perfect for yourself to go with a Lone Star. Uh, we have got, I've got, I've got, I'm running out of hands. Hang on, I'll just put that there. Uh, we've also got, I tell you what, let me walk near the pod like that. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, live walking, everybody. I know. Uh, what we've got here, this is the Hawaiian, uh, the Hawaiian sampler. Uh, one of your designs you can work from as well, which is absolutely lovely. Uh, we have got the um, Bitty Broken Lone Star, like that. That is going to be gorgeous, that one. If you're on to go for the a Bitty Broken Lone Star. We've got the Double Wedding Ring, uh, which is really nice. Very, very stylish indeed on the quilt. Smart, loving that one. We've got the Black Eyed Susan. That's a cool design, isn't it? Really nice, that one. Loving that one. And um, we've also got the Tumbling Blocks. Uh, that, make, make sure it's going a bit weird in that one. Uh, but that, that's a great design, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Uh, and we've also got for you the, uh, for you, Easy Fast Fun. Uh, if you want to go for the Little Lone Star, uh, quit. Uh, you can see there, Little Lone Star uh, that you can see. So all those options for you there, 880 Four to work yourself from. Uh, right then, are we still? Are we? Are we cut? We, we are cut. Perfect. There we go. So we've got two outer straps and two inner straps. So you're just going to take one outer and one lining piece and line those up together. And as you can see, the straight line is the line you're going to follow and sew. And in the pattern, there's a nice little key, and it explains everything, which line means what. And right. All of nice. This. So really good so you're just going to take that to your sewing machine you could pin this if you want to my famous words every show pin it if you want to i'm not going to though because it's, <laughs> it will take too long so it's actually a quarter inch seam so i would suggest just going um, back stitching at the ends of these because you're going to have to turn your handle the right way out after you've done this stage so if you uh, secure those stitches because it is you do have to poke all the fabric through right so we're just going to sew. Well, as far as, I, I, I mean, these are great projects if someone is just getting uh, to grips with the sewing machine and having a go or introduction to them as well, because it, like you say, it is there. It's a, base, it's a case of it just applying your fabric, following the patterns themselves once that's yes. been stuck to. But it's all labelled out for you. And again, and also the amount of material that's using isn't a huge amount. We're two, two fat quarters and you've done a whole project. Exactly. And you can do extra things like... Once you've turned the straps the right way round, you could do some extra stitching on them if you want to, you know, right, top yeah, stitching. Yeah. It doesn't say to do that in the pattern, no. but it gives you the option. And there's also another option within this of folding the top of the bag down and doing something fancy with it if you want to make two different looking bags. I just went for the simple, the simple one. Uh, just to let people know, if you are looking at the material at the moment that Jen's going with, that she's going for the 20 Shades of Fire, which, don't forget, is part of your options on the one-day special itself there. And if, you're, again, you're looking at it, this collection here, basically, of all of those uh, wonderful colours that you can see here, which is uh, absolutely beautiful. And, again, so the fabric that we look at there was that lovely little floral one uh, that you can see with a little flower that Jenny was working on the uh, part of the project. But, again, they've all got some really lovely elements in here and don't forget included in these bundles you are going to some of those with those sort of metallic elements that are going through now obviously they are more normally a, a little bit more pricier uh, that you'll find but they are included in each of the bundles you're going to find something in there again to work with and don't forget these bundles come with a half price saving so absolutely phenomenal and of course it being on flexi uh, means you can get this you know for a really good price to start with and start those projects but this one uh, these are all of your fantastic shapes of fire that you can see. I'll just work my way down very quickly, just while there's uh, Jenny's just doing a bit more stitching, and we'll come back to that once she's done all the stitching of the handles. We've got the uh, beautiful 20 shades of sky, so some beautiful complementary blues. You've got the darks, you've got the navies, you've got the patterns, you've got the bolder sort of colours that are coming through. Hair clips is one of Jenny's favourites that you can see, which works with those ones in, comp in, uh, in conjunction with it, but really lovely ideas, some sort of quirky feel, big bold blocks that you're seeing. So there's all your wonderful skies that you can see then you're getting into your greens and you're getting all those wonderful shades of the forest uh, not so much in autumnal but more
more your springtime kind of greens. Lime greens coming through, lighter greens. Greens mixed in with the blues. You've got some of the lovely Prince retro kind of styles. Uh, well, where's that? Look, I love the kiwi. Look at the kind of thing. I showed the kiwi last time. Really lovely, lovely. Love the fruit, love the look of that one as well. But some beautiful different options here for your lovely forests. Uh, then we've got lovely shades of the sunset that you can do. I feel like a weatherman when you do this part of the show over here. Uh, but you've got the shades of the uh, the sunset. So again, you're going to get your pink, your lavenders, uh, the sort of the brush colours that are coming through. Really lovely soft ones. Again, here's the kingfisher. Again, one of uh, Jenny's favourites to look at. And again, you see one of the metallic elements that are coming through that are on the leaves and also on the wings uh, of the actual kingfisher. But the soft pinks, bright baby pinks that are coming through. Something for everybody if you would like to go for those ones. If you're looking for your neutral colours, your 20 shades of neutral, then this is a lovely bundle for you. Don't forget, we're looking at 50% savings, part of your one day special and your black tag offer here as well. So these are 20 half metres of each of those. So that gives you 10 metres of fabric. Now that's working out to 6 99 per meter of the quality that you're getting from Wyndham Fabrics, which are absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors to work with. You've got golds in there, you've got some beautiful uh, sort of browns or tomonal colors coming through, uh, some creams, but absolutely fabulous. Uh, we've also got, because there's a lot more as well, we've got the rainbow collection, 20 shades of the rainbow. You've got all sorts here, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, softness. Um, if you want an example, just to show you here, I'm loving that with a sort of that gorgeous sort of art splats of colour coming through here. But again, limes, reds, oranges, blues, greens, and that basically pretty much, again, I love that with the feathers. Really lovely, lovely bright colours. You, if you want a cheery disposition with your projects or your fabrics, and this is certainly the one to go for, again, really good offer on all of your different ones you're looking at here. 20 of your half metres that you're looking at in these bundles. Uh, then we've also got for you if you want to go for the uh, black and white option and this one uh, I think is it still in the lead at the moment? It is still in the lead at the moment. I tell you what, there's a lot of competition as well. Fire is also very, very close, not that far behind the black and white. Uh, but again, we've got silvers in here, we've got the black, we've got the white, uh, we've got some different sort of lovely, I mean, bold again, really lovely, bold, 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 striking uh, images that are coming through. Uh, some, again, sort of more subtle in those kind of effects that you can see, but really lovely again, whether you're working for these as linings, I mean, they're so, so nice as well. Edging, um, really really, really lovely, lovely fabrics to work on. So something, again, um, oh, I like the brick. I don't think I showed the brick kind of style earlier on as well, but really like that. Really very, very cool. And again, some of those metallic elements we looked at here uh, that's in with, that, with the honeybee, for example, uh, just so you can see how that works. So 720470, if you'd like to go for these ones, it is a brilliant offer with a 50% saving on this one, basically. It is available on your flex. It's two payments again, £34.95 pence that you can go for, 720470. Massive, massive saving on that one one of almost £70, half price. Really good time to go for those. Uh, we've also got the planes that work really, really nicely, again, if you're going to go for the one-day special. Now, here there's 29 options. You can choose any three uh, for just under £14 on those. So absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect combination to go with. You'll find the colours. Have a look at those on your uh, one-day special, but then you find those ones that are going to complement whichever one of those collections you're going to go with and uh, find the right colour for you. Proving really, really busy for these, actually, the pick and mix. So make sure you get hold of your one before your colour is sold out. Um, a really lovely deal. 746359. We have got some other patterns on the show also, uh, if I, I can tell you right now, uh, but we've got some really lovely, I'll just place these down here for a second actually, um, but and we are going to be uh, looking at these a little bit later on, uh, starting actually at four o'clock we've got the machine cover pattern uh, to go with and that's going to be at uh, four o'clock uh, then uh, Jenny's going to be showing that of course uh, working with it as well so again if you like your um, your paper your paper piecing early in the morning your paper piecing uh, then of course all yours will come with that included in the kits to work from again really good brilliant price 9.99 for a lovely project for that one uh, which is absolutely lovely and that's if you want to go for the pattern alone if you want to go with the paper uh, piece is it's 18.99 for all those elements to be included that's 852530 
Uh, working the way down, uh, again, also designed by Jenny for you, if you want to go for the abstract crown cushion. Have you, are you doing, when are you do, working on this one? So I've done the cushion, I did the cushion last night. Did you do it last night? Yeah. Uh, so what was that, the 8 o'clock show, was that? Was... Uh, the, yes, the cushion was the last show, uh, yeah. So again, you better catch on 999 if you want to go for the actual pattern itself, 644969. If you want it with all your paper piecing included in there as well, 979206, that's 19 pounds and 49 pence. It was on at 8 o'clock last night. Now then, also we got the big one. <sighs> Trying to make it sort of dramatic without coffee. The big one. The storage bucket. This is a brilliant project and really, really popular. Now the pattern itself, 60% is already gone. It's only 9.99 for such a big project. 369.682. Have you demonstrated that one? It was that the um, launch? Yes, yes. I did that First, first thing. First up, yeah. Uh, so you only catch that one if you want to launch on that one. Uh, but again, really, really busy for that one. Only nine ninety nine. Uh, now then, uh, I'm sure this is. Have you you're not demonstrated? Did you do this one? At I 12? am doing that at twelve. At twelve o'clock. Yeah. Um, that I'm sure is going to be very, very popular. That one. If you want to go for that one for the pattern, it's nine ninety nine seven double six. Five eight zero. Now, who doesn't have a laptop or something that, again, has some electronic device? Perfect project to work with. What a lovely idea for a Christmas gift for someone. Uh, I'm sure that would be really, really, really well received. Now, if you can't choose, how about going for a pick and mix? Any two that you want of those four for yourself there that you can look at. These are your designs you can pick any two from for that one at £15.98. So you are looking at a saving of 20%, of course, with your Black Tag events on the offer. That's a £4 saving 946591 Right then, uh, how are we doing, Jenny, on our... Uh, we left we you with the... We are doing straps. absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the worst part, aren't I? I've got one... Um, oh, is it, oh, I've okay, done so one you're strap, them so I'm just pulling them through. I've got, a, um, I've got a safety pin attached to the end, and I'm just pulling the last one through. I got over halfway <laughs> with the last one. Should be done by now. The safety pin came undone. Oh, no. So I had to pull it all the way back because oh, no. the safety pin was poking the fabric. Okay. So I was just, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, no. The perils. Didn't I say to you before the show, I said, this is the bit that's going to take the longest. It's, that's, it's all right. It's, I think you're doing You're doing. Yep. I'm nearly there. I can, I can definitely feel that we are near the end of that. We are. We're there, there. Look at that. Yeah. I think that was pretty good timing. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well done you. Yeah, well, well done you. You did all the hard work there. <laughs> Apart I was from just I've doing got the my safety pin stuck now. Right, so the next stage you need to do is you need to roll your seams and just get this, just roll it so that you get it nice and flat and give it a good press. You want to try and roll your seams so the outer fabric is over. So this is when it's nice to, once you've done this, is to top stitch down the sides. Okay. Just to keep that lining and the outer piece nice and straight. This is going to look a lovely project because that, that material, again, those two complement. Are, are they both, I'm trying to find the one, that the yellow one you got on there. Is, is that also from the... Yeah, it's from the fire. It's probably tucked behind one. Yeah, I found, because I found the... I definitely saw it earlier. It's the. Um, it looks like um, a plat. It looks like a plat. plat. It's quite solid. I yellow. Will find it. I will find it. Because it's a lovely. It complements it beautifully. Ah, oh, there we in. are. Isn't it? There we are. Yes. Those two. You've got it. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Because again, with the little leaves that are going, the petals that are working through with it. Um, but again, uh, for a project like this, really bright, cheery kind of feel to the project. Oh yeah, with this particular pack, you could well with all the patterns that are available today, yeah. you can just use any and you can do double. So usually for shows, I tend to only make one of everything do you? Yeah. and then do the demonstration. But for this, other than the machine cover because it's large, yeah. I made two cushions, two laptop bags, two <laughs> buckets, because I couldn't pick. No, right. I just wanted to use all the no, fabrics. they are gorgeous. So I ended up making loads. You've, you've been busy. I have. Gave myself more work than I needed to, but I just thought it would look great <laughs> they having are, all the they different do look options. Lovely. They really do. Right, so we have come so far. We have done the straps. 
Right, so you're going to keep this in place. You just need to cut along these two lines. So don't cut the two pieces of uh, the two bag, the front and the back apart. You just want to trim off this excess oh, right, bit yeah. of um, interfacing. So don't Again, get trigger happy. Yeah, because I thought, oh, I'm going to need to... I'll have to take both apart, but you don't. You sew them all as one piece. Which is a lot easier. Well, it is, yeah. Yeah. It did confuse me a little bit when I looked. I was like, oh, I'm not <laughs> used to doing that. Work? Well, Well, yeah, because I, I always make bags with two pieces apart. Right, right. But there again, I, I don't tend to use the, uh, the interfacing, so great idea. Yeah, nice and simple. It's... Right. But again, I think, like you say, for, for, for beginners, one of those projects, well, it, I think if you can see it laid out in front of you and your material is attached to that and you just, and it, you know exactly where you are cutting and, and the pieces and it's all measured out for you and your job's done, it's just a case of... Well, yeah, that, that, together, that is the good thing, it. measurement. Yeah. You don't have to, all you have to do is cut your uh, half metres right. in half. And that's it. Yeah, and then you've got your two pieces and then Ready it's to just go. cut and sew. Right. So, I'm just going to have to remember which way to put this. Right, so you've got... Am I... Do I, I need it this way up? That's why I'm getting confused. Here we go. So your lining piece and your outer piece, and you're <laughs> going to get your straps now, and you're going <clears> to... <throat> if you can see, we need to come in here. If you can see these, uh, they're like little squares here. So you've got four of them oh, going yeah. down. Yep. That is where you're going to put your handles. Oh, okay. So nice you're just going to use them like so. And believe I do need to pin these right now. Well, let's pin. And now they're going to move. So let's just pin these like this. And then you're going to... Take it round, being careful not to twist it. So it's like everything, right sides, so it's the lining right sides together. Yeah. But again, all, all marked out, all there for you on all the All marked out. Like I said, my straps are looking a little bit dodgy, but I would have spent longer ironing them really nicely. Maybe even using a little bit of steam if they've got wrinkled from oh, pushing okay. it all through. <clears throat> okay. And then top stitch down both sides of the of the straps just mm. to make them look really, really nice. But again, I suppose that's a nice thing about projects like this because if you do want to embellish it in your own, any certain little techniques you want to add on to it, you know, you 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 can do that because yes. you've got the basics are there. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> right. So the next step is what are we going to do? We are going to. <laughs> <laughs> this is we the thing when it's not your pattern. Yeah. You are going to take your outer piece over the top here. As you can see, you left a little gap that there was no fabric. Let me open that up so you can see if you didn't notice before. You can see here that there is no fabric there. That's all right because that's going to be sewn into the seam. Got so you. there's another, a different kind of dotted line in between those fabrics. And you just want to fold across that line. Oh, right, yeah. Actually, um, I said that the line guide, the dotted line guide and stuff was in the pattern. No, it's actually on the, uh, the, oh, the interfacing. Right. Yes. So you're just going to pin around here. Keep those pieces together nicely because obviously they've got the bulk of the handles in there as well i really do like the design of these ones i think these are look, look, they are cute little bags aren't they? oh they are really great gifts like i said they do come together really really quickly yeah, as well they're, they're, they're smart there's bag. not many more stages at all left now and don't forget, you do get with the uh, with the kit for these ones. You get enough to make two bags as well with it, like you see in this one. So you can see, uh, it says there in less than thirty minutes. Yeah. It, oh well, the handles might prove a little bit more. <laughs> that's 
that's what, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could be a little bit longer. I than actually the think you could definitely make it if you just don't include turning the handles, unless you've got an absolutely amazing knack and you turn handles really easily, then it's not yeah. a problem, is it? I'm just not very good at turning handles. Right, so I've put those together. And I'm just looking for the mark that I want to leave undone for turning. Let me have a look on it. And in a second, we'll have to have a little look because we've had an email asking about the um, big one storage bucket as well. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll have a little look at uh, uh, what, because I know we've got a couple behind Jenny, which... Uh, sure. Are you okay? Just grab one and show. Yeah, show of is course. that all right? So yeah. someone was asking about the uh, the big one, uh, the storage bucket. But these are two that you put together. I really like these. I yeah. think these are great. So they fit perfectly inside the cube storage systems that you can get from different retailers. Yes. Yeah, so they fit perfectly in those. Oh, right. Um, and then this one's full of wool. Nice. So they are. they're great for toys, anything. That, and that's the actual just, size, isn't it, that we are getting? That's yes, the, yeah, that's yeah. the size that you'll that make. Brilliant. Yeah, and it just... Yeah, I think they are great, you know. Bundles. It's a, a perfect, again, if you're, if you're a children's room and you've got like little toys, soft toys, yep. uh, things that might go in there, or even some of those plastic bricks that go together. You want to keep them all in a place, carry them yeah, around. Yeah, and them it's, it's really, really simple to make as well. Nice I made simple. sure the pattern was nice and easy. If you want to go for the pattern, it is there. It's just 999-369-682. Uh, I'll get with Yago with the pattern for the pick and mix of any two of those as well that are for you as well. Thank you for getting inside. I'm not sure who sent the email, but thank Oh, Claire. Thank you, Claire. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, lovely. Right. I feel like I've gone a bit ahead of myself. Oh. So. It's the do you iron. know what? It'll be all right. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll Come be on. fine. Be fine. So we're going to sew down this line here. So it's where you have trapped the, oh, uh, the, edge trapped of the, the angles. needles. That's 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 why I shouldn't have pinned these because I want to take those pins out, don't I? There we go. I got ahead of myself. I forgot the routine. It's we're the, running uh, out of time. It's, we're okay. We're okay. It's the iron getting its own back. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's right, calmer. here we go. So we're just going to sew down this line here. Right. That's what I think we're going to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the first line or the second line? Oh, yeah. Right. Let's go for it and we'll see. It's funny, when you've made something just once, and then you have to do a demonstration on it. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I can do this. Yeah. There yeah, we go. Eight o'clock, Sunday morning. <gasps> I know. All over it. There we go. Oh, nice, nice little flurry at the end there. <laughs> got a feeling I might have sewn along the wrong line. <laughs> <laughs> but what is this with a bit without a bit of fun and games? Yeah, hey? exactly. So we've trapped our our handles in there now. You can see when you open up, they're trapped. You've got your like this. So the next stage is what I did before. Ah. Okay. Now you want to pin round. Now. So I'm just going to try and do less pins for timing's sake. So as you say, you were a step ahead. I was a step ahead yeah, of myself. It's all right. Okay. And then you need to leave a turning gap along one of the shorter sides so that you can pull the bag through. And then you're just going to, you'll just hand sew that closed. Right. At the end. Don't forget, you do get two again. Uh, make it uh, two bags with this kit. So if you're going to go for this kit. Oh, there uh, we go. I couldn't see. Sorry, I couldn't right. see for looking. Leave open to turn. Right there. There, where it Leave says, that bit open uh, to where turn. It, where it says. Where it says, leave open. <laughs> <to turn. laughs> Making it harder on myself this morning, aren't I? So now you're just going to follow that solid line around again. Following the solid line. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I haven't pinned this very well. Never mind. No one's judging your pinning. No one is judging. No. All my straight lines. No. Absolutely not. Do 
you just always stop with your needle down, it's easier to pivot and keep on sewing then. Uh, if you are just joining us this morning, uh, for myself, we are with the uh, One Day Special and we're working with one of the patterns uh, there for you, but the One Day Special and the fabric that Jenny's working with, of course, uh, you can choose from any one of these collections, basically, that you can see. So we've got seven options available for you and in each one of those options you're getting 20 half metres, OK? So effectively, 10 metres of your beautiful mixed fabric that you can see in each one of these bundles together on a half price saving which is phenomenal so you've got all the wonderful here shades of the fire for example shades of sky you've got your shades of black and white that you can see you've got the shades of rainbow just down the bottom that we're looking from here as well uh, we've got shame uh, um, uh, shades of the forest uh, some lovely collections in here uh, so shades of sunsets and uh, you've got the beautiful mixes down there but really lovely collection uh, that you can see there is a really phenomenal deal that you're seeing here half price that you're looking at for all of those which is a phenomenal and is available on flexi as well so if you'd like to take advantage of those of course also uh, if you want to go for some of the hashtag style patterns as well starting we've actually got for the beautiful crown cushions that we can show you which are really lovely 999 uh, for these six double four nine six nine they are absolutely lovely the abstract crown uh, gorgeous as well really nice and again we've already had uh, some interest asking about these it's the big one it's a storage bucket really good price 999 here as well three six nine six eight two perfect for your storage I mean of all sorts anything you might have in the home in the bedroom uh, even in your own craft room where you may well be but really big storage and very secure as well which are lovely as well and uh, we've also got the laptop case uh, as well for you again really good deal um, for this one seven double six five eight zero nine ninety nine which is a really great offer all put together for you and we've also got the show at uh, the sh showing machine sewing machine cover which we're going to be uh, say we uh, james going to be demonstrating for us at final call at four Four o'clock, isn't yes. it? Well, we're working on that one as well. Also, nine nine to nine, lovely project. Uh, just we've got one minute left. So we've we're got just one see, minute. Uh, Jenny, towards the so end. So the of last this, stage the last is there are some little lines that you follow just to box your corners off. Okay. So you can see them printed on the fabric. Oh, my feet are getting all jiggy. <laughs> If you can see, there's a line here and a line oh, here yeah, on the corners. So you just have to pinch them out and then sew them along. But take your time to get them nicely lined up. We are. I think. Are we about to show this at twelve o'clock? Will you show the finished piece at twelve? Or um, I can do seconds. if I. Yeah. I've, all I've got to do now is just turn it out. And then we're done. Yeah. We're done. Uh, Jenny, thank you very no much. No problem. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely. All right, again. I'll see you uh, later. Nonsense. We'll see you later on. Be back at 12 o'clock, of course. Uh, thank you for your coming this morning. Don't go anywhere because Hayley's going to take you through the next hour after this. Okay, everybody, get ready. Here's Daisy and Grace with the black tag offer for you as well. Then we've got the fantastic Scarlet Rose uh, black tag bonanza. And then we've got the white gecko, also part of your black tag. What a lovely... Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. We are the Stamping Sisters from Stamp Addicts. We'd started our family-run business in 1992 when we were importing rubber stamps from the USA. But now we design and manufacture them all here in-house in our shop in Bedfordshire. We make grey rubber stamps and we make them as deeply etched as we possibly can so that you can use them in many different ways. On our shows on Hachanda we like to give you lots of different techniques to use with the stamps, different ways that they can be used and ideas. We hope that we can inspire you to get out your stamps and have a play. Look at all the different designs we've got. We've got Christmas, we've got scenic, we've got cute and furry, there's something for everyone. Make sure you don't miss the Stamp Addict shows on Hojanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. 
Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the added channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace, and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia, and along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers, and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Welcome. Oh, I am so looking forward to this. Uh, the last time I saw our lovely Nicola, she was working with, I think it was Yanis, with somebody else had to watch from afar. <laughs> it wasn't right. It wasn't fair. No. But, but I've got you all to myself. Though. Yes. Today, <laughs> it's just you and me. Hayley. I love it. I love it. Yeah. We're going to have a fabulous hour. We always <laughs> do when we're working together. But we have only got an hour together because Nicola's only here for this hour and this hour only. And she has been so kind to bring some amazing deals for you, but they are extremely limited with regards to the quantities and the reason being is you've got quite a, a productive year coming up by the signs of it all sorts yeah, of uh, loads, irons in the fire yeah lots of great things coming up there's oh so many exciting things love it my next show i'll be able to tell us, tell a, bit us more a bit about more, it. well y people might know by oh, the next okay. show and ah. then the next show i'll tell all of you <laughs> i love it so make sure you do follow um and nicola on social media and you'll be one of the first to know what's coming up but she needs to make some space so she's bought us some fabulous black tag event prices to share with you now we've got some amazing kits lots of different choices especially with the first item but i do urge you to jump ahead especially if you like the look of those gorgeous hexagon cushions that we've got at the back there because they are going to prove popular because they always do and as i say with any of these it's limited with regard to the quantities because with any of these kits when they have gone 
they have gone. This is your last opportunity to get hold of any of these things that we are bringing to you during this hour. So please make sure you get in nice and early and check those baskets as you are going. Now we're already busy for one of the first, well, the first item that we've got for you in this particular option. And I love this. It's just a, such a kind of fresh and, I don't know, it's yeah. just a lovely look. And I love the red zip feature in this one as well. It's actually limited stock before we even get an opportunity to show oh, you no. this one. <laughs> uh, you've got a huge saving on this one, bringing the price down to 22 Two pounds and thirty-nine pence, and this is brilliant. I love it. Well, it's my caddy system, so it's you can uh, make trays to go in it. You can keep all your bits and bobs. Got a little handle. It's just a, a really sweet thing, and that fabric is actually Riley Blake, so it's Very lovely, nice, Ooh, nice quality fabric. with that. You've even got this fabulous little ribbon, as you can see there as well, which is stitched in there as well. Is this one gone now? My goodness! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be another one of those shows, I think lately. it could be. Oh my God. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fabric. We had good quantities of those as well. I'm going to take that fabric. We've got, I can see it's ending yeah. up with it. lots of gaps during this hour, which is the next one I need to tell people about because I know the stock is getting vulnerable with many of these already. Should, which one should we look at next? The Lighthouse. Now, this fabric. Tell me about this fabric. Well, this is by the lovely designer, Alison Glass. So it's her, well, I call it her lighthouse. I don't know if it is called that. That's what oh, I've that's called kind of it. you ad adopted a name for well, it. Well, it could possibly be that because yeah. it's got a lighthouse. But I just love her wackiness with fabrics yeah. and colours. I just love them. Well, it's kind of got that kind of Moroccan feel, yeah. hasn't it, with that? You can imagine going off on a flying carpet, couldn't you, and looking around there, maybe rubbing a lamp or two on your travels. <laughs> um, now, have a look at this. You can see you've got, obviously, the case there. It doesn't come with the inserts, but I will tell you about the inserts and how you can create those as the hour progresses. But look at that. That is beautiful fabric. This time it has got that navy zip running through this one as well. Another popular one. And, of course, you've got that little storage pocket inside. Yes. So if you've got all your little sewing bits, if you you can put... Oh, I just I just have to have pockets and bits. And uh -oh. I just like to... Oh. Well, with this particular <laughs> one, oh, we 80% of the stock has gone of that one. So, yeah, um, the next few people getting hold of that. Um, you're going to be successful with your order. It is now limited in stock. You need to be quick with these. As I say, not huge quantities, so you have to be quick. Which one should we go to next? Which one is most vulnerable next? The hexagon. Oh, now, this is what <laughs> we know and love you for. As soon as I see... <laughs> Um, it, uh, let these fabulous little hexagons all pieced together. I think of you, Nicola, because this oh, is almost like you. your signature, isn't it? I know, it's my first love. So English paper piecing and hexagon was really my first love, and I just love them. There's just something so... They're in an organic shape, and they're just... Oh. They look fabulous when they're done, they nestled together. And this is a brilliant one. Now, of course, you are going to get all your fabrics to allow you to create your case, as well as the interfacing or the, um, the lining that you're going to need with that one, um, the zips as well. You won't get the little caddies, but I will again be telling you how you can actually create those. We've got a fabulous pattern bundle coming up that will allow you to create all these pieces that will interchange. So lots of you have taken advantage of this one, popped it into your basket, which means we have got our second technical sellout of the hour. If it's in your basket, please check your basket baskets out because you know what will happen. Ten minutes time you will find that that particular um, bundle you've got in your basket will fall out and I will let people know because I know there are some people that are yet to place their orders that will be disappointed that have missed out on that one. While I'm mentioning that one, the Lighthouse, that is another technical sellout as well. You can see the kind of the way the show is going to go. So that's three. I've only shown you three and all three of them have sold out now. <laughs> We've My only goodness. got six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a job on that one really. Which one should I show you next? Can I show you this lovely one oh. with the grey and the teal? Because this will give you an idea of how you can actually use yours when you get home. And I love this. This time we've got stripes of fabric. Yeah, they're moda as well. Ooh, yeah, aren't lovely. they? Delicious. Gorgeous. And that is actually my personal one, Hayley. Oh, so mm. be careful when you open that one. A little dirt. Oh, yeah, okay, we can open it. I'm not yeah. sure what you've got in here. So I've got a better check. I mean, you've got well, to taste it. Before we say to everyone, what do you think they'd be in there? Oh, I'm too late. It's Hexagon. mind you, we'd have guessed. <laughs> yeah. Hexagon. We would have guessed, to be fair. Hexagon. And what a fabulous way. This is why you need to jump ahead and have a little look for those little storage caddies, because you could be storing your little tiny pieces in there. Um, I've got to make sure it goes back in the right place now, because she's watching. I can see her watching. I know. At the corner can, of my eye, I'm I can like feel, kicking, feel I can... the look burning <laughs> in <laughs> too, mate. Um, and these are so clever. Again, these little caddies. Again, different combinations with regards to this one. A lovely look to that one as well. And I like that monochromatic look. Maybe, guys... 
if you're thinking of making one and you don't want anything too floral, too colourful, then I think this would be a lovely one to go for. And what was that? Sorry, 70% 70 70 of the stock, so a popular one again. When we started with these, we didn't have exactly the same figures to start with. Some of them we had more of than less. So when I'm calling out those figures, yeah, make sure you get involved quickly with these. Next one we've got is this gorgeous lilac tone one. And this is a pretty one. And that one's mine as well. And I have damaged it, Hayley. Oh, what do you do to oh, it? Oh, there's a little mark on the front. But please, you'll never notice it on TV. <laughs> Well, we've got to look for it now no, that you told no, us. Don't, don't open it up, hey, because <laughs> the inside's perfect. <laughs> and I love this. You've kind of got almost um, a geometric hexagon fabric in there. My yeah. bad idea. I oh, know. Love, love it, love it, love it. Now, of course, with these, um, I haven't actually shown you what you're getting in each of the kits. So, shall I show you the fabrics that you're getting? Because obviously, I'm showing you the finished result. But what you are getting within your set is you will get obviously your fabric to create your pocket that we saw the hexagons just a few moments ago. You're going to get your outer fabric, as you can see, plenty of that there. You're also going to get your inner lining fabric there as well. And of course, you're going to get your. Is this fusible that we've got with no, this one? No, that's oh, okay. sewing. Oh, it's okay. It was just a nice way. I yes. liked it. It's yeah. not quite wadding and it's not quite it's interlining. Texture, yeah. yeah, it's got yeah. a nice weight. To um, it. And um, of course, you are going to get your zip that you're going to need and your zip to um, go, obviously, the pocket inside and the zip around the outside. And that gorgeous little uh, grow grain ribbon that you've got coming through there with your so happy in there. Now, the lavender option limited in stock so if you're liking the look of that particular one do be aware that one is limited in stock another one that is limited in stock is the teal that we just looked at as well so again nice neutral tones with that one with that power of teal there so if you wanted to take advantage of either of those please be quick just look at the fabric on the back there as well look at that with all the pattern pieces that is cool. Like that one. There you go. So those are your two options that we're just up to so far. Um, I think is there only one left to show I you? Think I think there is. Yeah. Oh, oh this is nice. Yeah, that's got some. That's mine as well. That's got <laughs> something in it. <laughs> but this is brilliant because it shows that you actually use these. I know. I can't wait for them to sell out and then I'll have more to use. <laughs> I love it. You'll be filling them up. I love will. That. Um, so with this one, again, I mean, look at that fabric. Isn't that a brilliant fabric with your little trees on there? Again, you contrast with your handle there. Your lovely bright white zip working around there, which works so well with the fabric. What have we got in this one? What do we reckon? Snacks? No, of course, more hex ones. <laughs> Bigger ones. <laughs> and these ones on a slightly larger scale, which, of course, is perfect when you're working with your different sizes of your pieces. So there you go. If you want to get hold of that, um, do be quick, though, because, as I say, I think we're down to two options left with those now, I think. Oh, so three options. We've only got three options, but two of those are limited in stock, so they're not going to be hanging around, are they? So six, seven, four, six, four, eight, and you can see lavender and teal are limited in stock because they've gone green on your screen there. Twenty-two pounds and thirty-nine pence. Really good saving on those. Take advantage. Now, talking of taking advantage, I would advise you to jump onto the website because it's going to take us a little while to show you everything, and you will see there there are five-star reviews, lots of like-minded sewers and crafters who've taken advantage of these fabulous products that Nicola brings to us and have been kind enough to leave us reviews. So by all means, check out those reviews, but please be quick. Now, what are we busy for again? Oh, the sewing book. I'm going to show you that in a few moments. In fact, can I just sneak it in just quickly before we show you the next item because I'm kind of like that. And I want to make sure everybody gets them. Now, the sewing book that we're busy for, I'll show you all the other options in a few moments, but if you want to jump ahead, it just gives you a little sneaky peek of what we're going to be looking at. And here you have got um, loads of storage again within these, Nicola. Yeah, this is my first thing that I created for Daisy and Grace. And you can stuff it full of your sewing bits and then you've got everything in there and it's and it great flat as well which yeah. is brilliant when you open the zip properly it sits out exactly, so yeah. you can have it on your lap yeah so if you're travelling, not that we're travelling at the moment. Well, but, but, no, if, but even if it's sat on your lap in the front and you're exactly, watching the telly. Exactly, and you you've go. got all your bits there. Now, 60% of that particular option has gone, but I will show you all the other options. But the details are on your screen if you do want to jump ahead. Two flexi buys on that one, which of course means you can add anything else in and spread the cost of those items too. But this is what I wanted to show you. You've got your fabulous set of patterns here. Now, a lovely set of four, and this is... Pretty much the, the whole range, that, really. That is my caddy system range. So you've got the large caddy, the medium caddy, project pockets, and the trays. So Wonderful. you can create a whole spectrum of storage. And it's nice because you can kind of steer it to whatever you need for your own storage yeah. system. Because of course, it might vary from one person to the next. 40% saving on this one. Have you seen the price? 
you are saving £16. My goodness, that is a phenomenal price. Bring it down to £23.96. Now, I've got the largest caddy yeah. here, and it's a good size, but it's not over cumbersome. No, it's, it's, um, it's not something I would take out and about with me, but it's good for home and keeping everything in. You can actually get double layer of the trays in there. Oh, so t with the height, because of the yeah. depth of the lid, I'm guessing, yes, yeah. Yeah, you can actually get double layer of the trays, so you can configure all the trays and, and store them up, which I've, I've got one at home with that I didn't bring. So all these little trays, so yeah. the little ones, the medium-sized ones, the large ones, we're going to learn how to create those yeah. with the patterns. Yeah. I love that idea, okay. And what will we need? Because obviously they're quite sturdy. That has got a fusible heavyweight interlining oh, okay. in it. okay. It's not heavy, heavy, it's not extra heavy, it's just heavy. Okay, fair <laughs> enough then. <laughs> it's not heavy. It's not no. I'm not going to go down that road. Yeah. Um, then what Someone else have we got in here? Now the pockets. This is yeah. useful as well. So I've also brought my, the my one here. That oh, that's I've got on the table. Um, do you that, want to show us that one? Oh, Nicola? yeah, we could do. So this is one that this is my one well. that Sorry, I yeah. use at home. Okay. And, and can you see? I've got all my got templates. Loads of those pockets in there. Loads. <laughs> that is so these could all be different projects that you're yeah. working on. And on yeah. the flip side, just to let you know, you've actually got somewhere where you can put your patterns as well, which is nice. Yes, on the project pockets, yeah. yeah. Oh, that one doesn't, but this one does. So there you can put your little money. Love it. There you go, keeps everything together. Um, sorry about that, there's me uh, throwing the cameras all over the place. But I thought <laughs> sorry. it'd be nice to say, no, that's all right. Now we've got obviously your larger pro uh, uh, box that you're going to be able to create there, your larger caddy. It works alongside, as we saw there with the first one. So if you have gone for the kit with all the elements in there, do consider adding in the patterns. There's no fabric in this one. You're going to be using some of your stash, but what a lovely way to use some of your stash with those gorgeous hexagons there. Um, if you wanted that, 218 40% of the stock has gone off the patterns as well. And again, this is something because I thought, oh, we might see the patterns again. And Nicola said, mm, not necessarily so. So she's making a lot of room. I can't wait <laughs> to see what she's got coming for us here. So uh, yeah, if you're wanting your patterns, there you go. The details are on your screen. Now, let's have a closer look at those sewing books. I tempted you with these a few moments ago. And these are a brilliant option. Uh, now, the red one that I showed you a few moments ago, that one has technically sold out now. So if you have got that one in your basket, you do need to be checking your basket out with this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the next one, which coordinates perfectly with <laughs> the smaller um, ca uh, the caddy that we saw at the top of the hour with the stripes in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to open it up completely because you have got that open-ended zip yeah. within this set. Yeah. And I'm hoping this one might sell out because then I can start using it <laughs> <laughs> and match all my other things. <laughs> Let me just do that. I'm doing this very caggy handy because I'm doing it mid-air. But there you go. You can see it's going to fold flat. Um, talk us around the different areas that we've got within here, Nicola. So centrally, that ribbon down the centre, you can thread all your spools of thread on there. Lovely. So that's for your thread. Wonderful. We've got a pin cushion. Lovely. We've got a needle case. Lovely. Oh, and that oh. is your scissor case. I have your scissors to go in there. And I've done a ribbon just in case if you're travelling, you can tie your the, the ends of your scissors in there. That's thoughtful, yeah. So that you yeah. they don't fall out. That's a good point, yeah. There's yeah. also a little pocket for a threader if you've got a little threader. Oh, oh, is down, it? oh down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look at that, yeah. Clever then, idea. And then they've got the big pocket. Zip pocket there, so plenty of storage behind those elements yeah. there. Obviously, you've got where you can keep your threads and your spools. Um, as you said there, you've got your little needle case there. And then you've got another, another pocket. Zip. And uh, then This that. is clever. Yes. Now, with this, this opens up, doesn't it? And it pops up. So you open it up like so, and it stands up. And why, why would we be using that? That's your trash bag. <laughs> it's too <laughs> for your trash. <laughs> You've got to put your threads and bits on, in somewhere. Because you know when you're travelling, you're not, you're not necessarily got a bin with you. That's so true. It's well, like, exactly, shove yeah. it in there. But the other clever thing is, is what if you can pull it off to empty it. Oh, so you, you don't like have to... Ha I'll tip your whole so no. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, how am I going to empty this? And then I was like, oh. I love it. And then, of course, you can draw that together again, which I can't do while we're holding it in the <laughs> But just to let you know, 70% of the stock has gone of that one. So if you're wanting that particular option, love this, the bright colour tones with that gorgeous pop of yellow around the outside there. Love it. Are we going to learn to be able to make the little tag yeah, as well? Yeah, that's oh. in the pattern too. I love it. 
<laughs> Fabulous. Details on your screen. Again, a huge saving. And this is a full boxed kit as well. So this, if you're thinking of buying this as a gift for somebody, I mean, this is a phenomenal Christmas gift. You've got everything that you need in there. Just need to add in your thread. Yeah, thread yeah. and sewing machine. Yeah. Um, and uh, you've got your full comprehensive instructions, so don't worry. If um, the person that you're giving this to hasn't seen um, Nicola, um, which they will do after they've had this kit, <laughs> they'll be tuning in and making sure they catch her shows. But you've got, obviously, all your pattern, everything that you need is included in there. And, of course, you can check out uh, Nicola um, and uh, Daisy and Grace um, and on social media if you do need any help with regards to that. But what a fabulous kit to give to somebody, fully boxed, ready for them to start stitching, perhaps even on Boxing Day, because it's nice to have something to do in between the Christmas and New Year as well. Now, of course, we've sold out that red one, the yellow one has been looking very vulnerable, and now the blue one, this is nice. See, each time I look at these, I like the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, again, I mean, I love my blue, and I love the blue that you've chosen to edge this one. But again, a little bit of piecing with your little yeah. squares. Just, just a basic piecing. If you really wanted to, you could add, you could make your own hexagons okay. out of the coloured strips and add a different oh, I strip see, yeah. in. So if, it's adaptable. Yeah, if you wanted to. But um, I just like that idea. Oh, I, let me not everybody that. likes a hexagon. I can't, I can't believe that, though, Hayley. Well, I've heard a rumour that there are people like that oh. out there in the world, but I try to disassociate yeah. myself. Oh, no, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> again, you've got all the elements that we saw. And again, fun colours, beautiful decoration in there. I love the little daisies there. And again, you can see there the li little needle threader in the bottom there. So a really good idea. Whether you're making it up, giving it as a gift to somebody, can I suggest, if you are thinking of making this up and giving it to somebody, I'd get two. Because once you've made it up, you're not going to let it go. <laughs> so that's a little bit of advice from a fellow sewer, because I certainly wouldn't want to um, part with one of these. Um, of course, you've only got a couple of options left with regards to these ones, but you have to be quick. When they've gone, they have gone. So you're liking the blue, you're loving the one with the yellow um, edging as well. And uh, yeah, just take advantage while you've got the opportunity. Two flexi buys, £15.75, and pence. we'll get hold of those. Now, if you fancy creating something that, again, would make an ideal gift for somebody and looking incredibly beautiful, the makeup bag kits. And again, these smaller projects, I'm guessing, with these yeah. ones. and um, quite easy to make. Okay. So if you've got a child that you want to sit and sew with, this is a nice one to begin with. Yes. There's a hand sewn zip because you've got oh, a okay. curved um, seam of there. Of course, yes, yeah. So that, that is um, a really nice way to put a zip in um, and learn a new technique. Yeah, I love it. So, um, yeah, it's quite a nice, easy little cute. project. Um, and again, the blue from this one corresponds with the blue that we saw a few moments ago. So, we're calling it a makeup bag, but it doesn't have to be. No, you whatever you like in there, really, no I've you? got all sorts in them. You can, yeah, all sorts. Your, all the little sewing knickknacks can go in That's there as it. well. The red option is proving to be very popular as well. Similar with regards to the colours, but we're down to single figures with regards to the red one. And the red one, you've got that gorgeous hot pink zip in there, and you've got that gorgeous pink lining as well. So I should have called it pink shouldn't I really <laughs> I don't know okay. why I called it red <laughs> oh that's okay don't worry don't worry well you've got the red binding so that kind of does make sense with that one so 11.99 whichever of those two you're going to go for but please make sure you're checking your baskets out swiftly to take advantage of that 11.99 I mean that is a fabulous gift price for somebody isn't it wonderful um so uh, five five zero eight three four just notice as well those pieces are actually cut to size as well so you don't have to cut those out if you are doing your piecing and stitching those little tiny pieces together. So, love it. Um, so there you go. I shall leave that one with you. But we are talking Christmas with these next ones. Now, I love this because, again, you've got a kit with four different sizes of stocking feature. Yeah. Can you make all four of these yes. with the kit? My goodness. Wow. And the hexagon papers that come with it are reusable. So Perfect. once you've made one, you can go on and use all your stash. I love and that make idea. Loads. I'm going to hold them up individually because it's a bit tricky to see them when they're side by side. So this one is mine because <laughs> it's the biggest. <laughs> Get most in it. So I suppose I better let my other half have that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, Josh and Phoebe, the twins, well, I know, or Phoebe will battle Josh, so Phoebe will have to have the larger one, um, and Josh the small one. But saying that, you can fit something rather sparkly with a diamond into the small one, couldn't well, you? Well, I didn't make the small one as with an opening. I just, oh, I, I oh, didn't. Okay. Oh, it's a decoration. It's a, a little decoration. That's a nice idea. But the second one up from the bottom, you could put something sparkly could, in. Could, yeah, maybe a little ring box or something Can you, like can that, you yeah. say a bit louder to my Dave? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dave, Dave. 
I'm talking to you, my dear. You all right? Tap, tap, tap. You hear me? A little sparkly thing in one of those. Make a lovely lady's Christmas, that one. There you go. Try my best. Thank you. <laughs> now, of course, all four of those are going to be able to be created. Could you actually mix it up and do some of maybe a couple of the larger ones rather than making the smaller ones? Would there be enough in there? Um, I... Fabric-wise, yes, not with the hexagon papers. You'd have to... I'm going to show you how to expand your hexagons. Oh, okay, fair so, enough. Well, yeah, sort of. That. Yeah, we're, we're You could hopefully. adapt it, though. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have exactly. to do the four And you can make them all plain. That's you don't true, have actually. to do hexagons. Yeah. And you could perhaps incorporate some of your own plain fabrics to make that fabric go a little bit further if you need to. So, there you go. If you fancy this particular kit there, £17.49. If you want in this particular one, you've got a £7.50 saving. One, two, two, six, six, two. I'm sorry, Kim, I didn't catch that, my darling. Oh, the patterns we were looking at, these are now limited in stock. Oh, my goodness. Wow, we have been busy. Um, wow, if you're wanting those, please make sure you're going for them as soon as you can. I, I don't blame you going for these because you've kind of got a system here where you're going to be able to make, obviously, the different elements, including the largest caddy and all of those little storage systems inside there. So a £23.96 being your price. So what can I tempt you with next? Well... I don't need to tempt you because you've already found them, haven't you? <laughs> these fabulous cushions. I love these, Nicola. I think, oh, I don't know which to say is my favourite. I think it's the bright rainbow coloured one. Yeah, I, I, I loved making that and putting the fabric. That, the fabrics, I can't remember how many fabrics are in there. There's something like 50 something or. Um, there's so many. Look at all of these. I know. So can you imagine, I had so much fun putting all those fabrics together. And the thing that I love about this is we don't, because I know one of the things I often get asked about is I don't know how to choose the fabrics that go together. Well, you've done that for us with these, haven't exactly. you? Exactly. There's a lot of different makes in there as well. So it's, it's not all one set of fabrics. So yes, yeah. there's lots of Moda, there's some Riley Blake, there's Makawa. Quality. There really are nice fabrics Love in there. Love it. And you're going to get all of those in there. How many um, little hexagons are in here? Do you, do you I know how many? I think there's, well, there's over 150. Wow. Um, I think there's more than that. I right. can't remember off but the top of my head. I mean, that might be a little bit scary if I say to somebody, oh, there's over 150 hexagons in there. But you're doing a little at a time. And it's hand-stitching with this one. Could it a, is. Could a beginner get involved you with You can. This? this is what they used to teach when we were at school. Okay. Well, well I say we. I say me. Sorry, Hayley. Oh, I was there long before <laughs> you. Don't worry, love. <laughs> um, this is something a child could pick up. The, okay. The, to make up the quilt, uh, the cushion... You need a little bit of same experience with the zip, but you can get your children involved with this okay. or grandchildren. Go. Isn't that beautiful? And I love this. And I'm thinking, Kim, our producer, this is something that is nice. Very grounding craft, I think, hexagon. It piecing, is. Isn't it? So it's you can sit in and you're stitching and you're having a lovely time. I find it really mindful. I, I, I like sitting there and just doing repetitive things I love it. <laughs> now if you don't want all those bright color tones there then you have got your monochromatic version and of course you're putting these together in whichever combination you like so if you want to put, put some of the darker elements in the center and the lighter elements in the outside it's entirely up to you but your kit is going to have all of the fabrics you need for your cushion front um, and the back as well yeah yeah and, and, zips and everything yeah Love it. There you go. So that one is your monochromatic version. And then right over at the far end, if you want something on more of a neutral tone, um, and this is going to fit in with anybody's home decor, isn't it? Shall I walk over and show? Shall I walk? I walk and talk. <laughs> there you go. Hey, I can walk and talk. Um, and here you've got those gorgeous, gorgeous neutral tones. But again, you might have some fabrics in your stash that you're thinking, well, I've got some fabrics left over from a quilt that I created for the bed. Then those little leftover bits, those bits that you kind of cut off at the ends, then that you could be saving those and actually making a cushion that's going to coordinate with something you've already created. Um, so 891-361 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, oh, I've got to do another live. I've got to go in a different direction now. I've got to go forwards towards the counter. <laughs> this is a bit of a new experience. Can we cope with this? Well, I think we can. We've made it. There you go. The reason I'm coming to the counter is the, t the fabulous little makeup bags. Technical sellouts on those ones. So if you want to take advantage of these, you have to be quick. If they're in your basket and you're checking out quickly, you are going to be very fortunate with those. But you have to be quick. I tried to warn you at the top of the ad. The Christmas stockings, technically sold out. Oh, you have got a fabulous bundle with that one, folks. 30% saving. I mean, the savings that we've had are phenomenal, but it's the fact that the projects that we've 
got are just so beautiful. So, yeah, check your baskets out with that one. We're going to have lots of gaps in this counter next time we come. So the makeup bag that has gone, where am I going to next? Um, oh, I need to show you a picture because we've obviously got a big walk. Uh, with this one, the patterns are technically sold out now. So, again, thank you. Anything in your baskets now, you have to check your baskets out. Take advantage while you've got the opportunity with regards to those. Um, don't forget, we are busy, busy, busy with everything, including those sewing books as well. So if you like the look of the sewing books, you have to be quick as well. Um, I don't know what the updates are with regards to these, but you've got your blue, you've got your yellow. The red has sold out as well. Yellow has gone. Are we only left with the blue now? I like the blue. I like the blue. Um, it could potentially be because we have more stock of this one, but this one is um, heading for, is it limited stock already? Yeah, it is limited in stock, so we are going to miss out on this one if you're not careful. So please be quick, 088088. Oh my goodness, I don't know what we're going to do in this. I think we better have a little look at Freedom Members, um, at, well, Freedom Member uh, membership. Here you go, have a look at this. Have you heard of Achanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Hachanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Hachanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Now, I did warn you at the top of the hour we were going to be busy and as you have probably picked up, we are very, very busy. Now, we've just checked, we can't get any more stock of anything in this hour. So this is the thing, there's not going to be any extended delivery, you're not going to be waiting a week or two and be able to get hold of these. This is your last opportunity and many of these items have gone now. So please, this is the real urgent moment. Uh, seriously, if you've got things into your basket, you need to be checking your basket out. I really don't know what we're going to be doing for the next hour. We're not even halfway through the hour, so I, I don't know what we're going to be doing. But anyway, OK. So um, we've got the details on the screen there for the medium-sized caddy. Now, let's have a little look what we've got with these. We've got two options. Now, I'm going to talk about these two options for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> it could be half an hour, <laughs> unless they sell out sooner. But you've got your two options left. You've got your gorgeous lilac. This one, I think, was limited stock, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed it on the screen there where you've got that green. It always indicates when we're down to the last 10% of our stock, but we are actually talking less than that now. We are talking single figures. This potentially could be the next sellout. And just to refresh your memory with the caddy system, this is what I'm going to bring in Nicola's um, own caddy. This one is not available, so I'm just tempting you with how she's actually laid this out because the idea being is if you did get hold of the patterns, you'll be able to make the little inserts. But, of course, you can make your own little kind of way of storing your goodies in there. But the idea is you've got your zip around um, caddy that you can put whatever you like in there. I'm thinking about a couple of those, um, like your takeaway containers might even fit in there, couldn't they? Maybe if you've got those like plastic takeaway containers, you could perhaps, yeah, yeah, but they could potentially fit in there. And um, you can use it in whichever way you like, but the only versions that we've got left now are the lilac. So the lilac within this one, obviously you've got your gorgeous fabric for the outside. So this is how you've got them. You've got your hexagon fabric, which is for your pocket. You've got the gorgeous fabric for the outside. And then you have got your lining fabric as well, which again, it's just a beautiful uh, lining fabric. And again, quality with this fabric, Nicola. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, I can't think of all, all of them. I think the lining and the main are Riley Blake. Um, okay. Don't hold me on that, though. <laughs> and the, the purple pocket fabric is Macawa. Beautiful. So it's Gorgeous. really nice quilting cotton that you're Beautiful. getting. Love it. Now, with regard to this one, the lavender that you're seeing on your screen, we are limited in stock. Now, the stitch and flip, which is the stitch and flip one? It's the one, the, the neutral one. That one on that the top? One, yeah, okay. with all my little hexes Oh, with the teal. Yes. 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 So this one, the stitch and flip, I was calling it um, you kind of monochromatic earlier on. And this is because of the way you're actually stitching those panels yeah. together. You stitch them, then you flip them, and you keep going until you completed your whole piece. And again, this is another one that Nicola has been using for her own little uh, kind of storage system with all those gorgeous little hexagons in there as well. But of course, when you get yours, unless you've already um, ordered the pattern, then you aren't going to be able to create these... Oh, 
through her channel. We haven't got the pattern available anymore. But of course, um, you can put whatever you like in there. You might already have the patterns and we're looking for the caddy to put them in. So uh, there you go. £22.39. So basically, those are your two options that we're left with. We had six to start with. Um, this is your only option that you've got left. Oh, it's, oh no, sorry, we've got the green. <laughs> Getting mixed oh dear. Up. We've got the green. <laughs> so the stitch and flipper is gone. It's the green that we've got available. Now, this particular one is limited in stock. So if you're wanting to get hold of this one, please, please, please be quick. Oh my goodness, I think I need to lie down. Nicola, can you save me? Have you got a demonstration of anything? I've got a caddy demonstration. I better do it quick, haven't I? Because <laughs> yeah, they're going going quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to show you how to put the zip in on your caddy. Okay, lovely. Um, so, I, shall I just... Just go for it, that's it, yeah. I'll I don't just worry. crack on with this. I can get my goggles on, <laughs> so I'm ready to rock and roll. And I've already stitched one side of the zip on because I just thought... I didn't realise I might have so much time to do demos. I thought <laughs> I'd be whizzing through. So I've stitched one side on, and these are my other sides. So this is the top, and that is the lining underneath. So what I'm going to do is a great way for sewing zips in is having a glue pen. Zips used to fill me with horror until I found glue pen and this makes it really easy. So on the zip tape I'm just going to run some glue along there right to the end. Here's a long zip, sorry about that. Okay. And then on the pattern, I have got some snips on one side. Now, these are important for when you build your caddy up. They will match to the, the, face, uh, the tops and the bottoms. So you want those little um, nips to, snips to match up properly. So that's not the edge for the zip. We want the plain edge with no little nips in there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to line it up with the fabric at the end. Sorry, I'm getting screen. So I can see that I've lined, let's move my hand out of the way. I've lined it up so it matches there. And then I'm just going to work my way down, pressing the fabric so that it sticks to that glue. Press that down like so, and hopefully get to the end. It's a little bit out. I'm going to pop a pin in there, and then I'm just going to squish that in a bit because it's just obviously a bit longer. And then I'm going to take that over to the sewing machine. I don't need pins, you see, and I've got my zipper foot on on the machine. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going. I'm going to move this zip end out of the way she says and look it's all come undone move that out of the way pop that under now i don't need to be really close to the teeth at this point because um we're going to put the lining in oh and look at that my thread's broken Oh, bless you. You know, yesterday I was doing a sewing machine show and I had uh, issues at the end of the hour um, really? with the machine. And I couldn't figure out. I forgot to come into the studio with my glasses. I got my contacts in so I could see, but I couldn't see close enough to see what the issue was. And towards the end of the show, I could not get that machine to sew. And I really? couldn't figure out what it was. And I hadn't got the thread through the take-up lever at the top. Oh. And the minute that Paolo had got, well, not Paolo had got to zero, but the producer um, and the director had counted us out of the show, it was stitching like a dream. Really? And honestly, I'm sure these machines have got personalities and they, they, they do. do. They get temperamental. They think they're just going to scupper you. So, yeah, the thread at the top, but yeah, you always make sure it's dead through properly. I'm just going to make my. Yeah, I did, and it still broke. I don't know why. Oh, sometimes they just do that, don't they? Yeah, they are. They can get temperamental. I have had a sewing machine needle break on me live on air. Oh, no. That was a bit daunting. Yeah. They always make you jump, don't they? Needles, they do. Though. It's And it's no so bad for your machine. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see I'm actually going pretty wibbly wobbly here, and my glue because I haven't let it stick hasn't stuck properly. It's a good tip though using the glue rather than your pins because again that's one less thing that you could be causing damage with. Exactly and it just it just keeps it this is a, this is a little temperamental because of the interlining on the underside of it so it my machine's not moving as smoothly on top of it as it would if you had just fabric. Lovely. But it is getting, oh look, I'm like this. 
I'm having one of those days, Hayley. Well, it's and it's only of, just begun. It's, <laughs> I think it's kind of the fact we've just been so busy with everything. I mean, we knew we would be busy. We knew how popular the uh, Nicholas show would be, but we didn't quite anticipate just how quickly everything would sell out. Um, so, yeah, that's the issue that we've got. The, as I've mentioned with anything, it is a case of that um, uh, it's one of those things that, uh, yeah, you just have to take advantage. We have been having a dig around, though, and on the website, um, in the Daisy and Grace brand section, we have got a pick and mix. So if you've missed any of um, Nicholas' um, patterns in the past, and this is nice because if you missed out on the kits with regards to the stockings, well, you can get hold of the stockings there. If you wanted to get hold of the Project Pocket, which, of course, we sold out of that one as a set, then that one is available there as well. And you have got some of those others that work beautifully alongside the little acrylic templates that we do see from Nicola as well. So with that pick and mix, you're going to choose any four of those. Um, just £15.96. So again, there are more choices there. So if you do feel as if, oh no, I've missed out on something, I wanted to get something in this hour, then do take advantage of that £4 saving that you've got there. Lovely. How have you got on there, Nicola? So I've stuck the lining on. So I've got a little zip sandwich going on here. So okay. I've stuck the lining on and I'm going to try. I should have done that while you were chatting That's so that okay. you didn't worry. see me make a mess of it. Oh, now this, <laughs> this time I'm going to try and go closer to the teeth of the zip. So I'm just feeling with my finger and, I, and getting the edge of that foot as close as I can. To, and I'm going to try and go a bit slower this time because I do want it to be a bit more accurate she says and it's all come unstuck so just so down this is a rather a long zip so it's a bit boring for everyone sorry about that I should should have just done a little bit of a zip, shouldn't I, Hayley? Never mind. That's okay. Well, we're, we're kind of, uh, well, <laughs> rearranging the cans because at the moment all that we've got left um, to share with you are um, the, the two caddies, um, the zip, um, the zip around um, sewing book, um, and then the cushion kit. So we're just getting everything laid out, ready to have a little bit of a recap. Oh, wow. Well, thank you everyone for loving my things enough to buy them. It's really exciting as well. We've been you, at designing these things. You always wonder when you're designing them, will people actually... I'm just going to raise my foot up to move the, the zipper slider out of the way. You always wonder, is it? are, they, are people going to love these as much as I do? You know, no, they you never know, do. do you? <laughs> they certainly do. I try to make things that I love and then then you think, well, if they don't like it, at least I love it. Well, I think the thing <laughs> is that many of the things that you've brought to us, you've, you've made out of an, your own personal need. And because you've needed them, the rest of us naturally will need them because, of course, we're, we're yeah. crafting in the same way as you are. So yeah. it makes sense that they'd be popular. So I've stitched that in. And what I'm going to do with the iron, which I've been very careful because it is on, I'm just going to press that a little bit. But can you see, I've laid it out so that the seam is okay. going towards the lining that way. Okay, yeah. So I'm just pressing that open a little bit. So I'm going to go along and do a top stitch so that it helps keep the zip, um, the lining and the fabric out of the zip teeth. So again, I'm just going to go to the sewing machine. This is going to be a little bit boring. I don't know if you wanted to do a well, little I, recap. Uh, uh, no, we were quite happy. No, oh, we that's right, okay. Don't worry. Got to show people, to be fair, Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it keeps happening, Hayley. I keep trying to bring yeah. enough. Well, I mean, we have to remember, you're our, you're our little business. Yeah. Um, and it's a family-run business, so you're not a huge enterprise no. with, like, a whole whole team behind you. I have yeah. got a new member of my have team, you? though. Oh, who's a new member of your team? It's Steph, my friend. Oh, lovely, lovely Steph. Hello. Oh. Oh. She's running my... Facebook group. So I've got a uh, Daisy and Grace Quilters. Okay. So if you're if you come and join me on Facebook, then do come and join the Quilters group, and that Lovely. gives you the ability to see what other people are doing, get inspired, and have a chat. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It's a, a, oh, 
Oh, look, I was, didn't concentrate. Got to my slide and didn't oh, move it. Oh, you've got your little stopper there, please, it. Um, it's really a nice little group. So if you're feeling a bit down in the dumps, come and join us and we'll cheer you up. Well, this is it, because, I mean, there's uh, lots of the sewing groups. Obviously, we can't do the social thing that we regularly have done with sewing in the past. So it's nice to know that there's still a way that you can meet up with people. Yeah. Right? And I like bats as well, so, yeah. So yeah, what nice. I'm going to do now is just press that open here. And that is my zip put in. And I can show you how to make it into a circle. Oh, OK. So, right. And then you, then you need to attach the front and the back. So just giving this a little bit of a press. Now, just to warn you with regards to these, two lucky people will be the last people to be able to get hold of these kits. Two? Two. Oh. Are they both the same kits? Which kit are we talking about with these ones? One from the lavender and one from the <gasps> stitch and flip. So, oh my goodness. There Race. you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're wanting to get hold of yours, um, be quick um, because, as I say, we've only got one each of those there. So, £22.39. Um, whether you're making it as a Christmas gift, whether you're making it for yourself, it's entirely up to you. Um, whether you're giving it as a gift, don't forget, you've got everything that you need in there. Buy your threads. Um, you can make one and put gifts in there. That's a nice idea as well, isn't it? Maybe a few that kind of uh, um, miniature bath bubbles and uh, maybe you could put like a bath bomb in there and things like that. Because the beauty of these is they come with a lovely little handle there. So, of course, you can take it on your travels or if you need to, if you're carrying your sewing machine or whatever and you need to put your hand through there, then you can do. Um, obviously, you can change the size of that if you wanted to. So, if you wanted to have a little bit more of a give, maybe you could do. Then, of course, you've got that gorgeous, well, on the lavender option, the white zip. In fact, it's a white zip on the second option that we've got as well and what you've got here is you've got that gorgeously put together and coordinated don't forget Nicola has chosen these fabrics to ensure that you've got a beautiful design when it all comes together so you've got your beautiful fabric on the outside and of course that's creating the outer parameter of your case right the way through then you've got the lovely pocket with that beautiful kind of mini hexagons that you've got within there and the corresponding uh, purple zip and this lovely little touch that you've got there with your ribbon there which says so happy um, and then of course you've got the depth now the depth Depth comes from not only the base but also the lid as you can see with regards to that so loads of storage in there and of course if you have gone for any of the patterns that we had earlier on today you'll be able to make your inserts to go with that as well the other option that we've got is a mode of fabric featuring these beautiful little trees as you can see here um, and I love this one I mean again I'm thinking things like pencil cases and things like drawer you could put a little drawing pad in there for the kids yeah. couldn't if you yeah. wanted to um, but of course perfect for all your little hexagons as well and of course you've got your little zip pocket there and of course it's going to zip around but whichever of the two options you go for be aware that we don't have huge quantities of these left we've only got a couple of those options left now so uh, okie dokie back over to Nicola with a zip so what I'm going to do is just um, these are this completes my circle around the caddy so you're basically making a circle to go around your caddy so on this large one, if I turn this round, okay. it's the same principle. For the, yeah, down. I can feel the heat coming <laughs> off of it. Um, you're creating a whole band and then you're putting the front and the back on. Oh, okay, right. So I've cut one of my um, centre panels here. I've had to use scraps because the, all the fabrics went in the kits. Okay, fair enough. So I'm, I'm creating something else here. Making something of nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a bit of everything. I just went for something bright and cheerful. Love it. So I'm going to just sew a along that, but I'm not taking my centimetre seam allowance. I'm just doing a little tack there to put that on. Okay. And then I'll snip that and put that aside. And then what I'm doing, I've got this this one is going to be my handle so I haven't tacked that so I'm going to quickly tack that onto the interlining you can do this by hand okay but I tend to just tack by machine so you're just making sure that's within the seam allowance exactly okay so I've given you a centimeter seam allowance on this but although this is a handle so this will get folded in okay. so you're not gonna you're not gonna see this one but if you're a quilter, my my projects tend to be, because I came from the fashion industry, they tend to be centimetre seam allowances. Because that's what you, you used yeah, to. Yeah, apart from quilting projects, yeah. and then it's a quarter of an inch. Okay. But I do always stay on the pattern. So 
do read the patterns. <laughs> <laughs> don't just look at them, read them. Read them. I do say, say sometimes, I did tell you to, halfway through the pattern, I go, I did tell you to read the pattern. It's like, like you're sitting first. on my shoulder. Yeah, because I always say read first and yes. then... and then. I think it's nice that when you get one of the, the kits or the patterns to sit down with the cuppa and just kind of like you Ooh, say, yes. familiarise yourself. And the photos as well, there's loads of photos within these as well, helping you along the way. Yeah, the brilliant. on the caddies there are, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, just turning over the, a centimetre seam allowance and pressing. Okay. And that will form our little handle on Lovely. the back. Oh, look, I'm out of shot again. Look, I'm terrible okay, today. You're fine, don't worry. Terrible today. So, I'm just folding that over and I'm going to top stitch there and top stitch there. Lovely. And that is my handle. Yeah. And there you go, that's going to create that handle, just as Nicola's doing that. The handle obviously is forming part of that fabulous medium size um, caddy then, just to show you that area that she's working on at the moment. I'm going to step away from um, Nicola for a few moments. I know some of you might be watching the demonstration and thought, well, I'm not going to check out the basket just yet. There's a couple of things I need to tell you. So if you've got anything in your basket, then do make sure you check your basket out. Also, it's worth having a little look, because if there's something that you thought that you missed out on, um, they might have uh, popped back into um, allocation. So if you do want to have a little kind of... Uh, try if there's something you missed out on if it goes in your basket make sure you can check your basket out with it and you might be able to get a, take advantage of some of those items now the sewing book this is one of those items now that again we looked at earlier on it has now gone there were three options available of this one the blue is the last one it has completely gone now so yeah um, thank you to everybody that took advantage of that particular one sadly we won't see that again here but yeah well done if you took advantage of that something else that I am able to tell you about though are those gorgeous cushions and these are lovely really pretty way for you to perhaps get into your English paper piecing but creating something that looks absolutely amazing in the process as well so here you can see obviously you've got all of those gorgeous hexagons featuring there um, you will get some guidance from Nicola on how to put these together but of course you can decide whereabouts you're going to be putting those hexagons now the beauty is you are going to have your fabrics all ready to go so you'll have your strips of fabric you'll have your gorgeous little hexagons that um, Nicola's going to be taking us through the process of these in just a few moments um, and uh, show you how easy easy is for you to create and reuse these pieces as well because that's the beauty you are going to be able to create this but it's not just a kit to learn how to do your quilting on the front there you are going to have your fabric to work on the back you've got a gorgeous little zip that's included in the kit as well the only thing that you need to find is your cushion to go within this one um, full instructions again and of course a lovely colorful option there with your multi now if you want to strip back the color options and you're wanting to go for something monochromatic well we can help you with that one too have a look at this you've got all your different kind of tones of grey in there you've got your darker tones as well if you wanted to mix this up maybe bring the darker tones into the center it's entirely up to you with that construction again you've got a lovely fabric on the back there beautifully soft and again you've got your contrast with your zip there and what a lovely way for creating something perhaps if you've got a neutral tone room that you are wanting to put it into or you don't know the color um, of the room for if you're giving it as a gift to somebody now your third um, your third <coughs> try again your third and final option I nearly said fourth then but then I realized a third so it kind of came out as your, your third, <laughs> your third option, <laughs> your third option is the gorgeous and um, neutral tones that you've got with this one and again this is going to look beautiful maybe you've got a neutral tone um, bedroom maybe as I mentioned before you have got fabrics left over with any of these from a project and you're wanting to incorporate a cushion to go on your bed to coordinate with a quilt that you've created you don't need huge pieces of the for those little hexagons and you could dot in those fabrics that you've got from your stash as well so which any of those kits you're going for um, just 23 pounds and 79 pence you've got all your fabrics all of those fabulous hexagons there and a fabulous 20% saving because of our black tag event 891361 now we've got a little less than five minutes left Nicola okay. could you take us through some of the basics that we need to know with regards to hexagons I can indeed while I'm trying to thread me <laughs> with oh, the as well. <laughs> so um, the hexagons that you're going to get are on freezer paper and then you've got these I've reused these so you can see there's full of holes um, you've got a matte side of the paper and then a shiny side of the paper and what you're going to do I pre-cut my fabric but you don't have to if you've got a little rectangle like we have in the cushion kits all you're going to do is place it on take your iron and give that a little iron 
And as you can see, it oh, sticks. Okay, lovely. But it doesn't stick permanently. It's only a temporary mm -hmm. adhesion, so that's that is fine for what we need. Okay. And then if you've got a strip, you just chop your corners off so that you've got about a quarter of an inch seam allowance around the hexagon. So you can turn that. Now some people glue them. I don't particularly do the gluing. I prefer tacking. There's okay. other methods. There's lots of other methods out there for English paper piecing. But this is the way I do it. Okay. So don't think just because I'm doing it this way, it's the way you've got to do it. There are other methods out there. So I've turned that first edge over. I've got my needle with my tacking thread. And look at that. Just huge, big stitches. Okay, so like big basting stitches. Big, yeah, big basting stitch. I've done a double stitch to begin with because I don't tend to knot my thread because I can't be bothered. They can be fiddly, can't they? Especially oh, when you're no. having to do so many. And then I fold the second edge over and I put a stitch in there. Lovely. Up again. So can you see how sort of repetitive it is? And it's not a stress. Well, this is a thing, I mean, we were saying earlier on, it's, it's kind of like a mindful way of sewing. So if you take yeah. pleasure maybe from colouring in and doing the, your adult colouring, then this might be another craft for you to consider. Exactly. It's just, it is very basic. It's highly portable. Highly portable. Yeah, so I mean, I've, I've had quite a lot of ladies take things, my hexagon projects, when they've had to go to hospital. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you you know when you're waiting in the hospital for hours and Well it's, oh. it's one of those things that you don't have to worry. Even if you've only got like three or four minutes to make a hexagon, you can do that. You don't yeah. need to set aside half an hour or an hour or an no. afternoon. You can just do as little or as much as you need to. Now obviously you're talking about the freezer paper and the hexagons being reusable. Have you got any that we can show with regards to because I don't know whether we'll manage to what sort of time have we got left? Oh yeah, how much time? Oh, we've got two minutes left is that all that's all right, oh yeah. where has it gone so <laughs> this is part of a project this is my huge king size quilt so okay. I do them in little panels and what I do I've stitched them all together and then I press okay and then I unpick and take the papers out so the basting stitches you take out yeah and I don't know if the camera can pick up but all the way around the edge I've oh, left the, the papers, papers in. in. Yeah. So then I join in a hexagon. Yes. And extend it. And then you can take the papers out. That's clever. So that you've always got enough papers to keep to on the next going. Kind of so you're extending your work. Clever. So with the the other thing with the cushions is you could keep on going and when you cut that line yes you've got the new line for the next cushion yes yeah so that's a nice little trick if you've got oh, your own fabric yeah. you can add another strip when you cut that in half mm -hmm. you've got your straight line for the next one as long as you've done about two rows of it you've got your next line i love that idea so. Lots of hints and tips there from Nicola. You can see why it makes sense to join her with her Facebook group. Don't forget, Daisy and Grace are quilters, is it? Quilters? Yeah, there's either Daisy and Grace okay. or, and then there's Daisy and Grace quilters. So Lovely. both of me. <laughs> Thank you. And we're going to see you in the new year next? No, I'm back at the end of, the, of December. Oh, are you? Fabulous. Look and that's to. exciting. So what date do we need to look out for? It's the last Sunday of December. Perfect. We will look out for that one yeah. then. I think that's about the 27th. Think, something, something like that. Like that. 26th, I think, is Boxing Day. I think that's a Saturday, so I think it might be the 27th. We yeah. will look it up in the schedule. We'll have a fabulous Thank Christmas you. in the meantime. Thank you, Hayden. Um, and and everyone, uh, again, sadly, we've only got the one hour with Nicola, so please don't look at the schedule thinking, right, I'm going to catch her later on. You can't, you're too late. But, of course, you can go back and watch this show on Rewind, although pretty much most of the things have sold out. But don't forget, if you're wanting to make your hexagon cushions, we've still got those kits available. Take advantage of them with the details on your screen. We've got a lovely hour coming up. Scarlet Rosa here with some Black Tag Bonanza prices for you. Then I'll be joining you with White Gecko. Again, more Black Tag events prices. And then we're back with a one-day special. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque. And we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good 
that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journaling, join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Flexi order has arrived at Hochanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hi, I'm Julie and I'm Paula and together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello everybody, I hope everybody is well. How's your morning been so far? I hope you've had a lovely, lovely day. It's a good, good morning for you, I, I hope. It's uh, probably still a bit cold outside. The temperature's dropped, but it's warm here in the kitchen um, because I've got uh, lovely Julie with me as well for us as well on the other side there. Socially distanced, nice and safe. 
It's all good. How are you this morning? I'm very well, thank you. A bit rushed, but we got there. It's a, yeah, yeah, bu yeah busy. Have you, we thought you... we were going to have to dive into that preview show, didn't you? It was fantastic? all busy, busy, busy. Crikey. It's busy. It really is. It's a very, very, very busy weekend and uh, really busy shows. And I expect this one to be exactly the same as well because we got some really fantastic pieces for you here. And the first time I've seen these that work together as well, so you can get to get really build a brilliant project. I'll show, I'll show you the first piece here, but Maybe I wonder with uh, uh, Judy if it's worth just giving a sort of an initial over sort of uh, overview really of what we're going to be getting with regards to this and about how it extends to the products we've got on the council as well. Yep. Well, it's a set of 14 dies that give you an open book with lovely open trellising which you can put all your gems and your pearls on. I'm going to go through everything in detail when you get of to course me. We are, absolutely. But basically it's a lovely open book that you can put all your projects on. So if you're fed up of doing cards, just cards, yeah. I need somewhere else to pop my projects. That's the perfect page on, on those pages. There we are. All your parchment craft, even little watercolours, your prints, your dies, your punches. You've got a page now to put them on. And, I mean, the occasions that you can do these for, well, it's never ending. No, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, the world's your oyster with all of these. And, and what is such a pretty die? Yeah. Such a pretty, pretty it die is, to and work it, with. It's so easy to run through your machine and then you get creating on top of those dies. But again, for, for all sorts, but I mean, we've got seasonal ones here, you know, with Christmas, obviously, to sort of work with. But I mean, this is your sort of foundation part of it, isn't it, really? That's isn't your it? foundation and everything that we've bought today, with everything that you've got at home, but basically what we've bought today will fit on those pages. Right. So we've done a show where if you buy the love board, you can pop that on a page. If you buy one of the pets and the frames, you can put those on a page and vice versa. Or everything can work on its own. Right. I, I, I love it. Well, let's just give you the details. So, as you say, 14 dies, as you heard Julie talk about here, for this uh, the open uh, open book for you, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now, it actually is also available on two flexes, which is brilliant. So, of course, you can get your flexi here, your first, of just £23.50. 436391. Again, this is your sort of crux, really, of what you're looking to build upon. But everything else will work on its own as well. So, let's now give you the next set here that works almost like an insert, but really, in itself it's three dies in one really it's that we're looking at isn't it? that price point which we tried to keep it at a reasonable level for everybody because it's a really good addition to that uh, solid book yes absolutely it's per it is perfect for the openness on that actually to work with it i've got another example that i can show you and uh, so you can see again if you're looking at these individually to sort of to work with again so it's not just for the open pages but again they're lovely for any projects that you're working with on yeah, these aren't they yes split them up and use them in panels as well yeah which which is stunts it and of course you've also got that central part of the die as well that would work but I mean really lovely additions and again like for 19.99 three really that you're looking at within that again perfectly works with what you just see as the first product that we've got which is your initial uh, part of the pages 249946 as we said as Julie we're going to give you the details of all of them here but of course then Julie's going to explain more as of course demonstrations go on what I know is a lot now that was all the beautiful rose but if you want to go for the butterfly fancy same principle arise here basically Basically, you've got that sort of three-in-one die with all of those together, but you can really go to town here with your butterflies. You can, and there's lots of snippability there. I mean, I mean, if the book isn't for you, you could just buy that on its own yeah. and use it as the panels and then your oh, trellis course. part. You know, I mean, you're getting three large dies in one there. That is a, a brilliant, again, when you start breaking that down, those three big dies for just 19 99 278 424. But again, if you're building this up to have those roses, to have the butterflies in, you're getting the idea already. That's a beautiful project to start building and creating. Now, we've also got for you, now these are the boxes that work with it, and actually these are made to fit, actually, uh, everything you've just seen regarding the show. So these are perfect for boxing up. That book, if you're doing that as a gift for somebody... They you are, know. yes, because these books are quite substantial. So we've done the work for you with this card, because you'd have to have something like an A3 yeah. piece of card to yes. do yourself to make that size. We've done it for you. There's ten boxes, so there's ten leads and ten bases. We've took that two millimetre off the base piece for right. you. So it fits And in a nicely. finger lift on the on the lid. Yep. All you've got to do is choose where you score. So that's three centimetres, two and a half oh, or two. Oh, I see. So that gives you the large size book, the medium size book and a spare. But of course you got can you. score on the four, the five, whichever, and you'll build your sides up. Absolutely. But the three main sizes correspond with the pages in your book. I love it. I let me just show you this one here as well because you've done some lovely fancy work on this one as well. Yeah, so, so they don't have to be plain. Yeah, yeah. 
Look at that. So again, you can really go to town decorating and working with these boxes. All the hard work's been done for you. Like you say, everything's been cut through. You're going to get perfect size, uh, whichever one you're going to work, um, work with on your sizes. But it will make 10 boxes for you. 750-45A, a great way of presenting your beautiful work, which is absolutely stunning. 10 boxes, like I say, that you're looking at, which is gorgeous. Uh, now, we've also, now, this is, I love this, the trails plate. Um, because the trails plate itself, this gives us a real chance to add lots of those additions however we choose really isn't it yeah well, as I say, it's part of our diamond trials range and you will well as again I'll show you more in the demo but yeah. br very briefly it's a it's a plate it gives you a guide that you mark through and then you add your embellishments to it rather than doing things by eye which you'd never do that rose by eye would you I mean <laughs> might, but uh, no, I couldn't. Uh, um, I wouldn't but risk that it. Just, yeah, that just you mark that through and then add your pearls your gems your stitching your paints whichever but obviously when you get to me I'll go through, we'll go through a, those yeah, in details for you, but just to give you an example about how that would work, you know, if you, once you've got that there, and again, if you're doing a lot of repeats on something, you want that consistency all the way through, these are the way to do that, you know, but you can add those whatever those little embarrassments want to be. Four pounds saving on this as well for you. More details coming up in the demo, 1499 684 861, which is great. Uh, right, now then, with regards to, we've got our pets. Now, I love these, actually. These are the Pearly Pets Diamond. These are the trail plates that you're looking at here, for of course. And then we've also got the inserts for you. So here, Teddy Bear, you're going to be looking at here. You've got the um, uh, Elegant Swan, the Delightful Dog, the Cute Cat, uh, all of those for you. In fact, I'm just trying to show the frames uh, so you can show at the front there that you can see. This is just the frame there that you can see. Hopefully you can see... Uh, if I play, uh, well, no, well, I can see the cutout from there. There you go. There's an idea. So you can see how that would work. Uh, so this is your main part, which of course the inserts then will slot onto the inside of the actual plate itself uh, if you want to go for those. Again, this is a lovely way of working uh, all your different little uh, additions to them all the way through. i uh, give you a little idea, uh, some of them being worked on the outside here, for example, and so you can see how you can play. But again, more details on all of these to follow and how you can mix and match and bring them together. It's only 9.99, 6.73246 if you'd like to go for those. Now let's bring you up uh, all those uh, that we talked about then that will go with it. Starting off with our cats and dogs. Again, you'll see how these will work on the inside. The plate will fit inside, as you can see there, demonstrates so it will keep it nicely. I hope you can sort of see that there. There we go. Uh, so that will fit perfectly inside whichever plate you are working with, for example. So um, let's just show you some of them actually put together, for example. We've got one here of a little pussycat. Uh, there's a little pussycat. Again, you can add to these uh, embellishments whatever you are working with, of course. And then we've also got our little doggies uh, as well to work with. So, perfect for those who want to go for the cats and dogs. £4 saving on those again, 1598 045939. And we've also got, of course, the same again, Teddy and the Swan. In fact, there we go. I've got our lovely little uh, printouts here so you can see those in full glory on how these would work. A lovely little Teddy. Uh, Oh, I love a little teddy. And a gorgeous, beautiful swan. So we've got loads of occasions marked up, whether it be children, whether it be wildlife, whether it be nature, celebrations, whatever it is. £4 saving on those again. 1598 604198. The website, of course, is the place to go to. I know we've been very busy on the phone lines uh, this morning, but everything is there that you will require that you're going to be seeing uh, Julie work with throughout this hour. So I met a much, much, much more as well. So please. Enjoy all of those. Also, we've got some of the seven-day savers on the on the show as well. So if you're looking for wonderful work ways of keeping them all packaged up, then you might want to go for these. They're proving very, very popular, of course. Uh, we've also got the fabulous embossing kit on your seven-day savers. So whatever takes your fancy, pop it into your basket. They're brand new, those seven-day savers. Only launched at 8 a.m. this morning. Possibly you were still snoozing, but now you're definitely not losing if you get them quickly. Sorry, couldn't resist it. Right then, Judy, so we've seen everything that's there. Yep. Over to you, really, how we can work with all of these. Right, well, if I bring a board in and we look at that, you'll see there what these dies will cut out. You get your plain frame, and as you can see, that's quite a substantial frame. That's mm. not a little thin mm. wire. That's not going to bend when you put it through your machines. Mm. So you get three straight pages. Now, these pages can be altered, and I'll show you that in part of my demo. We can cut them down, make different sizes. You've got your trellises in page and with a wire to cut out separately and your wire to cut an oblong, two sizes. You've got your ovals in three sizes, one with a scallop, but you can nip that scallop away and give yourself a scallop frame and a different size oval. 
pop one oval inside the other and it'll cut little oval frames out as well. Mm. We've got two corners. Again, you can snip them and make borders. And I'll just bring in, we've got our scalloped pages Ah, uh, there we here. are, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of those and let, let's get going because I've got so much to show you. They're really easy to use. I mean, this is the perfect place for you to put all of your projects, like we just said. So if you're fed up of making cards, you want somewhere else to pop it. This page is perfect for you to pop your little stamps onto, your dies onto, watercolours. We've got our parchment. Mm. Where, where do we pop it other than, you know, on the front of a card we can now put on a page. It's as simple as this. I'll get onto the demo because what I want to do is I want to show you lots of samples because this is where you're going to think, oh, that's just for me. Got or I've, I've got that celebration got coming up. That's going to be perfect. Yeah. Or I haven't used that die for a while. Wow, that's going to be great on there. So let me just show you all the samples. But Lovely. We'll, we'll run through as many as quick as I can. A quick look at the watch. Oh, We're, we're off. We're <laughs> so what you'll do first is you'll pop your die on your card and send it through. And you'll end up with, don't throw this away. Depend on your page size oh, because yeah. this is where you'll use. It's perfect for you to put your spine on. Oh, so course, you're getting yes. all that out of one page. Into one side. I've highlighted it with a pencil, but what it will do is just down here, it's quite pale on the white, there's two embossed marks. I've hi Ooh, let's get that into shot. Look at that. Oh, I, you might just about see it. Let me do a little tilt. I don't think we can, but never mind. Let's go for the pencil instead, because you'll see that. There's two embossed marks. There we go. There's Got two you. embossed marks there. And that's what you will use to line up your spine. But I'll come to that on my main demo. Let's get Got this you. out of the way. So you've cut it out as many pages as you want. Now, I'm going to show you all the pages, as great, if you're doing great. the whole book. But you can do all straight, all scallop, a few, uh, little small, all big, entirely up to you. So you've done your first one. You've sent it through. Plain. Choose the spine now that goes top to bottom of your page. Send it through and you will get your open spine there with a bar at the top and the bottom. Choose your next page, but what you'll do on this one is again, take your spine top to bottom, but you'll see these little slots here. That's great. Oh, there we go. We'll go back to this one. See those slots there? Yes, yeah, yeah. What you want to do is be seeing your work surface through that slot. Oh, right. Because what that's doing, it's cutting it out with this frilly edge. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So when you layer them up, you're not going to get bars across. But, I mean, if you make a mistake, don't don't stress. Just snip them out. Yeah. It just saves time. It's a bit of time saving, If you put it? the slots actually over the pages. So let's assemble, and you'll see what I'm, what I'm trying to show you here. So each one goes on top of the other, as many as you wish. And then because I've got no bars, obviously, one's hiding underneath the other. And let's finish with a small one. OK. And what you'll do then is you'll take your spine with your wire, cut it out, and you've got your spine on top. And that's your basic book. Got you. OK, so there's your basic book. Got you. We've left it open, but you can, if you wish, put your colour on the back. That could be a glittery card. So let's move that there. That could be a glittery card shining through mm. the trellis. Uh, a little tip before we move on, which I'll just show you. Here we go. What you do is what you'll want to do is take your um, scoring tool, which I haven't got one. We'll pretend this one. We'll pretend this is one. <laughs> Line up your embossing marks, score, and then fold it over like that. Right. Because obviously your trellis is open, so you don't want to be folding it and then creasing your trellis. No, no, no. So that's just a way. And if you want to curve your pages over the edge of the table, and we've got a curved page. Ha, ha, ha. So that's nice, pretty. Yeah. you may want to put pads between your pages to support them, or you might want to leave your loose leaf. Got you. So then you can do a verse or a picture on each page. What we've also got, let's get these out of the way here. We've got our, I'll give you a bigger page because you'll see it better. We've got our ovals, three sizes. But as I said, you can snip off that scallop and give yourself a scallop frame. Gives you another oval. We've got our corners. But again, they are snippable, so you can put them down your spine. Right. You can put them as borders if you snip in there and then use these little bit off put behind flowers. So look past yeah. what it is. They're very beautiful. They're very pretty, aren't they? Those? They're very useful yeah. as well. Uh, not just on your book, obviously, on all your other yes, projects. Yeah, absolutely. So let's just move that to one side here. But what we can also do is we can play around with these books. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've only just thought about these. I mean, this book's been out. 18 months, two years, something like that now. And then the other day I was thinking, oh, hold on a minute, I can actually change the size of those pages. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I, mom, me and Mum invented it, so Barbara, she's watching at home. Morning, Mum. Good morning. Good morning, uh, <laughs> Mother. Good morning. Good morning. What you can do, and let me get the other size page, which shows it up. What you can do is if you go from that spine across, take the top, take the sides and all the way round, you've now created a different size page. So those three size pages straight have now become six. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or more. Double up, yeah, of course. You could go further in and give yourself more of a border. So you've changed it that way. Mm. If you do two pages at one time, because sometimes obviously I want to batch make, because obviously I explained to you there's yes. only me that makes these. Yeah. Uh, uh, and mum. If you put two pieces of card in at the same time, or you pop your shims on top, I mean, say you want to use an easy shim, you don't have to, but if you want to get a bit more pressure, right. when it cuts out, it actually embosses like a line all oh, the way around frame. from this frame. It wasn't made to be an embossing line, it was made for strength, but the happy yes, accident yeah. was that if you put more pressure on it, you get an embossed line all the oh, way through, so I it see. looks like you just pick it up there, you get like um, a double page, mm. oh there we go, fantastic shot. You get like an embossed edge yeah, yeah. if you put more pressure on it. But also, that's your trim line if you want to trim the cards down. Nice, nice so happy accident, as you say. It was, it was, a, it was an actual happy accident. <laughs> so what else you can do is you can change those spines, cut them out, slice it down the middle, and overhang. Oh, lap over. And then you can make a smaller one. Or you can sort of bring it out a little, and let's do like a... A hexagon down the middle, can oh, we yeah. see if we start messing about? Yeah. So depending on where you put it, you can make different effects down yes, the middle. I've got you. Yeah. So what I'll do just to show you, if I bring a little sample in there, you'll they see. They work as a, like, almost like a, bi you know, like a, bi um, a separator, a divider almost. You know, where you, you put could them, do. you could use them as a divider, nice you pretty divider if you were putting your, you know, the old file facts kind Good of idea. style. Good thinking Look at about that. that. Um, yeah. So here's one. As you can see, I've, I've, cut, I've cut the spine down on this one. So that makes it look different again. If I bring yeah. one in that's a large spine, so we've got that effect there. Or by trimming them down, we can make a smaller one. And that's the smaller page. Right. Yeah. So I've cut the page down and made a different size again. And again, like we said, you can use everything on there. This is, obviously, this is one of the pets that's later on, but mm. I'll show you, obviously, more of these. Oh, the doggy one, but again, yeah. if you've got any of your embossing boards, I mean, Barbara had a previous life before we did this company. <laughs> if you've got any of your embossing boards or embossing plates, you can emboss on the pages. You can just use all your pretty cards. You can use all your embellishments. But again, as I say, we'll come to that. Yeah, lovely. Um, when I get to show you your samples. So that sort of... Oh, no, before I move, I was just going to go on to the uh, fancy pages, but I'll tell you what, before I move on, talking about messing about, <laughs> you can change these frames and you can change these uh, spines. Okay. Oh, right, yeah. If you do an A4 gate fold, fold, it fits perfectly side by side, and they do literally line up and slot together. Right. You can make a complete trellis on the front of your card. Oh, lovely. I'll bring the sample in for that. I mean, look at this. She's behind there. It's all... Pick him up, look, see? Oh, that, so yes. all that's trellised, and that's just your spine. That's so that's without making your book. Pop it down as a, just as a panel on the side there. Look, nice the sampling. So that's just I've, I've read straight through. Can't pick it up, but there are sort of like leaves trellising through. Yes, like, yeah, going through the trellis there. But pretty. also, what you can do is mess about. Because I'm always messing about. <laughs> Cut that spine down. Now look, I've taken the middles out of that. And created a totally different pattern. Yeah. You could put gems in that or flowers. And again, there's another one. Just cut the trellising up. So that makes just a totally different, Very different, look. different yeah. uh, effect again. And then, if you haven't got time to make a complete book, down the middle, fold over, crease again. That's and brilliant. there's just, That's just a page. And I'll, I've got a sample for that in a minute. So, that's your main book. I'll swiftly move on to the pearly pages, uh, fancy pages, I should say, sorry. Yeah, just the, I'll just give you the details again. Yes. If you want to go for the main book, by the way, of course, your details are on there on the screen for you right now. 436391. As you see, versatility is key for all of these as well. So once you do see these, how you use, of course, you can change your sizes, as Julie was doing for you there. You've got those wonderful corner dies on there as well. Really lovely filigree detailed on there is beautiful. But you really have, once you've got these, you've got real flexibility to go with those. I know it's 14 dies, but there's a lot more opportunity 
facilities that you can do with the whole kit, and it's available on Flexi. So for that, £23.50, there's two of those payments, 436391 is your big bulk part to go with. Right, let's then add on to that, then, of course, you can add your additional pages on there now with your roses and with your butterflies, Julie. Yes, so, fancy pages. So we thought, what else could we create that would extend that book even more so this is where we come up with this now we could have done a frame and then you you pop your panels in but then we thought well if you send it through and they wonk you, you've wasted the whole of your a4 you, card yeah, haven't you yeah, really yeah. so we thought no we'll put it all in one but you must treat it like you're using three right if that makes sense okay it yeah. probably doesn't but i'll explain <laughs> what i mean <laughs> let's just take one of these depending on the machine you've got every machine has got different pressure as you know right, yeah. and then with this it's going hard soft hard back in the middle and then soft hard soft <laughs> so what you'll find on most machines whether it's manual or electric you send it through it'll have cut your spine it'll have cut your frame and it starts to cut the pattern so what you'll do then is you'll work on one side alone with your card shims or we've got our easy shim and that's on the website which, which turns out to be like a flexible fabric shim and just work that through backwards and forwards till you've done that side You'll see when you lift it off, you'll see all the bits. Mm. Turn it round and work on the other side. It doesn't take a lot, but as though you appreciate your rollers are going up, down, up, down, you're not, you're not getting any even, even pressure every time. One machine, which I can't mention that I use, does do it in one. Right. But a lot of machines have got different pressures. Of course. So, as you can see, that's a solid piece of mm. metal mm -hmm. for that price point. Mm. But we thought we wanted to give you something that was cheaper and easy and will just add so much to your projects. As I say, with or without the book, if you don't fancy the book, but you should, but if you don't, <laughs> you could just use that on its own. Yes. Just for that money, have it, you've got two panels and you've got a trellis Absolutely. to use, which I've just showed you how you use away from the book. But what you'll do is you'll cut it out. I would suggest not using that on its own because it's, a, it's quite flimsy. Right. Um, but I... Oh, well, I say flimsy, but you know what I mean. It, it's open, oh, so yes. it's not going to stand up as a, a, an alone On page. No. I drop all your little bits of, or pick it up off your glue, and then layer it over the top like that, and then add it to it. I mean, just that alone, look white on white, it's it immediately beautiful. makes it look embossed but I mean you think you could use that as a stencil you could stencil it through on one page so you've got the soft image on one page then on the top page you've got the corresponding um, solid piece yes you could put acetate on the back of your acetate pens oh, that's nice idea, windows yeah. and somebody said bend it round you could go round a wine bottle oh make like a tube around a wine bottle and then 10 22 a.m the and first I've mentioned mention wine. of alcohol so well sorry done. it's one of those days you win <laughs> i'll say candle then yes go with Shall candle. we will go Let's with go candle with a, yes wine <laughs> wine <laughs> champagne there we go yeah well actually i mean just imagine though if you've got like somebody's fantastic like 50 60 21st birthday you give them the card yeah yeah and then the matching add around that around the champagne bottle so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> That's that. yeah. Let me bring some samples in because Come this is on, where yeah, this see, is where people are these. going to, to look at this. So let's stay with the fancy pages just for now. So as you can see, if we go to our overhead, I've snipped them up. I've put glitter over the top. You can just about pick out there. That's the uh, the corner. Now I've snipped it up and made a border. Just oh, emboss right, the yes. emboss on your straight pages. Just make all Straight your different that's effects. That's very pretty. So that's all your embossing folders mm. that have come back into play. Your glitter cards that have come back into play. There it is, just as a panel. I mean, just simple. That's nice. And then using the frames that I'm going to show you, perfect placement for your pearls. This is one that I've softly covered, coloured with the dyes. Oh, that's lovely. And then all your laces. Let's make it even bigger. Mm. Bring your laces in. And your flowers. Oh, there we go. There's another panel. Uh, wow. And finally, there's another one. So, depending ah. on the colours you're using, they all look so different. So, let's take those to one side and let's bring in these because this is where I can show you all the different things that you can do. Yeah. So, you saw I mentioned cutting away the oval. So, I've given myself an oval frame out of that one there. Lift that up there. Ah, uh, yes. So, look past what you initially see with these. Let's bring one in there. Now, heartfelt creations. I adore Beautiful. these flowers. Did loads of these. Barbara, I mean, just loves them. Got loads in a box. What can we do? Let's stick them on a page. Mm. So all of your flowers, whichever company or, or designs that you use, there's the corner. 
I've made that as a oh, border. Oh, trimmed off, yeah. And I've trimmed a bit off there just to make it a border rather than a mm. corner. I've put um, pads under that, so that's quite oh, solid. Oh, okay, yeah. But you can just see the corner peeping out from there. Now, this is the love board that I'm going to be showing you shortly. That's on one of the pages. And there's the border from it. Now, we've got our babies. Uh, I've dropped the yeah. pearls in the middle of the trellis in there instead of on the top. We've got weddings, which hopefully we'll be able to have quite a few of those oh, next year, yeah. fingers crossed. So I've used our easy mat, which is on your website. It's not on the show today, but that's where you help to recover uh, and make frames out of your card. Got you. Christmas is coming. Ah. So here's your Christmas cards. And these are so quick to make. And mm. I mean, this is just peel off gems. That was off one of our other boards, our Noel plate. Now, your 12 by 12 cards. Now, unless you're doing scrapbook, you lose your print, don't you? Right. Whereas now you can carry your print across. I mean, you had a sample over there. Mm. That might have had, like, trees and the rest of the deer on there, but you could have carried that image straight yes, across both yeah. pages. And another one, cut up your gardening wow. books or your um, cookbooks or your maps. Anybody who's got that interest in a book... Yeah. I love that. List your charity shops <laughs> and your car booths. Oh, yes. Get your big books and make your pages out of that. Small book. Don't have to do large. You can go for little. No, no. I mean, just do all the little pages together. Absolutely. Yep. And again, just to show you the difference between the two, there's the same image. And again, these are on our website. I think we had these on last show or the show before. I can't. I mean, I'm losing the plot. I don't know where we are. <laughs> You're busy. Um, but we've got a half fold one, but the same thing done in a book. So it just depends what you're doing as to how this will look. I mean, we've got we've got it done as oh, the stand card. a small one, as nice. a little easel card. Oh, that's nice. So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> Let's fold them in half. It doesn't have to be an open book. And this is where I got the idea of cutting the spines down. Yeah. I'd done it for this book. Let's put him the right way up. I did it for this book. I thought, overlap. And then I thought, actually, I can do the same as right. an open book. And that's where my idea came back to me again. But cut them, slide them over and make it internal pages. That's lovely, yes. Again, we've got Great a Christmassy idea. one. These were on the last show. These are your pockets. But again, you've used your book as your base to make your books. And finally, and this was one that Barbara did, we've got a book made into a handbag. Uh, oh, that's nice. And all that is, is one page and then half a page stuck to it and flipped over. Makes sense and when you do it. See, so there's your one page. There's your spine look. And then add it on. And then add it on. So you can make that's a book. That's brilliant. So, it's not just a book. Look no. past what it is, but I mean, you'll be able to bring all of your crafts completely yeah. into this yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is it's so much. Well, I'll give everyone the details again, Julia, and then we're going to get ready for more presentations, of course, obviously, as well from Julia. Now, as you can see, it's a great way, basically. Uh, a quarter of the stock has gone, by the way. The nested die set, a quarter of the stock has gone. This is your fundamental, your basics, the foundation to everything else you want to create. Now, don't forget, of course, all your different mediums. And right at the top of the hour, Julia was talking about your different ways of working and bringing them there as a showcase and framing them, which is absolutely phenomenal. So, Huge way, whatever it is, whether it's painting, whether it is different mediums you're working with, even with fabrics that are going into here as well. Whatever it is, for any occasion, you can really go over the top with this one if you really want to give it a very, very, very busy appeal, or you can strip it right the way back and work with it, of course. But you think about this, 14 dies, but we've just spent a good 10 minutes looking at all the different options, really, about how you can bring those together. So, for versatility, it's phenomenal. And if you're going to open up your flexi basket, you can get all of that for just £23.50 on your first payment on those ones. 436 391. You've got your spines in there, you've got your different sizes of the framings, all of that. And of course, not just for that project, there's a lot of dies in there that I'm sure you can use in other areas as well. But we're looking at over a quarter of the stock has gone. Now, of course, the additions to that, if you're in for a penny, be in for a pound because it's really worked beautifully to go with them, both of these. Now, you can look at this as that one as you heard of it going through the machine, or really think of it as three in one really as well that you're going to be getting, that including the spine section as well. All of that for just 19 99 If you do want that pretty way of working with it, either as a stencil or giving you that embossed feel and the 3D look on that, this is the way to really carry on that theme with whatever your project demands. 249 946 only 19 99 And again, just to give you a little idea, let's say you're using it just actually from a, from a framed piece onto a normal 
normal card that you might be working with. Again, you can see for that beautiful feel that you get from the roses. Gorgeous for weddings, for special occasions uh, that you're looking at. You know, it really does bring that high-end appeal to all of that. And if you work that again actually onto the page itself with that central spine section in there, again, really lovely, lovely finishing touch. Gorgeous celebratory pieces. 249946 if you want to go for the double page and that's actually for the beautiful roses now same works again if you are looking for regarding to the butterfly because again exactly the same three in one really but you're getting the quality of that and all those lovely details that you can embellish with your little pearl accents that you might be working with again um, but again works beautifully when you start bringing the butterfly into play uh, with everything you're looking at so it's a stunning 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 way of really going to town with these projects you know once you've got these these are these are continually you're going to be finding ways of working with all of these that you bring into all of your your projects. Uh, gorgeous this, the open book die. 278424. Again, under £20 for all of that. Now, if you are making these for, and, and sending these as a real kind of a, a special occasion or for, for projects, imagine having something like that and then having it sent through and being put together as part of a project that you might want to finish off with these fabulous boxes. Now, these boxes that you're going to be getting uh, from the Pearly Pages, these are the extra large box board. So it's already done for you. So you're going to be bottom, middle, the bottom sections are already cut away two mils uh, shorter so that absolutely you're going to get your top and bottom is going to fit brilliantly together. And you can make three different sizes, just dependent on where you add your score lines. But everything else is done for you. The cutouts uh, for the finger lift, etc., etc., all done. But you're going to be able to make ten boxes for all of that. So great for your for all your projects to be sent through and to be kept and stored. Seven five zero four five eight. Only twelve ninety nine as well, which is a really good price when you think you're getting ten of those. Uh, now, coming up in the demonstrations for the next part of the hour, then we're going to be lo looking at how you get those beautiful, uh, the different um, way of the trails plates of, of working with all the different styles. This is your Love Diamond trails plate that you can see here. And again, you've got some really lovely ways of embellishing any of your projects. You've got the word love, you've got the roses, the love hearts. You can see here that beautiful rose uh, that is into there. But a great way, whatever you're working with, to get you that really lovely pattern, that gorgeous shape, and then embellish to your heart's content with whatever of the materials you want to do. Uh, whether it's going to be um, just some of your little sequins go on there, you've got your pearls all go through as well. All those lovely little ways of just embellishing your projects and that's got a £4 saving on for that and you're getting a lot of projects in that. £14.99. So perfect for your gems, you're going to look at that. Your stitching as well you might look at as well. All of those phenomenal. Now, We've also got for you the plates which will go in addition to the four extras that you're going to see here. So the actual uh, Diamonds Trails plate, if I just show you here, so there's the actual plate and there you can see how you'll be able to work with the patterns. Now you've also got the little flowers on the corners that you can see, all the different edging that you might want to work with, all of that. Again, you'll be able to create all of that which is absolutely beautiful that's just 9.99 and of course in that section that lovely circle is where you place your inserts and i've got two different sets that are available for you so we have got cats and your doggies uh, that you can see so these will give you those wonderful ways again to embed it with what you want to go with whether this is stitch work whether this is um your gems you might be working with but you've got the cat and dog that's also got a four pound saving Zero Zero four five nine three nine. That's just fifteen ninety eight. And we've got Teddy and Swan. I feel like I'm writing a little children's book there. Teddy and Swan on their adventure uh, that you can see there, which are beautiful. Again, six zero four one nine eight. But perfect for lovely celebrations to go with these. Um, but I'm thinking that teddy bear. Oh, look at that. For all those lovely little children's um, celebrations or just lovely little gifts ideas, they are beautiful. Fifteen ninety-eight, four pounds saving on those as well that you can see. Uh, also, uh, just to let you know, I know these are very, very popular what you're going to see here. Susan's been uh, watching with this and Susan's sent in you. You might like this as well, I'm sure. An example of what she's been doing with these as a die set. You can oh, see here, how... 60 years young. Look see? at that. Isn't that see beautiful? See what I mean? How it just builds on what you've already yeah. got. 
And you know what's lovely about Susan? Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Really lovely to see people's work being sent through live to the studio. But what is so nice, you know, from, from a layman term, from me, Julie, you would look at that. If anything like that had been sent for a celebration, you know, you think how much work has gone into well, you that. These get results it even really more. nice and I mean, easy. You do. Don't they? Like we said, um, if you do a Christmas one, that can be brought out every year. If you don't put any words on it, let's say you put like the flowers down the spine and then trailed all the leaves across yeah, the pages, yeah, yeah. that could become your mantelpiece. That, yeah, absolutely. Every year, couldn't it? Absolutely. If you give that to somebody, it's a gift now really rather beautiful. than just a card, isn't really it? Really beautiful. Really beautiful. What are we looking at now? We're looking at the uh, where we're going to finish and pets. off with. Yes. Frames and pets. Lovely. I've got it all ready. <laughs> <laughs> we're flying through. Oh, I like a little busy bee in the background. When the camera's on him, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. You, <laughs> you are. Non -stop. And then I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> but beautifully calm. I think swans. Cal swans. Swan. Underneath it's like this. <laughs> On the top it's like that. It is. <laughs> People know me by now. Oh. So, uh, frames and pets. Yes. This is one of our range of diamond trails. Now, diamond trails are your clear acrylic plates, and we've got several. Uh, on the shows and on the uh, websites that you can see. Uh, but this is the frame, and what they are, they are guides for you to pierce, mark through with fine liners, mark through with a mechanical pencil, to give you a guide to somewhere to put your gems, your pearls, because we've all got sheets of those hanging about, and we don't really know what to do with them other than stick them on four corners of a card. We couldn't do designs by art. You can buy them in sheets already done, and they're beautiful, but once you've used it, you've used it. So with this, you've got your guide there all the time. You can put them on the pages of your book, like we said, which is why we've brought it all together as one big show today. They can just, you might have a die and think, oh, that's a lovely flower, but I need a frame around that. There you go. Pop your frame <laughs> around it. You've got a little pet. You can put your frame around. You can put your own die cut frames that you've already mm. got and then pop a pet in the middle. So all your, and which what we try to do when we create something, we think, well, what have I already got in my drawer? Yeah. What can I design that I can use that again? Of course. And that's what me and mum, Barbara, uh, do when we try and think of things to do. Got you. So, Let's get on to show you what this is. So I'll bring in my little uh, printout and pop that underneath. So what you'll do is you'll pierce or mark or with a pencil through. Now that's all of them. So that's quite fancy. I've got a sample and I mean it's really blingy. You can do the whole thing. But within there, you've got either a zigzag circle mm -hmm. or two sizes of circle. You've got corners, as you can see here. You've got a straight frame, if you just pick out the straight frame. You've got a zigzag, if you just pick out the zigzag. You've got diamonds, if you flip them over. You've got triangles on their own, there's flowers in the middle. Uh, yeah. They're all hiding in, with, in between there. Your pet fits inside, so if you, if, if you can't do things by eye, because not everybody can, you can pop your pet inside and you'll know you've got, once you've done your frame, pop your pet in and you'll know you've got your pet in exactly the right place and start piercing or marking through. But you can use them separately. I use them separately. You can use them together. Entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. So if I just give you a little demo of how we do these. So you can pop it onto your base card. I'm just going to use a piece of A4, but you get the gist. Pop it wherever you want it to be on your, on your project because you can see through it, you can see where you're putting putting it. So let's say I just wanted to do a plain frame. So I'll pick out the frame. Now I can say it, I can either do this with piercing, I can do this with a pencil like that, which is really easy. Or I can use my fine liner. Now with the fine liners and the pencils you can get the children involved. You wouldn't let them do the piercing, no. Mm -hmm, no. Age appropriate, Pro yeah. possibly 12 above, maybe 11 above, but usually 12 above. But with the piercing, uh, with the um, fine liners and the pencils, obviously they can now help you. And it's as easy as that. Now that's what you're doing. You're creating your guide. Now this is where you'll start putting your pearls and your gems over yeah, the top. Yeah. But you great, like the stitching idea, I think, is lovely yeah. as well. You, yeah, there's just lots of people out there. When we've done the big retail shows, we've had stitchers come with us. With they've got some little measuring machine, and they <laughs> measured it, and they went, "Oh yeah, that we can use that." <laughs> so I don't understand. I don't say I can, but. Apparently, you can. <laughs> Stitches. <laughs> That's fair enough. You can use that circle on its own and just draw through it. Your gold and your silver gel pens, just give yourself, even if you weren't using anything else, you could just highlight now just your little die. Don't use the alcohol ones because there's something in that alcohol with the acrylic, it might make it a little uh, brittle. So don't use your alcohol point. ones, but your pencils, your crayons, yeah. your chalks, anything. I mean, again, you could, you could stencil through that and pounce through that and oh, make right. yourself like a stenciled background. So it's more than what you see. 
I said there's designs within designs. So if I just pick this out here, I've got a flower. Ah. So that was within there, join it up with a line. I've got a triangle, just a triangle on its own, if I yeah. just want that. Because you can see where you're going, you can line it back up. And then what you can do, bring the other side in, line it up again. And now I've made a bigger diamond. Ah, that was and like, I, the, yeah, I've got that. That's the example yeah, I've got. Yeah. Let's bring some samples in there. there. So are. if we go to the overhead, you'll see there's my flower. There's my border diamond. That's lovely. So it? it's lovely. not just a frame. No. And if I bring these in, let's show you there, look. That's your book. I've picked out corners. I've gone all up and down the solid spine this time. I haven't kept it trellis. It's turning the right way up for you. We're not in Australia. There we go. We've got a nice uh, pattern. That could have gone down the pages. So again, it is not mm. just It's a great frame. for making additions, isn't it, to any it project? It is. Let's go there. Look, I've just put two there, two there, and just picked it out. I had a perfect die that cut that pet out perfectly uh. and popped it on there. There's a, um, I always go to say oval. I've got oblong in my brain, but I always say oval and I don't know why I do it. <laughs> so we've got, let's get it the right way around. There we go. I've put there, oh, got my see, dots yeah. across the top, and then I've put it on that side. Simple, but effective. But and the then finishing just, touch it gives though, Judy, yeah. they are lovely. And really then lovely. just plain, I've just picked it out. I've picked out my square to the top and then to the bottom and then joined him up. And it really, yeah. really is as simple as that. Don't let it daunt you when you look at this uh, and think, oh God, that's too fancy for me. You can actually pick loads out of this. So let's just quickly bring the pets in. Yeah. Because this, this is something that you might want to do. So let's pick a teddy. I'm going to use the fine liners rather than the piercing for this one. And all you'll do is you'll start on your design and you start to work your way around. Now, I won't bore you with doing every one, but you can see exactly, it's, it's not rocket science. It's so easy. Yeah, You'll definitely. follow him round, and then you will create that. Yes. Lovely if you want to leave that on its own, absolutely. That's really nice. You can stitch through it if you've pierced it, but what you can do is you can make this effect. Now, that looks like it's been stitched, and all I've done here is just joined it up like dot to dot really again yeah. something for the kids you yes, could do yeah, yeah. a little dot to dot book for the kids there we go and then i've created that <laughs> so that now looks like a stitched yeah. and if you want to then just pop your circle around and frame him uh, quick and easy topper yeah. pop that on your cards so if i bring some samples in again because it's all about samples i mean just a very, very quick one before I move on. I mean, you don't, with the, the, with the pets itself, what you can do, you can use that and draw around that. There's your circle. You can now, I don't have time to glue it, but let's say we've got that as somewhere to put our little dies and it's just a guide. We could put our gems trailing down the side. It's just so easy. And then pop your die in the middle or pop your peel off in the middle or whatever it is you want to do. So. It's all more than what you first mm. see. So let's, let's bring some samples in just to show you. So there we go. Black and white, bit of oh, fine liner pen. Look how easy that is. But the I effects mean, are on that framing around the outside yeah. as well, just lovely. And black yes, and white always pops, doesn't it? But that is just so simple. It's took yeah. you no time at all. But here, I've picked out little diamonds there. That's hiding within those triangles. Okay. Of course, yes. There's another one, look. And all I've done is gone up the centre ones. So I've made that look different again. Yeah. Use big pearls and small pearls. Let's bring them both in together. It's the same frame, but because I've used big pearls on one and little pearls on the other and left the middle out and mixed my pearls up, it looks totally different yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. So it's all dependent on what you actually use as to how it's going to look. Of course. And there's another one. So just put that on take that off and you've created that so you can go as crazy as crazy yeah. as you want and i'll bring my little dog one back in 
you probably heard me box fall on the floor. I lost a couple of gems, so I've stuck a couple of peel-offs in the gaps. <laughs> but because I've used little tiny gems, I've now just used those dots as a guide and followed them side to side to side to side to side to side. So it looks different again. So there's the cat, one on every hole. So that's giving you that effect look. Yeah, that's nice. But then if you, you go side by side by side by side by side, you'll get a different effect yeah, again. And I just I put see. a black one for his nose and a blue one for his eye. <laughs> so look past what they are and like make more of them. It's like with the swan. That is my demo this afternoon. But the, the swan here, you've got one trail there, but then move it and do another one and move it and do another one and then right. move it and you can do another, another uh, part of his tail. Or if you want to, by eye, just put a couple of dots in and curve yeah. his body round. We've given you the base, you create on top of it. And that's what the diamond trails yeah, are, so it does depending give, on what you choose. There's lots of scope for expansion on yeah. these, isn't it? And actually, for any size project, you can make really big projects with these you because, can. again, you're just creating your own template, yeah. really. Yeah. Well, I'm bringing in the love now because I think we can... We've got plenty of time, I think, yeah, now. Yeah, we can yeah, just yeah. move on to the love we've place. Got another ten minutes. Now, again, this is another one of our diamond trails range. And as you can see... Just pop him out there. Uh, turn, turn ourselves over. There we go. Different designs. Now, love, we've got Valentine's on the horizon. Uh, have we? Hopefully, well, over the, over the horizon. I'm waving. I'm waving. I'm right. I know, so I think but people do, start er, people do start early. Um, but we've got weddings. Hopefully our weddings will start again and our anniversaries. We've got birthdays. This can be for anything. You've got the word love. We've got borders. Three different types of border. We've got our rose. We've got two hearts and we've got like... I don't know what you call that, a flourish, but it depends how you use it. We've got a, um, I, I look at that and think it's like a little lotus flower. Yes, it does. it does, it does look like one. Easy Asian yeah. type styling. Yes. So we've also then got our separate rows, which you can go that way or that way. So it can be either or. Because they're clear and see-through, you can turn them over. You can extend these borders, and I'm going to show you that now. Again, another one to draw through. So if I just quickly, again, if you just quickly missed what I did, I'll do it with a... I'll do it with a fine liner again. Place it where you want it to be because you can see where you're going and start marking through. As I just showed you, you can either leave them as they are, just uh, fine linered, or you can pop your gems and your pearls over the top, or you can pierce a, them. But I love this. It's such a lovely, easy way of actually using all those little elements, but have the confidence knowing mm -hmm. you're going to get a lovely shape or perfect spacing on them as well. Yeah, but I tell you what as well, it's mindful. We're all into mindful, sitting quiet. You can just sit quiet and pierce yeah. through. Yeah, yeah, and you could get a stock load done. And then you've got your drawer of hearts done, or you've got your drawer of borders yeah. done ready for you to start embellishing. But um, as I say, we can lengthen the borders because they're only, let's say, I'll bring this out. It's only this long. But all you do, because it's clear and you can see where you're going, go to that last one. I'll only do the one because obviously we want to keep time see line it up and carry on so they all lengthen so it's not just the length that you first see like with this one do it flip it over and create like um I don't know the word isn't cabochon but you know what I mean like yes, a little yeah, little frame a frame again to put a gem in the middle of um we can draw through it like I've showed you before use this to draw through create the frame Put the rows in, put the dots in, put your rows in, put any die that you've got, any stamp that you've got can go in that frame. Yeah. Um, if I bring some samples in, because I love my samples, as you know, because uh, then I can talk about it properly. Now, let's take this rose. Now, what I did with this, there's the mark through with a fine liner, but then I just coloured it in with water colours. Oh, that's, and then just that's really lovely. Coloured it, so that's a different way of doing yeah. it. And I put a little dot of glue, uh, glitter glue, on oh, top right. of yeah, the yeah. dot. So now it looks like a gem. If you haven't got the time to start gemming things, fine liner them and then put a little spot of glue on that's the top. Really so nice, that, here's really. your book again. So you've got your book, you've got your love board, and you've got your frames all together mm. that work together. We bring our rows in again. Looks different again. Now it's facing the other way. Because obviously, as I said, we can turn them yeah, over. Yeah. So there's that one. Let's bring these in. We've got part of the border and our hearts. Oh, that, yeah, I see that. Just a plain heart again, but I've used both of them. Peel-offs, little peel-off dots. That's something right. different. We use, we, you know, uh, we sort of got lots of these and I don't know what to do with these. Create yourself a guide. That's nice, yeah. Again, 
dies, frames and put a border on. Don't use all of it, leave the middles out. This one, I did the outside heart like that, but then I came in without the dots and worked my way in. You could literally just keep working in and in and in right. and in. Imagine those, they're Well, once you've got the main board, well, the main sort of exactly. uh, design. Exactly. This is what I was talking to you before, me cabajoni, flourishy, yeah, thingy, are. thingy. <laughs> 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 one at the top and one at the bottom. But you could do those as borders all the way down the sides yeah. of your card. I mean, really, the sky's the limit. Buttons. Let's <laughs> make it folk, idea. Carty. Let's put your buttons on the top. It's a guide. It's a guide. It's letting you create another one of the rows, another one of the love. Just simple. I mean, that's so simple to do. Another one of the rows, as I said, one way, then the other. We've got another one there of the heart. Ah. Folk, Carty. A little bit more mm. traditional. Mm. Do they call it American folk art? I think they do, don't they? Again, just depending on your colours, you could have done exactly the same in pink and white, exactly the same in red and white, and it would have looked different every mm -hmm. colour that you use. And let's go back to finally, going back to our books again. Easy. Just fold it in half yeah. and pop it on that page. And literally, that's it. That is brilliant. I mean, that is, that is just so yeah. it. But it's more than it. You, you, you if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. You, <laughs> yeah. you get lots of options how you work with them. They're, they're sort of the working together as well. So you've got the teddy bear, of course. You've got the swan that work together. Um, you've got the cat. You've got the dog. If you want to go for this, if you're going to go for the actual um, the diamonds trails plates as well, you've got all those options that Judy's is taking you through. Those different ways of working, of course. Those sort of uh, look like the sort of diamonds at the bottom. Of course, you've got triangles, but just missing some of those and creating your very own pattern. But a great way of getting it precise. If you are working with stitching, if you're working with your gems, if you're pearls you might be working with, a great way of getting that precision on the roses, for example, getting it beautifully spaced out with love and all those other parts that go with it. Really big frame on that one, only 14 dollars don't forget right now, it's £4 saving. That's just the starting, really, up to you how you work with all of those as well. 684861. Now, there's a huge amount across the board, of course, on the website for you, uh, if you would like to go for all of those. Now, it's been very busy across the board uh, for all of those items that we're looking at. Uh, just want to spend probably, um, with uh, the end, uh, we've only got a little bit uh, left in the show, just want to go through, really, here on the, the nested die set. Now, that's 14 dies in here, and again, really like this because this... It's going to give you the bulk of your work to work with. Of course, you've got the roses inset you can do and the butterflies to go with. But on any medium on your projects to work with, how you work with these, of course, you're going to find so... In fact, Judy was saying, you know, sort of 18 years old, uh, 18 months old, for example, and you still find different ways of working with it. Well, I've just stood here, if the camera goes one little flick, I've just stood here and thought, you know what, you could draw through the handle as well. Okay, yeah, you can, you can, you can on those, <laughs> I'm you can just on saw those. That. I mean, that could be those. the side of your page and overlap them, so yeah, sorry. It's no, no, I, just, it's, it's... I just saw that and I thought, yeah, I could draw through the handle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got a couple here to show, and then I wonder if you've got any more as one of our nested, um, with the uh, um, the book die to work with. So we can sort of just uh, spend a minute to finish off with. But again, here's some we've got here for sort of the Christmas uh, style as well. We've got the love and happiness. Don't forget, if you look back to the beginning of the show, to sort of see how the different ways of working, even with the spine that you can find. Love this. Again, really lovely idea uh, that's been put together. Uh, again, with all those different sections of the frames to be worked as well, you've got the corners uh, that could be trimmed off and worked, but there's so much. And you think about the work, I mean, the amount of time and effort that goes into something like this, but actually, it's a lot less than you would think when you look at something. If you open that, you're sending that. That is a lot of hours work, you might think, but you can achieve it with this die set, which is phenomenal. You got some more samples there as well, Julie. Like, choose the books. I mean, this is um, a roadmap book. Oh, that's great. Overhead shot. There we go. There's your roadmap. So I've said to Grandad, but obviously that could be anybody. Yeah. And we'll bring that one back in again if they're the gardeners. But that could be cookbook. I have got a cookbook one somewhere, but it's, it's, it's gone walkabout. It's gone walkabout. It's disappeared. Um, again, this was from a previous show we did. These are the, and they are on the web. This is the uh, tumbling leaves and flourish pockets. Put pockets on that's your pages. Nice, yeah, make them journals. Nice idea, These are tags. old Christmas cards that I've made back into tags again. So you can do that as any if you want to look on Rewind. I think it, we're still in the yeah. 60 days if yeah, you want yeah. to look back on Rewind. And then we've got all your flourishes and all your flowers that you've already got. And then let's just bring our last fancy page in and decoupage what? and pick out. 
a way of working them all together. Julie, thank you so much indeed. You're welcome. Uh, lovely, lovely show. Honestly, for demonstration and inspiration, you're not going to find much more than any other show than what you've seen, of course, there with uh, lovely Julie. Now, you're back, to, uh, back with Hayley. At yeah. 2 o'clock this two afternoon as well. Do you know what you're doing for that hour? Have you got... Same again. We're, We're going through it again because there's just so much. If you've missed it, you can catch up in the afternoon. Even more. I'm loving it. Thank you very Thank much, you. Julie. Always an absolute pleasure. Really hope you've enjoyed this hour. Again, with even more inspiration again, make sure you watch it again from 2 o'clock with Hayley and Julie together as they take you through here. There's a huge amount that you can achieve. And, of course, this is only beginning. It's how you work with your mediums and your designs and your styles where you can really maximise all of those. Uh, thank you so much, Steve, for your company this last hour. But don't go anywhere because Hayley is up on the other side of this as well. Yes, get ready then, of course, everyone. It's white gecko there with your black tag options you've got. And then the beautiful, fantastic Wyndham Fabric black tag one day special, of course, with Jenny. And then we're back with as well. You'll love that as well with your black tag event with Armaglow. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. My name is Catherine Sturrock and I work in collaboration with FMM. FMM creates some wonderful cake decorating cutters. We've brought them to a chanda and used them with air dry clay to create some beautiful flowers, leaves and other florals. We use them then to decorate various products such as laser cut designs, mixed media, card making and many other items. So join me on a chanda and let me guide you through the process of putting together various flowers such as roses, peonies and lots more besides. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps 
I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows, we aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Welcome, well, the Black Tag event continues, and I love it because we've got so many deals on so many amazing sewing shows today. So if you've not joined us already, you are in for a treat. Of course, we're talking white gecko, so we've got some amazing inspiration with patterns, with kits, and of course, we've got the fabulous Sarah with us again today. Hello, Sarah, how are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Yeah, all well, good. Yourself? Yeah, very good. much so. And I'm loving this now because I'm seeing things that we've got kind of all mm -hmm. levels of sewers here. So we've got, yeah. so, and I do urge you to jump ahead and have a look we're revisiting some panels that um, you might not have seen well you may have seen them you may not have seen them before um, things for Christmas uh, things that are going to come together very quickly so ideal for this Christmas but also looking at other different bits and pieces that you might not have seen before and you might not have learned about before and I have said this first kit mm -hmm. I am intrigued by this because I, I, I I am a, re a reasonable sewer. Yeah. I hate to say that you know, well, anybody doesn't know everything <laughs> about sewing. No, absolutely. Now, this is a technique I've not come across before, Manx patchwork. Yeah, so it's something that um, was introduced to me about four years ago. Um, and it's a really, really old technique. They've found examples from like the late 1700s, early 1800s. So it's, a, you know, it's, it's been around for years and years. Um, and it was sort of a technique out of necessity because they were at Isle of Man is a, you know, an island and they couldn't get a, a lot of resources and stuff. So it, but it's turned into this really beautiful pleated um, hand sewing technique. So I'm a little bit obsessed with it. I'm, uh, I've been playing around a lot with it over the last few years and uh, yeah, absolutely love it as a technique. I'm fascinated because instantly I'm looking at it and I'm thinking a little bit of log cabin in there, yeah. so a little bit of familiarity, but yeah. also you're learning something new at the same time. Absolutely, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you in the demo as well. It's all, um, you use the measurements of your hands for oh, all the different okay. elements. There's no ruler measurements or anything. It's use the me measurements of your hands. So I'm guessing this makes it as a perfect kit for somebody that perhaps hasn't got the tools, yeah. um, who maybe, um, I don't know, wants to have a little go at um, patchwork. Yeah, if you, you know, it's, it is a hand sewing technique. Um, you can do it on the machine, but it's actually easier to do it by hand because of the way it's sewn. So we had Nicola here with a lot of kind of English paper piecing mm -hmm. this morning. So I'm guessing this could be a natural progression from English paper yeah, piecing yeah, if definitely. you like stitching yeah. that way like it now i'm looking forward to learning more about this and i'm sure you guys are as well so for the time being if you're wanting to get hold of this one let me show you what you're getting within your set because obviously you're going to get your pattern you're going to get your tuition as well obviously all within those covers we've got um, a quite lengthy demonstration taking you through all of the fundamentals so you'll learn from sarah while she's here but then you are going to get the most amazing collection of fabrics these are beautiful fabrics lovely collection yeah. to work together this it's a mixture of moda and liberty um, Ooh, fabrics quality, in the kits yeah, yeah. Um, and you're getting three fat quarters in a blue you'll get three in a cream and then you'll get a, a fat eighth of a red which is what traditionally Beautiful. was used for the center and that's kind of meant to be kind of the center of the home isn't it with that yeah, traditional log cabin yeah. story um, kind of the fire right in the middle keeping everybody warm and toasty um, so there you go if you fancy getting hold of your set as I say you are going to get your um, and they are quite comprehensive instructions you've got a lot of pages within that instruction book so you're going to learn a lot within there um, and the details are there on your screen 28 pounds and 99 pence looking forward to learning more about that technique but something else that is always a popular technique is your red work with your embroidery and this is a lovely little set and the thing I like about this is it's kind of put together in the way that that you decide how you're going to use. Let me explain to you, because you're going to get your fabulous template, which is giving you all of those gorgeous designs, but then you decide, are you going to make them as your ornaments? You can see here, these are hanging on a very twiggy looking tree. It is. <laughs> suits, the, suits the little white baubles well, though, I think. Yeah, it does. It works really, really well. Missy. 
And this is lovely because you are getting, um, you're going to be able to make nine baubles. So there are nine different designs within here. Yeah, so I've, um, I've drawn templates. So you've got nine different designs. Um, again, you can make nine baubles, but you could make some the same if you want. You've actually probably got enough fabric to make about 12 baubles oh, in wow. the kit. Oh, okay. Um, Very generous. But you can use the templates, like you were saying, to, for other projects. So um, one of our lovely customers, Linda, did the cushion up for me. So she did use the templates. A clever idea. And rather than make them as a bauble, made a beautiful Christmas cushion instead. Isn't that gorgeous? And I love that, using them as a combination. But, of course, you could kind of stick to three and rotate them around yeah, the cushion if absolutely. you wanted to. And, of course, you've got the templates that you can use and um, apply to other projects if you're wanting to. So what are we getting within this particular kit? So you're getting a third of a metre of a white on white fabric. You're getting your interface in. You're getting your cotton embroidery thread, which is, um, you, don't, you don't split it like you would in a, a oh, normal okay, um, yeah. embroidery silk. You use it as it is. Um, you've got ribbon and you've got a chenille needle in there as well, as well as the templates in I order for you to trace out. Wonderful, there you go. Um, and it's a very popular set. I'm not surprised at £12.99p. Lots of you taking advantage. And, and was that 10% of the stock gone already? My goodness, wow, we are busy. 605-611. And it's nice because you could sit and make a bulb maybe in an evening or an yeah. afternoon. You don't have to set aside half a day to, to create one of no, those. No, nice so. little simple projects. And, and you could just make one. Just make exactly. one all. There you go. So if you fancy getting hold of those, then why not pop them into your basket? Don't check out your basket just yet, though, because we have got the ama amazing absolutely beautiful bundle of fabrics coming to you in the next one and you are going to love these we've got two choices with regards to these now these are quite a scoop Sarah tell me about these fabrics right, so these charm packs are from Moda um, we've got two variations there we've got the Janet Claire the blues which has got like a little touch of music in there there's some like um, little sort of like musical notes and, and everything um, hence the blues <laughs> And then the other one is called Be Grateful, which is the lovely sort of greys and mustards. They're gorgeous fabrics. But these are on early release, so they won't be available in the shops until about February time. So oh, they're wow. coming to you guys first. I kind of like that, that we've got a heads up on this one, yeah. because the most amazing quilt behind Sarah will show you how you are going to be able to put these together with those gorgeous blues. You've got your pattern, but what it means is you could actually perhaps put your quilt together, and then obviously next year, I'm hoping that you bring us more of these gorgeous yeah. fabrics, and you can <laughs> add to that. Absolutely, um, yeah. But of course, it's not limited to one per customer, so if you want to go for a couple of those charm packs, you can do. Um, but take advantage while you can, because I've got a feeling this is going to be a popular set. Love the tones that you've got in here going from the gorgeous powder blue right the way through to the deepest navy with these yeah it's really elegant I, I mean I really like Janet Clare's um, work anyway but I, she always does these beautiful sort of subtle you know um, palettes of fabric and gorgeous. it's yes, yummy Beautiful. yummy, yummy. <laughs> um, so that's showing you the quilt made up in the um, the blues but these are so hot that we haven't even seen um, haven't had an opportunity to make one up in the B fabric but you so. can imagine this is going to look amazing you've got that gorgeous kind of mustard yellow in there the beautiful bumblebees featuring in here the gorgeous sunflowers and that gorgeous gorgeous drama of the black background I mean look at that for a fabric I mean that is absolutely beautiful Love it. Fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Very affordable way of getting hold of those because not only are you getting your charm pack, either or you're choosing which, but you're getting your pattern as well. I mean, you could be paying ten pounds for a pattern in its own right. In fact, sometimes you could be paying fifteen ninety-nine. So it's a really, really good value bundle there with that double herringbone quilt pattern in there, and it's making a good size quilt as you can see there, forty-six by forty-one. Mm -hmm. So the um, the elements that we've got in here, what do we need to add into it to make it into that size so quilt? Maybe you would need half a meter of fabric for. A uh, for a border and then okay. you'd need half a meter of a uh, neutral as well so okay. that could be a cream it could be a black it could be whatever neutral you pick yeah, so i think yeah. it would quite easy got in our stash already oh, then, absolutely really. yeah yeah you Lovely. might have already have a um plain cream charm yes. pack you know which that's would go good. beautifully with either of them that's a good idea mm -hmm. actually yeah no so cutting there then <laughs> now I need to give you some updates. The blues, a quarter of the stock have gone, and with the, um, the fabulous bees, oh my goodness, half the stock has gone of that one. I know how much our viewers love those kind of bee-themed elements, because of course it is kind of of the age, isn't it? Be grateful, um, be um, natural, be beautiful, all of those little connotations, and that, I love that one. So if you're wanting that one, you certainly have got a sense of urgency with regards to the bee option. 433-008, whichever you're going for, though, you have got value, and you have got some incredible quality fabrics. And that 
actually we've got cues on the phone we usually have when sarah's here <laughs> so do uh, bear with us we will get to you as soon as we possibly can ordering on the website might be an idea especially when we are looking at stock quantities that are becoming more vulnerable now Christmas. Of course, it's around the course. Four weeks from today, it's the first Sunday of Advent yeah, we're just today. talking about that. It's gone very yeah. quickly. Isn't <laughs> it just? Yeah. Mind you, I think we'll be glad to see the back of this year. But yeah, we're going to have a fabulous <laughs> Christmas in the meantime. Now, what have we got here? This looks adorable. So this is um, a little Christmas panel. Um, it's called Peace and Goodwill. Uh, it's by Studio E. And it would make the, a beautiful centre of a quilt. You could just, you know, put some borders around and make a quilt, um, or a lovely wall hanging, which is what we've done with here. Well, so that's Sarah what Jane we're made that, and this is beautiful. She's put little pom poms on, in there and sort of hand stitched into it and things as well. So, you know, it could just be hang it on a door or something. You know, just a bit of Christmas decoration. It's a nice little sofa quilt as well. Can you imagine oh. at Christmas Eve or yeah. throughout Christmas settling All down under the <laughs> on the so not under the sofa, but on the sofa <laughs> under a quilt. Might be tricky to get under the sofa. <laughs> but there you go, that's the panel as it comes to you. Now, of course, you could use it just as we saw there with the finished sample there and just literally edge it, put your backing on there, get your wadding in there. It could be a very simple project, but then you could embellish it if you're wanting to. But of course, you could use this as your center panel, add more sashing, add more blocks around the edge. It's your quilt, you can decide. But for a starting point of $12.99, I think that is phenomenal value. It's been a popular one. Lots of you taking advantage of that one. 20% of the stock of that one has gone already. So again, busy show. You need that sense of urgency when it comes to checking out your basket. So please do that as soon as you possibly can. Now, more for your Advent. <laughs> now, of course, Advent, as I mentioned, their first Sunday of Advent. Technically, with those Advent calendars, we don't start um, working with those or um, getting the goodies out of them until the first of the month. And this is something that is going to come together very, very quickly. Yeah, you could do that in a day. You have still got time to get it done just about before <laughs> the 1st of December. But it's because it, it's on a, a black tag, you know, it's brilliant for getting now and putting away for next year. That's You've got a all, good point, whole year yeah. then to make it. Well, this is true. I mean, I, yeah, I just got that <laughs> sense of urgency because I'm thinking of those chocolates already oh, yeah. on that first day. Uh, yeah. A little chocolate in there would be nice. Now, I've just been asked a question about whether, I mean, are you like me? Are you quite regimented? Are you a window at a time kind of person? <laughs> I, I am a window at a time kind yeah. of person. I don't Taste eat them all. <laughs> yeah, but then I must admit, if you've got a bigger window on at Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, it, uh, yeah, I am almost wanting to curl up the corner to see what's in there, I have to say. What about you, Sarah? Are you quite quite good? Do you stage oh, no, it to Yeah, the I'm moment? quite regimented, definitely quite regimented yeah. with it. I mean, make sure I have one a day, otherwise it'd just be all in one evening. Well, yeah, I could, yeah. I'm not saying that I couldn't eat them all in one sitting, just, yeah, just put that out there. But yeah, I do try to keep it together. Now, you've got some additional fabric in here. Mm -hmm. What's this one for? So that's for your binding. Oh, so I we've see. given you a, a striker fabric with both of them um, in order to do your binding so all you'd need to do is just add a wad in and back in fabric to it but I love a stripey binding I love I've got stripes, a real yeah. thing about stripey binding so. and this is a nice one as well because it's not sometimes if you've got too chunky like if you're looking at stripes that are, say I don't know um, half an inch or an inch sometimes it's not the easiest to stitch with because no. you can see if you're Absolutely. not going to but this yeah. one you've got that gorgeous yeah. delicate stripe within there as well not the best for our cameras um, no, keep it it still as I possibly can, but <laughs> it's going to look very effective and of course it's beautifully complementing those reds and greys. 20% of the stock has gone of that first one, but you wait until you've seen this mm -hmm. next one. If you want a fun advent calendar, this is it. And I don't think you're ever too old to have an advent calendar like this. Santa's workshop. It's so cute, isn't it? Really, <laughs> really sweet. Adorable. You can see there all your different numbers there. Again, you've got your instructions at the top with this one, so you don't have to worry about putting it together. You can rest assured. Follow those instructions. And again, Sarah's ensured you've got that gorgeous fabric in there to create your lovely stripy binding. It is so cute. Now, can you imagine creating this? If you've got somebody in the family that's announced that they're going to have a little baby next year, what an amazing gift to give for that baby's first Christmas next year. You've got a whole 12 months to make it, so there's no urgency. You don't have to rush to do it. But that is going to be an advent calendar that will come out year after year after year until they've got their own home and they're putting it up in their own home. Fabric complementing this one is that gorgeous stripey one. And it's echoing that gorgeous metallic look that you have got from the original panel there. But again, 11 99 for Phenomenal value for money. And of course, Macau, you know it's quality when you're looking at that one. So if you want to take advantage of that one, they're both on the same item number there. So uh, whichever you choose to go for, or potentially go for both of them, you've only got one post and packing. 11 99 again for that for your panel and your complimentary fabric there. Love it.
really cute. So um, 612024 with regards to those ones. Now, the next one, your Christmas stockings. Mm -hmm. Now, I like your style, Sarah, because you're a frugal crafter I like am. me. <laughs> I am. Um, and the panel itself, let me show you the panel to start with, because the panel gives you the opportunity to make your stocking with a design on the front and the back. Yes. But... If you're a frugal crafter like myself and Sarah, you will know adding in additional fabric can actually turn it into two stockings. Yeah. And that's what you've done with this. Absolutely. That's why we've given you the additional fabric so you can... And I also think as well, when they're on a fireplace, you, they hang opposite that's there. A good and point. it looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very balanced. I like that. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't love a llama at Christmas? Absolutely adorable. Lots of content within those stockings, as you can see. Now, let me just fold these up just as I can fold them as neatly as I possibly can because our lovely Katie's done such a wonderful job with those. But let me show you the finished article because with these... Look at this. And as Sarah said, if you've got one of those traditional star fireplaces, you could hang one at either end and they're kind of working together, looking very balanced. Love it. Plenty of room in there for all your goodies. And of course, that complementary fabric on the back there comes alongside this. But again, you might have another plain fabric and you might have an idea for using the fabric that comes in this in a different way. You can do. But can you believe that? $9.99 for both the panel and that fabric to complement the backs there. So a brilliant value for money. Lots of you taking advantage of it. Keep knocking these little tags over. <laughs> now, do you fancy a bit of liberty? Who doesn't? Well, have a look at this. Now, we've got two bundles for you. I'm going to explain these to you because when you look at them, you might kind of look at the names of these and uh, you, you might think to yourself, oh, hang on, I don't quite get it. And there is a reason for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> this one is called Summer Garden. It is, yes. And this is because of the range that it comes from. Yeah, it came from the, I think it was last um, summer's summer garden range from okay. Liberty. Um, so hence that one's summer. <laughs> beautiful. And you can see the little lemons in there, the beautiful designs coming through with this one. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the other option that we've got for you is called shadow. So you might automatically look at that and think of shadow as being kind of those deeper, darker tones. But this one is actually called Summer Garden because of the nature of the fabric. The fabric was called that as a collection. And you have got that one as an option on your screen. So, of course, if you're in any doubt, check out the images on the website. But the other option that we've got is using... Oh, this is gorgeous. <laughs> this one is called shadow. Shadow, yeah, that's because it uses the um, Wiltshire Shadow Liberty Blenders. So their blender range, they, they call them all Wiltshire Shadow. That's so, true. Um, but they do them in, a, as you can see, a huge rainbow of colours. I've got a stash of these <laughs> oh, as well. I, I think them. everybody's got them, haven't they? they are, they're they're yeah. fundamental. They, they are ones that just look and lend themselves so well. I love this style as well. I mean, a Bargello always looks amazing, but I love this curve that yeah, you've got. Yeah, the spiral. Yeah, it's really, uh, it's just a little bit more unusual for yes. a table runner than a, a, than a square. Isn't so. it just? Very contemporary start, especially when you are looking at uh, the gorgeous Wimborne fabrics with this particular one. But anyway, whichever you choose to go for, you are going to get your full instructions and, of course, you're going to get your pattern with this one. And you can rest assured you've got a 30% saving. It's all part of our Black Tag event. And at $24.99, again, a brilliant value bundle because you can see you are getting absolutely loads of fabric, whichever one of those you choose to go for. 830-333. So, other things I can tempt you with. Now... I need to let you know about those motor bundles, these brand new, oh my goodness, oh wow. Technically they have both sold out, we kind of knew it was going to happen. Um, thank you to everybody, I'm not going to dwell on that too much, but do make sure that you come back in the new year, around February time, when that fabric is actually released, we, I'm sure we'll be able to see more of that, but sadly for the time being we've had to say goodbye to it, so uh, yeah, I'm not even going to give you the item number to make a note of. Um, we're going to head, head over to Sarah now, because you're going to take us through that gorgeous Manx um, yeah. project that we saw, and I, I think this is fascinating, I'm really looking forward to this yeah. one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, Manx quilting is a really old technique, as we were saying earlier. Um, and because resources were scarce, you know, even scissors having to import them would have been you know, expensive. This technique was developed to be done completely by hand and it uses the measurements of your hand. So it's, a, it's very reminiscent of um, like an American log cabin, but it's actually pleated. Where, so we're going to be working on a foundation square and then everything then is pleated on the top. The size of your foundation square, so I'm just using a lovely calico here, you actually measure the span of your hand. So I, hopefully you can see this on the ruler. I'm going to measure the span of my hand, and mine measures 8 inches. So I would cut an 8-inch square for my foundation piece. 
This actually ends up being the back of your quilt. So, you know, it doesn't have to be calico, it could be any pretty fabric because there's no wadding or anything involved. This is because it's really weighty because of the pleating. This actually becomes the back of your quilt. So you cut yourself a foundation piece, which is the span of your hand. Now, I do absolutely cheat now, and I use a ruler and a rotary cutter, um, but traditionally they wouldn't have. The little centre square is the measurement of your middle finger. So again, if I pop my finger on there, so I'm, I did mine at three and a quarter. Okay, so I'm measuring from the base up to the edge of the finger, and it just hits three and a quarter. So my centre square is the measurement of my middle finger. And then the strips that are around the sides, now traditionally this would again been made out of old clothing, out of bedding, any, any old scraps of fabric. I'm actually using a, a bits of old jelly roll here that I've cut down. But the measurement for the pleats are the measurement of your thumb. So for me, I'll just get the ruler the right way round, that's two and a quarter. Your measurements will be completely different because obviously your hands might be bigger or smaller. You know, you, it's totally unique to you. So how we're going to start is, I've starched this really, really well. The more starch you can get into your foundation piece, the better, because we're going to be ironing in some guidelines. We want to start by folding it in half diagonally and ironing it one across that way, and then again, just to get some nice diagonal lines in there, like that. And then we're going to use those guidelines to centre up your centre square. Okay, so I'm going to put the, each corner onto the diagonal lines and that will mean it's dead centre. Because apparently maths works, I always told my maths teacher it, <laughs> that I'd never use geometry and trigonometry and all that sort of stuff and I use it all the time now. So that, those points are on the edge like that. We now need to iron in some guidelines. So again I'm just going to whip the little mat over. You want to fold this top edge down to meet the centre square like that okay and iron in a line and this is why you want to really start your, your foundation piece well because you want to keep these lines in and then we're going to do the same again so we're going to take that folded edge down to the center square and iron another line like that and that gives us some equally spaced lines and they're going to be really important in a moment for the pleating and you work round your square doing exactly the same on all four sides I guess you've got to try and resist the temptation of ironing it flat after yeah. you put the yeah. folds in there. Absolutely, yeah, because you're like, normally with creases like that, we'd be getting the <laughs> exactly, spray out and yes. ironing away. But uh, <laughs> this time you actually want those creases. Okay, so I've done one already over here so that we've got all, for, all your guidelines in. Now, okay. you don't need to do this at home because you will be able to see the guidelines, but I'm going to mark the guidelines. Okay because it's quite important the way we fold it back to each time and just so that you guys can see and sometimes if you're a beginner as well and you've not done it before it's worth marking that first guideline to know that that's where we're going to be sewing to. Lovely, thank you. So, I've got needle and thread and it's a double thread with just a knot in the end. Okay. Now, does the thread have to match particularly? Um, what I do we would, need to think about? Yeah, I, so I'm doing it in a contrasting thread so that you guys can see it quite easily. Okay. But, no, traditionally you would use a contrasting thread, okay. but in order for it to show up on camera, I'm using a, a contrast so that you can see it easily. Lovely, thank you. So, I'm going to start by putting your first strip right sides together, and this is the lovely thing about no cutting or, or measuring or anything, and you're going to approximately run your scissors up the side of the square and just chop a piece off that is about the right size. And okay? because when you say cutting there, it's, the irony was you said cutting and then you picked up your scissors. What you mean is with a rotary cutter. Oh you? yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do need a pair of scissors. Although traditionally they wouldn't have used scissors, they would have actually just nicked it with a knife and torn it. Really? All, all the strips as well, they'd have had a piece of fabric and they would have measured with their thumb nicked it where the thumb ended with a with a knife and just torn it That's so because it, yeah. it, it's really forgiving technique you don't have to and so for worry anybody too who's much. just joined us when did this technique uh, did we know when it originated yes yeah, so the earliest pieces they found are sort of late 1700s early oh, 1800s right. so it's been around for years yeah. and it's very very specific to the isle of man as well I love so, it so, hence yeah. the name, title max yeah. in the, the title of your project indeed so Pinning those together, and then we're going to start sewing. 
You want to start sewing about, a, again, everything's approximate, nothing is exact. So we're going to start sewing about a quarter of an inch in and a quarter inch down. And you actually want the knot to be on the top here because this is actually the back of your quilt. So you don't want any knots or anything on there. So we're going to sew into there and it's a really, you don't have to be overly precise or anything. It's just a simple running stitch all the way down that seam. You don't need to draw lines or anything because as you'll see in a minute, the grid lines are going to make everything uniform. So the stitches that you're doing at this stage, are these going to stay in your project? These stay in, yeah. Okay. yeah these actually become the back, oh, on the see, back yes. there. Yeah. Um, and it's a continuous stitching as well. You don't um, stop and start, yes. which again I'm going to show, show you now. And it's nice as well because you're not having to do a back stitch with this one no. and little tiny stitches. No, you can hide, you hide all the knots in the pleats as well, Ooh. so it's lovely. My kind of sewing. <laughs> <laughs> so once you've got sort of half about that far down, about a quarter of an inch away, you want to drop your needle in and leave it hanging out of the back because we're going to carry on using that in a second. Okay. okay. Take my pin out and I'm going to fold this edge up to that first guideline like that and just finger press along there. Okay. okay. And you can see it's created this little pleat. Oh, yes. Okay. We're so used to like pushing right out on the fabric yes. or on the sewn line, but you mustn't do that on this. It's, it, the whole point of it is that you're going to go up to the guideline I like that. Okay, so trust the guidelines. Trust the guidelines, absolutely. <laughs> we're going to turn the project round, okay, and now we're going to work along here. So I'm going to grab another piece of fabric. I'm going to line it up on the edge there, and then again, just chop up a bit like that. These are per it's perfect for a travel project because once you've cut your strips, you only need a little pair of scissors and, and a thread, yeah. and that's it. We're going to pin that back down again. And then we're going to bring the needle back up. So hopefully you can see on this one. So that would have been my first line there. So I'm going to work round in a square. Okay. So I'm going to come across to here and bring the needle up there. Now this is where people tend to panic a weeny bit because none of this bit here is sewn. It's right. not supposed to be. Okay. okay. It will be on other rounds. When we get round to other, other rounds, that then gets sewn down. But don't panic if you think, oh, I can't sew this bit. Okay. It's supposed to come up there. <laughs> the amount of times we've taught classes and people are like, oh, we've gone wrong. What's <laughs> happening? And I was like, nope, that's right. You're okay. <laughs> Whip along again with a running stitch, approximately quarter of an inch down. Oop, get rid of that pin out of the way. We're going to just work our way along like that and we get to about a quarter of an inch away from the end drop it down to the back and leave that out again fold this up to the first guideline like that and again you can see that's made a little pleat and around we go again so we're going to go around to this side i'm going to choose any other oh, i've already used that one let's use that one we're going to line the edge up just there you can see that this is a little bit too long it doesn't matter it just stays in there you can trim it off if, you, if you're really fussy, but it really won't matter. Chop off like that, and then grab another pin. And you'll, it builds up. So I'm, I'm doing this really scrappy. I'm not following any pattern at all. I'm just grabbing the next piece of fabric, because that's what it traditionally would have been. Um, if you want to do it in sort of more of a log cabin effect with the creams and the blues, you would just do two blues, two creams, two blues, two creams as you go round and you get that lovely log cabin effect. And can I just mention to anybody that's watching the demonstration, um, just to explain, um, Sarah has used all the fabrics that she's got within the kit. So you might be, if you're eagle eyes, you might be looking at the fabrics that Sarah's working with and recognising that they're not exactly the same as within sorry. the kit. Yeah, no, no sorry, fine. the ones I'm working with are just some <clears throat> scraps because I thought, well, it, it gives you an idea of what, what it looks like if it's not in a, not in a different colour effect. But yes, no, it, it should be the, the blues in the... Uh, <laughs> in the kit <laughs> okay and then again we're just going to go along like this little running stitches they don't have to be particularly neat it's just about fastening it to that foundation piece because with the stitches there, I mean, it's quite speedy stitching, really, with really this, is. isn't it? So yeah. I'm guessing they come together quite quickly. They do. I mean, one block, I mean, now takes me about 30, 35 minutes to do one block. See, that's something that's very achievable in yeah. an evening, really, isn't it? When you start watching really the TV. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do a couple of, you know, a couple of blocks and easily, yeah. easily a night. Okay, so I've dropped my needle back to the back again. And then we're going to fold that one up like that. And you can see that start to build up. 
Um, I just want to show you how, ooh, don't get that caught in the pin. <laughs> when you change your thread, when you start to get really um, short on your thread, let me just start on the next one. Let's grab a, a different fabric. Here we go. Like this. Okay. Again, just I've lined it up from one edge so it's covering that whole edge. Chop it off a little bit longer and away we go again. But when you want to change thread, you actually want to bring it up to the front. Again, okay. it's it's unusual because we're so used to hiding everything on the back. That's true, yeah. <laughs> you know, you kind of, it's a bit like, oh, you know, I'm doing this on the front, but it's all hidden in the pleats. All the, all the sewing and all the knots are all hidden away and you don't see them. So again, we're going to stitch down this way. Now, if I was to change thread now, well, I know this is really long, I've got another one. I would just, not, just chop that off and tie a little knot. Okay. Okay, I'm on. I managed to damage my finger the other day, so using the wrong finger That's to tie a knot. Way. So have you split the thread there and you're tying a knot? Yeah, so oh, I've split okay. the thread and just tie it in a little reef knot. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can do um, you know, a quilter's knot round the, round the needle and down if you want to, but mm -hmm. I actually find this is uh, a little bit more secure and stays... Um, Interesting how many different ways there are to kind of start oh, totally, and finish yeah. and knots and things. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all get our little favourites as well, it's don't true. we? Yeah. Okay, so when you're starting a new row, uh, starting a new thread, you're literally going to start from the top again, a little bit away, and that way those knots will be hidden in the in the pleat. So I can take that down just a weeny bit. <laughs> and chop the thread as well, which was really clever of me. <laughs> get rid of that bit, put a new knot in. Here we go. Okay, so you would start on the top and that way it keeps the back completely free of any knots because this is the back of your quilt. And I, mean, I love this because if you ever feel as if you've lost your way, you can just flip it over and yeah. see where you can those see where stitches you're are taking you. Yeah? Yeah. And you can, you can literally carry on. So I'm just going to finish this very last little bit here. Okay. And then once you've gone all the way around once and hit the first guideline, you carry on in exactly the same method. Oh, hang on. There we go. Pop that through to the back, like that. Push that up like that, and finger press it. So that's I've gone all the way round my foot this this square once okay. now. The second time round, I would be folding to the second pleat, okay. the second guideline. Sorry. So I would be adding on. Exactly the same. Exactly technique. the same technique, but this time, once I've sewn that, it's going to be folded up to the second guideline, and yeah. I'd work my way round. Yes. The third time up to the third guideline, and the very last row, you go right up to the edge of the foundation oh, piece. I see. So, so that, that foundation piece ends up being completely covered. Yes. Yeah. So my very last pleat goes right up to the edge, and that's one block done. Okay. And you end up with all these lovely, lovely pleats in it, like oh, this. Lovely. You can see. And that is actually the back. I mean, obviously, if you're going to make it into a cushion, you wouldn't see this anyway because it's going to be on the inside of the cushion. Yes. But if you're going to make a quilt with it, this is actually the back of your quilt. And I like that. To see yeah. that on the back of your quilt, I think it looks amazing. Yeah. It is, yeah. You could use like a cotton purle or something as well if you wanted true, to. Yeah. If you really wanted to make a feature of the stitching on the back, you could use a thicker thread or a variegated thread mm -hmm. or you know, go with a, you know, a matching thread, a coordinating thread, and then it all disappears. Kind of gives it that authenticity and that homeless feel with yeah. it. And homeless, homely feel with it. <laughs> um, Sarah, thank you so much. Can I just show you the, the little areas that um, Sarah's just been working with? Because, of course, she's been creating those fabulous kind of little blocks that when they come together, you can see those little pleated areas that she's just been sharing with us come together so beautifully. And then, obviously, you're making multiples of these, bringing them all together to create your gorgeous cushion front. That could be the starting point. I mean, cushion could be the first project that you're doing with this technique, especially if it's a new technique to you. It's a nice kind of uh, sampler technique project, I think, with this one. So you've got enough knowledge that you've gained from creating this project to potentially make you um, want to create something on a larger scale. A bed runner, potentially, could be that you're creating even a quilt. This is something that if you've always fancied the idea of making something almost with that whole wholesome feel, where you're not using a sewing machine, that you're doing it all by hand, and this could be the project that you are um, learning how to do that technique with. Fascinating. I love it. I love the history behind 
behind it as well. That wonderful technique. It's a very popular bundle, incidentally. 40% of the stock has gone. And don't forget, you are getting your pattern, your instructions. You're getting the fabrics that you're going to need to create that gorgeous cushion front. Um, and uh, you just need to add in the fabrics for the back of your cushion. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't okay. include the fabrics for the back because some people might want to make them into a table runner or a coaster. Point, you don't yeah. have to make... You've got enough there to make six blocks. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can make a cushion and then maybe like a little, you know, yeah. a couple of little coasters yeah. or something. Because with that, you've, obviously you've got your four that um, are showing you there, mm -hmm. and then you've got another two to get ready. Could be that you're making something, the starting of a, a runner, and again, the six together. They get looking at, I suppose, the size of these. Well, it all depends on the size of your hands. It does, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you could be adding in some additional bits and pieces in there. It's a very clever technique. If you have just joined us, make a note of the date, because when you get your kit home, you will want to go back and watch on Rewind to learn how all those measurements come together. It is it included in your instructions, so don't worry. But I think it's always nice to be able to see um, from Sarah exactly how it all comes together. 210304. It's our last show with Sarah today. So if you are wanting to get hold of that kit, it is a good opportunity for you to take advantage of that. And lots of you are doing so. Now, more to share with you. Of course, we saw a little bit of hand stitching with that demonstration. How about a little bit of hand embroidery? Hand embroidery with some amazing techniques with these. Some fabulous little templates. You're actually going to get nine templates that will allow you to create well it's entirely up to you you it comes with the designs that kind of idea is that you're going to be able to create your own baubles with these but of course Sarah's not going to come around knocking on your door if you decide you don't want to make baubles you might want to use them in a different way just like one of Sarah's customers did with the cushion what you're getting is you're getting the ability to make potentially up to 12 baubles with this we're saying nine because you've got nine different designs within here but of course the fabric that you've got and the way that you work with this you can be quite frugal and make a few more if you so choose. Now they're beautiful embroidery as you can see with these but of course those techniques, those templates could quite easily be transferred over onto another project if you're wanting to and of course they're with you for a lifetime really aren't they and I love this idea of this red work on this beautiful cushion that you've got here absolutely gorgeous isn't it and there's something quite quite wholesome about those and it's a word i've used a lot during this time but it's something about hand stitching and you know that somebody has physically had to push that needle through the fabric so there's a little bit of, of an essence of their love gone into that project which i think is fabulous 12.99 if you're wanting to get hold of it um half the stock has gone and as i say you've got fabric in there that's going to help you create the fronts and the backs of your um, little um, ornaments there but of course you can add in some of your own fabrics too if you're wanting to um six zero five six one one if you're wanting to get hold of those now since we're talking about Christmas we've got some lovely panels to share with you and of course these are where you can get almost get instant gratification with your project because there's so much content already within them now this one is a beautiful one um, it's a gorgeous image and it is there's so much information in this image it's lovely you've got your snowman in there you've got your father Christmas your beautiful little deer there and the ability for you to create an amazing quilt either as a panel just simply edging this quilting it free motion work a little bit of hand embroidery adding additional embellishments like little pom-poms it's entirely up to you and we have got a finished example of this one put together to show you the amazing results that you can do with this one and it's lovely lovely size as well but of course you can extend the size by adding in your own fabrics but if you're literally just wanting to take it um, put, put your wadding in there put your own backing on it and create it here you go this gives you an idea of how it's going to look I love that how you've kind of got the little kind of path in the snow that's been free motioned there, the little um, pom poms there. It's a really cute design, this one. Yeah, you, you, it's kind of traditional, but I think with that sort of mint green element to it, it's yes. a little bit more modern. So you've got a, yeah. like a traditional Father Christmas, but slightly more modern colourway. It's been a popular one. 60% of the stock has gone of that one, and at 12 99 very affordable. So 034421. Now, Advent calendars. Now, it might not necessarily be for Advent this year, although you could perhaps be a speedy sewer in the moment mm -hmm. it arrives. Perhaps you, uh, just a couple of days of Advent may have passed. But with this one, you've got options. You've got two choices and you've got a 20% saving. So this is a nice way of you creating something maybe for next year. And what you're going to be doing is creating an amazing um, Advent calendar in one of two ways. So this is the Scandi version. Very it's much nice. that greys and reds. Yeah, lovely style. Lovely. Yeah, I really like that one as well. 
Um, the favorite. beauty is your panel, your top part of your panel, you can see you've got some um, kind of your placement areas. And then at the bottom part, you've got your corresponding little pockets that you're going to stitch in place. And you've got full instructions at the top there as well. So you know that it's going to be easy for you to put that together. And it's a lovely project. This one's a nice one. I think perhaps if you're making it for yourself or maybe an older child, because that's candy style, but perhaps you're just a big kid at heart, then the next one's <laughs> going to be the one for you. Incidentally, you are going to get your fabric to create your binding as well. That's included with this. And at 11 .99, that is brilliant value. This is a cute one there. And I, I must admit, I do kind of like this one as well. I like the so, little reindeers on the roof. I think they're really cute. <laughs> I just didn't even notice the reindeers on the roof there. <laughs> And you've actually got your little pockets on the roof there yeah. as well. So with this one, um, I mean, you've got full instructions. It even shows you, because the, the beauty of this one, if I show you, you can see there, you've got like your little pockets forming. And they're almost just taking those strips at the bottom yeah. and forming those pockets. Yeah, and then so the little into... box pleats, and it tells you exactly how to do it on the panel. It's incredibly easy to do. I love this. So somebody who's never sewn before... <laughs> Could they actually create this? Yeah, I think so, because you could do it by hand as well. So you do, okay. there's no reason why you have to do it on a machine. That You could absolutely do that by hand too. So what would somebody need in addition to the panel? You would need some backing fabric and you'd need some wadding as well. Lovely. There you go. I love that idea. Um, and as you can see, they've only got about nine different stages, actually, with that. So I think that's very achievable for anybody and a lovely project. So there you go. And again, you are going to get that stripy fabric, which is going to be perfect for your binding just to finish that off. So, yes, if you fancy getting hard with either of those, they're both on the same item number um, and proven to be popular. And at 11 .99, I can't say I'm surprised with that at <laughs> all. And you've got a lovely kind of foiling with this particular version as well. And of course, all those gorgeous colours of Christmas coming through it. And I'm sorry, Katie. I've not really put that down very prettily at all, <laughs> have I? I can feel her, her eyes are bearing into me. <laughs> 612024, if you fancy getting hold of that particular one, or the Scandi, both on the same option there. Now, the Christmas stockings. This is brilliant because you can actually get a two for, a two for one with this panel because the panel will give you the ability to create your Christmas stocking. In the style that it talks about, it would show you where you've got um, one um, design on one side, the llama potentially on that side, and then, of course, you've got your Santa on the other. But Sara knows, she's just a girl after <laughs> my own heart. Frugal Crafter would be adding in their additional fabric to ensure that they can create two stockings, and that's what Sara has done. She's incorporated an additional fabric. Good choice of fabric with this one as well, I like it. Yeah, it's it. one of the uh, Macau coordinating fabrics, Gorgeous. but it's, yeah, it just picks up all those colours on the front. Yeah. And I always think if they're, if they're hung against a wall, you don't see the backs anyway. Good so point. just choose a pretty fabric and have two. There you go, <laughs> definitely, for more presents. And of course the beauty is you've got a left and a right there, so they're going to look beautiful on a, a, a kind of a traditional style fireplace as well. Nine ninety nine. I mean, that is brilliant value for money because you've got your, pa your panel, and the panel's got kind of foiling on there as well, so really incredible quality. And I love the llama. So adorable. I mean, perfect for Christmas time. I know it's not in the traditional story, but it's like a, a modern twist, isn't Absolutely. it, on Christmas? Yeah. He's white and fluffy. We'll, white we'll go and with fluffy, it. That's it. I love it. <laughs> um, so if you fancy getting hold of yours, 736-868-999. Brilliant value for me. And you will love that. And of course, you'll have plenty of time because you won't actually need those until Christmas Eve, will you? So there you go. Now, if you fancy a project, oh, okay. I was about to tell you about the two options that we've got, but sadly, one of them has gone, the Summer Garden. Um, I don't blame you. Maybe you've already had fa um, fabrics in your stash and you fancy adding this one in. So that option, sadly, has gone, but we have got the shadow. And again, the technique is exactly the same within it both really of these. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a template in the pattern as well, okay. um, which you cut, use to cut round to create the bargello, and it's a lot, lot easier than... Um, then you know you think it's going to be it looks like it's you've done lots of work and it's yes. really not it's done with strips very very <laughs> clever very cleverly put together your strips obviously all your different coordinating fabrics there and again you've got your larger pieces there when it comes to doing your um, edging and um, elements there and a brilliant price there 24.99 really good technique and of course you're going to learn it with the fabrics that come with it but of course you will go on and use that exact technique with other fabrics from your stash 830 333 24 pounds and Another sellout. Oh, it's been a busy hour. That Christmas panel, oh, you fell in love with it. I don't blame you. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you uh, took advantage of that, well, well done. But don't worry if you did miss out. We've got plenty of others that you could be adding into your basket, looking at those advert ones particularly. Um, but, um, of course, time-wise, my goodness, I've just looked at the time. 
We've only got about 15 minutes or so wow, left. Was, uh, <laughs> it's gone quick. Hasn't it? Sure. We've had a lovely time, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I haven't learned so much in <laughs> so this. Like. Manx technique was fabulous, but yeah. we're going to do a little bit of red work now, a little bit of embroidery. Yeah, absolutely. So um, in the kit, you've got some white on fa white fabric and your interfacing. I like to interface my fabric when I'm doing red work, um, as a lot of people do. Um, it just helps stabilise the fabric as you're stitching. It also helps disguise any little stray threads as well, which is great. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to do the little candle uh, embroidery here. You've got I've drawn out a, um, on there for you. You've got a five-inch circle and a four-inch circle. So I would trace those out through first. If you don't have a light box, um, you could just pop it up against the window, or if you've got um, like a glass um, coffee table, use a torch or something underneath. Nice and easy. But a lot of people, as crafters, we we've got all the gadgets. Most of us have got a light box. <laughs> I'm going to use that four inch line just around the centre there just to line that all up and I've already started drawing it out and you just draw through the design. Okay. I'm just using a, a Frixon pen but you could use anything, a washable pen, obviously not a vanishing marker because it's, <laughs> unless you're a really speedy stitcher. <laughs> speedy stitching. <laughs> uh, I remember using one by mistake once actually and uh, did a, did a whole pattern out, went and made a cup of tea, came back, and it took me about an hour to draw it out, and oh. it was all gone. It was all gone because I picked up a vanishing. One of my favourites is using one of my heat erasable pens, tracing out a design, and then just thinking, oh, I've got a few crinkles there, I'm going to iron it. Oh, and yeah, then I've done you that too. see your design disappear <laughs> as the iron drifts over it. Oh. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, move that one out of the way. Um, as I was saying, the cotton embroidery, which is um, a thread that we use for red work, you could use cotton perlé as well, I like a, a number eight, but this is a particular favourite of mine, it's got a lovely sheen to it, um, and you don't strand it or anything, you use it as whole. Um, got a knot in, the, knot in the bottom, and we're just going to come up, and you would stitch out the centre design first of all, okay? So we're going to stitch out the centre side with a simple back stitch. So, I like to think about where the lines are going as well before I start my uh, red work because you want to kind of do them in a continuous line. So I wouldn't, hopefully you guys can see. So this candle here, this candle sits behind it. So I wouldn't come down here because this is actually the part of this candle. So I would do that piece. Like, oh, I do it as a so whole. kind of work from the back to the yeah. front in your and formation. it kind of helps it give, it's not 3D, but it helps give a more professional finish because okay. you're kind of following the lines that go with the actual item. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Um, very quickly as well, it's been a popular bundle. 70% of the stock has gone with regards to this one. So details on your screen. If you are wanting to make your baubles, don't forget Sarah's mentioned that you've got nine, nine different styles, which is why we're saying makes nine baubles. But if you are quite frugal with your fabric, you may be able to stretch that to make 12 of those baubles. Yeah. I also noticed as well, you're not using a hoop with this one. I don't. You can if you want to. Um, absolutely, you can use a hoop if, you like, if that's how you like to, to do it. I don't. I actually find it a lot easier easier to move the fabric and, okay. and manipulate it without a hoop. Nice. Lots of people use hoops and that's fine. It's, it's really what you're comfortable with. Okay. Um, I, I don't find, particularly with a small project, if, it was, if I was doing a much large project then I probably would hoop, but a little small project like this, I find it easier to handle. I find it easier to hold. Okay, so. lovely, thank you. Um, and with a back stitch, um, the thing to sort of kind of really think about is making sure that you go right back in where you came out previously. You don't, with Redwood, you don't want to leave any little gaps. So it's quite important to sort of, it doesn't really matter about the size of stitch. Again, a bit like with the Manx, it's more about consistency of stitch. So they don't have to be weeny, tiny, tiny little stitches. You know, you're not trying to sort of, you know, quilt and get 16 stitches to an inch or anything like that. But... Just think about the consistency of your stitch. And it, again, will just give you a much neater finish. And all I'm doing is just working a back stitch. That's all red work is, really, is a back stitch. And occasionally we throw in some French knots. <laughs> <laughs> but it's mainly just a back stitch. And you're just going to stitch out round that line, those lines you've drawn. OK. And again, it's just another mindful way of sewing. Oh, it's a real gentle, lovely, yeah. yeah, like you said, mindful way of sewing. It's one of those really peaceful 
sit down with a cup of tea, nice Christmas film, and you can stitch that out, okay? Ooh, rapidly approaching 80% of the stock has gone of this one. So, yeah, if you are wanting that, don't forget the baubles could be put together. It's quite a fabulous cushion as well if you're wanting to. They don't have to be put together in the scenario of the baubles. I mean, they look beautiful, as you can see. They're hanging on our twiggy tree. Mm -hmm. um, rapidly approaching limited stock with these ones, though. So if you are wanting them, please, please be quick. 605-611 if you want to take advantage of those. Um, okay, I thought rather than, rather than stitch it all out, okay. um, I'll show you how to join the baubles, okay? So, you know, because it is exactly the same stitching over and over with back stitch. You're not going to stitch the two circular lines because we're going to do that in a moment. So if you cut it out on that five inch line, like this. Now, you could use pink and shears, which I forgot to pick up, <laughs> which oh, is why I'm using my normal scissors. Okay. <laughs> but I would use pink and shears on this um, just because it'll give you that nice sort of finished edge um, to the bauble. Um, so there we go. So I'm just going to cut it out on that, on the five inch line, all the way around, like that. And then I'm going to, I'll just chop that off a second. There we go. And then on another piece, piece of the fabric that's got the interfacing on you're going to line that up like that pop a couple of pins in keep stop it from moving and then you're going to stitch you're going to do a running stitch on the four inch line which is the inner circle okay now i would start by coming up through the middle so again you haven't got any knots on the back or anything oh, that's a good tip like that and you're just going to do a little running stitch on the four inch line and you're going to go almost all the way round, but you're going to leave a little tiny gap, which we're going to then put a little bit of stuffing in. Okay. And turn, you know, and then finish off sewing. So you'd stitch all the way round, like that. Again, we're not going to get all the way. We might not get all the way round. Okay. <laughs> and again, you've got that lovely sort of nice running stitch, which is all sort of quite Scandi feeling as well. You know, it's that idea that it's. Uh, Handmade. It's like you're drawing with the stitches, which it I think is, is it's really fabulous. Is. And again, it's one of those ones, it's, it's muscle memory, it's keeping those fingers going. It's maybe teaching a younger um, person, member of the family, niece, nephew, granddaughter or grandson to, to stitch hand stitching, because it's one of those things that I don't know whether it's actually taught as much in schools as it used it's, I don't to, think yeah? it is, no. No, I don't think it's even part. It's kind of after school clubs and things like that, isn't it, when people get involved. And I suppose that could be something that you, if you are thinking of um, working in an after school club and teaching these i'm guessing that people could use those patterns yeah and, absolutely yeah, yeah that would be that fine way. with us yeah no problem and if you wanted to make and sell anything that we've been chatting about is that okay as well i should have asked that that's fine yeah yeah we're, we're happy for um people to make and sell as long as you kind of credit credit the pattern to us Lovely. that's fine now the baubles if you are thinking about getting hold of these you're, you're gonna have to make a decision pretty quickly mm -hmm. because they are now limited in stock so again nine different designs allowing you to create at least nine baubles maybe as many as 12 of those and of course then you've got the designs the templates that you can go on and replicate over and over again you've got everything that you need in there bar the toy stuffing um, so you've got your thread that gorgeous red that we can see Sarah working with but of course you could incorporate some of your own perle threads maybe and do colored ver um, variations of those some lovely blue stitching on some of the ones that we've got here as well so, yeah. yeah I mean you don't have to stick to the red threads you yeah. know, I know it's called red work but you know absolutely use variegated threads use whatever That's you like nice in idea, them actually, yeah. Yeah. now with regards to the toy stuffing is there anything mm -hmm. that we need to know about this just traditional just what have you got? I don't even use toy stuffing I, I buy really cheap pillow innards I'm glad I'm not the only one <laughs> cut them up and use the insides of those because it's so much easier and so much cheaper than toy true. stuff it and true. actually it's got the same fire guard safety le levels yeah. as well so yeah I, old, old pillows that I cut up <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we just leave a little tiny gap and before you finish stitching you're just gonna pop some wadding into there or uh, stuffing sorry not wadding into there and then carry on stitching just to close up the gap and then so I would you use my not off your thread or anything you just kind no, of no I would leave it, it leave side. it long and leave a gap, stuff it, and then you can carry on stitching with it just to close it all up. Okay. So then just finish off your little running stitch, and then once you've closed up that gap, you just use your pink and shears then to cut it out on, you know, following that five inch line, use your cutting, oh, 
just managed to unthread my needle. That's okay. <laughs> and I was just about to say to you, could you use something else to, to stuff it? Maybe a bit of potpourri or something like yeah, that. But, yeah, but I suppose you've got to be careful because of the gaps in the stitches. Things yeah. could come through, so it nothing could. too fine. But if you used some stuff in and then maybe put some essential oils on That's the stuff in, or mixed a little bit of stuff in with some, you know, yeah. I mean, for Christmas, you know, some nice cinnamon or spiced oh, yeah. orange, you know, smells or something yeah. with it. You could put some potpourri and some stuff in there. It would be fine. That's a good idea. And actually, it's the gaps are really quite small even though it looks quite a big running stitch you know it would have to be quite small to get through those little gaps so um so you should be all right nice little variation yeah. i love that idea um i don't know about you guys but i've had a fabulous time this mm -hmm. hour learning so much from our lovely sarah um when are we expecting you back again sarah? uh we're back on the 28th of december yeah, so, uh, yeah, yeah just got an hour then, right, right, between Christmas and New Year. I love it. <laughs> uh, I always like it when we've got a project maybe to get your teeth stuck into during that period. Um, something like the Manx and patchwork that we've been chatting about today could be that project. And just to let you know, I mean, we saw this as the first demonstration from Sarah fascinating history behind this project and again a lovely way for you to do some hand sewing maybe in a different scenario if you've been doing your English paper piecing and you wanted to do something a little bit different then do check out the kit that we've got here it has been very popular though so with regard to this one two-thirds of the stock has gone now and just to reiterate you're going to get the fabric that will allow you to create your cushion front um, you're going to incorporate your own fabric for the backing a zip if you wanting to put a zip in there but you are learning an age-old technique that originated in the Isle of Man to do with the measurements relating to the size of your hands and your thumbs. Now, if you're just joining us and you're thinking, hang on a minute, what did I say? You need to go back and watch on Rewind. You've got up to 60 days, so when you get your kit home, you can rest assured, you can watch that demonstration, but of course you have got your full instructions with it anyway. Sarah, thank you. That's thank okay. you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, thank you for bringing us so many fabulous kits <laughs> and uh, um, looking forward to seeing you obviously towards the end of the year it and is. next year as well. Absolutely, yeah. So <laughs> I shan't see you before Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Oh, you too. Merry Christmas. Um, and you guys, if you've got anything in your baskets now, I can't emphasise the urgency um, more so especially if you're going for those gorgeous red work baubles that we saw just a few moments ago down to single figures with regards to those so potentially you could miss out on those if you're not placing them in your basket and more importantly checking your basket out if you're on your phone on the phone lines hopefully we'll get to you in time for you to be placing your order it might be an idea to jump off and place your order online if not so uh, yeah thank you again sarah for the hour fabulous hour thoroughly enjoyed it we've got more sewing coming up though because of course we've got a sewing one day special well fabric and you need to stay tuned to check this one out i'll see you later So there you go, we're looking at the Wyndham Fabric Black Tag One Day Special. Oh my goodness, you're going to love it. Then I'm back with the lovely Sally and Aroma Glow. And then we have got um, Scarlet Rose again. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops, and um, our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy Shows on Hochanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with Achanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on Achanda.
Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. So we wanted to add an extra element to our stamp collection, and this was down to Josie, using her iPad and hand drawing the amazing sentiments that we now have in our collection. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. So make sure you don't miss the Daisy Bee shows on Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hachanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Hachanda. we have got another look at the one day special beautiful fabrics now it is a, it's it's you're getting 20 half meter pieces uh, and you have a choice of colors you choose what sorts of colors whether you want a rainbow whether you want uh, neutrals whether you want beautiful blues or pinks or you know the beautiful reds is your choice and you are going to get half meter pieces 20 of them so it's the equivalent of 10 meters of beautiful windham fabrics now we have got an expert here in the building our jenny how Hello. are you hi now you uh, i mean have been enjoying this fabrics yes. uh creating different projects with them what is it so so good about getting half meter pieces of fabric they just go so far so you can use them for little projects and you'll get so many small projects yeah. out of them or you could use them for like a large quilt and that's a very good point because you, if you use, you are getting 20 meter pieces, you are getting 10 meters of fabric, yeah. therefore a big quilt could be sorted. Yeah, definitely. Imagine that. Now also, uh, colorways, we, um, you know, if you are thinking, what would be the recommendation for somebody who's thinking, well, I like the ne neutrals, I like the black and white, what should I go for? I think the black and white just because if you've got fabric at home you'll be able to mix those in really easily with your other fabrics but then i would just be tempted to get the black and white and the color as well absolutely <laughs> well the thing is that it's a black tag event one day special that means that the saving is massive it's a 50 percent saving basically you are saving as much as you are spending you are saving 69 pounds and 90 pence which makes it half price 
So what about uh, being indulgent and say treat yourself and do like Jenny saying, go for the black and white and add in your favorite color. We all have got a favorite color. And if you are undecided about your favorite color, go for the rainbow, which is the one that you can see now on the screens, which has got the beautiful red, yellows, elephants, stripes, flowers. Or what about going for more the forest, the greens, the browns, or the skies, which are the blues. My favorite, I have to say, usually I tend to go for reds, but in this collection, I would go for the blues because I think the blue range is absolutely stunning. There is some quirkiness in here as well, so you can see the hairpins in that beautiful navy with the coral, thing, coral print. There is some kind of weave texture in that indigo color or dark denim. And then we have got here this glorious kind of you know, tone on tone. Then we have got the flowers, and my absolute favorite has to be this one because what you have got here is that print of the cork with those tonal, beautiful cobalt ultramarines blues, but then those hints of gold that makes it very celestial, actually, that combination. Now, however, you know that I always go for reds, and I'm, usually reds is not the lead. Well, this way is complete, this today is uh, the other way around. Fire is in the lead. Fire with those beautiful deep uh, yellows, those gorgeous warm oranges that you can see in here with the glitter glistening as the light hits it. Then you have got the nursery rhyme uh, written in here and uh, the cow jump over the moon. I mean, that's a powerful cow. And then we have got the uh, beautiful hearts and then the checks as well here. And then we have got something like here. I have to say, I love this. This could be anything, but it could be also be tribal uh, shields. And if you come closer, you can see kind of African shields. If you see that, they could be petals of a flower. They are absolutely stunning. Can you see them? There, there, there. Tell me there. They're like little tiny shields. I like it because it's kind of, and then that one, I kind of love as well, very striking. Now, half meter pieces means that if you are clever, you can make a short skirt with them. I know because I have done them myself. <laughs> Obviously, I'm very short, so my legs are very short, so I'm not saying that. So Maybe on Jenny, it would be like a tiny mini skirt, <laughs> and then for me, it would be like a maxi skirt. <laughs> but you can use them for dress making, although they are quilting cotton, and of course, they are fabulous quality, but fabulous stuff. Now, shall we look at the black and white? Because the black and white has got that neutral tones in here, of course, the whites and the grays, that they are perfect accents to the boldness of the colors in the other sets. What I like about this set as well is that it's not just black and white boring prints. Oh no, you are getting, I love these stripes. I think they are very bold. Again, dressmaking, you could buy two of them. Of course, they will come in separate pieces, but still you can join them together. You have got glorious, beautiful, uh, you know, vine detail in here as well. And patterns that blend, that they let the color sing, that soft focus as well, glorious. And then we have got as well the grace as well here, that kind of let, it's a grungy print. It has got like a tiny print, but then of course it kind of highlights it more, the, the prints that are beside it, the florals. And then we have got some color coming through with the Day of the Dead, the Mexican sugar skulls here coming through, dots smaller prints as well, bigger prints. And one of my favorites has to be uh, this one, which the camera kind of, ah, oh, there it is, perfect. So you can see the white prints onto the fabric in there printed perfectly. That is, of course, the gorgeous uh, black and white, but there is so many more options that we can have. Right, 720-470 uh, uh, is your item number. Now, you have got to, uh, also an interest-free payment option. You can flexibly buy two payments of 34 pounds or 32 pence if you wanted to go for that way. Uh, 95 pence, sorry, I could give you the wrong pennies. And, I, and also, if you're a Freedom member, you don't pay P and P. We have got a lot more on the website, including a planes, a pick and mix. We have got also the uh, designer fabric pick and mix. Uh, and of course, we have got patterns as well. We have got the Notion pack with the trace and erasable bundle, which has got a refillable soul line pencil and of course lit and of course we have got the uh, the basing basing spray as well right all uh, right 
the planes. I was going to poke uh, out uh, from the uh, behind, but it's just like, I did it once. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> right, we have other planes up. It's a pick and mix. You choose any three of them. One of the things I was drawn to this option is just the the are essentials. Uh, when we are kind of um, you know so we go for prints, but sometimes binding accents. Jenny, isn't the um, buying planes very important? Yeah, yeah. I have a huge stash of them because I use them for everything. I, I often use them for the binding. Yeah, and I like to use different colours try and match with with one of the prints within the, the, the thing the, I've yeah. made the quilt and then I always use them for linings and then often in the main quilt or the main yeah. project yeah. I'll add a, a solid to blend with everything else now these are also there is some if, if on the website you see artisan cotton that means that it's a short cotton if I show you the salvage you can see it that is basically two col colors interwoven uh, together so hence why it gives you a little bit like kind of a reflection of the hint of a different color uh, my favorite in that respect is uh, this one because you can see it perfectly how the blue comes through through that beautiful kind of rusty purple sort of color that we have got in there and then of course you have got that glorious teal as well that has got a little bit of a lighter tone as well coming through so those ones are the artisan but you have got other planes you have got some some of these that have got this very very gentle uh, grunge the um, kind of a tone on tone kind of pattern in there but so gentle that it's almost imperceptible so perfect for binding you have got grays and you have got browns you have got pinks uh, like Jenny was saying go for if you are going for the one day special for instance if you went for the blues uh, a good option would be to go for the two artisans blues and then maybe go for the aqua and that would make a lovely trio of colors uh, for instance, if you are going for the fire, well, there is a different options, like for instance, this three. So this one would be artisan. This one has grunge kind of sort of a tone and tone print. And then now you have got that plain uh, kind of orange. I would say it's more of a peach. But then you have got other options as well because you can go for a deeper orange. You can see it here how suddenly you have got those options as well. So there, if you're going for the fire option, you can see it. If we saw uh, the fire um, option at the, uh, at the other side of this, the, the camera, uh, we could see that how it, they will work, those ones over there, how well they will work with those kind of beautiful colors as well. So there is so many options for you to choose from. So that is from the one day special, that's the fire. And then of course we come in here and we have got the planes that could match it. And that is only 13 pounds and 97 pence for three half meters. So a meter and a half of fabric and saving seven pounds, seven, four, six, three, five, nine is your item number. Now we have got also Madeira, uh, it is a Madeira uh, metallic uh, thread as well for you. Uh, we have got it uh, includes eight spools of 200 meters uh, that's you know that's eight times what uh, Hussein Bolt used to run so fast isn't it uh, you are saving 30 percent and six pounds 20 is what you're saving 13 pounds and 79 pence is your price we have got the classic colors as well um, now the, again is eight spools of I believe it's also 200 meters so it's a long distance for me, not for her same bulk, but for me it is. Uh, 13 pounds and 79 pence is uh, the price. You're saving six pounds and 20 pence. 911 372 is your item number. Then we have got as well the, oh, this one, extra. Extra, spectra, not spectra, sorry, not, not this extra. I mean, they look extra. Spectra, uh, yeah, it's just, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, super here, no, not super here, super, Anyway, moving on. Th so for spy, yes, yeah. Ah, thirteen pounds and seventy-nine pence is the price. You're saving six pounds and twenty pence. It's always the first show of the day that I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, Jenny, what are we doing next? We're going to make the um, laptop case. Today. Oh, that's a very cool project. That's one of yeah. your patterns, isn't it? It is, yes. We do have got that pattern on the show, so if you want to go for it, and of course it's a it's a laptop, but it could be for a large, um, you know, tablet or something like that. Documents uh, as well. Look on. Uh, See, I love your designs because they are so bold. And this one, these patterns are part of the fire one, isn't it? Yes, the first one is, and then the second version I used um, rainbow. the rainbow yeah. with a solid. Perfect. Now, 
We have got a question from email is in that they are asking. Marlene is asking if the fabrics from the Wednesday Special as well as the Pika Mix are 100% cotton. Yes. Yes. Perfect. 100% cotton. All of them quilting weight for your information. I hope that has answered your question, Marlene. Right, Jenny, take uh, take it away. Right. So this is a really really simple project, um, and it's a great use for the fabrics that have got a gorgeous big print on. So as you can see, I used I love the fabric from the fire. It's, um, it's like pencil sharpening. Okay. So right. it's just great fun. It's oh, that I one, see. Yeah, so it's like that's pencil so sharpening. So I thought that's quite a masculine version. Yeah. So the back of it, I used the red version of it. Because there's three of the prints. And then the white uh, laptop case, I used um, bright green on the back. Wow. So I'll just, um, can I turn it over quick? Yeah. There we go. Ooh, How I great like is that. that? I love that colour. Yeah. So it's the same print. Uh, again, it was from the rainbow. Yeah. The rainbow one. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It is so simple. I've made the front here and I had to use my favourite print. Uh, which, by the way, this is from the, uh, of course, the sunset option, yes. which is the pinks and the purples. Very popular option. It's the pencils. I, it's love, just, I love this print so much. And I've used one of the solids that is the the uh, the pink one that has, I'm not sure what colour. I think it's got the white running through yeah, it. Yeah, that's a shot yeah. pattern as well. So yeah. I think the one that you are using is I did check this this one. No, 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 no that, that, one. One, that one. Yeah, yeah that, that one. one. I love that this colour. Right. So, you can so see I've that. cut out my main piece of this. Will be the back. Decided to do both sides the same on this one, but you could do mix and match. Um, I've cut out my main piece and my strip for the bottom and I am just going to place and remember if you've got a, di a directional print place this at the which what will be the bottom of the bag make sure your fabrics all lined up and it would be right sides together as well here so if you're using a print on the bottom as well make sure you have them right sides together okay. so we are just going to sew all the way along the bottom of here a quarter inch, a quarter inch of seam allowance. Yes, straight the stitch. Uh, now, some people, um, I mean, you have got a, an amazing sewing machine there and with a big table. Uh, but um, even if you have got a simple sewing machine, would be, they be able to do this project? Oh yeah, you need nothing fancy. Um, just need a zipper foot. Perfect. Make sure you've got a machine that has got a zipper foot with it, so you can put the zip in along the top. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, you could even get away with not using a walking foot for the quilting part of this, because you're not going through three layers, you're only going through two. Okay, so... So, once you've sewn that piece, you're just going to uh, press the seam. And you are using one of, uh, is this one's the Natasha uh, mats that she brings in the iron. Yeah, she mat. gave it to me last Aww. time we were in at the same time. Lucky. Because she could see I was struggling with a different one. And she was like, oh, just, just, just take this mat, it's great. Yeah, it is great, as you can see. Yeah, I've just cut that piece too wide. I was rushing to cut them, so I've just over, over okay. cut this. But that's fine, because I can just square that off. Okay. Here. There we go. So the next stage is just to baste your back on to a piece of wadding. Right. Can be any wadding you like. It's Could a it great project there to is get. A, We have got a kit, don't we, where it comes with the basting a spray yes. and that one as well. Yes, that's perfect for it. That's okay. In fact, I think this is the same. The this same could be width, the yeah. same, yeah, the same wadding. So um, it's great to use just the leftovers of your wadding up. And of course, uh, for this project, you would need, if you wanted to do like you are doing both at the same back to front, uh, you would need a half meter piece of it because otherwise it would yeah, be just one. Yeah, left over. Yeah. Yeah, Be because I tried to do one uh, with uh, fat quarters and there was not enough, but with half a uh, no, pieces. This, this pattern you can do fat uh, quarter. Right. Like, this one is fat quarter friendly, this oh, pattern. Good, yeah, it's actually the, originally when I designed this, it was for a show which I was uh, using fat quarters. I see. So I tried to make the projects all fat quarter friendly. So, but you would have to use different front and back. Uh, yeah, you yeah. couldn't use the same print on the front Absolutely. as the back. Yeah. 
I think this is the first time I've ever made one with the same front and back. Oh, really? Yeah, I always, I love making them and I always use different prints. But I, feel, I think it's, it's, it's a good thing to have the option. If you have go for the half meter pieces, which by the way the one day special is, uh, then you will, can choose whether yes. you want different or not, <laughs> which is always good to have choices. Yes. There we go. So I've just placed that on the wadding and I am just going to do two simple lines just to attach it, but you can go wild with your quilting. You can do as much as you want or as little as you want on this project. I think okay. one of them I did straight lines across and the other one, the more masculine one, I did check like so mm -hmm. uh, crisscross there. Uh, quilting on it because so I just thought it went really well with the print. Often the print speaks to how you want to quilt stuff. So for this I am just going to simply go echo the seam line. And echo means that you are just a quarter of an inch away from the seam, right? Yes, I am. And you were saying that this is one of the easiest ways of yeah. quilting. Yes, I've just realised on the other the other piece, I quilted it more than a quarter of an inch away. Not uh, just slightly, uh, hmm. but yes, yes, the easiest is quilting straight lines and echoing a seam. Because then, if you if you, we were talking about this last night, weren't we, with stitching the ditch? Yes. If you're trying to stitch in the ditch, you really have to get that, the... Uh, the line you're sewing right in that ditch because it's very noticeable if it goes it, out it of the does, ditch. It does, yeah, absolutely. So Especially it requires actually more, more skill than if you're just going to echo. Well, apparently then I'm more skilled than I thought <laughs> because I have been doing a stitch in the ditch all the time. So yeah, so you've got you've got yeah, good at it. That's brilliant. Well, I mean, it's a bit iffy <laughs> stitch in the ditch, but you know. <laughs> So the next stage of making this is you just want to trim off all that excess wadding you've got. Yeah. I just love that print and of course uh, that is the uh, sunset option from the one day special with those beautiful purples and pinks you can see them here as well. I've always had a thing for pencil prints and stuff like that. I've seen other ones and I love them but because yeah. this is purple and pink Make and also because it's pencils but it's kind of quite geometric in the way that they have been displayed so yes. it's, it's almost as fine as that it's quite elegant even though it's funky it's also yes. you know it, it's it's just really usable and are you using one of the creative braids and rulers then to cut yes them? I am my favorite rulers they're great because they have that little not stick but the grip yeah. underneath yeah. Less likely to move when you're uh, pressing down. Absolutely. There we go. So that's the front and the back made. So I'm just going to set those to one side and show you how I make the uh, zipper tabs. Perfect. So this is a very quick project as well. Yeah, yeah. It is. And also, like I always say, I'm determined to get people. Uh, less afraid of putting zips in. Oh yes. So I'm going to show my usual really easy zip technique. Okay. Hopefully on TV. <laughs> so my zip is huge because it's the only zip I had. So it's much longer than my piece. Okay. So all I'm going to do is simply, or oh, I don't want to use those scissors on it. Hold on one second. I've got another pair of scissors in my little pack. <laughs> There we go. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the end here. Like so. Okay. Straighten that off a bit. Okay. And then open the zip out. Just don't want to cut the zipper tab off. Just measure it along. And if you don't get the measurements correctly, you can always trim stuff down later. Okay. So I'm just going to trim this zip. Yeah, just cut those extra bits off that we don't need. Just don't take your zip to the end now, leave that open until you've popped the tabs in. Right, so my tabs that I've made okay. to go on each end of the zip is one square. <laughs> right, perfect. One square, folded in half first. Yes. 
and then two, both edges uh, folded in by a quarter of an inch-ish, maybe a little bit more. And then you just have to repress it and you've got your tab. So you make two of those. Yes. And next is, I'm just going to take my walking foot off and make my stitches smaller. Why do you need to make it smaller? So I made them larger because the last thing I did oh. was quilting. Oh, yeah. and I always do use a large stitch when I'm quilting. Oh, I uh, see. 3.8 usually around. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a top tip as well there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, always use a large stitch. So what you're going to do now is you're just going to put one end of the zip inside the all the way to the end of the tab you've just made. And you're going to sew over the tab and the zip Close to the close to the fold. This is to oh, hold on. I've got my uh, got my foot set a quarter of a foot, by a quarter of an inch, and I want the normal one. There we go. So we're just going to start here and just sew close to the edge. When you get to the zipper T, I tend to just back stitch over those okay. just once. And right. so okay. that across. And then we're just going to do the other side. Obviously, this one's open now because of opening the zip up. So it can move a little bit. So you, I always take my time a bit more on this one. So if you just fold that in, push it to the end, and you just want to hold that with your fingers slightly. OK. There we go. And I make the zipper tabs larger than the zip we're going to cut them down it's just easier to get your zip in there yeah. and you don't have to be quite as precise you don't have to get it exactly lined up there we go so we're just going to go across the zip okay all right and then there we go so that is your zipper tabs attached and you are just going to chop Okay, so you long. Oh, perfect. So you make it very neat then. The yeah, zipper. yes. So you just don't have to worry if the zip's moving or anything. You're still going to end up with those perfect tabs. So now it's time to pop the zipper foot on the machine. I could take my normal one off. Move my cotton out of the way. And then Let's clip that one on there. There we go. Yeah. So, need two back it, uh, lining pieces. I've already cut those to make it easier. Pop that one there. And there's the same, uh, is the shot cotton, for, uh, the artisan yes. cotton. Oh, yeah, I wanted to use it throughout this. Yeah, one. it's gorgeous. It's so sweet. It does feel also like almost like a miniature, like almost brush cotton in the way that it's yeah. a little bit softer. It has got yeah. the softness to it. It's so, so nice. Right, so you're going to have your outside piece right side up and your zip right side down. So your zipper uh, pull is facing down against the printed fabric. Line those up like so. Get your lining fabric and you're going to then line that up along yeah. the top as well. Okay. I am going to then use quilters clips to attach this because yeah. they have a tendency to move too much. Okay. So I don't want to risk it just now. And that will hold the zipper in day. one side. Yeah. Yes. And I'll show you what you do when you get to the zip. You need to stop the zipper pull. You need to stop with your needle down so you can lift the foot and just move yeah. your zipper, uh, your zipper um, tab past where you've sewn so you don't end up going wonky. Because if you try to keep the zipper and sew past the zipper uh, pull, your stitching is going to go out because it's going to get in the way of the foot. Or your machine might not even let you if there's not much of a gap. Yeah, of course. So I'm just going to clip this nicely so that we can try and do it there we go often the lining might shift along a bit but it's fine because you just trim it all down at the end right so we're going to take it over to the machine 
Okay. And I'm just right. going to start further down and then back stitch back because sometimes the bolt okay. isn't happy. So there we go. So yeah. we're going. So we're just using the zipper foot to sew straight down. So this side of the zipper foot is feeling the teeth. Okay. So I'm just sewing against the teeth. Right. I'm going to move this along and I can feel that my zipper tab is here. Right. So I've got my needle down, I'm going to place my foot up. Okay. And then I can feel the tab and just easily push it along yeah. to the end there. Yeah. So now that's not in your way and you can just go all the way along now. You might want to just check that your zip hasn't moved from the edge that yeah. you've lined up, but you know when you've just been pulling the tab. Yeah. So just pop your finger in and replace it and it will be fine. I just love to see it, it, some, a project, such a useful project coming together so quickly because it's, it's just, it, you know, laptop cases is something that we, uh, many of us have got a laptop or maybe we have got a documents or maybe we like tablets yeah. or, you know, and having maybe also, you know what, um, uh, how you call it, headphones. You know, yep. some of those ones are really expensive and you want to have something that is cushioned and you can, you know, cool, yeah. but also discreet because usually when they come with, if you're taking them to work or who you're having them with you, if they have got the, um, the case, usually it's very yeah. telling what it is inside. And so you I made, yeah, I made this nice and big so it could fit documents in or you could fit, because obviously laptops are all different yes. sizes. My laptop's quite large and then I can also fit the one wires in there as well. Oh good. So it's all in one and if uh, you thought the wadding was a bit too um, too light you yeah. could add a bosel. Oh yeah. Um, it's a lot more padded then. Of course you can yeah. Yeah so you could cut the bosel out uh, a half an inch, uh, not half an inch, a quarter of an inch smaller than your outside piece. Ah. So to make the seams less bulky. Yeah. But most machines will be happy with the bulk yeah. but sometimes it's just easier yeah. to do that. So that is one side of the zip attached. So what you're going to do is just open, put the uh, lining behind like this, and then you're going to repeat the exact same on the other side. So you're going to get your, this could be the back, yep. right side up, the zip right side down, line that up there, and then add your lining fabric to the top and then you are going to just basically do the same thing as you have yes done. and when i get to about here yeah this part part way down my yeah. so my zipper tab is here you can see what i'll do is stop lift the foot up pull that zipper past and carry on to the end. Perfect. So uh, while you do that, uh, can we uh, remind everybody of the one day special? Now, the one day special is beautiful. Can you imagine? Maybe you are one of those ones that likes to have all the colors, all the rainbow. Why not go for it? You have got a half price, uh, amazing one day special, and you have got all these different options. You have got the fire, which is the one in the screen, the beautiful yellows, oranges, and red. This is passion, this is fire. This is beautiful tones in here. Then we have got the glorious blues. Uh, the glorious blues as well. Uh, we have got the amazing, you can see them here, the glorious, uh, the beautiful aquas, and this is the sky option. Then we are moving on to, look at that, Los, 
Aldora, you're getting turquoises, you're getting aquas, you're getting uh, indigos, you're getting denims, you're getting denim in color. Uh, you, all of them, of course, 100% cotton and in beautiful quilting weight. Then we have got the greens in here. Uh, th this is the forest with the greens and the browns and, of course, the earthy tones in here. I adore this fabric as well. Look at that. How gorgeous is that with that pattern? Uh, I, I think there's a lot of gentleman-like a scarf a fabric here beautifully and then of course we are moving into the sunset with the deeper pinks with the glorious yellows as well coming through as well and then we are going into of course the beautiful sunset colors of the pinks and of course the light looks and the corals as well now all of them are parts of the pinks and the purples of course we have got different parts of the sunset then we have got, of course, uh, if we bring them down a little bit, because we are going to the neutrals here. The neutrals have got, of course, that essential nature to them. They are the perfect blenders. They are the ones that a lot of, you know, feature fabrics will have neutrals colors or naturals there. And of course, this one will allow you to blend those fabrics to bring the joyful feature fabric into into the foreground. And of course, you have got geometrics in here. You have got, I think, this is hilarious. Uh, this this is the garlic, but it's hilarious and useful. You can make bags for uh, your garlic, of course, your potatoes and your uh, dry food ingredients at home. Shopping bags as well. And then, of course, you have got like things like the gorgeous uh, brick wall or uh, stone wall. You have got glorious patterns with little pattern here that they make the fabulous uh, feature. Uh, not feature, but kind of help the feature fabrics kind of stand out. And again, we have got the cork fabric here, but in this case of course in the natural so this is a very cool fabric like but then of course it has got the gold speckles in there as well now this is the naturals but then we are moving on to the glorious the rainbow uh, the rainbow is beautiful bold fabrics in here featuring all the colors in one fabric you can see the beautiful uh, bold florals you have got some dipsy prints into the navy you have got some stripy florals in here this is a really fun fabric. This is the one that if you want to do be inspired by color and patterns, this is definitely one to go for. I adore this fabric here with the pears and the blues as well. Moving on to, this is one of the ones that uh, Jenny did use for uh, the laptop case that she showed us, one side. You can have elephants if you want with the trump up, of course, because that's good luck. And then we have got the stripes, we have got the retro elements in here, the beautiful, the mass, and it keeps on going. We are still in rainbow. And then, of course, we have got some retro dots in there gorgeous pink flowers then we have got that same print that we had before but this is what Jenny did one side with the bold green underground uh, um, background and of course then the kind of cream on the on the other side and then we have got the coral and greens coming through then of course we are moving on to whites um, and blacks and this is another option very popular so if you want to go for that i would put it in my basket and check out those baskets if you are into cinema into kind of cameras and things like that this is fabulous then you have got here uh, florals you could color those ones uh, if you wanted really highlighting the boldness of these fabrics and then we go into the day of the dead so a little bit of a space uh, a little bit of color grace perfect perfect blenders perfect for sashing perfect for uh, your binding as well this is a really fun uh, fabric but you could accentuate with a little bit of embroidery or binding in different colors and then we have got the darker grace to go moving on to the blacks again fabulous um writing as well in here with beautiful words and then we have moving on to chicken wire which i had barbed wire which i adore it right this is the amazing uh, black and white collection the one day special remember it is half price 69 pounds and 90 pence and of course you are saving all that money as well you can split into two payments 34 pounds and 95 pence could be all your pain today so if i was like you know like a little bit cheeky i would say well it is half price so if i go for two I would just pay the price of one, really, the official price. You know, you should, what you should be paying. And if I split the cost, that means that I'm paying, you know, the price of one for 
two of them for the first month and then the next month. Or That's what I was thinking. If I buy four, I will be paying the price of one today and then the price of one in the next month. That's, that's how my mind would work. But I'm just a cheeky, you know, I like fabric and I like to build my stash. 720470 is, is the item, not my item number, the item number for the one day special. I'm not on sale. Anyway, designer pe fabric, we have got more pick and mix on the website. Uh, this one is a designer one, £22.95, and pence, gives you five and any um, half meter fabrics and you can see the options on your screen. Some of them are on the one day special, but many of them aren't. So you could kind of go in and select exactly what you want. Uh, maybe if, uh, and then get extras if you wanted to. For instance, that cat one, that's not in the one day special. So if you wanted to go for that one, the way to get it is to go for the pick and mix. And the milk, milk bottles as well, it's not on the uh, one day special. So if you want it, well, you know what to do. Check out the pick and mix, right? And then of course, you have a look Look at other pick and mixes, including the plain ones that we have got to accentuate the one day special. And with that, shall we shall we get back to Jenny? See where she is up to. Yes. So I've attached the other side of the zip, and I have just opened out the lining and the front and back. So the next stage is you want to top stitch. I've pressed it as well, just to keep those nice and away from the zip and give you a nice edge. So the next stage is you want to top stitch down both sides of the zip. So I'm going to keep my zipper foot on for this. Just to make sure that you've um, you've pulled that fabric away from the zip. Just going to do a larger stitch as well, one to match my quilting. And you are just going to use just use I'm using the um, the edge of my zipper foot just as a guide yeah of course for this yes. and that the zipper will allow it to be closer doesn't it yes it does and it just it's a nice length away from from the edge of the fabric I find for this particular project because you've got so much space you do not need to you know, be so particular in getting the top stitching really close to the uh, to the edge of this near the zip. It's just going to take it there. Just make sure. Always make sure when you're twisting that nothing's gone underneath itself. And we're just going to sew along there as well. There we go. So now the, both the lining and the outer fabric is not going to get caught in that zip when you're taking it back and forth. So the next step, open your zip part way. Don't forget to do this because if you don't open your zip part way, you're not going to be able to turn your bag out at the after the next step. So you want to get your outer pieces right sides together and your lining pieces together and again I'm going to use quilters clips and I am going to quil uh, clip all the way around so as you can see I've got the bits yes. of the batting lined up okay. nicely there and then the zipper tab here so I'm going to use quilters clips again to clip those in place nicely Right. And then the other one piece that you really want to line up is the bottom two pieces here. Okay. So if you make sure those are nicely lined up, click okay. there, and then you're going to want to put as many clips as you want. You can go mad with the clipping. And before I do the bottom, I'm going to do the same on this side. Oh, I see. Make sure the two bits of batting are lined up. Pop your clip in. And remember that, uh, of course, you can be able, you you will be able to watch this on rewind for sixty days as well. So time you can have your pattern, you can have of course the fabrics, and then craft along with Jenny with rewatching this show. Yeah. So just gonna make sure everything's lined up. 
clip here. And then line up that bottom piece. Okay. Always have to end up relining stuff up. There we go. I'm gonna feel like I'm taking my time doing this. <laughs> uh -huh. There we go. So that's that part clipped. And then caught that fabric there. You want to do the same with your lining piece. I often pin my lining piece instead of using clips yeah. because it is just it is just two layers of uh, cotton fabric. You don't yeah. have your, um, pick all the broken ones, don't I? Need to go thin through my pin, <laughs> my pin tin and get rid of all the broken pins. Mm -hmm. There we go. So we're just lining those up nicely. And again, on this side, I'm just going to reclip that because I've just caught a bit of the lining fabric in it. And the next stage, once I've pinned this, is we're going to just sew all the way around the edge of a quarter of an inch, all the way around, leaving a nice turning gap at the bottom of, you can do it however big, Three yeah. inches is enough. I'll probably leave a larger one just so that while we're turning it out on TV, it's easier. There we go. So that's nice and pinned really well. And we're going to start here. Right. Go all the way around and stop around here. So you've got a nice gap to turn nice it gap. out. Yep. So I'm just going to quarter of an inch. Okay. Oh. And change my foot. Still got my zipper foot on. We don't want to use that for this job. There we go. And of course, you're using the plane in there that is uh, one of the pick and mixes for the planes. Yes. And then. I like a nice looking inside of these as well. Yeah, absolutely. So, this fabric is just so beautiful. So, you're going to stop when you get to quarter of an inch away from the edge, needle down and pivot the fabric round and then just carry on quarter of an inch all the way up here. You're brave, you are sewing through the paints. I know, do you know it depends what size stitch I'm doing and also if I'm rushing or not rushing or yeah. it's whatever mood I'm in. Yeah, you're brave. Right, so you're just going to carry on going. I think I might have just moved that slightly. That's fine. You're going to carry on going over this edge here. You can always backstitch over that part if you want. I am going to trim into the seam allowance on that, um, on the ends of the zippers, just because it will stop so much bulk around the zipper tabs. So I'll show you how I do that. Okay. We have got about 10 minutes till the end of the show. Oh, we're going to finish this today. Oh, perfect. So again, just got to the edge. So I'm just going to pivot this round. Uh, I have got some news that the pick and mix using the uh, the artisan cotton, the artisan cottons are becoming very, very popular. So please do check out your baskets. I think the one that Jenny is using right now has just gone. The pink of the uh, artisan cottons has also sold out now. Please check out your baskets uh, for your beautiful plants, especially the artisan cottons. They are going very, very quickly. Please do check out your baskets for those ones. They are, and they are. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it, 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 yeah, it's it's not a brush cotton, but it does have that sort of softness almost that you know that kind of almost. yeah, it almost has a sheen as well because yeah. of the uh, two um, the two color weave going through yeah. it. It gives it a really nice kind of sheen to it. There 
There we go. So we're just going to go over this part again. This side of the zip. Just going to backstitch there. Yeah, we are selling out very fast of the pick and mix. Now, the last one to, uh, go, to go now is the Cascade in uh, grey blue. So that one is gone as well. So you can see now it's picking up a lot. So please do check out your baskets. Otherwise, you will miss out. Uh, they are all disappearing very quickly. Please do check out your baskets. They are such gorgeous colours as well. They are, because they are. Yeah. Uh, every project I did yeah. with using the uh, the one day special, the big bundles, out of those, it was always a solid. Absolutely. Because I, I had that exact solid choice as well to work with. I, it's one of those things that I look at them and I'm thinking, I love this kind of beautiful mustardy green. And then I kind of think, oh, that one is gone. <laughs> right, so that one is gone. So I'm going to take <laughs> it out. So, uh, that's the thing. I'm, we are just... Well, in the words of my producer, they are going, they are going mental. Uh, so please do, please do get them uh, if you want to. They are absolutely beautiful fabrics and they enhance your patterns. But you also, I'm thinking, you are getting uh, any, you choose whichever three you like and you're getting a half meter, which with, uh, in, with Jenny's English paper piecing patterns, you could do that, something like this. Oh, yeah. Because it just planes even. They're just used for everything. Right. Let's head back to Jenny because she's going to... So show. I have sewn all the way around now, leaving the turning gap in the lining. And I am just going to clip off all four corners just to reduce the bulk when we're turning it the right way out. And then where the zipper tabs are, it's a quarter of an inch seam, I tend to just cut into it slightly. As you can okay. see, I'm just taking off some of that bulk there because you've got your zipper tabs in there and it just gets a bit bulky so I like to yeah. get rid of it. It's not going to affect anything. I've and done it's it going to make many the corners, times. The corner's neater, isn't it? Yes, the corner's neater and the bulk bit slightly less. So that's actually the laptop case finished bar when you've turned it the right way out and you've put your lining inside you just want to hand stitch the lining closed using a little ladder stitch or well you can actually do it by machine because no one's going to see it you can just close it and just do a little stitch perfect right so we're just getting that out i'm just going to put my hand in the lining this is why i do a slightly bigger opening gap so then i can take my hand in there and poke the corners out. Use a poking tool or anything, chopstick, which I could use right oh, now because yeah. I've got one, awesome. but I'm using my nails. Yeah, sometimes the, the nails moment. are useful there for this, aren't <laughs> Yeah, so then all you want to do then is poke out your zipper tabs. Okay. I'm just going to pop that out there. I love this fabric and of course that is part of the sunset option of the one day special uh, which you are going to get well that's go. one of 20 beautiful fabrics Pop Look that at zipper them. tab it's yeah. always good to do that before you stuff that lining in because you can get a better reach on it so you're going to pop your lining in obviously before you get it all perfect close that so let me just show you here so what I would do is you fold those bits in quarter of an inch like just to match your seam and then you'll get a needle and just do a little ladder stitch or you can just take it to the machine. I'll show you this really quickly actually. I'm very, very close to the edge. Just do a little back stitch. And very close to that edge. Yeah. Where's mine stop there? Go and just back stitch those bits so they don't come off and so literally off the end there and that's that that's much quicker than if you're gonna hand sew it but once you've popped it in no one's gonna even see that stitching ah uh, uh, look at that yeah uh, there 
There Perfect. you go. You yep. can't see that lining stitch. That, at you're going to see a thing, yeah. And that's that laptop case finished. It's done. Which I think is going to take over the current laptop case that I use. Yeah, oh. <laughs> I might keep this one. <laughs> well, it is gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, of course, uh, that is featuring the mega collection of the One Day Special. It's using the option of the sunset, the beautiful pinks, the purples. But remember, the One Day Special is 20 beautiful pieces of handmade fabric, 100% cotton, quilting white. Your choice basically is what's your favorite color? What's the favorite color? to quilt with because sometimes it's not the same thing uh, and of course you or maybe you know your sash is like my sash it tends to be more greens and more natural do I want to you know go for those colors that I know I need I use all the time or do I want them to be a little bit adventurous that is the question that only you can answer or why not go for both both options go for an option of the colors that you traditionally go for and a little bit more adventures is up to you remember that they are half price so, and remember that you have got an option to split uh, split the cost in interest-free payments here we have got the black and white moving on to the reds the fires uh, the fire option which is the most popular apparently uh, the yellows the, the oranges the beautiful the fleckles of glitter moving on to the sky in which you have got this amazing sky blues whites with speckles of blue then we are moving into the funky territory of those indigos and those beautiful uh, hair paints as well here funky fabrics as well imagine maybe making a makeup bag with a, your that's fabric that sort of denim indigo beautiful wee fabric as well we have got in here and you have got the prints and then of course that beautiful 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 cobalt blue with the speckles of gold printing. I adore then we are going into beautiful turquoises and aquas as well coming through with the stripes in there as well. There's so many options. The sky has been a very popular option. Then from the sky we move into the forest, those greens, those sage greens, then the mossy greens, then the earthy greens. We have got then, I love this especially with the, oh look at that, it's just fun fabrics as well and you have got leaves in here this is a salad this is a mix of salads I love that that's a very different sort of elements and then we have got the beautiful deep teals and then into moving into the browns did see prints bigger florals in there then we have got some tribal prints as well very smart I mean I just think a gentleman's scarf would look amazing on that uh, or maybe a laptop bag why not put in adding that laptop uh, pattern as well moving to then do the sunset into the sunset we go pinks purples this is the one that Jenny was using here you can see here is featured those pencils that are gorgeous right I want to remind everybody to check out their baskets whether it's for the one day special whichever option or the plain cottons we are very busy for those we have got many sellouts on those ones so please check out your baskets Jenny thank you so much oh, you are going to be back for final call at four o'clock I am indeed all right, so at 4 o'clock, we will be seeing um, Jenny one more time to see a lot of more demonstrations. Do you stay tuned. After the break, we have got another interesting hour here at Hochanda with Scott. Black tech event with Aroma Glow after the break. Then we have Scarlet Rose. Julie is back at 4. And then Black Tack, oh no, at 3. And then Black Tack uh, with Crapsoscope. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows. 
here on Hachanda. Have you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Hachanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achanda. Hi, my name is Maggie and I'm from Impressions Crafts. Um, I've been running my business now for 15 years. It's a small family-run business in the south of Cheshire. We have a large craft shop. And we sell all sorts of beading and jewellery supplies. Um, I have a passion for making jewellery. I love working with um, the Lucite style flower beads. And we make thousands and thousands of angels and have been doing so for the last few years. We've been bringing uh, to Hachanda lots of lovely beading kits, jewellery, uh, for necklaces and bracelets and earrings and um, we also bring a wide range of angels and accessories, beading accessories like bookmarks and um, we also have our range of laser cut, uh, sun catchers and mobiles, all the lovely crafty beads. Hope you can tune into my shows and I'm looking forward to seeing you on her channel. Hi, I'm Hayley. Join me for some amazing Fabric Freedom shows. Fabric Freedom design all their fabrics here in the UK and they design them with quilters in mind, so they're really good at picking out those unidirectional prints. Really nice and small prints so you can work on smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilting cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom shows here on Hachanda. That time of year where we want our table decoration to look as glamorous beautiful, warming, homely, magical as possible. And this, with your beautiful candle-lit atmosphere, can be created so fantastically for any table decoration, for anything where you just want to keep the cold outside and the warmth inside full of colour and magic and exactly what you could get with our fantastic floating water candles, with our deluxe packs, and with a fantastic saving of 30% because you're watching during the Black Tag event. I am so excited about this hour that we've got. I've got some brilliant, brilliant items to bring to you. I can't wait, and this is one of those. And just look how amazing 
this looks. Now, this could be in your dining room, your living room, your kitchen area, where you can take away all the mundane feeling of the day. And just by lighting one of these fantastic wicks or the floating candles with the colour, transform the ambiance. I know that's a big word for me, isn't it? The ambiance uh, you can change with a flickering candle. Um, I'm really excited about this. Hour. It's lovely to be with you. I can't wait. And actually, I was just saying before we came live that our next guest, lovely Sally, it's our first time working together and what a colourful counter that Sally brings along. A very good afternoon, Sally. Lovely to be with you. And you, Scott. Really, yes, really looking forward to this hour with you. I, I, I just think we have so many wonderful brand. We've got brand new on the show as well. And if you've, if you've not seen some of these items on the show before, you're going to be wowed. And I think if you've got someone in anyone's mind's eye that are thinking, I've got so-and-so to get still, or I've got so-and-so that needs a present, etc. Or I want to try and transform that look, even if you can have power of six around for Christmas or whatever <laughs> it is, uh, whoever we could be with. You've got suggestions, solutions, and I know that even you were surprised when you saw the price points, how low you're going to get a chance to go for these uh, this afternoon. But first of all, it's our first time working together, but your business is your business, and you're based uh, down the south? I am, yes, yes. Uh, you left there this morning to come up. I did, yes. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad, actually. It only took about three hours. It oh, was that, fine. Well, that's yes. good. I'm glad it was a safe journey Thank and you're you. here. But you, I mean, it's your, your company you've been building up for quite some time, really. It is, yes. Many, many years. I started it with the floating candles and then progressed on to other products. So, yes, we are very, very busy. Oh, well, listen, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Shall we, shall we talk through the, the first of all with the actual uh, the deluxe candles that we've got, the floating candles? We'll start with the deluxe pack that you're going to be looking at here and then we'll give you more the sort of the magic of why I love these in a second as well but let's start with what you're going to be getting actually you're going to be getting 32 of the floats that you can see here as well now you're going to be getting gold you're going to be getting silver you're going to be getting red also so you're going to be getting the actual floats uh, themselves and again we'll talk you through how all this works together uh, you're also going to be getting your wonderful colors uh, that you can see here as well so you're going to get the blue the green and the red so you can see all the fantastic look of those colours. You're also going to be getting 150 of these special wicks. Now, each one of these wicks lasts at least 10 hours, at least. And we'll tell you why these are special wicks in a second so that you can also find. And all of this together will be to put together actually with your gift, gift box also as part of that. Now, usual price is £18 or £17.99. On here right now, you've got a fantastic saving of £5.40 savings, so it's down to £12.59. Now, I've set them up. I'll, I'll explain what's in this deluxe kit. Um, uh -huh. but Sally, can you just tell us about, because when you told me about the wicks, they are special, then you tell me about the fuel, I, I was hooked. You had me at hello. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit, because they look fantastic. You'd never guess, would you, if you, you were looking at these? You would never, ever know. They're very, very different from wax candles. So there's no wax at all. There's special wicks, which are pregnated with a solution to make them very long-burning from right. simple cooking oil, vegetable oil. And each little wick will burn for at least 10 hours. The, the oil never gets hot. There's never any you know, bad odors coming from it. There's no black smoke or dripping wax. They're very safe to use. Uh, but the great thing about them is you can use them in any glass container you have at home. It can be a wine glass, jam jar, absolutely anything. That, that, that is brilliant. That is fantastic. So we're, we're talking about sort of ups, upcycling and making sort of things as well. So people have done their hand decorating, maybe their jars they've changed, etc. This is that finishing touch, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. And, you know, some people love painting glass. So I mean, yeah. if you've painted a piece of glass, you know, show it off and put some candles in and light it up. And, you know, it's a great way of using them. I think it's phenomenal. Uh, you are going to be looking at here around 2,000 hours of candlelight from this kit right now with that 30% saving for just 12.59. So look around you. you. You'll probably know in your room right now, in your living room, etc. Or maybe in a couple of cupboards you've got some of the sort of uh, jars that you've not been using now that you can get out that cupboard, completely transform and turn it into that floating, flickering flame. Again, if you've got any of you. And again, it hasn't got to be expensive oil. We're talking to bog stuff. Standard. It's the cheapest vegetable oil, cooking oil will do. And you can use them in crystal as well because the little floats never
never get close to the edge of the glass, so it's never right. going to get hot and cut and break the glass. So literally, it's just that oil that's coming yes. through that we're just burning off yes. and go through as well. That is absolutely fantastic. Twelve fifty nine for those one one eight five eight six four, which is phenomenal with that thirty percent saving. Now, if you want to go with your uh, uh, starters pack, actually, if you want to go for this one, now normally the starter pack is twelve ninety nine. Normally we're looking at we're at ten thirty nine right now, so we've got twenty percent saving. I told you this is a great idea to work with, and in here you're going to be getting. Of, uh, 20 of your clear floats, 50 of your wicks, of course, and three of your fantastic different colours again. And again, only a little bit of that, I'd imagine. When we look at these, how they're going to put them together, the demonstrations uh, from Sally is going to go a long, long way. 072350 is what you are looking at there, which is great. I love them, love them, love them. We're going to look at more of the candles in a second as well. Uh, but we've got some more we want to show you. And these are the paddy pillows. Now, these are brand new on the show. Have you ever had that situation where you've got a, a, a tablet, an iPad, or anything like that, okay, any of those devices, and what happens now is everyone goes off, I'm just going to go to bed early, catch up on, a, on one of those series that they may be watching, etc. but you can't get it comfortable because you want to lie on your side or you want to turn up. This is a great way because all you literally do, and these are great quality we talk about, is you just place in there your tablet or your iPad, whatever it is, and it will mould to the shape so it will just stay perfectly still. This is great. It will, on any angle you put it on. Yes, so you can lie in bed with your knees up, just have it propped on your knees with your iPad or any device on it, and it's very, very stable and very lightweight. It, it, I mean, it really is. I mean, there's absolute quality with all these as well that you can see. They are brand new on today. So if you think about, possibly, I'm thinking, Grandparents, parents, children, godchildren, grandchildren, anyone that has a tablet that they just sort of want to place on their lap and go over there. And you've got a design here that's going to cater for every age range as well, which yes, is lovely. Yes, yes, there's some lovely designs, yes. And you can use them, you know, obviously not only in bed, but at the table. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, on the sofa, children in the car, on the back seat. Yeah. You know, watching movies and things and playing on their devices. I mean, there's just so many different ways. If you're cooking, if you're following a recipe, pop your iPad yes or cookery book put it up on still the use side. a traditional book pop it onto the iPad onto the pad eye pillow onto the side to follow your recipe I, I think this is absolutely fantastic let me run through the options for you these are brand new on the show for you today uh, that we've got here so we've got our fantastic little tabby cat here that you can see oh, it's a shabby cat actually not a little tabby cat shabby cat <laughs> uh, so we've got our shabby cat here which is lovely for those that love their little pussy cats of course you've got the shabby cat as well uh, we've got uh, now I love this is a lovely bright one here as well by the way these are all I want to say these are all handmade aren't they they're all they are we make them all you yes. make them absolutely everything you can yeah. see here as well which is lovely I love it this is woodland uh, that you can see really bright lovely character as well uh, we've got the dotty gray that you can see here really really nice again very very cool uh, if you like your bees then we've got the bees as you can see that's our tablet that you can see in there so sort of nestled in beautiful so about the fingerprints there we go sorry about that uh, we've also <laughs> got our, our, our fantastic shabby dog love the little doggies look at them all lovely 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 doggies and then we've got our very festive fantastic Red Breast Robin. Now, these are brilliant, these. 20% saving. They're brand new on the show for you today. £12.76. Who do you know that's got a tablet or an iPad or anything like that, either on the go, that could do, you know, with their recipes out there, their favourite programme they're watching, sitting on the settee, w table, desk, bed, wherever it is, these, I think they're absolutely brilliant. I Really lovely. What a gift idea and an affordable gift present as well for £12.76. 230315. I, t I did say we've got loads of suggestions for you here, and I just, I just love it. <laughs> I've been really looking, I've been smelling now because we've got mm, the lavender smell from this is oh, lovely. It's lovely, isn't it? It's so relaxing. It's the fresh lavender buds. Fresh lavender mm -hmm. buds. These are, again, all made by Sally's company, uh, and I can tell you, so we got them here with another one of the options with the, uh, the red robin here. And these are your wheat bags, and they're ready to go, and these are lovely. Now, you may have seen these ones before, of course, but actually, the robin option that you can see there, the robin is brand new as an option to go with it. Now, so, so these are all made with lavender uh, directly, you say? M mainly wheat. Mainly so wheat. It's the wheat that retains the heat when you pop them in the microwave for a minute and a half to two minutes to heat them up. Right. It's the wheat inside which retains the heat. Ah, um, I and see. they stay warm for about an hour. And uh, we, we make them 
them with lavender, fresh lavender buds, which is lovely and relaxing and soothing. But not everybody likes lavender close to their face. No. So we okay. also make them unscented, unscented. as well without the lavender. It's, it is so lovely. To be honest, I'm trying to be professional here, and I know that's a first. Um, <laughs> but uh, I can say that I just had it heated up earlier on, and I, I could honestly be asleep right now. This is so, lo so lovely. Um, and they just warm up in the microwave as you hear, and the smell, if this was smelly vision, I know you would love this, but that is absolutely gorgeous for those that would love the lavender. Let's just talk you through the options again that you're looking at here as well. So the lavenders we'll have on the side of the screen for you as well, and your unscented option are down below for you as well. So every option we give you now is available in the scented or in the unscented at the bottom of the screen. So, of course, what we got there at the moment, I've got here, I've got a lovely penguins is absolutely great. Now, uh, this is Molly, our director, by the way, uh, has got one of these from when he was on one of the shows before. Yes, yes. And she absolutely swears by it. She, honestly, I thought you sent it through to me earlier on as some sort of sales rep, but she could not stop praising this absolutely loves it as well and said it stays warm and you know really nice and cozy one for a long long time it as well. does and they're just great to help soothe aches and pains anywhere on the body um, you know if you've got a bit of stress or tension around the neck and shoulder area just pop them around yeah. your neck and it just helps to lift it heat is just the best thing oh absolutely yeah yes. I mean what's lovely is when I put that round with warm on my shoulder as well because it has that movement it molds to your shoulder so you always get that lovely warm contact That's as right. well it moves with you and uh, and all beautifully made in the UK uh, with everything that you're seeing here as well. So that's Penguin. You've got scented and unscented at the bottom of the screen. Uh, we've got the lovely Robin. Again, this is the brand new as well for you on the show today. So again, if you want to go for the scented version, it's 11.19 on the side of the screen, 917140. If you want to go for the unscented, it's 192495, just there at the bottom, as you can see there as well. Uh, we've also got then, here we go, our lovely characters that we saw earlier on as well with our woodland and we've got our squirrel we've got our fox on here as well we've got a little hedgehog uh, we've got the little toadstools on there again really cute lovely bright colors on this yes, as well it's a very popular one for all ages the, I the bet. woodland design with all the little animals on it and this is lovely as well this is so cozy yes, so there are duo wheat bags so they have a lovely soft fleece on one side and then they have the cotton design on the other side right you can see, I'm, I'm sure you can see just how lovely and soft that is on screen as well. 917140 if you want to go for the scented. Uh, I've also got the bees uh, as well, again, with that lovely warmth about that. Um, I love the images, by the way, of all of them as well. The Thank bees you. are really lovely. Yes, yes, the fabrics are very, very popular. I love these. Uh, 917140 if you want to go for the scented, unscented 192495 uh, if you want to go for those. I've also got two more options, uh, which is gorgeous. Uh, let's show you here to start with. I'll just place them down there. Um, so we've got the, oh, now that feels so lovely. And mm. the fleece, the black watch fleece, that is lovely. Really, really lovely. Uh, and we've also got the red tartan fleece. So if you want full on fleecy comfort, then these two, uh, again, will be really high up on my recommendations. Uh, 917140 if you would like to go for the scented. And by the way, if you do love your lavender, uh, that is such a lovely smell here in the studio with us. The unscented, of course, you have the option. Bottom of your screen, 192495. Uh, I'll just close those back up there. Now, I've also got to bring some other furry friends in <laughs> <laughs> because we've got some more little characters. Let me just make some space here for you that you can see. And if you're wondering what to get the little ones, but maybe not so little even because these are... I feel, I'm just picking them up like they're... They are little They're pets. They're so soft. Lo they so, are so soft. so soft. Yes. So, so soft. Right. Uh, we have got, uh, there's, you can see little pig. There's little pig. Okay, there's little pig. Uh, we've got uh, beige doggy. Uh, there's beige dog there, of course. And brown dog's asleep. So it's just got to be just a, bit, a bit quiet as well for brown dog. Um, now, uh, I don't know if you can see, sorry, beige dog, just going to get a little bit personal. Um, but uh, they got their, their tummies, I've got, the, is it the same wheat that's yes, in? Yes, just wheat. So these are unscented. Yeah. Um, you can actually rub in some of your own essential oils if you want an aroma to come with them. Okay. Um, from them, but they're actually all unscented. So it's just wheat inside and you pop the whole thing in the microwave for 30 seconds. Ah. And um, and they, they heat up and they stay warm for almost an hour. So they're really lovely just to cuddle and keep warm. 
They are. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm miles away now, so have you noticed? I've seen a cuddly toy. You're ready for toy. bed, aren't you? I, I can am. tell. I, I tell you what, they would, I'm more than happy for me to have one of these cuddled up with me in the bed, watching one of them on a tablet. Uh, I'll be more than happy. These are great. Look, are you asking know, about gift ideas? These are absolutely perfect. 798 972. And I think this wins the competition for the softest item I have ever touched on Hachanda. Uh, they are fantastic. I promise you, you're going to love these ones. Check out the website because if you're looking for fantastic reviews, five-star reviews, it tells you th across the board on those, which is absolutely phenomenal. And what a gift idea for just 11.89. Warm them up just so they can have on their tummies or just to cuddle up next to as well for anybody. Characters are great. Uh, these are brilliant. Excellent buy. Easy to snuggle up with cosy. Winter warmers characters did not disappoint even cuter than they looked on screen is that possible super soft and cuddly loved by everyone who met them adults and children alike I bought them for my niece and nephew I chose the dog and pig I was then asked to place an order for five more by my friends um, Far, oh, fantastic five-star uh, uh, re reviews on all of these, which is absolutely amazing. I love, love, love those, I promise you. Um, they are gorgeous. Make a new friend with those today. They are absolutely brilliant. Look at all these as well. Some fantastic reviews on these. Characters are lush, like velvet, and very warming. Love it. Right then, uh, moving on to even more great gift ideas for you now, and these are the water beads. Now, when I first walked into the studio again and you saw these all lit up, you really do get a great... Honestly, these are amazing. Just on vision before you even start feeling them. Now, if you're loving all these different colours we've got around here, what a great way to present your beautiful, freshly cut flowers or to soothe them on the wrist to play with again or even to pop your feet into as well and let these balls do their work as well. So only 9.99, 569327. Now, what you can go for on these are a pick and mix of any 12 bags of the colours that you like. Now, we've got 12 options, and believe it or not, they actually start from these, these small little beads you can see here, and then they turn into these. So this is literally just by filling them a, a bowl with water, popping them in, and then they'll expand to this. Yes, just soak one bag in a litre of water, one litre of water for six hours, and they abs um, absorb the water and expand. So I think they expand 200 times their size. And they stay like that for quite a few weeks, and when they start to shrink in size, depending how warm your home is, yeah. uh, then you just add more water to them and you can keep reusing them for at least two years. Wow, that's yeah. brilliant. And they're so, great for fresh flowers because the, the water is released from the beads to water the flowers as the flowers need the water. So you know, no chance of uh, overwatering my plants or my flowers anymore no. or anything like that as well? <laughs> I, I love that. So we haven't got to worry about that again. How have you got such a knack with that with the home plants? Well, not really. Don't worry about them. But you know, the lovely flowers that come through. <laughs> and, and actually, what's lovely about them as well, Sadie, is they just look better because you can see all that colour. It, cre it creates that vase. It's part of it, not just looking at just the stems, oh, for example. Oh, it's so much nicer. And in fact, you will find that you'll, you, you will keep your flowers for much longer because, right. you know, when we have a lovely bouquet of flowers, within two or three days, the water starts to look quite murky. Yeah, yeah. So then we end up throwing the flowers away, really, before the flowers are over, which yeah. is such a shame. Yeah. But with the beads, of course, you don't see it. There's no murky water to see or no horrible smells coming from it. That's true. That's um, true. So, yeah, the flowers do last for longer. I really like, I think this is a great idea, you know, and if you do have, if you do love your fresh flowers or if you give them as a present for them as well, I think that's a nice idea to do, nice bouquet of flowers, packs of these to go with it and say, look, put them in that vase and again, really create that beautiful ambience that you get. Don't, that pick and mix is brilliant. Nine ninety nine. We're talking two years here, basically here, to always have those fresh flowers looking fresh and beautiful, and get that longevity out of them. Because let's be honest with you, I think a bouquet of flowers could cost you more than what you're paying for these. Actually, these will <laughs> last you two years and make all of your bouquet of flowers look lovely as well, which is gorgeous. Now, if you really want to create that ambience and that magic, why not go for the bases that you can see here? Now, this will give you a pack of two, and what you're looking under. 
underneath there is basically your LED light round bases. Now, these got a 20% saving on them right now, so they're only £15, sorry, £13 and 59 pence. Now, that is going to shoot up all those lovely lights, and that's what really gives you all that incredible glow <coughs> that you can see. Now, if I just show you them at themselves, I think it's got 15 lights on each one of these. Uh, there we go. Oh, that, that is bright, isn't it? There we go. So there's your um, 15 uh, lights that you can see on that. And then really, mm. really bright. So that beams it right up. And so you can really match. So just a quick switch on and off from that side of it. And that's going to give you that light. I just think that's a lovely effect. Mm. Really lovely effect, Sally, for those. That's lovely. 889. Uh, 262 is your item code for all of those, which is gorgeous. Uh, so, loads and loads and loads. Great gift ideas. Fill your baskets now, everybody, at these price points. Do make the most of the Black Tag event. It is massively busy across the board at this hour, as I thought it was going to be. So, let's go back to the beginning. We talked about the candles yes. uh, then, Sally. Let's go with it. I love these candles. Okay, right. So, I'm going to start demonstrating one now. Basically, you can use any glass container you have at home. It can be a wine bow, glass jam jar, absolutely anything. Just pour the water in from the tap, cold water, so it's about three quarters full. That's all you need. And then at this stage, if you wanted to, you could put a couple of drops of the colouring in. It's just like food colouring, so you don't need very much. And you can also use your own food colouring you have at home as well if you want other colours. The kits do actually come with red, blue and green, but you can use pink, purple and orange food colouring. And then you just pour in some oil. It has to be cooking oil. Vegetable oil, the cheapest vegetable oil will do. You don't need expensive olive oil or anything like that. Just pour it straight into the water and straight away you will see the oil and the water separating. And you want about a centimetre layer covering the surface of the water. And that will be enough to fuel each wick for at least 10 hours. If you have more oil, it really doesn't matter at all. Um, you, but you do need at least one centimetre covering the surface of the water because you don't want the wicks having any contact with the water because the oil is the fuel. Right. And then you just take one of the reusable floats. So the floats come in different colours. We have clear ones, lovely metallics and the silver and the gold and the red as well. But I'm going to use the clear ones on here. The clear ones are my favourite ones um, because when they're lit up on the water and oil, you don't actually see the, the floats and they just look like floating flames. It's very magical. So you just take one of your little wicks, push it into the centre of the float like that, so it's right the way in. Don't try pushing it right the way through, just as far as it will go. And then when you put it on the oil, straight away you will see the oil flowing down the channels to the wick. And once the oil has reached the wick, it's ready to light because the fuel is then surrounding the wicks. So I'm just going to put a couple more on there. So again, pop the wick straight into the float, place it on the oil, just like that. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted a lovely aroma to come from it, these don't give off any aroma at all because the oil never, ever gets hot. So there's no odours, no, you know, cooking odours or anything coming from it. After 10 hours of burning, you could put your finger in there and it's absolutely just tepid. If you wanted to, you could put a few drops of your favourite oil in, any aromatherapy oils, just a few drops on the top of the oil that would disperse into the oil and give off the most lovely aroma. So you do have that option if you want to make them scented. And then you just simply light them. And once you light them, each of these little wicks will burn for at least 10 hours. Take, taking our lights down, Carol, you're, uh, Carol so you're, you're definitely going to enjoy the moment. I'm so, don't, so, we're two metres apart, we're okay when I lower the lights. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a safe environment for everybody. Um, yes. But this, I'm just thinking, if you wanted to do like, you know, we can't do so much like going to spas and things like that at the moment. If you were to put together a little deluxe pamper pa pack for somebody, you know, if you've got something like this again in the, in the bathroom that you could just put out there as well and just to oh, sort of create yes, that. Oh, yes, a lovely, lovely gift. Well, lovely, because, isn't yes, it? Yes, because, you know, we all have busy lives. We're rushing around, working. You know, if you've got children, taking them to school, picking them up, cooking. And it's so lovely. <laughs> 
lovely at the end of the day yeah. just to turn off the bright overhead lights, just light some candles, have some aromatherapy oils Absolutely. going and just relax for the whole family, for the children as well, everybody. We all need to just relax, Absolutely. even if it's just for half an hour. Absolutely. It makes so much difference. Just, you know, keep the noise down, turn the lights off and just chill. It, it, but it's such a simple idea and the technology like you say behind this is so so simple so without any of the sort of no hot wax anywhere you know like you say for children like that, no hot wax no. no no aromas that are going off the soot that's coming out or anything like that and yet what you're getting in fact that layering up that you got between the oil and the water even that's even that looks attractive I've never seen cooking oil look so wonderful it really. does look <laughs> lovely doesn't it it's just it's like a gold band on the top of the glass yeah, it yes does. It, it really does look yes very very effective they're just amazing I came across them many, many years ago, over 20 years ago, actually, when I was traveling around in the Far East. And um, they were just everywhere in all the temples and yeah, restaurants. Really? And I've always loved candlelight all my life as a child. I loved light lighting candles. And um, when I came home, I decided to manufacture my own brand. And... Um, managed to get them onto the shopping channels after about a year of getting everything together all the bits and pieces and they've just been so successful oh, i'm not surprised yes I'm people really not surprised. just love them and, and i know that you're saying these the, these kits as well are exclusive with us at yes, the channel they are, as well absolutely yes so you can't you can't you can't get those these kits that you've got here are not available anywhere else it's only exclusive with us at Hachanda of having them as well and you think about all the gifts you can make because you are actually also going to get if you're going to go for the deluxe as well you're going to be getting uh, the, the three gift boxes as well to work with as well so if you want to put them all together you know and you're doing them if you are putting together a little home spa idea as a present for somebody uh, which is lovely i think it works out Four pound nineteen. If you're separating them out as little gift ideas, you know that if you got involved in a secret Santa or anything like that to go with these, I mean that's a really perfect idea. And just as you heard there, you know that whole idea, just give yourself a little pamper. I mean, if you think about any of those glasswares that you've got, don't forget it's not affecting any of those. Maybe you've done some work in the past, uh, uh, some of your art you've done on there as well, or any of your projects in the past, bringing them to life in a non-toxic kind of way as well, using with those. And what a lovely way for your table deck decorations for having something maybe on the on the fire hearth you might have in the living room to have as a, a beautiful setting to get that ambience going as well so simply each one of those wicks 10 hours minimum you know in one of those deluxe kits you've got over 2,000 hours of candlelight that you can have to work with it you know and what's lovely as well so so important you haven't got to put the big weight of a big large waxed candle if you're you know taking it as a present or anything like that here literally here you've got the wick you've got the float for it the rest is just the oil that you can be pouring into that water what you fill in when you're there as well uh, it's only 12.59 don't forget it's a brilliant offer anyway you know when you got that for 18 pounds 17.99 the black tag event i mean it's massively busy it is really really busy 30 percent saving on here of course with those boxes to go with it and your colors to go work together 150 of those wicks as well in called all of that one eight five eight six four we've had a, a question coming through just asking about the actual floats and said do the floats turn, tend to melt away at the end of they it they don't no they're totally reusable right so the heat rises up from the wick so therefore the float never ever gets hot ah, of so you just keep washing them out and use them over and over again wow i mean it's a, it's a brilliant but they look so beautiful on the screen there that you can see that light Doesn't reflecting it's just off of it beautiful flickering flames they're just gorgeous have you got another one you can show us yes, to, to I put have. together yes. thank you so um so now i'm going to use some jam jars they're really lovely to use outside in the garden as well oh, you can great idea. dot them up up and down the path put them around your porch on the table hang them from the trees i mean there's just so many different ways to use them i love using them in jam jars and around the home as well you know i use them in little jam jars sometimes pop them on the mantelpiece or on the table so again you can just pop a couple of drops of coloring in if you want to you don't have to, but it is there, and you can use your own colouring that you have at and home. And again, that is literally is only a couple of droplets coming. You're getting three colours with your kits. Yes. That's great. You Look can mix that. the colours as well, mix these colours. So if you just want it light, then obviously just put a little bit in. I've put quite a lot in that blue one. And then, again, just use any oil. The cheapest vegetable oil is all you need. These wicks will not work from anything else has to be cooking oil. Right. It's the original form of candlelight before wax was ever invented. So they used to use little bits of wood 
cork and um, sort of bark, if you like, oh, you know, right. the little bits from the tree, and put it in animal fat. Oh. Soak it in animal fat, and that's how candles started. Oh, was it really? There was really? no wax or wicks or anything like that. So it is. this is the original form of candle candle light it's just a modern version of it so again take one of the reusable floats these are six centimeters in diameter therefore when you pop the wick in like that and put it onto the oil the flame is always at least three centimeters away from the edge of any glass so you can use your best crystal and you don't have to worry about it. you know with a wax candle like this Especially if there's a draft blowing oh, on it, of course. they do tend to burn one-sided, and that's when you get the the flame right at the edge. Got you. And then if it gets close to the edge, it will crack the glass, which can be very very yeah. dangerous with yeah. wax candles. That will never happen with these because these floats never ever melt. So I've put the wick into the float. I'm just going to pop them on the oil like that. This time I'm going to put a red one. These are the red floats, which are really lovely. So maybe you've got a ruby wedding anniversary coming up and your theme is ah, red. nice. You can have lots of red floating candles going everywhere, which would be what's lovely. The, the lovely idea, though, sort of lit lanterns, you know, when, <laughs> when we're having to stay outside a little bit more, uh, you know, to, uh, to meet up with people possibly and things like that, where people aren't so much going indoors, this is such a great cost-effective oh, way. Yeah. Yes. of creating colour as well as light to any sort of gathering you might be having on little tables or even just around the patio area, you know. Absolutely lovely. And the thing is, you know, if you've just got them going for maybe two or three hours and then you blow them out, they're just ready to go again the next night. Just right. pop a new wick in um, because, you know, one centimetre of vegetable oil on top of the water will last for at least ten hours. Oh, really? One centimetre? So, yes. So you've got to... <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to throw it away, you can no. just keep reusing it. Or if you think, well, I'm not going to use them for a couple of weeks, just decant it all into a jar with a lid, and then when you're ready again, just pour it into your desired container because the oil, oil will, will always, always separate course it will. and come to the top. So you never have to throw anything away. That is absolutely brilliant. Do you know what? I'm going to be getting onto these and getting myself some of these because we've got a. Uh, we just done some uh, our Christmas decorations yesterday oh, with the lovely. kids, and uh, yeah, we thought we'd, we'd have a little bit of chance to do something. And uh, we've got some of the glass jars that we've recycled and worked with as well, with some of those lovely sort of ways. You know, the coverings, the blanche, etc. You can do. So we've done some Christmas ones of those, and I'm thinking I'm going to get myself some of these to go with it because that is absolutely going to just bring those alive, which is lovely. Uh, so we just allow you to reset. We we'll just give some more. So you've got another one to show straight away um, or anything? Yes, or? we can, can do some more. Yep, we'll do this one. Oh. So, again, I think this one came from a charity shop many, many years ago. But, you know, you can pick up glass so... Yeah. It's so inexpensive it's from charity shops. You know, it's literally pence. Just go in and just get a selection of glass. Or maybe you've had in the past a lovely set of glasses yeah. for a wedding present or whatever, and you've cracked a couple so you don't tend to use them anymore because you've only got two or three left just get them out get all your crystal out and um, start using them with the candles you're right because I mean there are a lot of things like you say if it's safe to even use with the crystals a sometimes you get a lot of glassware as a present as a gift for special occasions anniversaries etc that end up just being away in a cabinet yes what a great way of bringing them out and actually bringing them to life yes that's yeah. right yeah I mean so many of us have got cupboards full of glass and uh, we never use them. No. Whereas this is a great idea. You can use them in every room of the home. I mean, they're really nice to use in the bathroom as yeah. well if you want a nice relaxing bath in the evening. You don't want the main lights on. So I've put the water in, the colouring, and a centimetre of vegetable oil on, on the top of each one. And then if you wanted to, you could just put a few drops of aromatherapy oil in just to create a lovely aroma. And then again, just take one of the long burning wicks and the special little floats and you just push the wick in as far as it will go like that, pop it onto the oil and straight away you can see the oil flowing down the little channels to the wick in the middle. And once the oil has met the wick, they're ready to use and you can light them and each wick will burn for at least 10 hours. These are great for weddings. We, oh, yeah. we sell lots of these for weddings I bet. because, you know, if you're having a wedding reception and it's going on for hours like they normally do, yeah. the last thing you want is your candles 
fizzling out that's true halfway through the event whereas with the with these well the we other the other thing about that is actually the costing uh, you know, to buy sort of really big extravagant candles, if you try and do lots of tables, for example, you know, this is a very different way of doing it, you know, but cost effective, but actually getting more colour from it, long long life from yes. them as well. Uh, and probably, you know, with regards to that, you know, you can use some of your best crystals even on your, depends how grandpa is after a few drinks on the <laughs> table, you know, etc. But, but that, I mean, just, just look at that, what a completely different ambience that you can create for anything, you know, for the Christmas celebrations, for anniversaries, for birthday parties, or just to relax. That absolutely, I love it. I think it's, and I can't get over just how lovely even just the oil settling on top of the water looks absolutely amazing. It which does, is, doesn't which is it? Brilliant. Especially on top of the coloured water. It really does look very, very effective. Really effective. I love it. Uh, so go for these right now. We're just going to allow something to do, uh, do a bit of resetting and bring to you more. We'll give you some more information about other gifts or ideas that you might have or treats for yourself again. If you do want to go for those, the deluxe pack, by the way, only twelve fifty nine. Go If you've seen them before and, you never, and you've always thought about them, go for them now. And I'll tell you why. The Black Tag event, I mean, it's a great price anyway. It is really busy, this show, I promise you. Just that extra difference off, it's a 30% off of an already fantastic price point where you are going to be getting the silver, the gold, the clear, the red of those floats. Again, you can use them time and time again, as you heard there being mentioned. You've got 150 wicks. Now, each one of those are for 10 hours each on one of those. Even if you're going to be actually using that for a couple of hours and you just blow it out, you can just relight again and go with it again. Don't forget, even if you put your water and your oil into a jar to keep it, uh, you know, stored, by the time you pour it back into that uh, glass area, it will separate. You're ready to go again. And with those wonderful coloured waters, if you want to do, you're going to get blue, green and the red. You don't need a lot of that you heard and three wonderful gift boxes as well if you're doing that as a treat for somebody else maybe it's a little a little pamper thinking of you secret santa idea and it's got that 30 percent off as well one eight five eight six four i'm getting some i promise you i promise you i'm going to get these right also really really popular i think this is a great gift idea the world i'll tell you right now the woodlands are in the lead at the moment but if you are thinking either on a desk if you're thinking um in a bed on the settee um in the kitchen where it is and you need to prop up your ipads or your tablet or a book or any other sort of portable um uh, device you're going to look at here these are all beautifully handmade here in the uk um all done and they are fantastic they are lightweight they are washable they are durable and they're very squashable. So that's what you need, because that's where you can plant uh, your um, your iPad or your tablet or whatever it is that you want to plant. It doesn't really matter what surface, because it will mould to that, and it works absolutely perfectly for you. So the options you've got, which are brand new, and all of these are brand new, we've got the Robin here. It's brand new also if you want to go for the actual heat as well. But this one is uh, the Robin uh, option that you've got down here, which is lovely. Uh, let's move it across where we've got our, ah, uh, there they are. Uh, we've got the shabby dogs that you can see, a uh, lovely option for those that love their little doggies. Uh, over here, we've got the beautiful bees. I love those. They are absolutely gorgeous and bright. Uh, we've got our dotty grey as an option for you, very contemporary style on that one, if you were looking for that one. We've got the most popular, as it stands right now, for all ages. Uh, well, I think you'll agree for this one as well, is the woodlands. And then we've always, last but not least, we've got our shabby cat on option. Great gift idea, really good gift idea actually for those. If someone, anyone's got an iPad or a tablet or anything at all, that device, this is a great gift for them to wrap up in time for Christmas. 1276 only, because it has got that 20% saving of course for the Black Tag event. 230315. Uh, now, Stay with the whole idea, the most relaxing hour ever on her channel. I've had this on, by the way, as well, for the last, uh, well, 15, 20 minutes, and it's really soft, and I feel a bit naked without it now, actually. Luckily, I don't look it, um, which is good for you. Um, but these, if you want to go for the wheat bags, are absolutely fantastic. Now, you've got two options. You can either have the scented, which is a beautiful lavender, or the unscented, if you wanted to go for. What we'll do is we'll put the details up on the screen for both. Bottom 
bottom of your screen will have all the unscented details, and on the side of your screen are all of your lavender scented. Um, across the board at the moment, everyone is loving the lavender scent as well. So, all those options are there, 917140 for the lavender. Uh, which one's in the lead at the moment? Oh, the Robin. Oh, Bees and Red Tartan at the moment are neck and neck, quite literally are on those ones at the moment. Uh, so, which are, and I can tell you, really, really soft if you're going to go for those. They are absolutely beauty. The unscented ones, again, the details for that are at the bottom of your screen. But there's something about that aroma of lavender that just calms you down, takes the stresses the way of the day, which is gorgeous. Now, we've already seen, seen the um, reviews coming up, the five-star reviews for our wonderful characters. Now, I, I, need to, I know we've got them on a, on a picture, but I've got to hold them because they are just gorgeous, these. Now, the reviews are saying, if you thought... If you thought they looked cute and soft and fluffy on screen, you wait till you get them home. Uh, they're only 11.89. Great gift idea. Again, popping those in the microwave for 30 seconds. Again, you're going to get exactly the same effect at the moment, where they are going to be just beautiful to snuggle up with. Uh, little baby. Oh, base dog is in the lead at the moment. Yeah, the yeah. one's asleep at the moment. He's still asleep. And we've also got, oh, I'm loving the little pig. There he is. Uh, 798 972. Uh, you've also got that, uh, that offer down there, down to £11.89. Okay, everybody? Yes, great. Uh, right, back over then to see where we're up to <laughs> next. Save me from the cuddles. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh. Right, right. I'll just pop them back. okay, so now we're going to go on and do some more demonstrations with the floating candles. So this time I'm going to use some jars which are decorated and they have some paper on them and some other decorations which are really, really pretty. But the lovely thing about these is it's lovely to light them up with the candlelight from the inside mm. because the flame will glow and shine through the pattern. So you don't actually see the candle as such with these because it's actually inside the uh, decorated glass. Right. But the light shines through to show up the lovely decoration. So it's just another way of using them. Yeah. So again, at the, here are the um, clear floats. So I've just taken one of the clear floats and the long burning wicks. Just pop the wick in like that. First of all, you need to put the cooking oil in or they won't work at all. So you just pour the oil straight into the water. Let's not forget that. <laughs> Let's not forget that. No. So you have about a centimetre layer. So you can just guess it really. You can see when you pour it in. You don't need it very much. Just gently pour it in and you can see the water and the oil dividing straight away. And you can see that band even through these jars with the paper on. Oh, you can, yes. You can still see the oil. So you, you can see how much you've got on top. And obviously you don't need to put the colouring in with this because there's no point. Um, and then again, you just take one of the reusable floats and the special long burning wick and you just push the wick in as far as it will go like that and when you put it on the oil the oil flows down the channels to the wick and then the wick is ready to light and each little wick will burn for at least 10 hours if you would like it to and again you can put a few drops of Maybe if you're using them in the summertime outside in the garden, maybe you go camping um, and you like to go fishing and you're sitting by a river, just take them along. Just take a little bit of cooking oil, some water, any sort of jar, a few floats and wicks. You can get them all going, put some citronella oil in to keep the midges away. Um, they're great for that sort of thing. Mm. They're great for taking on holiday. Yeah. Um, because it's not, it doesn't take up very much room just to pack no. a little few wicks, floats. That's it, nice and easy. You can nice get some easy. oil in any country. That's just true. pop to the shop or go to the hotel and ask for a little bit of oil. Use the glass which is in the bathroom. Yeah. And you've got your candles oh. to use right the way through your holiday. And they're very, very safe, so you don't have to worry about burning the hotel down. No, no, that's, that's, <laughs> always, a, that's always a plus. Or black uh, soot all at the walls. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, or you know the candle wax, etc., etc., that drips on the carpet or anything like that. So, uh, but I, I just think, like you say, for bringing um, objects like the jars that have been decorated, bringing them to life with that inner glow and that inner warmth that comes through. Certainly, I mean, really easy to make that scented, really lovely sort of feel about them as well. That's gorgeous. Look at that. 
So, so simple. So, I think that's what struck me about these, is that so simple and yet really effective. Yes, that's really. what everybody loves about them. Oh, yeah. I, I honestly, what a lovely gift idea. Um, but if you've got any of those projects, so don't forget you can use even some of your best glassware, some of your crystal that you're working because that flame is only there, of course, taking it from the wick, which is in the oil. And because that actually, the plastic there, the float itself, doesn't burn away, it's not going to like you say with some of those other floating actual mm. waxed candles where you can have to get a draft and you can burn down, that you can get near them, which is absolutely amazing on these ones as well. 30% off, don't forget, your Black Tag event, 185864. We've only got about eight minutes left on oh, the gosh, hour. Oh, gosh, right. Well, well, what can we look at? Um, well, we haven't done the water beads yet. Yes, I saw that. Do you, do you want to just recap and oh, then you reset? Are you ready yes, to go? Yes, please. That yep. would be great. Just a minute. That's fine. Listen, we're just to prepare as well. And we're going to come to uh, the water beads in a second, which is absolutely lovely. Now, but very quickly before we do, the deluxe um, candle kit, half the stock has now gone as well. And I can tell you, we had big stock brought for you as well. So, I mean, really is very, very busy. Really, really busy. A lot of people coming through for them. But when you think this is how cost effective if it is with that price reduction of course for the black tag event as well if you want to give it a go now's your chance to do it it's never been a better price never been a better time and these are exclusive to Hachanda as well. Everything you're seeing here um, from Aroma Glow is all exclusive to us with it. Of course, the website, loads and loads of options if you wanted to go for more. Your floating wicks, of course, they're, they're available. The LED bases as well, uh, definitely go for those as well. They're perfect. Uh, the lavender wheat bags, don't forget, these are stunning. Really, really, really popular. I mean, great gift idea. Uh, maybe if you're thinking of someone that either just sort of feels the aches and pains a little bit now or just wants help into relaxing, etc., or just wants something you think might be nice to snuggle up with, uh, then this is a really, really, really brilliant gift idea. Or if you just suffer with aches and pains yourself sometimes, and sometimes that heat, you use it just to sort of release some of that pain or some of the stress around the neckline if you do a lot of driving, for example. Um, really, really nice of that. And if you think about it, that price point that you saw in there is phenomenal for you. Really good. Now, we're, towards the end of this hour, we're going to be looking at demonstrations on the water beads. Let me just give you an idea again. All your colours that you can go for. Now, you can do it for pick a mix of any 12. We've got all the colours that are available for you of the rainbow, basically. So you can get um, a pick a mix. It's 10 gram packs of the water beads that you can look at. Five, six, nine, three, two, seven. It's under a tenner to transform the look of how you put your freshly cut flowers into that vase with two years longevity that you just keep topping up with the water. Look. To tell you more about it and to share a demonstration, let's have a little look how we can uh, how we can work with these. Are we all good to go? All these? ready to go. Oh, yes. lovely. So to start with, we're going to, to demonstrate with the clear beads because they're such great fun. They're very very popular. Everybody loves them. So I'm just going to do a couple of quick demonstrations to show you how to use them. So with the beads, you just take a packet of beads and you soak them in water for six hours, one liter of water. They absorb the water and expand, and they last for at least two years. When they start to shrink and dehydrate, you just add a bit more water to them and you just keep reusing them over and over again. So I've already soaked the clear beads. I've put them into the vase and now I'm just going to get some seashells, which I collected, and I'm just going to push the seashells into the clear beads. So you can use lots of different objects, um, you know, to, to push into the beads and get the sort of effect I'm going to show you. Children absolutely love oh, getting I involved bet. in these. So, you know, if your parents or grandparents buy a few packs of these beads, have them in the drawer for a rainy day, get them out because your children will so enjoy playing with them and using them because there's so many different things you can do. So I can't really see what I'm doing here. I'm just pushing the beads in, uh, the, the shells in. And now I'm going to take some water straight from the tap, pour it into the beads. And as you pour it in, it all becomes oh, very that's transparent. That's brilliant. So, obviously, the beads are still there. Um, and they're anchoring the shells in place. So if I had a bit more time, I would just rearrange them so they all look beautiful. Um, but, you know, We've you can We've got some use... shells like that in our... Uh, that uh, my younger daughter has put, uh, put together as a little project. On the shelf, you know, in the, in the windowsill, in the bathroom as well. Um, I can see room for improvement now from her display yes. by these beads. Because that's absolutely transformative. That's art suspended. Oh, I love it with the, uh, the LED base as well. 
It's great, what a great isn't idea. It? Absolutely lovely. So you can't actually see the beads, the water beads. You can just see yes. the shells. That is brilliant. That what and this again for projects for anything. So maybe again uh, for festive uh, celebrations, you might have some things you could put in them uh, as well. Or did I hear that uh, Halloween projects have been used? Did I hear from my director there? Uh, googly eyes and uh, yeah. put suspended in there for Halloween kind of looks. <laughs> that as well. was a great one. That's yes. brilliant, isn't it? They're what brilliant for idea. Halloween because you could do um, lucky dips and all sorts of things. You know, blindfold people and get them to put their hands in them. Oh and yes. They don't know what they're putting their hands into. Oh, I love, I love that. There's a party you've just created right there. <laughs> um, maybe some influence there from a certain get me out of here. But I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Right. Have you got more right, ideas? So more we're going to do more. Go. We've got so five that's minutes. that one. And now I'm going to do another one. So again, just pour the beads straight in to the vase. I'm just going to get a few more. We've got just about four minutes. So this, I mean, these are great. Five, six, nine, three, two, seven, nine, nine to nine. What projects could you do with these? What are you thinking already that you could work with? What could you create? What look could you go for as well? Go for the, you can see the difference that the LED makes as well. Really brings them to life, doesn't it? See, I could just watch that on repeat. <laughs> this time, I've got some little Father Christmases, little ceramic Father Christmases, which are quite ah. sweet. So for this time of year, this is a great centerpiece to have in your home. Now, so well, I've, I know I'm watching you put your hand in there, and I've got them, a jar of them here as well, the vase of them, and it, it honestly is so, so soft. But you mentioned you could put your feet into these, and is it just yeah, because minutes? they're always really, really cool to feel. That's they're really always really cool. So if you have hot feet, hot, achy feet, put your feet into a bowl of these. It's just amazing, absolutely amazing. I tell there you what, just go. popping your so hand in is amazing. Santas into the beads, and now again, I'm just going to add some water, and straight away, as if by magic, there they are. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> flying Santa, <laughs> being stalked by a flying snowman. What, what a great centerpiece for something as well. Great. I mean, there's so many different things yeah. you can you can put in there. You know, little um, little toys, children's toys, buttons, little ceramic flowers. Oh, that's a great all, idea. All sorts of things. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you'd like to go for the LED light bases, by the way, two thirds of the stock has now gone. Bottom of the screen are your details: thirteen fifty nine eight eight nine two six two. But I mean, you're going to get for your pick and mix of these ones. Uh, you've got all those colours to choose from. I love the idea that from one little bag in here that you're going to get all of you know that wonderful colour that comes with expand. And don't forget, really important thing what you mentioned as well that you know if you're just keep topping them up when they start to go a bit smaller, when they when they start to go down, but again you're just topping them up with water, you've got two years worth basically to sort yes, of just they will keep last reapplying. For at least two years. And if you don't open the packets, they last for years, forever. Really? Yes. I yes. I think they're absolutely absolutely brilliant. Nine ninety nine only as well. But I, again I would imagine with fresh flowers, that longevity is really important. You know, that time Yes. when you want to make the most of them. I, I agree, I think we do throw them out too early sometimes, don't we? Oh, absolutely. And the other good way of using them is with um, orchids. I've got an orchid here. Oh, yes, show the orchid, yes. Um, which is great because orchids, I'm no gardener. I don't know anything about gardening or flowers, but I do know that it's really easy to kill these because I've killed loads of them <laughs> over the years. <laughs> because I overwater them every yeah. single time. Yeah. Um, but if you take all the bark away from the from the roots and put them into your lovely bars or whatever you're going to put them in pot, surround them with water beads. The orc the roots will only take the water as it needs it. Right. So you're not ever overwatering it. That's and they a last idea. a lot longer, believe you yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure they do. Uh, ha hands up if you've ever overwatered your, your, your flowers, anything like that, your plants. So, risen. Uh, well, listen, uh, we've got four minute cues on the phone line. Thank you so much. And your, um, we'll be with you as quickly as we possibly can. It is really, really busy. Don't forget that black tag event. Do take advantage of that deal. Uh, get those ones into your basket. It's absolutely brilliant value. Great gift ideas. We promise you at the top of this hour, and we haven't failed you. Uh, you're back again later on. 
on... Yes, five o'clock. At five o'clock. Thank you so much for this oh, hour. Oh, thank you, Scott. It's been, it's been a fun. real pleasure to be with you as well. It's just whiz by. It re it's really by has. ten minutes. It's flown by. <laughs> Prepare yourself for five o'clock as well. I will, yes. Uh, thank you so much for your company. Please don't go anywhere. More cracking shows after this. What a lovely, lovely hour. And we've got more to come for you. It's a Scarlet Rose Black Tag Bonanza. I promise you, great, great offers on there. Some more great tips as well. We've got the Black Tag as well with Craftoscope coming up for you. And then, of course, one day special. Hi, I'm Alice from Alice Stitchy Fingers. Um, I've been sewing most of my life. I absolutely love sewing. I've been with the Chanda now from the very beginning, really. That's when I started to go there. The Chanda family are lovely people to work with, and I'm really enjoying my time with them. Designing is a big part of the journey uh, for me as well. I, I love going out and finding the fabrics to use in the projects and bringing them to you. I love the designing process from start to finish and then the finished project is just the icing on the cake. So make sure you don't miss out, come and sew with me on a chanda. Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and our acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda. I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and joined Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy and Pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm a founder of Craftbox UK. Craftbox is a box full of craft supplies that we send to our customers monthly.
whole product I place in a beautiful sturdy box which is ribbon tied and we hope that by receiving this box you will feel like it's Christmas every month. Make sure you don't miss the craft box shows on Hochanda. Hello and welcome where our Black Tag event is continuing. You've still got plenty of savings to be had, but of course you have to keep your eye open because it's hours like this that are bringing those fabulous savings. And I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website. Of course, we are here with Scarlet Rose again for the second time today. What a treat, eh? And we've got lovely Julie again with us um, here. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good, good, good. Now we've got lots to share with you, so I do urge you to jump ahead and have a little look on the website. But something else that we do need to show you is the different items. Now we're going to jump onto the website just to show you exactly as I've mentioned there. So with regards to these um, absolutely amazing, as you can see, all those different items on your screen there. T fabulous reviews there, five-star reviews, as you can see with regards to those. So do check out the reviews before you make your purchases, if you so wish. But please be quick, because some of those items are very popular. Now, the items that you're looking at there, we have got some amazing savings on there. So if you're wanting to go for your diamond trails plates there, um, and of course your inserts, they have got those um, discounts, because of course it's Black Tag event time. And uh, kicking things off telling you about the different products that we've got so some of the items that you will see there with those wonderful reviews feature the fabulous dies now we've got a whole host of different dies for you here so if you're looking for something for all occasions then this is it and of course it's the base to start with potentially or it could be everything that you need it's entirely up to you how you craft with this so what you've got with this is you've got a series of dies I'm going to go over to Julie in just a few moments but you've got obviously different dies that will allow you to cut your different layers with regards to your open book now you've got nested dies that will allow you to work together. There's 14 dies there, putting them together in a variety of different combinations there. And of course, this is something that you have got the ability to get hold of on a flexi buy. Um, and Julie, this is kind of, or it can be the beginning, or it can be everything that you need. It's entirely up to you. Exactly. It's somewhere that you can put all the crafts you already have. Mm -hmm. Instead of just like thinking of a flat A4 folded card, now you can make it 3D. So you can put all your projects with you've got dies or stamps that you haven't used for a mm -hmm. while, your parchment craft, little watercolours, cross stitches. Yeah. It's just something different and somewhere different for you to put your new, you know, your like, projects that you've got onto. I love it. So a different presentation platform, potentially. Now, with regards to these, obviously, you've got all your different layers. The different dies will allow you to cut those those gorgeous areas that you've got. But as Julie quite rightly said, you can decorate using things that you've already got in your stash. But, of course, we have got the ability for you to change out different sections of these and bring in other bits and pieces. Now, you've got 14 dies there, so you can just imagine the different combinations that you've got. Lots and lots of different opportunities to bring in your existing projects, your existing elements, but putting them all together in a brand new way. Details on your screen there, £46.99 and pence for those dies, um, 436391 being that all important item number. Now of course that might be where you are already at or maybe you're just getting started but then we we'll talk about adding additional interest in and adding designer kind of touches and that's what you've got with the next die. Um, now with the next die you've got two different choices so you've got your open book die with either your roses or your butterflies as your different options and these work alongside now, I've got the dies here, which um, I'll show you the two different options. They don't come together, just to warn you. So it's um, 19 99 two different options. And these are something that you're going to add into your pages, potentially. Julie, with these. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was that enthralled in what you were doing, Hayley. <laughs> yes, you do. You add them into your base. Um, you lay them on top of one of your medium pages. So you change it from a plain page to potentially what looks like an embossed page. They've got snippability. You can take the butterflies out, as you can see there. You could snip the roses out. You could stencil through them on one of your pages to give you a softer version. And then on your top page, uh, you get your fancy pages, which is all lacy. I love it. But of course, if you're wanting to and you're not in the mood for putting them into your books, then you can use them just as they are. As you can see there, as Judy quite rightly said, snip into them, paper piece with these, because of course, you're going to have all the fall away when you're die cutting with these. If you like your butterflies, again, you saw that gorgeous card there featuring the book. Um, and of course, you have got the ability to snip into those as well. And they've got different item numbers with regards to these. Are they both on the same item number or different item numbers? Oh, I do apologise. I thought they were options. So two different item numbers 
So going on to the butterflies now. Um, with this one, if you're wanting your butterflies, and the details are there on your screen, 278424. And again, if you don't want to incorporate them into your book, you can use them just as they are, just like so. And don't forget that gorgeous lattice running through the middle as well. That's something that you could use as well. So there you go, £19.99. Whichever of those two you go for, you are buying quality and usability and versatility with these ones. And they are big dies. So definitely worth taking advantage of. 278424 for you butterflies. And then you can see 249946 if you want your roses. Or if you want both of them, well, you could add them into your basket alongside your main book and spread the cost because, of course, the main book is giving you that flexi order option um, which allows you to spread the cost of everything you pop in. And you will definitely want to add these in because when you've made your gorgeous pages, you made your fabulous book, you want a way of presenting them. And this is the way that you can do it. The quality that you've got with this box board is phenomenal and you are getting uh, enough there to create your 10 boxes. 10, 10 boxes and 10 leads. And what we've done is we've sized it all for you so you don't have to do anything but score them. Okay. Your base has had two millimetres taken off already for you on two sides and your finger lift has been put in the, uh, the lid so all you do is choose which line you score on three centimeters two and a half or two that covers your large book your medium book and a spare but of course you could also make the sides deeper so you could score on four five six your, your sides just get deeper obviously uh, the, the bigger the size that you choose but the three main which is three two and a half and two covers the sizes of the pages when you make your books up. I love it. And of course, the quality that you've got that can't stop means that if you do need to cut an aperture to showcase your project inside it, it will still hold its own there. It's still firm enough for you to carry and obviously present the project that you've created. It's just $12.99 and this is something that is very attractive to anybody, whether you're working with them, the different elements that we've been sharing with you or not. But the card stock that you've got from this is phenomenal because it's going to be the perfect base for you to use to create those gorgeous boxes, which let's face it, that it's the first sight that you get of that wonderful project that is inside the box. So 750458 if you are wanting those. Can go for multiples, incidentally. Same item number, no additional post and packing. I know that's the way that many of you do shop when you're shopping for those items. So now we come to black tag now we do love a bargain don't we and that's exactly what we've got here now we've got a couple of different things to bring to you that have got black tag event prices this being the first now of course we're talking diamond trails with this one julie what are we going to be using this one for well diamond trails is part of our range where you uh, receive like a, an acrylic plate with holes in and you use those to pierce through or mark through with your fine liners and pencils and you'll create guides now you can either leave them as they are as you see there that one's pierced or you can use them as guides to add your pearls and your gems your pearl paints you can stitch through them there's many many uses but it's literally a guide because a lot of these things you couldn't do by eye you couldn't create a perfect heart by eye in gems but now you can you just use our guides mark through and away you go Love it. And there you go. You can see how they sit beautifully within those pages of the books, as you can see there. So $14.99 being your price on this one. You have got that black tag event saving. I'm giving you a £4 saving. Bring the price down to £14.99, as you can see there. Now, we've got more to share with you on that Diamonds Trail um, kind of, well, path or trail, if you want a, a phrase. Now, this is lovely because you have got the fabulous square featuring here with that aperture. And that aperture becomes very useful for the next couple of items. So how are we going to be using this? In a similar sort of way? In a similar way, it's a guide for you to mark through. But that square can become lots of things. Now, when I get to actual demo, I'll just show you how many ways you can change that. There's more patterns in there than you first see. There's flowers hiding in there. There's diamonds hiding in there. Corners, uh, squares, oblongs. And again, obviously, I need to actually physically show you. But from what you see there, that's everything all together, which if you blinged all that up, and we've got a few samples of that later to show you, it's amazing. But then the circle itself becomes a guide for you to draw around and get your circles. And then you pop your pets into those circles to help you line up. So you can see with this wonderful one here with the swan featuring on here, you've got that gorgeous diamond trail frame around. And then, of course, the insert where the circle is, is where you start popping those different inserts in. So the base itself, if you wanted the base itself, £9.99. You can see with a £3 saving, another black tag event price. So um, just to let you know, you are saving over 20% with that one. Um, now, of course, you need something for those inserts. So I'm going to bring this in just to show you how these work because you've got a variety of different inserts that 
that you can pop in. Now, of course, you can use the inserts by themselves, but it's nice to have them sitting in that frame because they've got somewhere stable to sit. It just helps you line it up if you want to, but also it gives you somewhere to put if you've already got a die or you've already got a stamp and then you want to put a frame around it. It just helps you line it up by leaving that circle out. I love it. And then, of course, you can swap that out, bring in the little dog if you're wanting to. And you can see that there. And, of course, the beauty is those holes go right the way through. So you can position them exactly where you're wanting those to go. So if you want it to go to the left or the right, it's entirely up to you. And then, of course, you start adding that detail, using those dots to put those pieces in place there, meaning that you are going to get some absolutely perfection when it comes to creating those designs. We'll show you more with that um, frame in just a few moments. Now, of course, you've got options. So we're looking at the dog and the cat as your item details on the screen there so if you're wanting those two again you have got a saving with regards to those ones but then we have got some additions and I will tempt you with these next because these are so cute I mean little teddy bears so many I mean, occasions yeah. there's so many bear collectors out there and perfect for little babies if you had a newborn baby you could do a little, blue or a little lemon or a little pink teddy bear there could, but in brown and, and sort of like looking vintagey I mean it, it just changes every time you do it it does indeed. And then, of course, alongside the little teddy bear, you have also got your swan insert. And again, because it's directional with this one, you can flip it over and have it in the opposite direction as you well. You can, yes. It's only simple, but as I'll show you when we come to it, you can add by slightly moving it. You can change the shapes. Love it. And of course, if you're popping it in with that frame that we were talking about earlier on, then uh, of course you've got lots of different possibilities. So if you're wanting your inserts, the details there on your screen. But of course, don't forget, it is the frame that are giving you that outer parameter where you choose to put those markings, where you choose to put those little kind of sparkles, um, or however you're wanting to work with them, they work alongside. And of course, they both have got that fabulous saving on there as well. So we are busy, busy, busy. It's good to have your company during this hour. Now we're going to go over and have a little look what Julie has got planned for us but I just need to give you a couple of updates if that's okay. The die set for the book pages, here you go, just to let you know that half the stock has gone of those. They are proving to be very, very popular. If you wanted to take advantage of them, please do that as soon as you possibly can. And of course, as is always the case, make sure you are checking out your baskets timely because if you're not, then you could miss out on those items because there's lots of people going for the same goodies that you're wanting and I don't want you missing out on them. Two Flexi Buys are £23 and um, 50 pence will open up your flexi order which means of course you can add anything else in um, so um, I am going to pass you over to Julie and we're going to see what Julie's got planned for us okay right then well as we said these are 14 dies that give you an open book the perfect place for you to put all your projects onto so to revitalizing sort of stuff that you've had in your craft stash and you think oh I don't want to do with that now you can pop it on pages but bring a couple of boards in first of all this is your die and if I turn it over there, we've got a cutting edge, and it's quite thick. It's not a fine wire, so it's not going to banana when you keep sending it through your machine. And what it will cut out for you is three straight pages. There's an embossed line there for help to help you uh, line your spine up. But these can be adjusted, and I'm going to show you how that works. You've got your different spines, large and medium, and the wire to cut out the solid back onto them, or cut them from in page to out page. We've got three ovals. But of course, if you snip the scallop away, you've now got an oval frame and a third size of oval. Pop that one into that one, cut them together, and you'll get a frame. You've got your two corners, but again, snip them and make them into borders, so it's not just a corner. And we've got scallop pages there. So that's just them cut out in black for you to see. But I'll just show you how you pop it all together and all the different things you can do with it. So first of all, Choose which page you're going to work with, pop it on your card and send it through your machine. It's as easy as that. Don't throw this away because it's the perfect space for you to cut your spine out so you're getting it all out of your A4 piece of card. When you've cut it out and highlighted it with a pencil for you to see because it's not always easy to see it on camera. But there are two little embossed marks there and that's what you'll use to line your spines up. So pop that one out of the way. So, for your first one, send it through plain, and then choose a spine that fits from edge to edge. Send it through your machine now, type it down and send it through, and then that gives you your in-page spine with a top and a bottom. So that's your first one. Does it matter which way around you put that spine in? Whether it's, is there a certain top part or is there a bottom part, or does it not matter? There's two different sizes of spines. I'll put the, one, the other ones over there. There's a medium and a, a small. So as long as the, 
the back page, it fits within the parameter. But it doesn't matter which way around no, you no, have no. that die, whether it's no. north, That's south, 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 north. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> so your first one is within the page. But your next page is what you want to have, is you want to have an open edge like that. Otherwise, when you layer them, you're going to get a bar every time. Okay. So what you do now is take your spine and make sure that these little slots here, maybe you can see these little slots if we're coming mm -hmm. in on the other side camera, you'll see that they overhang the oh, work yes. surface. And you can see through. And if you can see through... When it cuts out, it'll give you that frilly edge. Oh, could you show us that again, Jim? Yeah, so, so I'll pop it back on there. There we go. See that little that little line of slots? Perfect. You'll be able to see your work surface through that. You can just see it, look. Mm -hmm. And that means you're cutting an open edge. If you make a mistake, I mean, it's no big shake to just snip them out, but this just saves you time. And what that does, it allows you then to layer them all up without seeing bars across every time. So if I start to layer them up, now I'm going to put them all together like this but you can choose to do all straight you can choose to do all of the same size in the scallops you can do big ones little ones all sorts so and as you can see you can see straight through that trellis now to the underneath with no bars going across and then what you'll do is you'll take your wire and your spine and cut out a solid one and pop it over the top if you want to you can put another one of these on the back or at any stage, you can leave it solid and it's now like you can't see through. So you've put like, you could put like a glittery piece glittering through there. So the choice is yours. I mean, you can make these look different every time. So just a little tip of how we do different things with the pages. So you'll notice there are two embossed lines. And what you can do, and this just says, because obviously this is a trellis, and if you try to fold that over, you might buckle your trellis. So line up between the embossed lines, score, and then f don't move your ruler, and fold it against your ruler, and then that gives you the curse, and then you can go over. And then that just gives you a nice sharp edge without actually buckling your trellis. And then if you want to curve the pages, just over the edge of the table, or roll it over a bottle, entirely up to you, and you can curve your pages. Or not, it's entirely up to you, the sort of design you want to make. So that's your pages. You can adjust the spines. Now, I showed you those books with a, a full spine, but you can adjust the spine as well. So all you do is, and I'll show you on a scallop one, because I showed you a straight one this morning. Just take it as normal and cut straight through the middle. So now you've got two pieces. I said just do that with a craft knife. Craft knife? I did mine on a, a cutting machine. Oh, like a guillotine. Whatever you find easy for you. Okay. And then overlay it like that and now you've made a smaller spine Aww. or you can just move it gently and now we're creating like a twisted spine down the middle mm -hmm. so that's how you can change it from that to that so Wonderful. play around with them they're not what you first see you can also change the size of the pages so if you want to make so you've got the normal size straight page if you take off where that little bar is, and let me bring a bar in, take off where that little bar is, all the way across, top and bottom, and join it up, you've now made a different size page. So those three pages have now become six straight pages. And don't forget to use all your corner punches, your corner dies, your in-page uh, edger dies to make all lacy edges. So that straight, straight page is your base, and then you can change it on top of that. So I've now made that smaller. I bring this sample in, you'll see that I've adjusted the size of the page and I've made a smaller page. So we've gone from, let's bring a normal sized one in. So we've gone from normal spine to small spine oh, and smaller yeah. pages. So adjust what you've already got. As I say, you first look at it and think, oh, that's lovely. But then you can start playing with it. Lovely. Now, the other thing I found, and again, happy accident, wasn't designed this way, but this is what happened. That is not an embossing line. It's just the support that we wanted to give rather than it just being a fine wire. So it didn't banana. But sometimes I'll cut, because obviously we do all these samples ourselves, two pages in one go. But because I put more pressure on it, it actually turned that into an embossing line. I don't know whether the camera can pick it up, but what it actually does, it gives you an embossed edge. 
Oh, that's Can you nice. see? It's like a classic So it's actually look. given me like a double page, oh. but that was found out by just playing. I mean, if you want to put one of your shims, I mean, we've got easy shims. If you want to put a shim in with your die, and then that will give you the extra pressure, or put a couple of pieces in at the same time and cut two out. One will be plain, and one will come out uh, with your edge like that. But also, that line, if you cut it along that line, that's another way of giving you a smaller page. So again, something else to play with. What sort of weight cardstock should we be anything, using with these? Anything. I mean, box board, no. That type of... But 250, 300. There's, okay. there's nothing really. As long as your machine will cope with that card weight. Okay. It's like normal. And again, if you haven't got time to make a complete book, just cut one page out, score it, fold it, fold it back again, and you've made just a quick and easy book that looks like a... Or a page that looks like a book. Play around with the spines. If you take the spine on an A4 folded gate, they line up perfectly and you can make a lovely trellis front to your card. If I bring the sample in here, that just shows you, look, just hiding behind there. You imagine that with all sort of roses and stuff oh, twirled yeah. through it. So that's one way of playing with the spine. Put it in as a little panel, just on a half, just a half little bit. Make yourself a little panel there. If I bring the sample in, that's all just twisted through there. Again, really, really simple. And again, again, and literally, although we designed these like, a good couple of years ago now, I thought the other day, actually, I bet I can adjust that spine as well. So I sat playing, literally on Saturday before I came up here on Saturday night, because I always stay over. And I started cutting out those trellises. Oh, they're snipping into the so design. So look, we've gone from a trellis to now an even more, I mean, that could be stained glass window, it could be anything. So play around with what you, you first look at it as a book, but it's more than that. I mean, you've turned it into a single card on its own, folded over, you've adjusted the pages, you're using your embossing folders. I nearly forgot to bring all this in as well. You've also got, let's just do it on here, we've got our ovals, which nest on top of each other. But as I said to you, snip out that scallop, so you've got a third oval, and you've got a scalloped frame. If you put the dies one inside each other, and when you cut it through, you'd get like a frame and a small oval. And then we've got our corners, like that. But again, snip them. They can be down, and I've got some samples to show you this. They can be down your trellis as a long length, or they can go as borders down the side. So literally, it's more than what it is. Now, Scott, this morning, I hadn't seen this. You know, if you've got a file of facts, <laughs> you could bling this up. Cut it in half, and there's your file of fax dividers. Oh, clever. Oh, clever. Oh, it's really good. And of course, all of those dies that um, Judy's working with come together within that bundle. That's the key thing, because of course, we're looking at the bundle over here with those pages. So you've got the pages, you've got the oval, you've got the scalloped edges. All of those different elements are featuring within there. So it's giving you lots of possibilities with those. Um, and then, of course, you go on to actually adding your decoration. Now, of course, it could be that you're decorating these with things that you've got already in your stash, or maybe, like many of you are, you're investing in those additional pages which we are able to bring to you with the butterflies with the roses on and i think julie's got those ready to share those have, with us yes. as well yes the fancy pages i mean this is just an added extra that you can put into your dies um if i bring a piece of card in here all you do is you cut your medium page out cut one of these and pop it on the top and you've now created like an embossed effect oh, if you do white on look. white or or your colors but what you do with these because obviously that's a substantial piece of metal there. Mm. We could have done you a frame and then a panel that a slots in. Okay. But we thought, well, if we send that through and that panel moves, you've wasted all that card, haven't you, really? Mm. So we'll do it all in one. However, you need to treat it as three. And what I mean by that is, put it on your card how I showed you, send it through your machine. Depending on your machine and the pressure, you'll find that it's cut your frame and your trellis out and it's begun to cut your lacy pattern. Because obviously your rollers go hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft, hard, soft. They're sort of coping with different as it runs through. So what I would do then is I'd put your shim over it, whether you've got our easy shim or any of the sandwiches that you've got on the machines that you have. Send it through and just work on one side. Send it through. It only takes a couple. And then turn it round and do the second one. It doesn't take a lot. I mean, some of the machines, I've got one that will do it in one pass. Others it takes more than one, especially if it's a manual one, they're not quite as pressurised as, as your electric ones. And it is then as simple as that. What I would suggest, I wouldn't use that on its own, because obviously it's all cut out and lacy. It wouldn't be, I think, solid enough to use as a page on its own. I would glue it and then pop it on your medium page. 
If I bring some samples in, that will make it a little bit more clearer for you. Lovely. Now, you've got two different item numbers on your screen at the moment, depending on whether you want to go for your butterflies, which you can see at the size of your screen, and, of course, those gorgeous roses featuring at the bottom there. Both different item numbers, but both could be added into your basket alongside all those fabulous dyes that we saw Julie working with to create her book base. So do consider going for, well, or you could go for all of those three sets together, couldn't you, really? Um, your two dyes that you can see here have got different item numbers. On the, um, the main one that you've got there is the one with your roses, which is next, um, sorry, the butterflies, and then the one at the bottom is the roses with those ones. And, of course, on the website, you'll be able to see the image relating to those as well. So let's finish samples, Julie. You've yeah, got those I'll there. bring some samples in because then it'll make sense of what I've just showed you. As you can see, this is your medium page here, and I've just popped it on top. So that is actually the same cream, cream on cream, but the shadowing, I mean, it really picks it out there. Do it as the panels, like we said. You can chop them up and do a panel backwards and forwards. Paper piece and bring decoupage pieces out. We could have changed those roses and put pieces of another colour back in again, but I've just left it so that you can see the card through. And this one I've done with, um, shadowed it with some, some dyes. Flowers down the middle. And what about bringing your laces in? And oh, making more. Yeah. See, that could be in your stash and you oh, I don't know what to do with that. But now, apart from your mixed media, you think, oh, right, I can actually make sort of a mixed media-ish type book. So those are the fancy pages. If I've got time now, which I think I have, to bring some loads of samples in, because I think this is what sort of sparks your imagination. So there we go. We've got an open trellis. Now, it's the perfect place now to pop all your... Can we see? Yeah, we can see the gems. There's there we go, that's a better one. Can you see all the pearls on there? Beautiful. So you, this is somewhere for you to use all your pearls and your gems, which... You know, quite frankly, we've got sheets of these and we don't know what to do. Your 12 by 12 cards. I mean, I think on this one there were some d uh, deer and trees on that side. And unless you're doing a scrapbook page, you'd lose that image. Now you could put them on both sides and still keep the whole image from your 12 by 12s. Christmas is coming, so that's a perfect place to do your Christmas books. And as I said this morning, what you could do is you could do... A big arrangement of flowers down the middle, Christmassy poinsettias. Oh, that's Drape your ivy across the pages, and then every year that's somebody's gift that they bring out and put on mantle. Yeah. So you've gone from a card to actual Christmas gift now. So there's my scallop that I cut off. Look to give me a different uh, shape f uh, frame, and there. Oh, that's pretty. So look past what we've got. Use the dies you've already got. Bring oh, them into yeah, play yes. now. So that could have been sitting in your drawer. Oh, I don't really want to put that on a card. Stick it on your books instead. Your embossing folders. Put your plain pages through your embossing folders. Again, we've got an all-over image with all your flowers on. Christmas again. Pick all your dies out. All your little poinsettia uh, dies and things Good. you've already had done. Another thing we say, and I showed you one this morning, I've got three now, books. So your charity shop finds and your car boot finds, your mm. big pages. You might have a gardener who's... Um, into uh, gardening. <laughs> <laughs> we could be into gardening, gardening. Photos. but you know what I mean. Use the pages to actually make a complete page. I mean, I've stuck this down with foil, um, pads, but you can see underneath. There's the pads look. Ah. But I've done the page underneath. We've got a cookbook. Some of you might be into cooking. You could put recipes behind the pages. You could send them in the seed packets. Put seed packets in your gardening oh, one. Yeah. We've also got somebody who's into uh, journeys or lo loves his cars or ladies that love their cars. It's an atlas, an old atlas. We've got ooh, plenty to show you. Oh, look Do at little that. Ones into an easel card. Yeah. Ah. Little easel cards. We've got small cards. Again, perfect to put your trellis all your gems and your pearls. And Julie, for anybody that's just tuning in and they're seeing these cards and they're thinking, yeah. well, I'm used to a card being a traditional folded card with these and you're giving them to people. How do, who, how do you present them? How do they stand these up and, and display them at home? Well, what we've done with these, because we've made that spine like slightly bigger, if you haven't got a card stand, it oh, will stand on its own. So the spine is actually slightly wider than the embossed line. Mm -hmm. So if you want to trim it down, you can at the front. You don't have to, but you can. But if you don't and you stick your spine on the back, whether it be plain or trellis, it helps support it. So they can stand with I love that. A card stand. That little I've seen that little die cut topper before and it's a beautiful little image there, isn't it? But of course Look you could that. represent a, um, you could be taking a photo of your, your grandchild, you your could. niece, your nephew, and putting that in there instead. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So if I've got time to just show this, now I drop the pearls in the holes there because I'd put the solid back on. 
I could drop the pearls in the hole, so that's changed it again. We've got our weddings. I've took middles out and made frames. And then the same image done flat or as a book. And then do it as a proper book. And that's what gave me the idea of adjusting the spines. I mean, I'd done this ages ago, and then I thought, well, hold on, I could do an open book with a smaller spine, which is what I've just showed you. But do that, cut them, overlay them, and then they can become the pages inside your book. I mean, you can put, like, photos on every page. You could put pockets and make it journals. So fold it over and make it a solid book. So nice. that's literally... Oh, last one, because Barbara will kill me if I don't show you. It's a handbag look. Oh, and all amazing. that is, is there's your spine... And there's your first page. Mm -hmm. And then all she's done is put another spine and half a book, folded it over. Isn't that clever? So now we've got a, ba a bag. So there's Beautiful. lots and lots that you can do with this plain, if you want to call it anything but plain, but plain frame. There you go. So as you can see, that's what you are investing in. So when you get that set of dies, those 14 dies, you can rest assured you've got lots of different combinations. So of course, giving you loads of possibilities, potentially just starting with that first flexi buy, £23.50. But do be aware that 60% of the stock has gone. You're going to get some, obviously, your paper alongside this one. So that's going to give you something to get started. But of course, I know you'll have loads within your stash. Now, Julie, do you use some of the foam pads? Now, I don't know if you realise, 8 o'clock this morning, we launched a brand new set of seven day savers and one of them that is a foam pad so this is a perfect opportunity for you to add those into that flexi order as well there'd only be a fiver and you would be getting eight thousand eight hundreds of them my goodness that's a lot of foam pads as well just imagine how many of those books you could make with those and then also your red liner tape this is going to help you with your construction now this is brilliant because you've got your different sizes as you can see there your three six nine twelve mil giving you 12 reels in total for just nine pounds and 99 pence you're saving again 12 pounds on that one that would be another fiver into your flexi order so it makes sense to add those in alongside as well and of course the beauty is you're taking advantage of the savings with our seven day savers but of course you can be taking advantage of the savings with our black tag event and this is an event that's running through until tuesday evening six o'clock when it draws to a close then sadly all those savings will disappear so you have to take advantage while you've got the chance and we've got a few in fact we've got three um different savings for you with regards to this particular hour kicking things off with the diamond trails and these are a lovely opportunity we're going to see these in action in a little while lovely opportunity for you to kind of trace out a design but um, you're tracing that design out in either well you'll see when from julie pen, pencil it could be it could be that you're using a piercing tool and then of course you've got those elements that you're using to lay down your design now of course you can choose any of these elements so if you wanted to you could incorporate them into the pages of your book as you can see here the lovely rows that we've got over on this side here being used on the page there so it's giving you the placement point for those gorgeous little pearls that you've got there. The heart, again, it could be that you're using the heart, um, creating that double line around the edge, creating that beautiful border again there, using those little pearl gems. Or maybe you're going to just create a nice, simple little square card, but using the beauty of that placement there to give you a wonderful card. Absolutely fabulous value for money. With a £4 saving, that is one of your Black Tag event um, hour, um, products, should I say, within this hour. Um, so uh, if you do like the look of that one then six eight four eight six one but as i say it's not the only a black tag event saving that we've got so you've got your square frame as well now this is lovely because of course you've got elements in here that will form a frame but you know as well as i do that you can manipulate that you could use it just as a corner you could use it just as a border you could elongate it turn it into a larger square larger rectangle you've got the circle frame in there which you can use independently or you can use alongside some of the fabulous little plates that we've got to share with you so for example here you go a little teddy bear now the teddy bear is one of the plates that we've also got as a, a, a black tag event which I'll tell you about in a few moments but the frame itself there that has been created using that wonderful plate that we've just been looking at um, equally so you've got things like the pet plates the details are on your screen now 9.99 will get you the plates that will allow you to create your fabulous little cats as you can see there you've also got your fabulous little dog and the beauty is these sit perfectly 
with that frame. So obviously you can use them independently if you want to, but if you are using them alongside the frame, then they will sit neatly in there. And of course you can turn them to the left or to the right, whichever position you need them to be in and get the perfect positioning on your final project. £9.99 if you're wanting to get hold of that. So that is your pearly pets. £9.99 for those. And as you can see, they're brilliant value for many. Now, of course, the frames that you've got will allow you to create the, sorry, now did I get those the wrong way around? The, pet, the cat and dog on a separate one. I thought they were the pets. I do apologise. So the pets, is that, is this, oh, is that the actual square? I do apologise. I didn't realise it got the pets word attached to it. So, yes, the cats and the dog inserts. Let's just clarify that. So, the, so let's start again. <laughs> so, that is the item number for your square. Okay, it threw me with the pearly pets. I didn't notice that last time. But then you've got your discs. Now, you've got your discs in choices. So, if you want the cats and the dogs, then the details are coming up on your screen there, just to make it crystal clear. So there's your dog, and there is your cat. And again, you can flip them over whichever way you want them to go. But that insert can be swapped out by another set of inserts that we've got, which again will fit with your frame. Here's a little teddy bear. Probably a little cutie, that teddy bear. And of course, you've got room there in the centre there. Might want to add an additional detail, perhaps picked out from the frame. And then the other one that you've got in that one is the graceful swan. And again, that will flip in um, whichever way around you want it to go. And then, of course, team it up with that lovely frame there. And you can see the kind of results that you could be getting. Isn't that gorgeous? £15.98. pence. So if you're wanting those inserts with the teddy and the swans, the details are on your screen there. Now, don't forget your box board, though, because when you've created a masterpiece, as you will do with these wonderful um, elements, you want to be able to showcase it beautifully. So having the box board means that not only is it presented beautifully, but it is protected as well. 750-458, £12.99. That works out just £6.50 into your flexi order if you want to pop that in with those um, original dies. So there you go. Why not pop those into your basket? Now, I've been talking about the diamond trails there, and you might not have come across them before. So Julie is here. She's going to explain to you exactly what it's all about. So over to you, Julie. OK. So diamond trails, as we said briefly on the first running, it's part of our diamond trails range. And what they are, they are clear guides for you to mark through either piercing, fine liners or your pencils to give you a guide to add your gems and your pearls to. Because we've always got little bits of pearls and things hanging about and we don't know what to do with them. Well, this will give you the perfect way of providing a guide for you to stick all your gems to. So if I just take that frame off there, you can see I've done every single one there. By all means, you can really bling a project up and do every single one of those in a diamond. And I've got some really blingy samples to show you. But you can actually pull out little elements. So we've got corners, and that looks a little bit like a crown to me. We've got little squares in a frame. We've got a plain frame. We've got zigzags. We've got complete triangles. There's flowers in there. There's little crosses in there. This is a zigzag uh, circle. But it's also two different sizes of circle. You can also draw through the hole and create your own frame. So when you first look at it, you'll see a lot more as you start to use this. So if I just put these out to one side and then we'll bring this in and I'll show you. So as I said, you can either pierce and I'll, I'll just show you there. Let's just pierce through. I won't do every single one, but this just gives you an idea of what you can do. So that's piercing. We've also got fine liners. Now, when you're using your fine liners, this is where you can help the children. Because as I said with this morning, you wouldn't let them loose with a, a piercing tool. 12 and above, possibly, under supervision again. But like younger children can then use the fine liners. So there we've got fine liners. And finally, we've got the uh, mechanical pencil. You know, you can adjust the length of your uh, lead to go through. It's like a two millimetre deep hole. So as long as it goes through that hole, you can use anything really. Um, when you're using the pencil, this will be better for when I show you the love board. If you want to recreate and make bigger patterns and you go wrong, you can rub it out. So if you're confident to go straight in with your fine liner, use your fine liner or your piercing holes. But also you've got your pencil marks, which you can rub out if you go wrong. But it's really, really easy. Again, as we said before, and I'll use a fine liner for this. You might have a stamp that you need to put a circle around. So there we go, we can draw through that there. You can use your gel pens, your gold and your silver gel pens to give you a lovely gold uh, frame to a project. Don't use your alcohol ones though, 
because we, we found that out ourselves. There's something in that alcohol pen that makes the acrylic brittle. Oh, right, so okay. So I wouldn't use you, I wouldn't suggest using your alcohol okay, ones. But enough. all your fine liners, your normal uh, felt pens and pencils and chalk and what pens. Pen. But I wouldn't say perhaps your alcohol ones. You could also use that to sponge through to give yourself like a moon or something on a project and sort of spun through. So there's more uses than what you see there. And of course you could, I mean, I'm going over what I'm doing here, but you could actually draw around the whole thing. So don't just stop at the pattern, you know, use the whole thing. I mean, you could have done that in gold just to outline on a, on a scrapbook or something like that. So it's more than what you see. I'll flip it over. Now, as I said before, you can pick out bits. So let's just pick out this one. And what I've done there, I've picked out like a little flowery oh, rosette type. Oh, look that, magic. That was hiding in there. You can do the triangle, just a triangle, if that's what you want. Okay. You can see to line it back up, so you can add your dot back in if you want. Bring one over from the other side and line it up. And now I've made a diamond. So I could do all that oh, down the side clever. of the card, or I could do a double frame. And again, I'll show you that in just one second. You can just pick out here we've got in the corner. We've just got the square. So the more you look into this, the more you will see. And as I said here, that looks like a little tiny crown of some description. You could do like a crown and then draw a little face underneath and make oh, it a cat yes. crown or cat's ears. Yeah. So... The more you look into the patterns, as I say, you can either use all of it or some of it. And if I bring in some samples for you, I'll just show you what I meant by this. There's the flower. And I've done that all the way around. And all that is, is a fine liner with a little touch of, top, um, touch of glitter glue. I think you get a proper... Very effective. It's the light catching it on that. But then it looks like a gem without you having to gem it. There's your diamond. And I've done them side by side down the card. So that's really effective. Let's go back to our books. Now, as we said, we bought the books because everything that we've got on the show today, whether it be the pets, whether it be the frowns, whether it be the love board, they all go onto these books. So there we go. I've gone down, I've made it a solid spine and I've made a border, but that could have been down the edge of the page. I've picked out those corners I was talking about. So again, I've looked into and done more than what I first saw. And it's nice there because you've extended the actual design exactly, there. Exactly, because there. it's clear. I mean, if you were going down, let's say you wanted to just go down the side, then you'd stop and carry on because you can line it up and carry on. Love it. So that's the beauty of having them clear and We are and very, through. very busy for this one, Julie. Um, three, was that three quarters of the stock has wow. gone? My goodness, well, let's wow. We have quickly to move on to these pets it's then. It's been a popular <laughs> item. The details are on your screen. Of course, we're talking about the frame, which is giving you that gorgeous kind of triangle border and the circle and the outside area that um, Julie's been working with. But of course, you open up even more possibilities when you start putting those inserts in there. And we've got a couple of deals with regards to those, whether it's your pets you're wanting to add in or whether you want the, te the fabulous swan and the teddy bear. And that's what we're going to be moving on to, to show you how you can use those inside of that fabulous plate that you've got there. But the plate by itself, you've got that fabulous saving there, three pounds savings, bringing it down to nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Six seven three two four six. If you're wanting to get hold of that, but don't check your basket out just yet, because when you see what Julie's going to do with those inserts, you will want these as well. As I say, you've seen me do it before. Mark through. I'm very conscious that we're losing time here, but let's let's say we marked it through, and I am doing this very very quickly here. But I just wanted to show you that we've done one but we can then move it and create another wave in the water. Let's say oh, I carried that on. Clever. If you do a solid, so there's, there's him finished. But then we can change it by just joining up the dots as if you're doing dot to dot, which again, you could put this in a child's card and say, join the dots and see what pet you've, what, what pet you've got. And there we go. We've now got a stitched, and if I bring in Teddy that I, I did this morning, and all I did with the different with that one is I just drew round it. That's so fabulous. again, it's gone from a gemmed item to a faux stitched item to a dot to dot puzzle inside a child's card. So can you see how you sort of keep creating and keep creating? And again, you can use it as a frame to uh, give you a guide to put a few gems round and flowers on your frame. If I can bring some quick, quick samples in, then we'll quickly, quickly move on to the, to the love board. Oh, I'm bringing in the loved ones. I'm losing the plot here. Right, so there's our dog again. And what I've done there, 
lots of little gems side by side by side by side by side and I've just used it as a, a guide. If I bring you the cat in, you can see there's a, 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 a gem and a space, gem and a space, gem and a space. So that's the two different effects. So there's your cat. There's your dog again with peel-offs. Now this is off another board we've got which is personalised but what you can do and you can do it with the pets and the frames as well is mark through the one hole, take it off and then by eye put another dot in between the ones you've done and it'll make it look more solid so you play. Again one side of your oblong cards, move it over, do the other side, join it up so you've now gone from square to oblong. There I've just picked out the corners. Simple just simple i mean black and white few dots and it's really embellished that again i've just done picked out a little diamond there again i've just gone up the center of that triangle look how different they look every time you do it two different size same frame same pattern large pearls small pearls it's made it look different all over again by just changing the shape of the gems and finally there's that one so that's our frame done. And whether Hayley needs to say anything else, and I then we can move on to the love. Indeed, lots of people adding these into their baskets. So much so that we are now officially limited in stock. Now, if you have it in your basket, you have to check your basket out to ensure that you are getting hold of this with the associated saving. You can see there, nine ninety nine will get you that fabulous frame. Of course, you can add those inserts in, as we saw Julie working with them. But the frame, just by itself, has an incredible amount of usability. Whether it's the outside edge that you're using, or whether it's a case of using those placement points there. Um, Julie's just shown you just how wonderful it is to work with. So the details are on your screen. Down to single figures now with these. So if you are wanting yours, please do check your basket out. 673246. And of course, you have got the inserts. We've got the teddy and the swan at the bottom of the screen. But of course, we have got the cat and dog. Now, I'm going to go back over to Julie because she's going to be showing you another one of those fabulous boards. This one um, is your love board, you can see here. And there's going to be lots of scope with regards to this one. This one, again, we have got an associated saving with their £14.99 pence four pounds saving the details on your screen there six eight four eight six one if you're wanting to take advantage of this one and Julie this one's got a little aperture in it as well it has yes so you can work this the same as the frame that I just showed you because we've got borders we've got the word love we've got a sort of a little flourish diamond borders portrait and landscape small and large then we've got as you said we've got our little aperture that you can draw through again and then we've got our rows left facing or right facing depending on which way around you want to pop it in it can be used in that if you want to line it up or on its own if I just show you with a, a fine liner but as I said we can pierce it we can mark it with a pencil and then put our gems on or our pearl paints or stitch because it's clear, you can see where you're putting it. So you've got a small topper, you can just put it into that topper and away you go. I'm using a fine liner. I'll only do the one letter because, as I say, I know that we're running out of time. So you can place it where you want it to be. You can place your heart where you want it to be. You can use the gem on it or without. Both sizes, separate sizes. One, and then use it as a guide to build in or possibly just keep going round and round and round and build out. We've got our borders. This can be done this way, flip over and do it the other way. And with the heart, I'm looking at it, half of the heart almost being a petal. So you can do the outside edge to make a petal, then flip it you over could, you and could. do the other part well, of the What petal. you could do if you've got a scrapbook, put your pin in and then move it and do oh, another yes. one, move yeah. it and do another one, move it and do another one. Nice. I mean, you could literally have a massive big and then put a photo in the like middle. Like a big rosette, love it. Exactly. So that's something else you Endless can do. Endless possibilities. Exactly. So let's say I wanted to do a border all the way down the side of this piece of card. Won't do them all, but let's just say we finished there. Because it's clear, you just take the next one, you line it up, and you carry on. And that's what you do with all of these. As I say, it goes so far, but you can extend it if you want to on all of these. Again, we can draw through our oblong, and then we could, in gold, and then we could just put our flower in the middle. Either or, left or right. We can just do a frame in the dots. I mean, honestly, and as I said this morning, I just suddenly thought, well, actually, I mean, there might be an occasion where you just want to draw 
a half shape or make that a big D and put the word daft. You know, I mean, it could be used, do you know what I mean? You're daft and I love you, sort of thing. So it's more, like I said with the frames, it's more than what you first see. I think you'll be lying in bed thinking about these. I know. I mean, some things just come to me. But then something like you as presenters, you'll mention something and then I'll think, oh, and then it, off you go again. And if you're in craft clubs, you'll all sort of talk to each other, even if it's by Zoom at the moment. You know, you'll give each other ideas. But mm -hmm. everything we do, we try to bring together, which is why we bought the book. I mean, this is so popular every time because people can see, oh, I can put my dyes on that. Oh, I can put my flowers that I've had in a cupboard. I've had a batch make of flowers. I've got somewhere to put them now. So this is why we always tend to bring it back. I mean, there's the love plate just on those pages. Just the simple heart with your flowers and your open trellis. There, there it is again. Now I've just put dies underneath the pages, pearls on the spine, there's your heart, there's your rose again. Rose, all I've done this time is fine liners and then coloured it in, just for just, I mean I'm not a watercolourist, but I managed to smudge it and get myself like a little watercolour effect with that rose there. Half a page like we showed you before, it's just a li few little dots, but it's created a lovely heart, somewhere to put all your dies. If I can just throw a few in before we finish, there's plain, plain and simple love, love again. There's our uh, roses one way, then the other. There's that flourishy thing, oh, <laughs> top and pretty. bottom or sideways, depending. You could make borders out of that or corners. Plain again, and I've pinched the diamond out the heart and popped it at the bottom of that flourish. So you can now design new designs. Simple, simple again, folk art buttons oh. and I keep going gems and pearls roses gems I mean really look what you've got in your scrapbook Can, uh, scrapbox sorry can I put it on a book can I use it with the love board I mean you may have with your frames I've got a die I've done a lovely flower on that die or I've done a lovely stamp <gasps> I can put a frame around it now. Perfect. So everything comes together. I love it. Now, of course, we are talking about the Love Diamond Trails plate, which is the larger of the plates we've been looking at. This particular one, £14.99, very affordable price with that discount, but it's a very popular item. So just to give you a little bit of an update. So what was that, Kim? 70% of the stock. My goodness, you've had a busy hour with this one. Don't forget the aperture that you've got here, that gorgeous rose will pop out and there are other ones that you can pop into its place. You can just check out the brand section and you'll find Scarlet Rose there and you will be able to see others that you can pop into there. But of course, you've got the gorgeous heart there, the lovely flourish and of course the word love, the scallop frame, the diamonds down the side here. And don't forget, you are going to be able to use this alongside the original diamond trails plate that we were talking about, the square at the bottom of your screen as you can see there 684861 we're literally down to the last few minutes of the hour so just going to very quickly mention those dies as well the dies themselves are proving to be popular because of course this is the base this is the base of making your books so you could go for this one um, and uh, be creating with it just by itself make sure it's going to go through your die cutting machine so make sure you've got an A4 die cutting machine to actually pop these through um, if you're doing certain styles with these ones but of course the elements individually you can use them a whole host of ways um, and there you can see you've got your card stock with this one to to get you started the minute that it arrives. £23.50, your first flexi buy, two of those flexi buys on this one, but add anything else you like into your basket and you can check the price of those out over two payments as well. 436391. Julie, you've got lots of examples there of the books. I have all well, we were just going to go over them again just to just to spark your imagination before we move away. Just remember with those books, look past what they first do. So snip your ovals out to give you a different shape frame and a third size in the oval. Your 12 by 12s, put it across the pages now. You're not losing your images by having to chop them up for just an A4 folded card. Make sure that you can, you can see through. I mean, look at that glitter there. I mean, you can, see, you can see my hand moving underneath. Make them open, put your solid backs on, somewhere to drop your pearls in. Use all your corners. Again, you may have your images stretch across the pages, stretch it and do all the, the glittered flowers that you've already got, put your gems on. Dies you've already got. These are our pocket dies which are on the web, which we did last month. But add that in with the dies that you've already got. It changes it again. Some more Christmas dies because we stick those to the back of our drawer till about August, September, don't we? Fetch them out. Now you can pop them on your books instead. There's just so much that you can do. There's your love board again, just your last one, just to remind you of how you can use your love plate along with that book that we bought you today. 
Lovely. And don't forget that Love Board has got a saving on it with regards to um, our Black Tag event. Don't forget your additional inserts as well. But the still, um, this is still the photograph I'm about to share with you is that trails plate that so many of you have been going for during the hour. Just finishing off the hour, letting you know that 80% of the stock of that has gone. So 684861. Um, of course, you've got your two elements with regard to this one. So, of course, if you're wanting to use these alongside your book dies, then definitely add these in. The butterfly pages, I like this one because you've got your butterflies and your roses and of course you can go back in and snip out those elements and these are going to sit on top of those wonderful pages that you are making potentially with the original book as you can see there beautiful the other one that we've got if I just drop this down for you with the roses and again the roses you can use in a similar sort of idea or of course you can use them and just cut them out and use them on a single card like so um, so of course beautiful and I love that you've got kind of the mirror version of those as well 19.99 for each of those dies different items numbers depends on which one you're wanting to go for but the details are that on your screen Julie just about 45 seconds left long enough for us to say thank you again <laughs> thank you as well always inspirational thank don't you. forget what time is your show again this morning 10 o'clock 10 o'clock so of course you can go back and watch go that back one on well yeah, yeah. That is. so uh, um, when are you due back again well in two weeks Oh, we're, right. we're slotting a little one in for Christmas, and that's going to be Lovely. our easy match show. Oh, fair enough. We'll look forward to that one. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, check out the schedule. Make a note of that date, because you will want to come back and see that, because, of course, Julie referenced it during the show. But if you've got anything in your basket, especially some of those vulnerable items, don't forget we were looking at big stock updates on some of those, and I would hate for you to miss out on anything. So please take the opportunity in the break to check out your basket, and then do join us again straight after, because we've got more coming to you from here at Achanda. See you in a bit. So, yes, what we've got coming up, well, it's a black tack event with Craftoscope. Looking forward to that one. Then, of course, it'll be four o'clock, so we'll be looking at a black tag event with a one-day special before I go over and team up with Sally. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. What we would like to share with you is my passion for crafts. We love all the concepts we have, so we have from cute till classic and beautiful designs. We love our journaling planner line and we are going to bring you our ideas, our passion and we hope to transfer that passion to you. So please join Elizabeth Craft Designs here at Hochenda. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. 
At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. So I hope you can join Heartfelt Creations here on the Chanda. Hello and welcome. It's marvellous to have your company. Um, Miss P's in the corner. Hello. 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 <laughs> She's little, sitting in the corner in a little chair. Uh, she will be obviously coming up and uh, giving you a little runner up of what we've got left, hopefully. Um, now, we are talking about Craftoscope, our lovely Nick. Hi, Nick, if you're watching in wonderful Bulgaria. Um, Nick has been um, in the craft industry for years, actually. Um, years. He was making things for us, like, gosh, how long ago was that, Nick, when you made the teddy bears? Because he made teddy bears, he's done all sorts. Um, and then he started producing his own products. Then, because he's a crafter, you know, he made things that are. Uh, uh, fabulous whether you're making um beautiful dyes you've got fantastic stamps you've got some seriously cool stencils and obviously there's so many different ways you can use them he's a crafter so he knows that you know he wants to to do things so they they value for money quite frankly the rubber stamps now the rubber stamps not acrylic um not polymer um they are rubber i've forgotten what they are nick it's in your letter but um basically they're a high quality rubber stamp which means they're a clear stamp if i show you they're a clear stamp but you can do everything that you can do with a red rubber stamp so it gives you that real quality you know if you want to do um if you want to stamp into your your beautiful fibers for instance maybe you want to stamp into your your ultra thick embossing powder it won't damage your stamp so high quality stamps um that's what Nick has brought to us. Shall I run through the goodies that we've got for you? I'm going to tell you straight away we've got a load. Have a look on the website under Craftoscope because um, Nick has given us so many deals. And once a lot of these, well, once they've gone, they've gone. At the end of the hour, well, at the end, we've got two hours today. At the end of the shows, that's it. The prices go back to normal, so they're not being rolled over. And once stock's gone, that's it. It's not reordering, so it is a case of get it while you can. OK. I'll show you what we've got. So this first bundle, it's a massive bundle. And the size of the stamps, I mean, have a look at these. Um, it's not, I mean, you can see that is bigger than an A5 stamp sheet. And you have got detailed stamps on here. Absolutely beautiful. Big stamps as well. So you've got these gorgeous, gorgeous roses going on there. You've got loads of gorgeous sentiments. I mean, just have a look at the size of that rose. It's absolutely exquisite. 
really, really beautiful detailed stamps. Then you've got lovely sentiments. I'll read to you as well. Things like everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Beauty lifts the soul. Um, we've got with love on your birthday. So you've got tons of sentiments and some gorgeous roses. Now that's your first one. So you've got lovely roses on this one. Have a look. They mix and match together, so they work beautifully together. But of course, they're all standalone stamp sets as well. You can get the stamp sets individually if you wish, and they have got some incredible savings on. So please have a little look at all of those, and we will run through those for you. Um, again, look at the size of that beautiful rose, the detail of that, absolutely exquisite. I love this flower. How you've got that gorgeous arch because it'll allow you to build that up if you wish. Then it's beautiful beautiful for having a sentiment in the centre of here. I mean, the flowers are, um, you can use them anytime, can't you? Gorgeous for weddings as well. I mean, you've got some really romantic flowers on here. Sentiments, um, you will know what's missing in your life when something wonderful comes to fill it. How beautiful. A single rose can be a my garden, a single friend, my world. Isn't that gorgeous? And then a heart so full and a soul so free. Oh, they're lovely sentiments, are Nick? And then the third stamp set again massive stamps here and of course you've got these beautiful flowers they're all slightly different as well and I love that because it gives you such a huge collection but obviously the way they work together is wonderful and you can see the price of these 13.29 for a stamp set of this size and that quality I mean seriously it's got on each stamp set you've got a 570 saving that is such a good saving so available individually if you wish or of course all parts this big bundle so you've got huge huge stamp sets there 56 stamps in total but then you've got your four dies now just bear with because I do need to um, just ruin our pack shot so I can reach oh and I had to borrow one of my dies sorry I'll have to go and get that in a second so you have got I've been die cutting with it and I've gone and left it a bit on my plate have I Probably. Oh, it's there with the red card in it. Got yes, thanks, love. Oh, keep it in, it's okay. Sorry, sorry, folks. I mean, I'm really subtle there, aren't I? <laughs> um, so, what you've got with this one now, look at the size of this die. That is an absolutely beautiful die. You've got so much detail there. You've got that gorgeous outside edge. I really like this one. So you've got that and then, <laughs> yes, I magically went and got it, honest, Governor. Um, and then you've got, now, I'm not taking the bits of card out because I'm getting them ready for a demonstration. Um, so you've got the beautiful, beautiful roll. Isn't that stunning? And again, look at the size of that die. These are massive dies. Once they've gone, they've gone. Nick will not be bringing these back, especially at that uh, fantastic price. Now, all available individually if you wish, but all available in that wonderful bundle. Now, if you'd like to get the bundle, let me show you some gorgeous finished samples. You get him. Ah, oh, thank you. Thermoplastic rubber. See, I'd not heard of that before. So I, Nick, found fantastic, um, a fantastic manufacturing process to actually make these and make fantastic quality stamps. Thank you, Nick. Um, okay, have a look at some of these. Beautiful, as ever, wonderful team. This is lovely, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. And you can do so much with them. The wonderful Jane, of course, who we see here on a chanda. Um, another one from Elaine. You can colour them in however you wish. You can fussy cut. I mean, look how that's been fussy cut. I love that. That is so delicate from gorgeous Nicola. Really pretty. Look at that. I love that. That's the die. And I, the die is, it's one of those you can do so much with. I really, really like the frame round it. Doesn't that look effective? Literally, it does look like clarity paper, doesn't it? You can so, it's so easy to make a very striking card. Paper piece in it. Now, I love this. Look at that from Anne. Isn't that stunning doing the stitching over the top? That must have took her ages. That is absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. And I love, look at that. Again, are we seven and a half minutes in already? I've only shown you one bundle. Okay, please check your baskets out. So you have got your wonderful um, 
a collection but you've also got your flexi price now if you are going for this i don't mean flexi price if you're going for this you've got your freedom price which is 61 pounds and seven pence now that's with all of the savings carry across and you get an extra 10 percent off there as well so you're actually saving on this bundle 34 pounds and 10 pence for freedom members um oh in fact it's even more if you're a freedom member um she's on it do, 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 do. i mean i'll just do that um so if you're a freedom member it's what i love 40 pounds and 89 pence that is ridiculous and these stamps uh, are how much each about 13 pounds each in Right, that is amazing. So basically, you're hardly paying for anything in this. You need to check your baskets out. Once it's gone, that is it, it's gone. And those prices will go up at the end of our second hour today. That is 542893. Let's move on, dears. So your next one, again, absolutely stunning and so different as well. So what we've got here, you've got three stamp sets. So your first one, and these are really different from your florals. These are really sketchy and beautiful. Now, these are coming from Bulgaria, so they're going to be coming out from uh, the 8th of December. So, have a look, look at these. So, you've got that really nice, loose, sketchy feel to these. Perfect if you're doing watercolours. You know, if this is your base and then you're going over with your watercolours, because they look real. And you've got that beautiful farmhouse. I wonder if this is Bulgarian, Nick. And if I spin that round, let me have a see. You've got the lovely tree and you can see the little farmhouse in the background there. They're really, really effective. Wait till you see when they, what they look like when they're stamped out. Now, this one's really different because that one gives you sort of the brick wall but obviously you take that out if you want so it means you can put any scene behind there which looks really effective or of course you can have the sentiments in the middle um you've also got the beautiful hills there and the sentiments let me read to you um the meaning of life is to find your gift the purpose of life the purpose of life is to give it away and that's mr shakespeare some chap go shakespeare you've got dreamy you've got peaceful you've got belief <laughs> never heard of him shakespeare is he is he new um, and then then the last one have a look at that so you've got beautiful trees you've got all those wonderful hills and again really really effective you can get these independently each of these stamp sets have got a five pound saving that five pound saving is carried forward into your bundle if you do want to go for your bundle i mean a five pound saving which is amazing actually and then a bit because you're saving 20 pounds on this bundle honestly the prices are phenomenal you're getting in this set you're actually getting 33 stamps the whole bundle for just 33 pounds and 97 pence and can you see that so that's your frame and then you you can put whatever you fancy in the frame i think it's beautiful like this look at that how effective is that isn't that pretty i mean it's all about the coloring in it's all about obviously um getting the shading but doesn't that look good i really like that very effective indeed and you can see that really loose kind of watercolor effect as well they'll look beautiful used with your alcohol markers or of course they look fantastic used with your watercolors really really beautiful now if you do want to get hold of these ridiculous price 36 pounds and 97 pence um, that is 116835 next now stencils this is a massive pick and mix on these ones um now you are choosing four of these just bear with sorry i have no black card and the white stencils so um you have a look at these yeah you have a look um okay so what we've got with these uh, you have got a huge collection of stencils what i love about these is you've got something for for every different um occasion and do you know what what i really like when nick did his um collection he did the the stencils and the stamps with the male face on and they're really really effective and different and i, I just thought that was such a good idea they're really cool as well He's drawn them really well. Um, you've got some seriously funky stencils as well in this, which I love. You know, all the retro ones, absolutely don't. I did get a bit carried away playing with stencils, I'm not going to lie. Now, your deal here, look at this. Four stencils for 9 .98. That is a half-price deal. These prices will go up. 
once the stock has gone that is it and some of the stock is really low so please check your baskets out. see and the big stencils I really like these. I mean, you can decorate them however you want. You know, obviously with something like this, you can fill it in however you fancy. I love these. I must admit, these all these retro ones, absolutely adore them. I love the leaf ones. I think that, sorry, I am going to have trouble showing these, aren't I? The leaf one is absolutely beautiful. Look, 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 the retro ones. Love the retro. They're so cool. This is another one of your retros which again absolutely gorgeous and then the fellas look 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 at him they're really cool aren't they and some of the um oh, some of the finished samples that the team did with the stamps the first time round absolutely fabulous i'll still there's one that um one that team did and i think she did like um a david bowie thing on the stamps look seriously cool i love these as well because obviously you've got tons of detail going in there like the beautiful leaves really nice and then look one of his other faces aren't they effective really like that who's that is that brendan that's our brendan um and then your beautiful flowers and then last but by no means least look at that chap uh they're cool and um, I don't know, I don't know, because we've had to take them off the backgrounds. But let me show you some of the ways. See, now, these are some of the ways to use our Nick stencils. And Nick did these. And what I love about it, I mean, Nick is seriously creative. So he does so many different looks. I think that is really, really effective. See, he's actually used um, mica onto black gloss, gloss card and sealed with ultra cheap hairspray. <laughs> I think that looks really effective. That one obviously looks like it's hand drawn, which is amazing. So it's just going around with your pencils, literally just going around with the pencils. And the thing is, because the stencils, you can change the look of them. You know, you can obviously play around with them to make them um, however you want them. Let me show you some of the other finished samples, because look at this as well. Look at that, that's Anne again. I love that, Anne. Yeah, isn't that stunning? I mean, how much time again? But that beautiful stitching on the fabric there, really effective. Again, backgrounds, this is with some of the stamps. Please shop by brand, because we have got more of the dies that you're seeing. We've got more of the stamps that we're seeing on the top of here. So please have a look at these. Like, I love this. Look how cool he looks. I really like that. I think that is, does it look 80s? We use race cut, yeah, it's proper cool. Yeah, I love that, sorry. I'm <laughs> chatting away in my head. Um, love it, absolutely love it. If you do want these, the price is ridiculous. You're buying four stencils, the choice is yours. £9.98 for half price deal there. 828-069 is your item, move, um, item number, and it said item moving. <laughs> it's me moving. That's your item number. <laughs> and mash up in my head. Okay, next. Um, stamps. So this is cracking. So this is one of his first stamp sets. Um, they're one of the only, there's only two A4 stamp, uh, A5 stamp sets, all the rest got bigger because he wanted to squeeze more on. And you can see here you've got tons and tons of sentiments. So you've got things like, allow your soul to shine. Life is never black and white indeed. Um, life is tough, but so are you. Um, everyone has a story. Indeed they do. So you've got tons of sentiments there. And then of course, um, you've got the face really like that. Let me just show you just a couple of finished samples there. isn't that cool from Cheryl mixed media obviously really suits your mixed media really like that and then let me just show you that one as well so I really like that super cool again look at your price 9.99 um, you have got 10 stamps there it's saving six pounds that is 296.621 next beautiful dolphins please check the website because we've got some lovely dolphin dyes as well which mix, which mix and match perfectly um, but with your gorgeous dolphins if I flip that round for you so You've got your detailed dolphins. You've got all your gorgeous sentiments there. Um, you've got Song of the Sea. You've got Grace. You've got Compassion, Hope. Let your spirit soar. So there's all sorts of different sentiments there. And, of course, the beautiful dolphins. I mean, dolphins are just gorgeous, aren't they? And that's from Cheryl. A beautiful mixed media piece. 
another mixed media piece there as well, which is lovely. From our Cheryl, our Cheryl's definitely our mixed media lady. I love that. And let me show you this, just one more, because look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. That has all been, it's all stitched, is that? It's beautiful. Honestly, it feels amazing as well. Really, really clever is that. The texture. Um, if you do want those, £9.99, saving £6 on that collection. 522081. Next. Um, so, now, this is where... So, we did his 2A5 and then he went, nope, I want it bigger than that. And that is what he's got. So, on this one, now, these work so well with the retro stencils. Really cool. I love all these fantastic images. And then, of course, you've got that wonderful, strong face of that chap there. I, right, I love this one. I think it's very cool. Surely we can do for one day that which seems impossible for a lifetime. So, and again, he picked some really cool sentiments to go with these. It's a really striking stamp, is that one. I think you'll agree. And yeah, the way these work with the stencils is fantastic. Now, £13.99, pence. you have got 19 stamps there, saving £8. 229709. Last but by no means least for this hour, and definitely not the last thing on the website. Um, and again, have a little look at that. Um, ATC Antics, so great size for ATC, plus of course you've got uh, your little stamp there that will fit onto an ATC, so you can do it loving the background, you know, that kind of uh, bubble wrap background, the two faces which will match again with the stamp set before it, and then you've got the beautiful card ones, I really, really like those, and again, look, I love that, putting a little eye patch on him. I think that's well cool. And this is it. You can dress them up however you want. You can do anything with these. £13.99. Incredible price there for 34 stamps. That is 162644. Right, you need to shop by brand. There are so many phenomenal stamps under Crafterscope. There's about four pages, everybody. Seriously. And the deals are incredible. You know, everything has a deal. So please, please have a look at the website. Have a little perusal. Um, take your time, obviously. Enjoy the process. Um, but do not miss out on any of these prices because the prices are phenomenal. Once they've gone, that is it. They've gone at these incredible deals. <laughs> She's still going through it. She's having a little. It's a do 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 boop do do singing along. Um, but yeah all available so please make sure you check your baskets out there if you have any questions email in studio at achanda.com if you want to say hello to our lovely nick who we know is watching then please also um come through and go hello uh, yeah i am absolutely ready right i wanted to play with that die first of all now i've cut both of the dies out um so that one was the, the big one. And what I love about these, if I just pop a little bit of card under there, straight away that looks ridiculously effective. Because you can see all the detail. You can see all the um you can see all the detail there. You can obviously see the beautiful frame as well. So you can put this on a decorative background, you know, on a beautiful paper back. I really like these just plain. You know, just like that, I just think it looks so, um, so beautiful. It just looks so um, sophisticated. That's the word I'm after. However, let's have a little play. So what I've done, I've cut it out in black, first of all. See, even when you start matting and layering it over the top, you know, and getting that gorgeous drop shadow. I, I just adore that. Look at that, where you drop shadow on it. These are the kind of dies you'll be able to play with because you can do so many different things. That just looks so effective. When you use, though, black, red and white, that always looks good, doesn't it? It always looks classy. Um, I've cut this out because, obviously, what I wanted to do was keep these little elements. So, very quickly, just glue this on. Now, that frame is interesting because... Oh, Leona. That frame's interesting because, obviously, um, what you can do with that, you can actually use the frame with or without the second die. So if you don't use the second die, um, you'll just get, you can see, you'll just get that lovely line cutting in, but obviously it stays within the cardstock. Or use your frame and you'll cut it out of the cardstock. So you have got a choice 
choice with that one. Let me just get my glue and loosely stick this on, which is beautiful. Um, we have got a lot of people buying individuals. If you do want your individuals, I like that you've got all that pick and mix. You know, you've got all that choice. And that's a lovely thing because there's so many beautiful elements um, that you can go for. So I do apologise. My, I forgot, to un oh, I forgot to undo my glue thing, didn't I? Which is very frustrating. Very frustrating indeed. So what we've got is... And I wouldn't do this like this normally, <laughs> but you know. Um, now, what I'd do, there it is, there it is, got it. So what I'd absolutely not do is what I'm doing now, but I'm doing this because I'm not organised. And I forgot my poker tool. Today, folks, I know I'm not doing very well today at remembering. I could have done with it, but it could be anywhere. It doesn't matter. I've got a pair of scissors. There we go. So, popping glue there, and then all I'm going to do is gently turn this the right way around. It's all right, love. I've got my scissors. Turn this the right way around like that, so it's just on top of my die cut, and then just bob my scissors through like this, and just hopefully, because the glue's on there, it should... There we go. Let's have a little look, see. <laughs> so moving that round. So some's come out, some's been stubborn. Like that. See, look how stubborn I am being. I've got glue dripping off my fingers. <laughs> Does look like icing. <laughs> uh, Leon Abusual. <laughs> It's one of those, isn't it? It's like, oh, for goodness sake. Uh, because I've got, I've, well, I'll tell you what it is. I've got so much stuff at home. I've then got stuff here, but it's uh, obviously on the other side of the building. And you can guarantee I'll run over, forget some of it, run over, forget some of it. And, oh, I drive myself insane. Hey, it's all good steps. Yeah, it's lots of exercise. I drive myself mad, though. It does make me very sweary, as everybody knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Makes me really swear. Uh, I'm not going to say any of the words. None of the words. <laughs> because everybody went, oh, Leona. <laughs> None of the words, but yeah, it does. It's, um, I just wish I had, I had a memory. You know, like one that lasted more than three seconds. There we go. So I'm obviously just infilling these. You do this much simpler at home. Just pulling that over as so. I really like it though. I like doing things like this. I love paper piecing anyway because I think it just looks so effective. And I love that rose. I just think it's such a beautiful, crisp image. And it just gives you such a wonderful, wonderful effect. And with something like this, I mean, I was going to faff about because I thought, oh, I want to do a really decorative background with it. But just having the rose like that, isn't that beautiful? Obviously, I'm going to cut it in green. I'm going to make you watch that as well um, because because I want to but what I love about this is let me just clean that guy I do apologize for slamming it um what I love about this, you cut it in the different colours, but then not only do you use the the bits that you're cutting out, so the, the infill bits, if you will, but you'll also use all the, um, the die-cut elements. <sighs> OK, let me just cut it in green as well. So, cutting it once in black, then cutting it once in red, and then cutting it once in green and this will allow you to create all those beautiful layers and it's a good big die and see what you could do with this one you could easily trim this out like just if you wanted to you could literally just trim out the rose bud so the actual flower so if you just wanted to layer the actual die cut image as opposed to can you see what i mean so you can layer the beautiful die cut image if i cut that and that like so and see look at that that one i think is a bit of leaf so i'll cut that off see and that obviously not over this one but 
it just fits over the top like over the green one that'll look beautiful so you don't throw any of these elements away so now when you get the beautiful green just pop this one out and you can see what I've done this time be careful so just lifting it from the back lifting that up so I've got the lovely leaves there and with this one I'm just gonna pop I won't pop too much glue I'll be, try and be a bit quicker Leona this time I'm literally just gonna do it like this just for speed I've put the glue there like that look at that I adore things like this uh, this will be beautiful on acetate as well so you could actually see through it I think that would look absolutely stunning dies like this just give you so many different options so popping that there like so and that there like so and you can see where I'm going with that can't you shall I finish we are 28 minutes. I am very worried about time. Shall I finish this while our Miss P gives you a little recap? But look, so what I want to do with this, I'll finish it while Miss P does recaps. So you'll have one there, but then the other element. So you're going to have this bit here and then the red, look, the red can go over the top of that. And that, I just think that looks so effective. Whether you have a black background, you might add cream background look beautiful under there, wouldn't it? So you could have that beautiful, look at that, how pretty that would be. So again, for, for one die cut, you can get so many different layers. Right, I'll keep infilling this while our Miss P reminds you some of the goodies. Remember, these deals only available until the end of our second hour later on today. Right, I'll shut up. Because Miss P is ready and waiting. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm not really oh, ready. Yeah. I'm never ready, but I'm here. Anyway, a lovely, lovely bundles in here. The full collection here, we have got the Regal Rose. 56 uh, stamps and four uh, dies in total. I love the fact uh, that the stamps are clear, but they are that, how do you say, plasticized uh, rubber or something like this? Um, and that is incredible. So you can do, of course, different ways of uh, different techniques that you can do with rubber, but of course having it transparent. But of course you have got the ability to build the scenes because of the images. You have got the sentiments, you have got gorgeous, beautiful images from the regal rose in there, including, of course, scenes. You can see it here from the tree that you can turn it into a Christmas sort of wintry element. What about using the rose for a, that kind of not line coloring, sort of elegant and, and really poetic? Then you can go into your pastels with the sentiments that are included in this bundle. You will know, oh well, that, that's the one that, uh, of course, uh, Leona, you read, read it before it. It's just so poetic, isn't it? And of course, something wonderful comes to fill it. Oh, I love it. I just think it's just really, and I think, and look at those dies. You can take them out of the square by doing a little bit of fussy cutting, and then you have got more of the roses rather, oh, apparently it's upside down. I, no, no, it's not. I was right. Everything has its beauty, but not everybody says it. <laughs> oh, our M's. Uh, 542893 is your item number 67 pounds and 85 pence. Remember, it will be dispatched in uh, the 8th of December. Right, moving on to the next bundle. I'm trying. Now, we have got a spring in time. Spring. Thermoplastic rubber. A thermoplastic yeah. rubber, that's it. And then it splinters in time, which is the one, of course, that I showed you of the tree in there before it. All right, that is, of course, the gorgeous uh, stamps that you are getting in this bundle. 33 stamps individually. And the stamps that I showed you were from this bundle. I do kind of probably was a little bit confusing. But the meaning of life is to find you, your... How was this? As you can, I'm trying, trying to read it through. Oh, the, no. <laughs> you find your gift the purpose of life is to give it away it's, uh, it's very easy to read but the problem is I have got cables between me and the screen so that's gonna, <laughs> gonna 
<laughs> and you can see here that brick wall that you can see broken into and then you can see the scenes in here and of course you can build that that reminds me actually of paintings by uh, Sarat or actually uh, Goya, uh, Goya Francisco de Goya de Lucientes uh, and then you can see in there that how gorgeous that sentiment has been seen um, that we have seen before and then we have got that one as well what you see is only half of what there is there I like that. I like that sentiment. Uh, right. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Onto acetate. That is done by Sue. And of course, you can see stamp onto acetate. So you can have a shaker card if you want it. And you celebrate nature. So 116835 is your item number. £36.97 is your price. You're saving five pounds. Very popular, the stencils. I remember when uh, Leone got the big bunch of products from Craft Stocks, he was like, oh, those stencils are really nice. The big bunch. You got a big bunch. Yeah, she, I remember. I mean, it was as small as tall as her. She was like, oh. I mean, definitely taller than me because obviously I'm a shorter than, than Leone. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that sort of subject. Uh, like, you know, I have to show you this one because I adore this the stencil. Why? Because I can see squares, I can see circles, I can see that intertwining, I can see leaves, I can see flowers. It's a mask that you can then color through it and of course there is so many possibilities. The flowers are amazing. You, it is a pick and mix after all. So you choose any four that you prefer, including of course you have got some retro ones or you can have some gentlemen if you wish to do so. And I kind of bring in to the ones that I kind of, for instance, that one, you can see the size of it. It is a proper nice big mask in here. We have got all the edges and you can just pick and choose whichever sizes you want. You have got, I believe you have got Shander, Sander, uh, you have got, uh, what is it? Tra tra Trent, Bailey and, and Brandon, Brandon, which is the one that you can see. It's a little bit shy. It's a little bit coy, mm -hmm. but I do, uh, you know, it's like, oh, or maybe he's just like play, just flirting away mm -hmm. and maybe that's what he does. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. And then. We're going to laugh while us. <laughs> oh, I went to answer what I just had in my in my ear. It's like, I anyway, moving on. <laughs> howdy. Hmm? I howdy. Mean, howdy. <laughs> and then uh, I like this sample as well because you can see it. This one is definitely upside down, right? <laughs> Life is never black and white. Uh, definitely not. <gasps> oh, this is so cool. I need to show you this one. <laughs> oh my, because it's cool. Boom. It's your birthday. Uh -huh. 828069 is your item number. You're saving 998, which makes them half price. So grab them. Why not going for eight? Do your pick and mix one, then the second one, and you're basically paying what you would have been paying for just a set of four. 828069. If you want to add some more texture to your gorgeous creations, well, you can. There is a set textures so one, which you are getting four stamps. Uh, 999 is your price. Already forgotten the first word of what the stamp are made of oh <laughs> thermoplastic thermoplastic uh, uh, thermoplastic rubber that's what it is uh, then the next one is positive journey that's what we all need <laughs> they all have got amazing savings look at that it's almost half price you're saving nine pounds and just paying 9.99 a bargain if you ask me and there is more for you there is retro leaves and of course trees as well in here for 13 pounds and 99 pence again a saving of five pounds makes it bargains grab your goodies right now uh, right, we have got the handy helpers as well here next and of course they are all designed by Nick who I remember starting from Nick from Barnsley wasn't it and then he went Nick from Bulgaria and 11.49 is your price you are saving five pounds and fifty pence 207411. Apparently, the next one is one I need, uh, apart from my uh, 
Oh, <laughs> I need built. <laughs> <laughs> Built a man. I, that's what I need. I mean, my producer is saying, yeah, yeah I can't, you know, I'm hopeless. Uh, so I need to build it myself. Otherwise, <laughs> no. 12 pounds on it. I'm fancy. It's a prize. I'm saving six pounds. I take the hint, Emily. I take the hint. Right. And with that, check out your mask case. And yes, it is a joke. And it is very well funny. All uh, right. Check out your mask case. And if you want to tell your man, you can have it out uh, with the stamps, of course. That Nick has this line. Right, with that, shall we rejoin? Uh, build a man, Paula, build a man. <laughs> it's the only way. <laughs> uh, build them yourself. Um, okay, so, so, I have finished actually in filling that. I mean, it's simple, it's, you know, but it's one of those that I just think never, ever, ever gets dull because they're so effective and so very, very beautiful. Um, so that is that beautiful rose in the first bundle, but of course, um, you can get that on its own oh I've just noticed a bit of that I missed anyway right I thought I'd move on because I want to play with these stencils you've got so many stencils to choose from it is a very very hard choice I'm not gonna lie Um I did start where have I put that oh folks I'm doing my head in today I did say oh folks yeah as in talking to you oh, that could have been bad <laughs> It did sound a bit dodgy, didn't it, then? Sorry. Yeah, it was. Oh, folks, what have I done with that? I was asking people at home what I'd done with... I'll move on. Um, I, I spent ages, right, and I don't know where I've put it. Oh, I, sometimes I do my own head in. I'll stop looking for it. It'll turn up later. So... Um, I spent ages doing a background. I'm not going to bother. I'm not doing the background as I did at home just because it did spend, I did spend a long time doing it. So what I'm going to do instead is just use some of my inks. Um, just use some of my inks. It could be anywhere. I doubt I've put it in there. It's more, but who knows? Who knows, Katie? Who knows? I love it. Katie's like, oh, she's on a mission. Poor Katie, I think you spend half your time looking for things I can't find. I can't find this in this hour. Huh? Me marbles? No. No, marbles have done one. Right, so all I'm doing, let's build up a quick background. Now, well, I love these because they are absolutely perfect for layering. Layer, layers, layers. And that's a beautiful thing. You've got so many to choose from. You'll notice this is one of my favourites, the circles. Absolutely adore this stencil. So just start. I'm not bothering gluing it down because, um, because I'm not. Um, Oh, now we've had some sellouts at Stencil, so hopefully it's not the ones I go and pick up to use. Uh, remember, once they've gone, that's it, they've gone. Those prices are not going to be back. And these are half price deals on these stencils. So please make sure you check your baskets out. Knowing me, Katie, it's on my desk, it's right in front of me. I don't know. I'm, I'll find it. <laughs> this stencil has gone. Of course it has. The one I picked up straight away, this one's gone then. But that's okay. So, we have got another circle, which I'll look at that. If you've got that one, well done. It's a cracker, is that one. Absolute cracker. Let's use this one, because this is the one that our Paula loves. Have we got this one? Yeah! I'm going to change ink and this is lovely there's also a mini one of this one and that one's cracking as well um, yeah I don't know where the mini one but there's a lovely mini one and that one oh, if you use them together and it's like Paula says you can create different shapes because da, 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 where have I put the mini one with the mini one like look 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 see in fact, I might use the mini one. We've got both of these. And like Paula was saying, you can create shapes in shapes with it, which looks really effective. See, I look, yeah, I really like this one. These are brilliant for your gel plate as well because you've got that gorgeous open space. They're absolutely stunning. And I love when you can see underneath. So because I'm layering, you're getting one layer over the other, but obviously you can still see the colour underneath using my Distress Oxides. So they just work together beautifully. I'm literally just um, layering the ink, not overthinking this one because I know I haven't got 
got tons of time left and I would like to squeeze another demonstration if possible. So I'm only being very, very quick with this. So again, just bobbing it there, layer, layer, layer. I, this I get utterly carried away with, I must admit, because I, I love things like this. I love playing with stencils. See, look how good they work together. Isn't that a beautiful stencil? Straight away, I, stenciling is one of my favourite things, because straight away that looks really good. And all we've done is put a bit of colour on it. You know, you don't need to do much at all with it. And then... Let's use, this is a cracker. Have we got this one left? I've used this a lot. Fancy, what's it called? Fantasy Fields. Mm. Um, this is a cracker because, again, it's one of those that you can use in so many different ways. And I did, I, I'm using all the ones, well, nearly all the ones I used when I were playing. So I'm just going to have this, see, coming in. And it almost looks like razor light as well which I adore. So look at that coming in. Isn't that fabulous? I am only working on this part of the cardstock because I've decided that's where um, my, my sort of topper is going to be. So again, just bringing that in from the edges like so. I love that. It just looks like the light shining in. Absolutely stunning. And then we'll bring our fella. So we're building a fella. <laughs> Uh, we've got all the chaps left. Hold on, where is the chap? There we go. See? Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Is this one for you, Miss P? It's this one. It's that guy? Uh, uh, not sure. Mm, not sure. <laughs> Sorry, she has yes, to build her yeah, own. Of course I am. Just go see, go with your yes. Which <laughs> one? I you know, can see Just it, go with yes. Just go with yes. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't know. He's going to be blonde. Well. Are we doing him? Yeah, yeah, they were blonde. blonde. Yeah, as long as it's not that hair, that's fine. Souls, uh, blue eyes. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, reads. Re? Oh yeah. No, it needs to be able. It needs, it needs yeah. to be able to read. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. um, needs to needs to be into his book art. He loves um he loves cats. Hey, the cats is not essential. Not essential, no. but it does help. Yeah, um okay. likes um you know, intellectual conversation. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what else? I mean, if it can cook, that's always a plus. Yeah, that, that, yeah but that's not essential. But it's not that's essential. Definitely not but essential. if he likes, you know, yeah. going out yeah. and... Yeah. Road trips. Road trips. Trips, yeah. So there you go, apply. You can apply to a chander. We'll, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll vet it. <laughs> we'll absolutely vet the application. Look at that. Look, I, love, I that. love that. Isn't that cool? Oh, Nick has emailed in. Hiya, Nick. Um, he says, oh, he says, oh, wow, I didn't know that, Nick. Okay, so if you missed out on that stencil, apparently there's a die on the website so you can make your own. Oh, it's on the later show. Okay, I know the ones you mean. Right, okay, check that out because obviously there's so many other things. Right, I'm just going to pop a little bit of um, brown on the side there. And it's only eleven ninety nine, so please check that out right now. Because I am working with Distress Oxide, when I come to actually colour in, I'll, you'll move the ink. Now, I love this because I'm going to bring in an extra bit of brown and then bring in the ink from the edges. But look, now I'm working on um, watercolour cardstock. <laughs> and because I'm working on uh, watercolour cardstock, it means my ink underneath is moving beautifully. Mm -hmm. Can you see? Yeah. So all that wonderful background starts to blend. Oh, this is me and my little happy zone now, isn't it? Yeah. Colouring in. Uh, please check your baskets out, folks. Do remember after 10 minutes or so we refresh your basket so when you come to check it out it'll be empty and uh, isn't it true that uh once they're gone they're gone oh yes it's not i mean literally it's not having them remade um i mean this price the prices go up at the end of our second hour and of course yeah once they're gone they're gone 
So you do need to um, you do need to be checking out your baskets. It won't be you won't be able to be ringing these back. See, so look at that. How cool. And I like having. I don't want it all smooth. I mean, it's his hair. But I love. You know, you can still see some of the stencil going on underneath there. I absolutely adore this. And this is barely, barely. Then look, I just barely. A little bit. Barely from, from where? From where? From where? Barely. From Asley. All right, I'm barely from Aslinden. <laughs> he wouldn't talk like that if he from Asley. He'd talk like me, essentially. <laughs> I put it on. <laughs> you, you, you actually are from Cheltenham or somewhere <laughs> like the Porsche like that. From, I'm know. from the north, but we don't know him at all, quite like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now I won't do the full thing, but I just want to show you as well. See, I, I love this because now you can blend, and you don't need to blend out the full thing. You know, it is up to you how much you want to blend out. It is up to you how much extra colour you want to bring in. Like, you might want to really emphasise the eyes, and I absolutely would emphasise the eye, because I think that there is where you want to um, to bring the the most, oh look at that, oh. that little circle. And it's so easy as well. So bringing in a little bit of watercolour. I will stop doing this now because, look, look, yeah. look, because otherwise I won't get anything else done. So I will stop, but look, I will stop, she says, just carrying on, carrying <laughs> on. <laughs> it's addictive, it's really addictive. Oh, doesn't he look cool? Well, I think he looks cool. And all I wanted to do then on this one was use one of the lovely stamps. So I'm using the quick, 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 um, that one. The the beautiful profile. I just don't know what I'm going to go for, but you need to be quick, Leona, because you're. Come on, kid. Come on. So, oh, I didn't dig out my stamp, uh, stamping platform. So you have got, with that one, you've got tons and tons of stamps. Uh, what I love about this whole collection is how everything works together. And obviously, with these stamps, um, they will work with our stencils. I really like those stencils. I just think they're so different. They're very unique. They're very striking as well. So then, if I bring this one, I want it there. Just like that. So that is allow your soul to shine. I've just re inked this ink pad so it should be proper juicy and lovely. Lovely. There. Allow your soul to shine. And how cool does that look with it? That I mean, it's cool. just such a good sentiment and such a strong image as well. Uh, really like that. Right, I'll stop and then I can just do a final uh, demo. But I'll let Miss P do a little bit of a, yeah. a refresh. Uh, please check your baskets out with these ones. Right, Miss P. Oh, thank you, wifey. Uh, right here we have got, of course, the stencils from Craftscope. Uh, they are phenomenal. I love the variety. And because it's a big and mix, for instance, uh, you can say, well, I'm not usually one for faces, but I'm going to try one. You can do that. Or you can say, well, I like all four guys, so I'm going to take them all four. So you can take them all for home if you wanted to. There is no judgment made here. Absolutely not. Uh, because they are different. They are gorgeous. I, you know, I using the same one that, of course, Leone has been using, Natalie. Natalie Ellis, hello if you're watching, has created that one, which is absolutely stunning. Nat, we lo love you. We miss you. I hope you are all right. Uh, and of course, I think this is absolutely striking. Yeah, that is amazing. That's an art, a piece of art. I isn't think it? so. That absolutely. is stunning. Yeah. And of course, this stencil gives you because a lot of us, mm, you know, enjoy painting, but not so much drawing, not so much drawing the lines. The stencil gives you the lines, and then you can bring in and you can bring all your mixed media techniques, add in a different colors as well, and be creating creations that are completely different one from another another and this is just uh, you well, you are head and shoulders above the, the rest they are incredible right check out your basket 828069 is your item number 998 is the price half price basically you are getting four why not go for eight paying basically what would be the price but you are getting twice as many that's how I like to think about it now of course you can shop uh, by brand on the website uh, craft craft scope <laughs> uh, that, that, that didn't sound right did it uh, I'm not gonna attempt to uh, Again, lots of dice, lots of stamps, and you have got them all there for you to choose. Remember, once they are going, 
they are gone. Yeah, Samsung and that is not Samsung guys. <laughs> don't know what's happening this hour. Anyway, you started, Leon, I don't start it again, but there is a lot of noise in here and a lot of options for you to go for individuals or bundles, inclu including the Trista Kaidion. Trista Trista I don't know what, what they said. That. Uh, Trista yeah, de Cagón. I'm, I'm so pleased you were doing that before. Uh, I just wouldn't have even... I don't know. I just, uh, you know, when you what see something it? really difficult and yeah. you try to do it. I think it has got 13 sides. Oh, really? Um, Trista, uh, 12, 12. Oh. I don't know. We will see it. Uh, well, anyway, you have a look at the website. And with that, enough of me. Let's be, have a head back to uh, Leone Pujol. Merci beaucoup. Oh, uh, What's it in Spanish? I forgot. Oh, I'm so rubbish. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. I can remember. Um, no, I can't even remember. Physica. <laughs> Fizzy water. Gas. I cook on gas. 13. <sighs> yes, I got it right. It was 13. I mean, hey, yes. well done. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so what I'm doing very, very quickly here. In fact, I'm going to stamp it in black. I wanted to stamp it in brown, but I know you won't see it enough, so I'm going to stamp it in black. I wanted to use one of those beautiful scene stamps. I'm doing it upside down because my card is bigger than my stamping platform, so it's that side of my card that I want to um, come out. Oh, see how pretty is that? That's gorgeous. Isn't that a beautiful oh, image? Yeah. Such a beautiful image. So you've got that fantastic image first of all you've then got on the other stamp set so on um, this stamp set you have got these beautiful and I must admit for this one I would use ah, I found it now Katie um, I would use my stamping platform I've got a minute and a half <laughs> right where I'm going with this you've got that okay look that is, you know, that frame. So what I've done, where I'm going with this again, oh, you've got like that, that stamped out. So cut the inside of that. So when you open that up, you've got that beautiful scene inside. Um, I really like that. And I love the fact that I was going to extend it, but I'm not even going to bother extending it. But with something like this, to watercolour is so simple. So if I just take like a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown, like this. I know I've only got a little bit. I, these stamps are beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful. Because look, you just start filling in with your watercolour. And literally, you can create the most beautiful water scene there. And then obviously, I have that fantastic background that is actually becomes your foreground. Nice. Isn't that pretty? And then it's going to have that over the top of it all coloured in. Adore that. Absolutely adore it. So sorry, I've um, rushed that one. Uh, but I will be back at 7 o'clock with more deals. It's a different counter. So please, please uh, check us out at 7 o'clock. Because at 8 o'clock, all the prices will go up. Thank you, Miss P. Thank you, Leona, for your amazing demos. Uh, do check out your baskets. Amazing savings to be had. And check out your website as well. Well, after the break, another look. Well, the final look at the one day special, beautiful fabric. Then we have got yeah, a black tack event with a Roman glow at five and at six, pink frog crafts one day special. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche.
Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using our app on Roku? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Roku streaming player or Roku TV accesses the Roku channel store to add new channels. By downloading the Hochanda channel, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Turn on your TV and connect your Roku device. Next, turn the power on and press the home button on your Roku remote. Scroll up or down to select settings. Select your network and select setup connection. Roku uses a wireless connection, so select your router name and add your password. This should be on the side or the bottom of your router. If this is the first time using Roku, then you'll need to set up an account on the device or by going to the Roku website. That's it, now it's time to add the Hochanda app. Simply press the home button on the Roku remote. Scroll up or down using the arrows on your remote to select streaming channels. Then open the channel store. At the top of the channel store, you'll find a list of featured, new and popular categories to explore. Enter Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. Now simply select Add Channel. When you see the Added Channel screen, press OK and return to the home page. Now scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the star button on your remote. You can then use the arrow buttons to move Hochanda to the top of the screen for quick and easy access. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, design of papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Yours shows on Hope Chanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandra is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please, don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandra. Afternoon all, uh, four o'clock, final call, how are you doing? Has it been a good day? Has it been a good day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of ten? Ten, hopefully. Five, I'm hearing. How's your day been? It's been fine, Five. thank you. We've Not, had good fun. Good fun. That's not a number. Give me a, give me a number. Oh, a number. See, I told you I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. A number, I would say ten. A ten? Yeah. That's a good day. Yeah. We like good that. Sunday. We like that. Hope you've had a good day. If you're only at an eight or a nine, well, hopefully by the end of this hour, well, with the deals we've got for you, you'll be up to ten. Maybe you're all the way up to eleven. Who knows? If you know that one. Uh, for those that know... They know. Anyway, it's final call, of course, and we have got a huge array of wonderful colour for you on our mega collection. Reverb, reverb, reverb. Yes, we've got loads of brilliant deals for you. Basically, 50% saving for you here, which is phenomenal, uh, which is incredible. And we have seven options for you to go for all of them. Now, in each one of these, you've got the options, of course, you'll be getting 20 half metres. So, basically, you'll get 
gets in 10 metres worth of fabric. That works out 6 99 per metre. Good, isn't it? That's good, isn't it? Um, You've loved working with these fabrics, haven't you? Because you I said have. earlier on, we were on the show this morning, you were saying the lovely thing has been about all these fabrics is that you've made so many projects for it because yeah. actually all these wonderful colours, oh, I can do that with that, I can do that with that. They're, yeah. they're gorgeous, whichever collection anyone goes for. These are lovely collections, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they're great and the quality is so good that it makes it enjoyable to work with. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And w one thing where we notice when you go through, that if you haven't seen uh, these fabrics yet, is whatever collection you go for, you've got some really bold colours. Some of them, you've got some of those metallics that are going through them as well. You can talk about, we've got the patterns that are in here, which is lovely. Um, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I'm going to go through uh, the options when we we'll start off with. I do my weatherman kind of look about this as well, starting up here in the northwest. Um, we're going to do the 20 shades of fire. So you can expect some some really lovely bright oranges, reds that are going to come through, gorge and, uh, gorgeous golds and yellows uh, that are going to be in here with your reds. We've got some really striking patterns and uh, with the fabrics that come through. Uh, gorgeous ones like your love hearts in here. We've got some of them with text, uh, which is incredible, really, really beautiful. I like it with the chili peppers. I don't think I spotted that one this morning. They are red hot. They are <laughs> they good. They are so good. They are smart. I, mean, I, didn't, I hadn't seen those ones this morning. It was hiding from me. Um, You've got this lovely sort of like uh, tequila sunrise mixes of uh, your brickwork with your yellows and your golds and your pinks. And here's some of those again with that sort of metallic feel um, that are going through. And again, you were saying earlier on this morning as well, Jen, that, that some of these regarding those metallics, you pay a lot more for them normally as well yeah, when they've got those do. extra details. Yeah, if there's metallic running through any prints, those prints are always more expensive. Yeah, so I mean you've really got some great, great quality here throughout. Uh, and I know this morning one of the projects that was being worked with was putting these two together. So the lovely thing is you've got some really great ways of matching your fabrics that will work as well as if you're going to go with lining with the patterns or whatever you're going to go with really. But these are lovely. So these are your 20 uh, that you're going to find of fire. Working away across, we've got 20 shades of sky. Again, there are so many, but just to give you sort of a sample, you know, some of them you've got these really pretty patterns, again, that are going through. Um, if I remember correctly, one of Jen's favourites were the hair clip uh, and the hair bands uh, ones yes. working together with the clips and the band. That's a great, that's a great I one. Them. I've got those right way around. I know that's definitely a That's grip. a hair grip, yeah. That's a band. Again. That's a clip. It's a hair product. <laughs> Grip and clip. That's what I know. That's what I know. Um, but the, the, so you've got some real sort of novelty ideas as well yeah. that work through in here, don't they? Yeah, they're so, some of the prints are just so much fun. Here's a little bit more. Again, we've got that with the cork again. With you've got those sort of golden flecks that, that are coming through. Oh, look, another hair clip. Uh, I tell you what, I'm on it now. I recognise them from all <laughs> over the place. That's a grip, a grip. Definitely a grip. Uh, so these are your uh, 20 that you've got uh, 20 shades of your um, your sky. Uh, this is your uh, 20 shades of forest. You've got all your beautiful greens that are working through again. I'm loving it. You've got sort of like um, uh, salad leaves working through in here. You've got your vegetables working. It's really, really random, but really fantastic quality, as you heard again. But you've also got butterflies and florals that work really lovely. Uh, let's just uh, over here, we've got your 20 shades of your sunset. Set. So you can find in those, those beautiful pinks uh, and oranges uh, that will work together, but some really lovely, lovely, lovely colours in here. Um, liking that with mixers again, we've got your pencils in there, almost like a sort of, uh, sort of a zebra kind of uh, sort of pattern going through there, but really very vivid colours that are working through. Soft of your pinks, of course, and your polka dots and your kingfisher design. So there are your sunsets, working your way down. We've got all those fabulous mutuals, again, being very, very popular. Really lovely, actually, uh, from all of these. You're hard pushed because there's so many wonderful ones. You've got sort of the tartan feels going through here, more floral, um, sort of nice bold shapes again. But these are going to be really beautiful, beautiful fabrics. Again, you're getting so much uh, in each one of these, whichever you go for. You're a bit spoiled for choice, really. If I just step to one side again on here, uh, we've then also got for your 20 shades, uh, this is your rainbow. So all your wonderful 
beautiful colours in here. Greens, yellows, you've got reds, you've got blues, you've got florals and butterflies. Uh, you've got so many different ways of working with them. Uh, again, you've got lovely pears in here. It's stunning. Some really fabulous, fabulous images. And then, finally, we've got your 20 shades of black and white. And for the whole one-day special, your black and white variety has been the most popular throughout, actually, since it launched yesterday, but really, really popular. But they've all got something to offer for you, whichever one you want to go for. So these are available, by the way, on your Flexi. If you would like to go for your Flexi, you can. That's, of course, just you know, two payments because you're looking from £69, so that's just 34 95 on your Flexi. 720470. The website, of course, is the place to go to uh, where you can look at all of these details where you'll find them, but please get them. It is your final call, so this is your chance to get them. It's a 50% saving on that, which is a Phenomenal, phenomenal discount for a one-day special, as you would expect. Only the very, very best of all of that. Now, we've also got for you a fan fantastic pick and mix, actually, on some of the bowls that will go with these, actually. Now, it's a pick and mix you can go for here for any three. Now, we have had some sellouts on these, OK? Uh, so, uh, which, which one's gone? Artisan Cotton has sold. Garden Party Tango has also... Another version of the cotton has gone also. Or, and we've got a few in there that are actually getting very close to limited. So the best place, of course, is to go to is visit on the website for them themselves. You'll see all the ones that we do have left in stock. You can pick any three of your half metres for those ones. Again, good reduction now, down to only £13 or so. So really fantastic opportunity for you to take advantage of those deals while you can. They've been very, very popular. And as you hear now, they are selling out. So if you've got your eye on one of those, grab it right now, uh, which is lovely. So, uh, no offence taken. They, I will tell you, they've just, <laughs> they've just put the next product right in front of us, everybody, and they said, get off. Uh, so, um, I know, I know, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, I've not felt all oh, walking out through a little, little stage curtain there for the first time this year. Um, if you would like to go for these on your pick and mix, now here you can actually go for all your designer fabrics, and these are five, any five you want to go for here. Again, half metres on those, £12 saving. Really, again, this whole show is full of offers for you, and this one, that now takes it down to £22.95. Uh, now, these are on extended, by the way, for these particular fabrics. We're looking at the 12th of December for you if you'd like to take advantage of them but it is a saving of over 30 percent on your pick and mix of any five which is phenomenal of course um We've actually got a few more that you can see some close-up on uh, and take advantage of. They are really beautiful fabrics. 141974 is your um, item code for those, of course. But really good deals, again, and a great offer, 30% savings. A brilliant opportunity. Like I say, been very, very, very popular indeed. Tell you what, it's bought for choice, really. And good job, there's actually five you can pick from on that one. Um, you will be find that very difficult otherwise on all those. So get, get them quick whilst you can. Now, we've also got our fabulous designs. Now, of course, the designs, these aren't on extended delivery, uh, so we can get for these ones out as quickly as we possibly can for you, of course. And we're going to be starting off with the laptop, the handy laptop case uh, pattern. Uh, if you'd like to go for this one, 766 Five eight zero. Have we got this one? Um, we've got a couple on the back of the shelf there, haven't we? What uh, what hour did you make those ones up in? Twelve hour. Twelve o'clock. Was that twelve o'clock show? Yes. Twelve o'clock show um, with Paula. Yeah. Paula, must be the Paula. Yeah. How's Paula? Is she all right? She was all right. She yeah, seems, she was she fine. She seems to have We yeah. were chatting in the office earlier on. She's very happy. Yeah, very happy she's always happy. She's always happy. Yeah. She's happy. Very happy. Um, we just point out to the director. There we go. He found it. Here he comes, everybody. I was just filling in. I was just filling in. There we go. Uh, so these are, they were made at the 12 o'clock hour. Really lovely projects. Only 9 99 if you'd like to go for the pattern. 766580. 
Now, actually, another, and I think this is fantastic, this is the big one, storage bucket. Now, these are great for all sorts of projects you might want to put in here. So it might be cuddly toys, it might be want to put your laundry in, it might be putting your certain plastic bricks in there for the kids' room, it could be for balls of wool, I think you got yes, in yours, haven't you? Yeah, that's what we put in there. That's what we like, Jenny. Uh, or just a really good shop, you know what I mean? It could yeah. be one of them. Yeah. You always have to have a big shop, don't you? Always. Always a big shop as well. Big shop, normal stuff, but loads of treats, I find. Uh, that one, again, if you're looking for the pattern, nine ninety nine uh, for the big one storage bucket. Uh, we've got then the abstract crown cushion. Now, this is it for the pattern itself without the paper pieces on the side of your screen. That's 644969. That's only 999. If you would like to go for it with the actual paper pieces included, details for that are at the bottom of your screen, 979206, to have all of those, of course. And last but not least, and what we're working on, I hope, in this hour, is your fantastic honeycomb sewing machine cover. So again, pattern only, 453971, that's 999. Now if you want to get that with the 70 paper pieces included, that's 1899, that's 852. Five three zero, uh, and that's what we're going to be looking at in this hour, isn't it? Yes, it is indeed. I'm liking that. See why we left that to last? Exactly. I told you I would. Yeah, yeah. You did. Wait yeah. We waited for that. That's so good. Don't worry. We'll save it. Now, I've never done paper piecing, for example, and I'm just starting out. But I have got a sewing machine now. Let's say that I'm, I'm all prepped and ready to go. I want to cover it over with one of these. How easy is this? Easy. Oh, but yeah, perfect. so if you haven't done much English paper piecing before, you can do this. Right. In fact, if you haven't done any, you can do it. It's just using elongated hex uh, hexagons or honeycomb shapes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Right. So we've got a picture of it here. It's tied up. It's got ties at the side. Oh, yes. So you can oh, see. sorry. I, got, I walked right. So <laughs> unprofessional. And we've got one covering so the machine. So unprofessional. And that, that one's covering, um, I think it's uh, the Juki, the same as mine. So I just wanted to show you there's an option to make it smaller. If you've got a little machine, okay, okay. it's just a simple case of leaving the outside um, honeycombs off. Oh, right, okay. So you can see here, these ones, you would just leave these ones off, the ones that you can see at the bottom here. Oh, and right. And you would just do it to, like, there. Okay, Yeah, so you right. can always measure it, measure your machine, and as you're adding them measure them make it perfect see how fit. far it's got yeah right but it's always good to have it big anyway because then yeah. it really will cover it well nice yeah lovely 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 okay so where do we start then so i'll show you the one that i've been working on for the demonstration that's using the black and white bundle oh, oh that's nice that yeah very nice that. so i've actually made this smaller this is only this is missing one outer oh outer okay layer. okay dokie but i just thought i'd show you first the first steps to the English paper piecing. So you need to make sure around your shape, I did this yesterday, but people might not have watched it. Um, I showed how to do the EPP. Uh, you need a quarter of an inch seam all the way around your shape. So I usually draw it, or you can just eye it, because it doesn't have to be exact. Better be to, Better to be more than less. I'm just going to cut round there. There we go. So the card that I provide, my shapes, that card will last. You can do, you can use it at least six, seven, eight times oh, really? more oh, than okay. that. Yeah, yeah, so long as you're careful with them. Yes, They right. last. So just going to show you how to base the shape, and then we're going to do some hand sewing, sewing so the, first, the middle bit together. So you're just going to use your glue pen. You can um, thread base these. We've got those as part of that bundle, faster. isn't it? That pen, is that right? On the edge, that pen? We've got that's part of the bundle, isn't it? That's on there yeah, as well. Yeah, I think it yes. might be, yeah. Just to let people yeah. know about that Oh, one. no, that's a pencil. I think that's a pencil. Yeah, that's a pencil. Oh, is that not the right, is that the right one? That's glue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going to well, go... Well, spotty, though, you did, you did that one. <laughs> just checking you're still there, end of the day. <laughs> Only just. So you're just going to go around lightly. You don't need to add much glue at all, and it's not going to leave a residue or rip the card as you take it off, so long as you don't put too much on. And I put it on my fabric, because I've realised that if I put it on the fabric, my card lasts longer. And like I said, it doesn't affect the fabric, so it's all good. There you go. Nice. So that's the shape done. The beauty of using 
glue pen is you get a nice crisp edge around it. Oh, okay. Sometimes when you thread baste, you've got to hold it, you've got to make sure it's all in the right position and it can become a bit loose or right. you can distort the card slightly as well. Oh, right, Whereas right. if you're doing it on a flat surface, then it's Got less you. lightly. More precise. And never use really thin paper because that will just distort the shape completely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like it's an obvious thing, but I bet there's people that will just think, oh, I can do that. Yeah, that. like printer paper. Yeah. No, it works great for foundation paper piecing, which is machine sewing on paper. Okay. But uh, for um, English paper piecing, it's too thin. Right. And you, it will distort. Okay. Don't, and so then save you'll your wonder time, why your it. shapes aren't going together. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I have got the templates in the back of the patterns if you okay. don't get the shapes. Right. But then you have to do the whole printing, photocopying them and yeah, cutting them all yourself. Let's go for the whole bundle, yeah. yeah. Get it in there, get it in there. So this, um, this pattern is really, really relaxing to do because it is so easy. The first part will be those four shapes sewn together. So to English paper piece, I feel like I'm giving you a masterclass no, on this, English it's paper true. piecing. No, that's not good, done it it's before. good. Please, feel free. So, so, the first step is these two shapes we will put right side together along this line here. Just use a little clip to hold them in place, less strain on your wrists. And you're going to knot your cotton and just go through the very few bits of like, there you go, you can see, you do not go through the card. It's a small whip stitch oh, and I you see. just pick up a few strands of the fabric right so it is it is really close then isn't it if you're not going through yeah so you you don't pick up much at all and i do my on my website i've got pictures of what my stitches look like because i tend to do them a lot smaller in real life when i'm on tv i tend to do larger whip stitch to get across the shape quicker right i see so that we can show more and great stuff. But in my pattern, it's got complete step-by-step -step instructions and there's a colouring page as well. So if you're not sure where you want to place your colours, yeah. you can choose those. So it's made up as like fabric one to eight, I think it is. Okay. Start. And then you can photocopy the colouring page or colour in the booklet and just ah. choose where you want to put your fabrics, which fabrics you want to use. Oh, so I you'll see. be happy at the end of it. So this is so this is what we'd work with. This is the actual colouring page itself. Yeah, so oh, you can nice just idea. colour it in using your fat, like your choices of fabrics to make sure you're happy with the position before you cut into them and you know how many of each uh, fabric okay. you need to get. Oh, uh, got you. Because I say like fabric one, you need this many, this many rectangles. Right. Before it's obviously to use for the EPP. Yes. Yeah. So you know that that would be the inside one so then you can just you can just work, work it out once you've colored it all in that's good or you could go wild if you're using scraps of fabric or you get one of these bundles and you want to use all of them then every layer round can be completely different you yeah can just yeah. go wild yeah with it. Right. it doesn't have to be in a order you right know? yeah i've just got a thing that i always do things in like <laughs> i don't know it's in uh, a pattern yeah. almost <laughs> Right, so when you get to the inside there, the inside point, don't knot your cotton off because you can just add the next one. Oh, straight on. Straight on okay. here. So you're just going to put that right sides together. There we go. It's going to take the cotton round again. Just get the edge of that fabric. And we're going to go all the way across. Here. Right, I see. Yeah, nice and neat. Definitely doing them much bigger than I would usually do. <laughs> no, that, no, that's fine. It's great for us to uh, to move through. I'm going to show the uh, black and white option again. There's a lot of people coming. See, now you're working with the uh, with the one day special option as well, which is uh, very very popular indeed. In a second, are you okay if I just pop and show yeah, people yeah, I'll again? Yeah, just get to the end of this line. You got you go ahead. Is that all right? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay, we'll come straight back to you then uh, for that one, Jenny. Just a lot of people are asking about what uh, some of the patterns I didn't really show too many of them of. So let's just go through them very, very quickly again. And I know that the honeybee, for example, you know, we talked at the very beginning of the show, we talked about those metallic elements and normally you pay a lot more again if you've got those strands in your fabric. Well, here's one of them in here. You can see, hopefully you can see how it catches the light. 
with that beautiful, with the honeybee uh, and that whole style. But I think that is absolutely gorgeous. That's just one of those. They have got some of the colour in there as well that you can see with that, which I think is really bright, really funky uh, that's working through. Then we've got the sort of um, honeycomb shaping that would work even possibly even with the actual honeybees itself. And uh, we've got uh, some of the, the beautiful different shapes and sizes. I'm loving the scripting work as well, which is really, really nice again. So again, you're getting plenty of materials in here. Don't forget with that 50% uh, saving, we've got our fabulous brickwork uh, and our brickwork style in here. Uh, and again, that zebra, we had that in also, I think that was in the rainbow one, but that's, uh, here we got it actually in the sort of the silvers and the black. Um, again, that's really, really tasteful. Some really beautiful lot, I mean, there's some real luxury pieces in here, but again, whether we're working for lining, um, um, again, all the different styles, silvers and greys are coming through um, again even all the sort of a floral kind of feel but polka dots in here we've got checkered uh, we've got some really 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 lovely elements you can see why again possibly this has been proven to be one of the most popular so if you're thinking of those all those kind of projects you are getting 20 half meter lengths working here with that 50 percent saving which is phenomenal you've got all the different options to go for you've got fire you've got sky you've got forest and all there but uh, all of those 720470 on your one day special now we have got the trace and erase uh, bundle that is here for you we've shown them only one four five one double nine zero so this we're going to give you a so line pencil in here the refill itself you are going to also get the lead case also the marker eraser and the triangle there the 60 degree triangle all that as part of that kit uh, so that's down to 24.99 uh, great ones uh, pop into your basket for you now, also, if you are getting into your cutting right now and you want to go for this set, it's the fantastic cutting set that's going to give you the mats, the rotary cutter, plus a spare blade uh, that you're going to see. Um, so uh, we're going to give you the, the yellow option. You're going to go for those ones. 116840. Uh, we're like that. And we've got another bundle for you as well. Uh, this is 060065. Uh, this is your, basically, you're getting the batting bundle of your Odif uh, 505 basting spray and the Lunar Crib uh, batting 45 inch by 60 inch on those. 20 pounds and 40 nine pence and if you are into your threads again we've got everything all fabric for you how about this one smooth this is your metallic smooth you go to eight uh, spools each one 200 uh, meters uh, you're looking at basically across those ones and that's down to 1379 that's for your metallic uh, for the smooth also got the classic that's also available if you want to go for those ones again same deal 1379 uh, for the eight of those nine double one three seven two and we've also got the Spectra. Last ones to show to you here, 196. 768. These ones are the 100 uh, meters uh, spools that you're looking at, uh, down to 1379 with that saving of six pounds 20. 196768. Right, I think that's everyone up to date with all of those we go through. Uh, how do we leave you getting on yes. there, General? Right. So I finished off that line and then I just uh, did a small knot and fastened the cotton off. So the next stage should be to add the fourth shape. So it's the right sides together, just like before. I'm going to clip here. And then the exact same method. Start on the outside corner. You can start on either corner. OK. It's just I like to work out the easiest way to do it where I can get away with not cutting off my thread. So if I go this way, I can go along the next line. But if I started the other way, I would have to knot it off and start again. Oh, uh, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. I got you. See, this this seems like it's something nice you can sort of just do, sit down with a brew. Oh, yeah. And relax. And... Yeah, I call it sofa sewing. Yeah, all right. All the time. Right. Because I personally can't just sit and watch TV without doing something. I get annoyed. <laughs> we don't want yeah. that. I don't get annoyed. Yeah, I do. Oh. I just feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm like, even if I'm enjoying whatever something. I'm watching, I've got to do something. So, EPP is the perfect thing to do in the evenings. Right. Just chill out, because it's really, really relaxing. Sit, relax. Watch. Have a gin. Box set galore. Binge. Yes. But being practical at the same time, exactly, I'm liking it. Exactly, exactly. Getting something made.
be lovely to make this for someone if you've got a group of sewing friends on yeah. their birthday or Christmas. It would be lovely to make it for them. Or just make it for yourself. Yeah, just, just well, how much love does your sewing machine need at the moment? If you're looking at your sewing machine in your in your crafting room, possibly your sewing room, sitting there thinking, that's what I need, that project. But like you say, great idea if you do know someone that does do a lot of the sewing. Yeah. And actually, just what a lovely idea to make for them. Yeah, So it's yeah. done and ready. So once you get to the end there, I've just sewn that bit on, you're just going to fold it all over and you are just going to sew along to the outer edge. So again, it's just the exact same thing. Do you think you could do this? Do I think I could do that? I think anyone I think I, I think I could. Uh, I think I yeah. I think uh, I've surprised myself on a chandra a few times where, you know, thought yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised with uh, some of the results. Yeah, a bit of a Matthew Palmer. We've had some of those. I did my first watercolor painting with Matthew Palmer as well. Took did me through you? it, and I was. I wasn't too embarrassed with the results. Well, you know, I don't what? think it's going to rock any boats. I'm not going to start a gallery. <laughs> But when, uh, when COVID is a distant memory and we're allowed to stand next to each other, yes, I'll get you EP Ping at the okay. same time uh, that's, as me. It would be fun. I'm definitely, you know, I'm there not to be laughed at, oh. you know, just to laugh with. That's what we'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> just, and it'll be to show everyone that anyone anyone can do it. All I need is a big light and goggles off. It'll be one of them, you know. Oh, bit, really? I think oh, okay. so. A bit close, isn't it? But I might need... Could be glasses on and off. Oh, see, I need mine all the time. It doesn't matter well, what I'm, I'm with doing. That, I'll just be nice if I'm long sighted. I'm, I'm at that age where I don't know what sight it is. It's on well, or that's, off. Well, that's the thing. Big light on. My, my, my opticians are like, you need them for driving, you need them for reading, but you don't need them for walking around. Mm. I'm like, but if I need them for reading and I need them for driving, surely <laughs> I need them yes, all the time. Because that's, <laughs> that's both things. Yeah, that's everything. I wear I need. them all the time now. You, unless you hold your book like really, really far away. Oh, I couldn't see anything if I held no. my book really far away. No. Or close. <laughs> oh, I'm doing everything, all those things. Get the book, going up to the light, going up to the window. What's that? Getting the kids to read it for me. What does that? What does that say? <laughs> you know what? And they are my kids, are they? That's the only blessing. So make them useful. Exactly. Read exactly. to me. Exactly. So there you go. You've got, this would be the, in the middle of the sewing machine cover here. Okay, right, first piece, yeah. So yep. that bit's actually going to end up being on top of the sewing machine here. I was just looking at the one you've done, making sure that you weren't selling any fibs, and you're right. I am right. <laughs> I've got this. It's one of my patterns, you yes. see, so <laughs> I'm all right. You're all over it. <laughs> all over it. So I'm just going to show you how to add one extra, like one of the next shades. Yeah. Again, it's exactly the same method. I've knotted my cotton, and here you would... So they would all go, I, what I like to do is, I think I do, that, do it in this pattern. Let me just check. Let's stab myself in the process. Yes, so I usually tend to lay them out for you to see how they're going to be. Oh, oh before yeah. Before I tell you how to sew them together. Right. Because oh, nice I just clear. think, especially at the start, you can see there as well, there's a, ha, lay them out like that. Then in the next picture, they're sewn together with the next layer. Ah. I would love to do it so there would be shown and then sewn, shown and then sewn. But there's yeah. not enough for your pattern would be about yeah. 50 pages of your book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bit of Victor Hugo. Yeah. Uh, but along the, but so, uh, the, the details for that, if you want to go for the pattern, by the way, 9 99 If you want to go just for the pattern on its own, uh, you can do. Now, if you want to go for it actually with the EPP pieces on this one, of course, you can do uh, 852530 uh, if you want to go for those. That's 18 99 But really lovely project to do if you are yeah. sitting there twiddling your thumbs while you're getting through your box sets or... Um, whatever you're watching at the moment and just yeah. thinking, right, you know what? So the, um, the kit with the, the, the ones that you get, the paper pieces, is enough paper pieces to make the front. Oh, and right. the reason why they'll last so long as well is because once every side of a shape has been sewn around, yeah. we remove the paper. Okay, oh right, okay. And then, because it makes one it easier to handle and two, you don't end up bending your card as much. Oh, I get so a as more so long as the shape has every single side sewn around, so this one for example, this one here, once I've sewn this, 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 and this, that shape I would take out. Right, uh, okay. Yeah, it's done its job, then, yeah. yeah it, you yeah. don't need it anymore. Then I just usually leave the outer ones in and give it a press before I move, remove the uh, outer 
Got you. Down to pieces. Got you. And if you are liking this, by the way, don't forget we are using the black and white option uh, from the one day special in there, which is proving very, 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 um, very popular indeed, actually. And don't forget these prices are there right the way through until six o'clock. But then those prices change. That's a 50% increase you'll be looking at from six o'clock. So if you want to get those savings, get those into your basket whilst we can. Still guarantee because if you're liking the black and white option, can't guarantee that we've got loads and loads of stock for the whole lot. So do grab it or what you can. Don't forget, or just while that little bit is being sewn uh, by Jenny as well, just to let you know, you've got all of the different options. The black and white uh, that you can see here, again, is the most popular. So if you do want to go for it, we looked through it a second ago, some really lovely images in there. Uh, now, the second most popular, if we just go up, is all the wonderful shades of sky. So beautiful blues that you see. But again, just like the black and white, we've got some lovely big bold prints in here. We've got some florals in there. We've got some stripes. We've got some gorgeous materials that will work beautifully for any of those projects you want to bring. And they complement each other. You've got some really deep dark blues. You've got the lighter pastel blues. Again, a lovely, lovely, lovely combination. Don't forget, you're going to be getting 10 half metres uh, of each, or 20 half metres actually, sorry. So it's 10 in total uh, that we're looking at across the board. So, with a second there, we've got uh, next to it, actually, we've got the Shades of Fire. So this is really, really popular also, again, there, uh, coming in with your yellows, your golds, your oranges, you've got the deep reds, you've got your beautiful red and black that you're going to find with the gingham in there. Some really lovely mixes of all of those, actually, for the absolutely gorgeous mixtures of all of your colours of the fire. That's most of them at this end of the collection. Uh, working well now, another one, one of my favourite, is actually going to be rainbows. I think rainbows are lovely. You've got a bit of everything in rainbow, haven't you, expect? You've got your greens, yellows, oranges, blues, reds. Uh, one of some of my favourite. I don't think I showed it in this show yet, but I'm really loved the sort of the art ink sort of splats that you find there. Again, again, really lovely and funky, and again, equally beautiful. Was all of those lovely colours, but in different plumages of lovely feathers that you can see. I think plumages is a word. I'm sure. Is it, is, it, is it quite posh, that? For, well, I use my best words on a Sunday. A plumage, a plumage. Uh, but again, re oh, I'm liking that one as well, actually. Uh, we'll have our lovely stripes going through. But all your rainbow colours in here, like you say, reds, blues, yellows, greens, um, all those perfect colours to work for all of your rainbow uh, options, which is really, really nice indeed. Uh, We've also got our wonderful neutrals, actually, here. So, again, you've got golds, yellows, you've got creams, lots of lovely creams uh, working in here. But, again, a real mixture uh, of all different varieties. And if I just open this out here, uh, we've got some garlic bulbs in here. Look at that. That's fabulous, isn't it? I mean, there are some lots and lots. I mean, you know, you get the fabric, actually. It's really, really nice. Does Kim, our producer, have this fabric? Does she...? Oh, I like that. She like that. She's got that in the kitchen. They're very nice. Um, but we've got all sorts in here. The more, again, those brick textures that are coming through, little florals, smaller prints. Uh, and, again, some really pretty, even though I don't want the one to be missed out at the very back there, some gorgeous collections that you can see here, which is really, really nice. Don't forget all of these, 720-470, if you would like to take advantage of these ones. It's a 50% saving. I want to stress that again, half price. Now, you've only got one hour and 30 minutes left at that price. And that's a huge amount of money that you're looking at saving here that I don't want you to miss out on on that offer. Only one and a half hours left to get it on this one. It is your final live show for those. So make sure if you like those, pop them into your basket and take advantage of those. Was 20 half meters that we're looking at for those offers, which is great. Now, we've also got your fabulous pick and mix available for you. If you want to go for any three on these that you can, again, all the quality you'd expect to find for your Wyndham fabrics, but some really lovely complementary colours, proving really popular these, actually, to go with any of the colours that you're looking at going from the one-day special. Now, this has also got a £7 saving on there for your Black Tag uh, events on this one, 30% saving that we're looking at. In fact, over 30%. Now, we have had some sellouts on some of those colours that are available on the Pick and Mix. Best place, of course, is to check out hachanda.com to see which ones we still got available for you, but that's a lovely saving uh, down from over 20 to now under 14 pounds, which is phenomenal for you. Some really, really, really good offer uh, that you're looking at. All those colours are perfect, absolutely brilliant, brilliant deals. 
Right, we've also got some of the other um, uh, patterns that are available for you that you can look at, and these are... We've actually got lots of options here to go with these ones. These are the fusible. Now, actually, this one uh, we looked at earlier on. This was this morning we looked at these, actually. And this gives you the details for two that you can go for this one. This is your smart bag option. Uh, so you're going to get two out of that particular one, which is absolutely fantastic. Then, let's just show you some of the other options we've got in here. We have got the um, Kappa Hawaii... Uh, uh, sampler option that you can go for which is fabulous we've also got the uh, the lone star now don't forget these are already um, worked out so that all you got to do is literally um, iron on with your fabric that you're working with all of the details uh, your your score lines your cut lines everything you're working on is all mapped out for you on the back of the design that you'll be able to work from so you've got loads and loads of easy ways of bringing these together uh, you've also got your uh, bitty broken lone star some great words some great titles for these as well uh, we've got black eyed susan there we are, lovely lady. Um, and uh, you can see with all the options here, we've also got the double wedding ring. All these, again, really nice and simple. Perfect, as I was looking at this morning. Per perfect if you are just starting out uh, and want to have a little go at sort of following the instructions where it's all there nice and clear. Uh, we've also got the, uh, the tumbling blocks, which I think is a great design. Uh, I'm loving that one. And we've got the little lone star. That's another one of the options that you can take advantage of. Oh, we've also got the uh, London Bridge. There we are. Uh, so all those options for you, uh, 880334, you've got a £10 saving on all of those, by the way, so you're looking at that at 1999. Uh, right, Jenny, how are we doing? I know we... Yeah, I just stopped doing it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I sorry. There was the, uh... me filling in the gaps for you, so it works seamlessly, and you just stopped. I just stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so I added the, uh, the shape I was showing you before. Yeah just knotted my fabric off and next I would add the others but I thought we'd have some fun and oh, okay. do some quilting I'll show you how to cut this smaller as well okay so this is a smaller version of that I just left out I think one outer layer you could actually do less if you've got oh, one of those yes, little yeah. tiny machines that you yeah. don't use often then you could do it. or even um overlockers because they're short, oh, but right. taller. Right, so it would right. work because they're quite tall anyway. Yeah. So yeah. if you've got an overlock, you might just want to do... A like, section of you wouldn't need all section, of that. section, measure your... Measure as you go. And I suppose you'd work that on the plan beforehand again when you yeah, are... Yeah, yeah, measure, measure as you go. Pop your shapes out before you base them. Measure yeah. them out if you want to make it smaller. Nice, nice. There we go. So to square it off, I'm just going to follow some lines of the thing I haven't really added that much shape so I think we're going to cut off quite a bit actually but it's fine I'll find a use for this also I forgot to say if you don't want to do a machine cover don't add the ties and make it the wall hanging oh okay it looks so pretty it just, would wouldn't just, it just you can you imagine in a hallway where you haven't got you don't need something big right but instead of a painting once it's all squared off you can see oh, it. I see. Look, can I? Yeah. Can I? Go on. Yeah, it's yours. You take it. Don't want to step into your side. You're all right. I'm miles there away. There we I'm go. I'm miles away. Let me show you. I'll undo the ties. So there you go. If you didn't want to make it as a... There you go. It looks so pretty like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want colour. to make it as a machine cover and you really like the idea of a wall hanging, then at the stage where it says make the ties, and place the ties down. Just don't do it. Just, just add the binding. Just rebel. <laughs> just rebel. <laughs> no, don't make them. No the, the, the only time you attach them is when you're attaching the binding. Mm. So if you don't want to do them, just don't do them. And then just hang it up on the wall. It look really pretty. It is. Yeah, it's lovely. It yeah. is. It's, it's a. I mean, it does have a nice splash of colour. And now you see. I'm glad you've covered it back up again. Now, no, no offence to the make or model or anything like that. But you're right. It's naked in there, isn't it? It's better when it's dressed. Yeah, I keep one on mine. <laughs> Just because it does keep dust I'm out. A, but so I'm, I'm going to say on a serious on anyway. point, does it, eh? I'm constantly on it anyway. It's not going to catch think, dust. No, no. But <laughs> actually, I was just thinking, you know, it, it's a, if it's one of those, it's, it does stop, like, dust getting gathering on there as well or anything like that. And if you aren't... 
Because I know some come with big heavy cases and all of those kind of things. If you don't, if you are using it a little bit more, you don't want to keep putting it away, getting it out, putting it away, just oh, covering yeah. over. I just, easier. I only use my big case for travelling. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Because then yeah. it protects it. Yeah. But I don't put my big case on all the time. No, 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 no. <laughs> just fling that over it, and it just keeps it nice and and it looks pretty. Because my my sewing room is sewing room. It's not a sewing room, it's my living room. <laughs> Your living room where it's you meant, sew. It's meant to be my living room, however, <laughs> got a big sewing table, one side, yeah. a massive cutting table, the other side. Okay. And now I've got three bookshelves of fabric. Uh, three bookshelves <laughs> well, of fabric. Well, that's fabric. It's not, it's not stash fabric, it's no. fabric for work. Okay. Where do you do the living bit? On the sofa. <laughs> And Which then is... I'm usually sewing, <laughs> and then Dylan complains because he's just like, "Mum, I've got nowhere to sit. Your uh, your your work is all over the sofa." You can um, sit on that fabric roll over there. Just sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get him sewing soon. I think it's Ten a, now. I'll be honest it's about with you. Would he be watching? Is it Dylan? Yes. It, I think Dylan. It'll be easy if you did start sewing. To be quite honest, you got more chance of getting a chair, <laughs> sit exactly. on the sewing machine. You'd be all right then. Exactly. I also think, you know, covering over your machine means you're done for the night, otherwise you're not going to be tempted to tinker. Yeah. It's like your laptop. Shut your laptop down, never leave it on. Yes. Yeah, Shut it I'm... down, put your cover over your sewing machine, you're not yeah. tempted. See, I, I'm, I'm a hand sewer in the evenings, unless I've got a massive deadline. See, don't do what I've done and have to cut all this off. I should have added another two here, and then this one I would have only cut off there. Uh. So I would have only wasted that much. But I didn't have the extra one done. <laughs> so but she didn't cut, do that. But I want to make it square, uh, rectangular even. So I've just got rid of a little bit excess fabric. But I would have worked that out before. When I'd gone to cut, as soon as I lay that out, I was like... You realised. Oh, I'm going to have to cut a lot of fabric <laughs> off here. But I thought, no, you're not going to want to sit and watch me for an hour. So I mean, those bits won't be going home by then. Right. So the next stage is the basting stage. Right. Got a massive piece of wadding here that I definitely don't need it that big. There we go. What's oh, a different one? There we go. So if we just lay this out. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. I'll be back in a minute, it's guys. A <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, so it's live. It's live. I, I was going to offer, but I'm not allowed to go, dear. That's my excuse. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I did You're say right, this. Got it. I'm, I'm fine, thank we'll you. lose it in the edit. I've no one know. <laughs> <laughs> right, so here we go. I don't need all of this, this piece. I'm just going to trim it off slightly so it doesn't get in my way. I'm a bit concerned that I might end up chopping my fingers off with the scissors now. <laughs> so clumsy this evening. Don't. <laughs> How long is your journey back home later on? It's a casual three-hour drive now yeah. by the looks of it because oh. the old maps are telling me that there's plenty of lovely diversions in my oh. life this evening so we're go i'm going a completely different way country lanes just be safe all the way drive to the safe. 25 oh i'm gonna take it slowly gonna pop my tunes on have a little bop in the car while i'm driving oh I can't drive and not sing oh no yeah no well, people always give me funny looks i'm belting out the <laughs> tunes while i'm driving <laughs> Are you one of those people that pull up at traffic lights and you look over and they're there having a right old party? Oh, there? yeah. If yeah, my hand breaks on and I'm in neutral, I'm dancing <laughs> in the car. Me and my best friend have carpool karaoke all the time. Oh. We love it. Always makes us happy. I mean, I can't sing. But no one needs to know when I'm driving on my own. No. <laughs> no, no one can hear me. No one. No, it's fine. I'll be doing the same <laughs> in the other direction. The right old sing song. Love it. Next week when I come up, on the way home, I might even whack out the Christmas songs. Oh, he's, yeah, I think we could, it's definitely okay for it's Christmas it's songs December. now. Yeah, yeah. Next week. We're all right. We're yeah. all right. Just need to find a playlist. Well, I don't have time to do that before no, I leave this evening. No. Just wanna... I'm a bit shaking, Stevens. Get on that no road. wrong. I've got my Christmas jumper all out, by the way, oh. ready for this week coming as well. See, this got is... got a snowman on it, I'm very proud. This is this is happening this evening, isn't it? I've got to put the backing on as well. I thought I was just going to quilt it like that. No, it oh, needs I thought you meant singing-wise in the cast. Oh, I thought you no. like a backing CD. <laughs> got backing singers. Yeah, got a whole band in the back. <laughs> band in the back of my car. 
Um, ideally, iron your backing before your uh, before you baste it on. But I've forgotten to put my iron on, so we're just gonna just gonna go ahead. There we go. There we go. The details for that bundle, by the way, that includes all of that, is there on the screen for you. £20, 49 pence. You've got your £2.50 saving on there. Um, so everything you're seeing that's being worked at the moment, it's all there. 060065 uh, if you want to go for those ones. £20.49. pence. Oh, was it last night I was talking about my roll and baste method, my roll and spray method? I don't know. Uh, sure uh, it was. was you with Paula last night? No, I was with you. No, I wasn't. No, was you weren't with me because no, we, we look. Is it, it Yannis? Yannis. <laughs> we look. We look the same. Clearly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yannis, so if you're just... watching, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I was just talking about the way that I baste with the glue when I'm putting a backing on or a large quilt. I can do it really quickly. Oh, I so see. So what I do is I spray the first bit and put that on, and then the rest that would be down here, I roll up. So this goes the same for if I've got a massive quilt. I'll still oh, right, do this, okay. but I'll be on my hands and knees on the floor doing oh, it. Oh, I got you. I and got then you. I just spray a little bit here, and then I'll roll it down, and then... So section by section. Flatten it out, yeah. And honestly, it's the quickest way. I do it with the quilt front as well. Roll it up. So I just spray the top bit, and then once that's down, I roll and I just unroll as I go. And it's just a great way to get that fabric flat Really connected out. to it all, I see. Yeah, but yep. definitely iron your backing first. There we go. So I'll just do We'll the... let you off with that bit for now for time. Oh, thanks. <laughs> There we go, so that's that bit done. I'm still made up that you thought I was Yanis last night. That's lovely, that. It's really the <laughs> nicest thing anyone said to me, ever. I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> Taking that? Yeah, yeah All definitely. right, then. So I mean, he's gutted, obviously. Now, Jeremy, I'll be a mess, he's got to get back. <laughs> he's off now, isn't yeah, he? He's, yeah, he is, he's off now for a bit. <laughs> Right, so now you... He'll look like me when he comes back, though. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all coming, mate, I tell you. Got it all coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can oh. laugh because it's already uphill for me. <laughs> I've been there and done it. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> see? We're done. Yeah. Right, oh. so the next stage is quilt. Right. And you can go to town, do whatever pattern you like. I've done straight lines, but lots of them go in different directions. I've, like, followed a line. So I would have gone like this. I think I followed three along here. And then the same this way. And then you can see the diagonals. I would have gone across what, that way as well. Is there, like, a, a, a good standard... Is that like the simplest one to go for if you've never done any before? Oh, straight line quilting is, yeah. Right, if you've okay. never done that before, okay. straight line, echo the shapes, stitch in the ditch is fine if you're not doing it all stitch in the ditch. So I'd stitch across this shape. So it'd be stitching across this shape. Then I'd stitch through the ditch here, which is where two, seam, where two seams meet. And then stitch along. Can you see that? Then I'd stitch in the ditch there. Got so, you. yeah, it's totally up to you okay. how you do it. I'm not going to do too much. No, OK. Just, uh, well, we don't really have time. We spend I know, it's the show right, honestly, it's, it's flying away, isn't it? Yeah, we've got about six and six and a half minutes, there we are. OK, so with quilting, the best thing to do is have a larger stitch. So I've got 3.8. You need a quilting foot when you're doing, well, when you're doing proper quilting with three layers. Right. Um, and then the best way to do it is to take it slow because then your foot can walk walk your uh, fabric through. So my machine can actually take the bottom fabric through quicker than the top fabric, which stops any overlapping or anything like that. I can literally see now that why it's called a walking foot. Can you see it walking? It reminds me like of, the, you know, sort of some of the Christmas Christmas toys that came out back in the late 90s uh, that everyone wanted with remote control and his eyes went funny colours. It's one of those. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That's uh, that literally is that, isn't it? So yeah, so it walks your fabric through and it's great if you're using more than a couple of layers and you, or you've got wadding in there. So it's nice just to go through. I've got a... Um, once I've done this line, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. 
I'll go a bit quicker, but it's always good to quilt slowly so then you can keep a better straight line. Right. And your walking foot works better. So not, not to speed through, not a rush. Yeah. She says who always rushes because she's always on a deadline. I know you saw about a deadline because you're back in on Thursday. Is that right? You're back, back in the I CEOs. am. I've got two shows on Thursday. Lovely. Just and you're still prepping for those? I mean, I, I'm not even the prep work, the samples. Oh, you, you're on the samples now? That's... Well, I haven't done the prep work. Oh, you've not done the, the samples first. <laughs> Tune in we're Thursday, gonna... everybody. Yeah, we've got, we've got an English paper piece quilt and a bag <laughs> coming up in the next three days. I've got this. Oh, get in. Yeah, why not? So I've got, um, if you're doing larger spaces or you haven't got a line to follow, yeah. then what I suggest is you draw your first line Okay. Um, with a removable pen, pencil, anything. And then if your machine takes a seam guide, a, seam a guide. line guide, R oh, right. mine yep. you just pop it in here and you can choose how far or how tight you want the lines. And basically uh, from there, so if I line this up here with where I want to sew, there you go. So I can actually just now follow, look at this instead of looking at oh, my right. I got instead you. of looking at my needle. And if I follow the line that goes along the line I've just sewn, then it will be straight with oh, the other. That's clever. Yeah. It's very handy if you're obviously there's only so far it sticks out. But it's really, really handy when you haven't got a seam to follow. Right or anything like that. I used it for the crosses on the uh, laptop bag that I I made. Oh, I see. So once you've got that initial line, though, then you can bring it into play, though. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Uh, we've only got just a few minutes left. Um, two and a half. We'll have a, a look at again at the, the finished sample again of your yeah, uh, of, you want me of to the get cover. Up. Is that all right? But uh, yeah, that's I'm fine. loving that and a lovely way of showing again all those colours that are going together for the black and white option that you can see. So this is the finished. Uh, but again, I like the other, you've got all those different options if you want to cut it down, yeah, different so sizes to work with, wall hanging. Yep, yeah, take those handles off and you can. It's all really lo and it's a great way of getting all those lovely colours out of all those different fabrics yeah. we've got. I mean, it's really yeah. bright and beautiful. Yeah. That. I'm that all about is... colour. I absolutely love it. And half the fun for me is choosing where I'm going to put the colours. Yes, yeah. And you get with the, with the designs, you get a chance to go through that and do all of that plotting. Yeah, for colours, yeah. Which is Photocopy gorgeous. it if you if you if you know you're going to make it more than once. Yes. Photocopy it so then yeah. you can just. I colour in on there and you've still got it intact for if you decide to make it again. Perf perfect. Yeah. Lovely ideas. You make it for yourself for yours or for your, for somebody as well. Uh, uh, very quickly, just give you those final options. It is the final live hour for your one day special to go through. So again, you've got all your different uh, different options. So you've got your 20 shades and you've got your black and white option. Again, has been in the lead pretty much since uh, we launched last night with the one day special and you can see why. Really fantastic. Looks great on that project uh, that you've just Scene that's been worked by Jenny, of course, but really absolutely beautiful for the black and white option. Uh, working away across, then we've got all the gorgeous rainbow options. You've got 20 shades of your rainbows. Again, you've got your greens, your yellows, the blues. You've got really vivid, rich colours, striking patterns. Really, really popular again, also. Um, we've got also your, look, your neutrals, by the way. Uh, again, so you've got your creams, your yellows, your golds, all working really, really nicely together for all of those, as you can see. Uh, then, We've got your sunsets as well, all your 20 shades of sunsets, more of your peaches and your pinks and your violets and all those wonderful colours. We've got your forest uh, that you can see here with all those gorgeous greens. Again, really striking, vivid um, details you'll find in here. Then, of course, you've got your beautiful blues of the sky uh, that are all come together and dark and your lights all the way through. Uh, very, very lovely. And, of course, you've got your gorgeous fire uh, to finish off with as well. Actually, work its way up there pre really closely, just behind the black and white option. Seven two zero four seven zero. It's available on two flexes of thirty four ninety five. Or you one day special on that until six o'clock this evening. Uh, Jenny, thank you so much thank indeed. You. Uh, I know you're prepping for Thursday yes. as well, so I hope that all goes well. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I'm back in the studio Thursday as well, so hopefully I oh, might get a show we'll with you, which would be lovely as well. But yes. uh, safe journey back right. home. Thank you very well much. Thank you, Jenny. Uh, thank you to yourself as well for going through.
food. Don't forget, we've got another one-day special that'll be launching for you very, very shortly indeed. For me, it's all right for now. Oh, get ready, everyone. You're going to have such a lovely show coming up now with the Aroma Glow. It's a beautiful show earlier on. Get ready for treats for other people or treats for yourself. Then we've got the Pink Frog, of course, all coming up for you here. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. We're a family-run business, been in business for two years, and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years, and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards, and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on a Chandler. Did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favourite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now, simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember, it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family-run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art Stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. This is why I enjoy being part of the Hochanda family, because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just the water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. We hope that our products bring you as much fun, creativity and inspiration as they do to us. We love all of our products and we hope you do too. So make sure you don't miss our shows on Achanda.
Hello there and welcome back. We have got the most amazing hour ahead of us. We are talking Aroma Glow and what we are looking at here are the most incredible floating water candles. They're going to create the most incredible ambiance in your home. You'll be able to use them over and over again and you can get involved with these for just £12.59. and pence. They are amazing. And of course, I am here with the lovely Sally who's going to be telling us all about these as the hour progresses details are on your screen so if you want to get involved already you can do the details are there but sally oh i just feel so calm and restful just watching that opening of the show i know it's lovely isn't it you just cannot beat candlelight the thing well, is we just all want it. to sit down and relax now well this is it now i know because we have worked together before that these are something a little bit different because these are something that we can reuse um, and make use of things that we've got at home as well yes that's right the um the little clear all the floats are totally reusable so you can just wash them out and use them over and over again and you can put them in any glass container oh this is it so have a look at these maybe you've got vases at home maybe you've got some all sorts of different well it can be any vessel that you like because all you need to be able to do is to have that level of oil sitting on the top of a water base and you can create the most incredible scene i mean look at this absolutely beautiful um and uh, it's a very affordable way to create kind of create decoration for your home especially around christmas time as well so for 12 pounds and 50 pence you are getting in lows you're going to get all those gorgeous little floats and you can see a variety of different colors featuring in those you're going to get the all-important wicks that you're going to be able to use and you see your little bottles of color there so if you do want to add a few drops to the liquid then of course then you can change the whole look with regards to these and you can see there we've got a black tag event price with this one bring the price right the way down to 12 pounds and 59 pence you are saving a whopping great 30 percent with these and it's that specially engineered little kind of float that creates the wonderful way that the oil comes into the channels and creates that wonderful little bit of light when you ignite it. 185864 is the all important item number with regards to those. So if you're wanting to get hold of them, the details are there on your screen. Do pop them into your basket and don't forget you can go for more than one set, which I do suggest that you do because you want to set for yourself, I am sure. But what about a fabulous gift for somebody? Really wonderful price there. Almost as a stocking filler price um, with regards to those. Now, Sally's going to be taking us through those in just a few moments. But we've got lots of other things that are going to look fabulous in your home as well, including the incredible water beads. If you've not seen these before, oh my goodness, they are phenomenal. Here you've got pick and mix. Brilliant value for money because you're going to choose any 12 of these. Now, some of them are always popular. The clear, specifically, that's one that I went for when I went for these because they look so incredible when you actually use these. And they are brilliant because you've got all your different colourways with regards to these. Now, you're going to choose any 12 of these. Could be a variety of different um, colour tones. It might be that you're going for some of the multicoloured ones there. But what you've got with regards to these is 12 options. Could be 12 repeats of the same if you're wanting to go down that route. But you are paying less than a tenner for those 12 packs. Now, with these, I mean, Sally, these are incredible. I mean, they never fail to, to kind of ignite my, uh, well, have a look at these. This is that, now, how many packs have we got within this bowl here? So that's about two in there. Two? Yes. My goodness, you've always got a bath full. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do go a long way. You just soak them one bag in a litre of water for six hours. They absorb the water and expand. Okay. And they stay like that for quite a few weeks it can be months just depends how warm your home is true, and then yeah. when they start to shrink and dehydrate then you just add some more water to them let, let them absorb the water again you could keep reusing them for at least two years wow yeah. oh my goodness can you imagine that now you can see here i've got the obviously the multicolored here but you've got loads and i have to say when they've got the the, the water in them for the the ones with a better phrase they are quite weighty but when you've got the packs i mean they're incredibly lightweight so a lovely gift if you're wanting to post them to somebody don't suggest you post them like this send them in no. the pack <laughs> <laughs> yes yes just pop a pack in an envelope and um yeah great little presents for secret santas um teachers they yes. love them nice little yeah. present just to pop inside a, a christmas card uh, yeah people love them 
Um, and of course, you are going to be able to see, I mean, you can see here just to the side of me here, you've got some of those fabulous vases that have been filled with those different colours. You've got clear, you've got white, purple with these, orange, green, yellow. There's loads of different options with regards to those. That monochromatic black look that you can see there, the gorgeous pink, fabulous blue. Now, these, um, these little um, kind of vases are illuminated from the base. And the lights that they're sitting on, sadly, they have sold out. You may be unfortunate to get hold of those earlier on today because Sally was here a little earlier on. But you can see here you've got a whole array of different colours. The multicolour sitting in the centre there, but I guess there's nothing stopping you mixing a couple of these packs together. No, yes, you can mix them. Um, they're very, very good quality, so the colours don't bleed into each other. So, yeah, you can layer them, mix them. And, um, and then if you want to keep your children occupied, you can just tip them all out on a tray and let them... So with these, I mean, these are something that they're so fascinating for adults to see kind of transform. But I'm guessing with the children, they'd love to get involved. Is that OK? Oh, they love them. Yes, they do actually use them for sensory purposes in children's okay. nurseries. Um, they are non-toxic and they're biodegradable. So they are safe to use, but obviously don't eat them. Well, it's pretty much it's yeah. not meant to be eaten, are they? <laughs> so, uh, and I have to say, when you do create these, you can't help. I mean, everybody's been a kind of... Having a look at this, and obviously with, um, we have to be careful, obviously, because socially, but with regard to getting your hands in there and actually getting the feel of these and actually seeing it, it is a very strange sensation, but um, yeah, pretty pleasant, very I tactile, have to say. Yes, like people just love touching them, <laughs> and they're it? also great if you've got hot, tired, achy feet. Okay. Pop your feet in a bowl of them, because they're always really cool to touch. Yes, yeah. Always cool. That's such a clever idea. Yeah. Now, of course, this bowl here has probably got a couple of packs in there, so imagine this repeated and having six bowls of these around your home. Oh, my goodness. Think of the different colourways that you're going to be able to use these for, and um, the different vessels that you've got around home as well and we'll have a chat about that with Sally as the hour progresses so for the time being the details are there 569327 if you want to place your order for them already then you can do just nine pounds and ninety nine pounds and that's for 12 of those 10 gram packs um, other things that we're going to be sharing you with this hour as well um, of course we've been talking about those wonderful calendars just a few moments ago this is to show you how you can get hold of these in different kind of formats we were talking about the larger bundle earlier on we have got a smaller bundle so if you want to just try this one out you will get 20 of those fabulous floats the clear floats again Sally will show you a little while how you're going to work with these but what you've got is your reusable floats this is key so you've got that fabulous little um, float that's going to sit on the top of the oil within your bowl or your your vase or whatever you choose to use and then of course you've got the little wicks there and the colors there which will actually allow you to change the color of the water that you've got now just ten pounds and 39 pence again another stocking filler price and again something that's a little bit different to give as a gift to somebody um, zero seven two three eight I'm sorry three five zero if you wanting those and you've got a two pound and sixty pence saving but if you wanted to pay just an extra couple of pounds you will get an extra set of floats now with these floats it's kind of different to the way that they work with these so you're going to get an extra hundred wicks if you're going for this bundle you'll get extra floats as well so with this particular bundle in total you are getting how many floats is it in this one again so 32 floats across the different colorways so you can see you've kind of got your gold tone with regards to these and almost like a lighter silver tone on the inside there again the gold with these ones as you can see there and then you're clear and the gorgeous red as well with they almost look like little hearts in there I'm thinking they'd be nice for Valentine's Day um, and with these you are going to get the same colors and of course additional wicks in there and it all comes beautifully packaged ready for you to give us a gift with this one this has been one of the most popular ways for you to get involved with these and lots of you take advantage of it. This is a good price bundle this one Sally. It's a very very good price <laughs> yes it is actually an exclusive set for Hochanda oh, as I well um, but yes it is a it's a brilliant Brilliant price, it. yeah. <laughs> there you go, 30% saving because of our black tag, of, um, tag event. And again, as we mentioned there, just an extra couple of pounds more than the, the kit at the bottom of your screen. So I do urge it, I knew it was going to go. I do urge it, there go, and pop it under there, um, to, pop it, um, to pop these into your basket. But more importantly, check your baskets out. 185864. Now, of course, I've been talking about the water beads, I've been talking about those can, um, you tend to call them floating candles, but of course, they're floating water candles. 
this is something a little bit different with regards to them. And also we've got some other things that you might like to pop into your baskets for gifts as well. Or maybe a gift for yourself. You've got your microwavable characters. These are absolutely adorable. And they are so incredibly soft as well. Now we've got choices with regards to these. So you can see all the different fabulous characters popping up here. And these are basically going to be your warm and toasty friends. Um, are perfect for the season. And at £11.89, incredible value for money. And they are adorable. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> They're not even warm and I just want to cuddle them. Oh, Sally, these are so cute. They're so soft, aren't they? It's like, kind of like a really plush pile with these. Yes, yeah. They just go into the microwave for 30 seconds, so they have wheat inside them. So you put the whole animal into the microwave for 30 seconds um, to warm them up and they stay warm for about an hour. They are beautiful. I mean, they are. Uh, and they're a nice alternative, I'm guessing, to things like um, hot water bottles and things yes, like that. Yes, yes, that's right. Yeah, and very gorgeous. safe to use. And a little piggy wiggy. Look at that. And, oh, he's got a little piggy wiggy tail as well. Oh, adorable. £11.89, whichever of these you fancy going for. But how can you refuse all three of them, to be fair? How do you pick? I don't know. But 198972 if you're wanting to get hold of these. We are busy on those phone lines again, folks. Sally always does that to our phone lines. We get very busy. So we're going to head over to Sally and uh, see what she's up to. So how are we kicking the show off with demonstrations? Great. OK. So, first of all, you can use any glass container you have at home. It can be a wine glass, jam jar, fruit bowl, anything you like. And you just fill it with water so it's about three quarters full. Just cold water straight from the tap. And then you can use a couple of drops of the colouring if you'd like. It's just like food colouring, so just put a couple of drops in, swirl it round. There we go. Or you can just leave it as plain water. And then you simply use oil, any cooking oil. The cheapest vegetable oil will be absolutely fine. That's all you need. You don't need any expensive olive oil or anything like that. So just pour it straight into the water. And straight away, you see the water and the oil separating. So you want about a centimetre layer of the oil on the surface of the water. And if you look sideways at the glass, you can see the band of oil on the top. Please don't be alarmed. This never, ever, ever gets hot. It, even after 10 hours of the candles burning, it's very, very tepid. So there's no odours or anything like that from it. They're really easy to use. You just take one of the reusable floats and one of the special long burning wicks. And you just push the wick into the centre of the float as far as it will go, like that. And when you put it on the oil, the oil straight away flows down the channels to the wick and then the wick is ready to light because the fuel is around it. And when you light the wick, the flame just draws up the oil for the fuel. It's really clever. It's the original form of candlelight before wax candles were ever invented. Also, if you'd like to, you can just add a few drops of your own aromatherapy oil so you have at home. It could be lavender or citronella, anything relaxing or invigorating. Just put a few drops on the top of the oil and that will disperse into the vegetable oil and give, a, give off a lovely aroma when you light the wicks. So I'm just going to put a couple more onto the oil. There we go. So just pop, push your wick in as far as it will go. Really easy to use. Pop them on the oil. You can see the oil flowing down the channels to the wick and then they're ready to light. And each wick will burn for at least 10 hours. There we go. And just light them. Now, maybe you just want to have them burning for two or three hours of an evening. That's absolutely fine. You can just blow them out and pop a new wick in next time you want to use them because obviously the, the floats are reusable, so you can just wash them out in warm, soapy water. If you're going to go not use them maybe for a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, and you've still got some oil left, you can just pour it all into a jar with a lid, just decant it, put it away, and then when you're ready to use them again, just pour out the water and oil into any desired container you have at home. The oil will always come to the surface, so they're ready to use again, and it means you're not wasting anything at all, which is great. So yeah, now we're good, going to go on and do some other demonstrations. The size float there as well, Sally. So you're only needing, what, three in that large bowl? Yes, so the floats are six centimetres in, di in diameter, which is great because it means that... 
the flame is always three centimeters away from the edge of the glass. So ah. with a little wax candle like this, you have to be very careful because if there's a draft blowing on them and they blow one, they burn one sided, that's when the flame can get very close to the edge of the glass and crack it. That's a good point, yeah. Very, that can be very, very dangerous and it does happen a lot. Whereas with these, that will never happen because these floats never ever melt because the heat is coming up from the flames. Okay. Um, not down, so therefore the, the floats never ever melt. You, you can just keep such, washing up. You created such a beautiful almost centerpiece, or that could go on a windowsill or in a portrait. I mean, it looks amazing, absolutely beautiful. And I love the idea of adding those little drops of essence oh, in yes. there as well. Oh yes, yes, smells so lovely, and it really does fill the whole room. It's beautiful. So now we're going to go on and do some jars. Okay. So it's really nice to use them um, outside as well in your garden or in your patio. You can line them up and down your path. Um, put them in your porch just really lovely and welcoming when you have friends coming to have candles especially at the moment because we're having to spend more time outside when obviously at the moment we're not likely to be outside well you might be outside I don't know but um, I'm just thinking about if you've got kind of lanterns outside if you've got something that's hanging up could you actually use these in something that's hanging mm, oh, yes okay. absolutely or you can you use kind of self level won't it I'm guessing yes or you can use the, the jars and um, just put some string or wire around them and hang them from trees what a lovely idea. that looks nice really nice yeah and the great thing is that once you light them they're burned for the whole evening so when your guests arrive they'll be twinkling away and when they leave they'll oh, still be can you imagine a winter wedding with a kind of out in the garden with those oh it'd be beautiful so i've put the water and the coloring into the jars and again i'm just going to use the vegetable oil just the cheapest vegetable oil will do. That's all you need. You don't need anything expensive. These are also great to take on holiday. Just take a few little bags of bag of wicks and a few floats with you because you can get a glass from the hotel or wherever you're staying and a little bit of oil. Again, and then, the then you've got candles Ooh. for your holiday, which is great. So I've put the water, the coloring and the oil into the jars. And again, well, let's use some different color floats this time. So we have the three different colors the silver and the gold and the red so I like the clear one I like all of them but I love the clear ones because when the lights are dimmed down you don't mm -hmm. actually see them yeah so the flames look like just floating flames on water it's very so magical clever. that's why they're called magical floating water well they candles. do look magical <laughs> I mean you can see I mean have a look this it almost looks as if it's come from the set of a, a, a fantasy movie or something like that because it looks absolutely beautiful and of course as you dim the lights down not only do they look gorgeous they are practical they're adding that light as you can see um, to whatever occasion it could be the centerpiece of a dinner table it could be just to decorate your room and you're dimming the natural lights that you've got around you I mean that what a beautiful array and you are just using three of those floats don't forget in the that you've got on your screen there you are actually getting 32 of those floats and is it a hundred um, 150 wicks now of course the wicks how long do the wicks last Sally when you're working with those each wick will burn for at least 10 hours oh wow so yeah if you have um, a centimeter of oil on the surface of the water that's enough to fuel each wick for okay. 10 hours so even if you have three in a bowl as long as there's a centimeter there that's absolutely plenty love it yes. there you go now, of course, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask of Sally, she was here earlier on, um, and of course, we'll try and answer any of those questions you have. But this is the last hour for the day, so do get involved. Um, studio at if you've got any questions you uh, would like to ask. I mean, naturally, uh, but we're looking at these and we're thinking, can it be so simple that you're using these floats alongside um, oil that you'll have in your kitchen cupboard already? And the answer is yes. And you can see whether you're pop popping them into a jar. I mean, imagine using an old jar that you've got. You could almost, well, you don't even have to decorate it because even if it's literally a jar that you've soaked the label off then by pop popping that kind of colored water in there the oil and of course the floats there absolutely beautiful results as you see as you can see now mentioning those wonderful elements this is what you're going to get within this bundle 80 percent of the stock has gone though so do be aware of that 
If you're wanting to get hold of them and have these in your home in time for Christmas, then now is the time for you to be placing your order for these. But of course, if you need more wicks, which of course is the only thing that is going to be consumable other than the oil, but of course you can get that from your kitchen cupboard. You can get another 200 of those fabulous um, candle wicks there for just £9.99. And, and I think that reinforces the value of that original bundle we were looking at because you're getting 150 floating candle wicks within the bundle at the bottom of your screen. So you can see that it is a really brilliant value from an e-bundle. I'd be tempted, you know, to perhaps go for that again if you're wanting to go for those um, with the addition, that, that, like, kind of like a second set rather than more wicks. But of course, the opportunity is there if you're wanting to get a hold of those. So um, let's have a little, because this is the one thing that I've not shown you is these. Now, I've actually um, not seen these ones before. So we've got the fabulous um, little kind of uh, uh, tablet um, holders here. Now, before we get, get to this, uh, Sally, had you got another demonstration that you were showing? Because I can see you've got some of the little kind of jars. Oh, we can come back got. to it in Are a minute. Are you sure? Yes, yeah. Um, only because our viewers have found these already, so I just need to explain what they are. So <laughs> we'll be back within just a few seconds. Sorry, cutting you a little bit short there. But you can see here, you've got your fabulous little pillow here, your paddy pillow, which I love the title of. And the idea is, as you can see here, you can use this to support your tablet in, well, any situation that you need it to be hands-free, really. Yes, lovely to use it there. Oh, that's a Popped good idea. Up with pillows, with your knees up, yeah, really nice. <laughs> um, and now, I love the choice of fabrics that you've got with these because you've chosen some cracking fabrics. So, let's start off. What have we got at the top here? The gorgeous little puddy cats. Oh, they're beautiful. Now, these are quite lightweight. I didn't expect them to be that light. I expected them to be quite weighty. Yes, very light, but they do actually um, support any iPad or tablet device on any angle you put it on. And I'm guessing you could use it maybe for a book as well if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, great if you're following a recipe in the kitchen, so you Good can idea, use a traditional yeah. recipe book um, to follow the recipe or a recipe from any tablet device. And I love it. You can see at the bottom there, made in England as well. So made in the UK, ready for you to use and obviously support um, UK businesses. Are we okay to throw these in the wash or are we best to just sponge them down? Yes, they can go in the wash machine on a 30 degree wash. Lovely. Yeah. And then go. just let them dry naturally. Love it. So there you go. So that is your um, cat option. The next one, I love this. Now this is fabulous fabric because you've got all of our nature creature friends here. You've got your fox, your owl, as you can see, the squirrel, the woodpecker. They're all featuring in here and little toadstools and gorgeous little flowers. So really happy fabric featuring within that one, which I love. Next one, I love because I do like my polka dots. This one is your grey with your white polka dot on it, as you can see there, um, which is a lovely option. Nice neutral option, I think that particular one is. As we work way forward the bumblebee the realism that you've got from this bumblebee is amazing and it's a fabulous fabric so many of us do love bumblebees this year we've seen the, the kind of the the, the pretext of be be happy be graceful be all those different things where well, there's your bumblebee version next one across for people like me that have got a little pooch at home or two then you have got your fabulous dog fabric there with all sorts of different breeds of dogs featuring in there my own namesake there little westy love those so there you go and then the last one that you've got which is an adorable one for the season and that's the one that's got the beautiful robin fabric as you can see and of course this is going to perfectly mold to your tablet supporting it which i love the idea of um, so there you go the details on your screen whichever of those you're choosing to go for then uh, you have got the details there two three zero three one five um, you've got a saving of three pounds and fifteen pence on these and of course you can go for multiples with the same item number even if you're choosing different styles um, so there you go details are on your screen there now sally we're going to come back to you because obviously you were, you were showing us the jars a few moments yes. ago what else can we use so you can use any glass containers you can have at home it can be a wine glass jam jar it can be crystal you don't have to worry about crystal um, cracking or breaking because as i said before the flame doesn't get too close to the edge of the glass um, so absolutely anything i mean i've picked up over the years lots of glass from charity shops so this is a nice one i've had it for years and years and years and um, it's just really nice it's just three little goblets on a stand um, so you can put it on the table, on the mantelpiece, windowsill, absolutely anywhere. Uh, I'm not going to put the colouring in this one. I'm just going to leave it as plain water because that's sometimes quite nice. And again, just pour the oil in. So there's about a centimetre layer. If you have more oil, that's absolutely fine. It really doesn't matter. Um, but you do need at least a centimetre to fuel them. And again, I'm just going to push one of the wicks into the float like that. Pop them onto the oil so quick and easy to do and then they're ready to light 
and each little wick will burn for at least 10 hours. And as I said before, if you'd like to, you can put some aromatherapy or essential oils on top of the oil and it would disperse it in and give off the most lovely aroma. So there we go. This is really, I love this one because it's very sort of natural looking without any colouring in it. And as I said, when the lights are dimmed down, you really don't see any of the, um, any of the float because it's transparent. You don't really, you would never know that's cooking oil on top of the water. That looks amazing. You would never ever know because it never ever gets hot because the heat's rising up. So after 10 hours of burning, you cannot smell anything. So that's a really lovely natural looking centerpiece. That is beautiful. You can imagine flowers around there or, or maybe holly and sprigs of well, whatever you like to put in there, really. And of course, all done with that fabulous bundle that you've got on your screen. Now, just something that we've had an email come in asking about um, the wee, um, the bags for the, your, your tablet to sit on. On the screen there, um, just want to, it's just a little bit ambiguous with regards to this, but they're from the Wheat Bag Company. Um, you've actually got your little polystyrene balls within these. So um, somebody was asking about whether there are wheat within these, uh, but they're not filled with with wheat they're from the wheat bag company and uh, because I was referencing how lightweight they are as well so yeah just to uh, reiterate that when they come to you then uh, obviously they're going to be light, lighter because of the polystyrene and um, polystyrene balls in there but so uh, yeah brilliant value and as you can see on your screen there um, absolutely amazing so with regards to obviously your fabulous little candles your aroma candles as well I mean that is a beautiful way you can use anything really to pop these in can't oh, you? Oh absolutely anything there's so many different designs of glassware out there I mean it's the candles that just bring any glass to life, really. And did it always have to sit in something that's made of glass? Could it be ceramic Could or be anything? Cer ceramic, pottery, anything, anything we should that avoid. won't melt. Well, yeah, I suppose that's it, don't <laughs> yes. Anything that won't melt, yeah, that's a good, yeah. good reference there. But absolutely anything. But obviously glass is nice because the light shines through, doesn't Certainly it? It does, not only from the top but on the bottom as well. Yes. Amazing. Love it. Yeah. So there you go, your floating candles with your deluxe pack there. If you fancy taking advantage of those, then please do so. Um, and again, you're getting loads within there. You're getting 32 of those floats. You're getting 150 of those wicks. And of course, you are getting those three bottles of colour. And they are rapidly approaching limited stock. Now, this is important because if you're thinking of getting more than one set, perhaps as a gift, or because you have lots of different ways that you're wanting to use these at home, then of course, do make sure that you're bulking up on these as soon as you possibly can. 185864. We have got refill kits with regards to the wicks and we have got the smaller bundles, but that is the best value bundle that we've just shared with you there. But if you do want an extra 200 wicks, this is the way that you can get hold of them. And don't forget, each one of those wicks is going to give you around 10 hours worth of light using those wonderful little uh, floating candles there. Um, £9.99 if you wanted to get hold of these, 981105. But of course, it's not the only thing that Sally has brought with us to. To, uh, to, well, to, to decorate our home because we've got so many different ways that you can decorate, including these wonderful water beads. Now, we're going to be learning more about these when we go back over to Sally in a few moments. But what you are getting within this bundle are... 12 packs now these 12 packs will allow you to create a whole um, well it's a liters worth of fluid that you're going to be putting in your water you leave them six hours and then what they will do is they will absorb the water but then they they stay like that for hours and hours and hours and hours even days weeks months even dependent on the year and um, time of year that it is and what you can do with regards to these then what you can do is literally um just as um when they kind of go back to their their original stage you can add water and kind of reignite them if that's the right word um, with regards to these 12 different color options so you can choose which you're going for you it's your own pick and mix really might be the clear that you're going for it might be the white the gorgeous pastel tones that you've got with these multicolored as you can see or you could go for repeats of them if you so choose but you can see there the details on your screen there five six nine three two seven I've got loads of questions to ask Sally about the, with regards to these but um, should we get straight into the demo and explain about how you put you kind of uh, oh turn them into these little balls. Yes, that's. So basically, they start off life as tiny, tiny, tiny little beads. They're polymer. And you just soak one bag of beads, so they come in a little bag like this, and just soak one bag of beads in one litre of water for about six hours. They will absorb the water and expand 200 times their size. And they will stay um, this sort of size for quite a few weeks, depending on the... On the um, 
warmth of your home and as they start to dehydrate and shrink in size then you just add a bit more water to them and just keep reusing them. Can I just ask, say if you wanted to, maybe you've got a smaller vase that you wanted to use, could you use half of the pack and half of the liquid? Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So it wouldn't matter, you could put half of the pack into one litre because you just drain it off. So any fluid that's left, you just drain yeah, it off. Yeah, so it doesn't makes matter, sense, doesn't it? you don't have to measure it out yeah. really. But for one pack, you do need at least one litre of water. Fabulous, thank you. So once they're all soaked and hydrated and all plumped up, nice and big like this they're ready to use so I've soaked some of the clear ones here which are quite fun to use so I'm just going to going to pour them into the vase like that and then I've got some seashells which I'm just going to push down into the beads so you could do this with lots of different objects you could okay. use buttons or ceramic oh this reminds me of one of those things that you used to do at the school fair with a big box of sawdust and you would kind of have all sorts of presents and prizes um, dipped into there <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes i remember that so that was fun yeah you can do the same thing like a lucky dip yeah so i've pushed the seashells into the um, clear beads and i'm just going to add some water some clear tap water <gasps> wow and straight no. away it all becomes transparent oh my word isn't that lovely that is fabulous <laughs> it's great isn't it it's such a lovely centerpiece such a nice thing to do maybe you've been off for a walk with your children or grandchildren on the beach and collected some seashells a really lovely way to show them off nice to use them in the bathroom that's a lovely centerpiece you know they for look the bathroom. amazing and of course they're supported with those uh, transparent spheres that you've got in there does that effect only happen with the clear ones i mean yeah. you can get I, you do get the same effect but obviously it will look like colored water okay so it's just colored yeah but you yeah. can yeah i like yeah that. because they're just they're still there but they're anchoring the yes, shells in yeah. place yeah look, should i do another magical. one look, yeah let's okay. go for another one honestly more <laughs> <laughs> so we'll do another clear one because they are quite fun the clear ones i'll just move this one out the way over here it wouldn't be a silly thing to say but is the vase heavier once the actual spheres have taken the water or is it just the same because i suppose the water's not going anywhere it's just going into the the beads isn't it so it's gonna be the same weight it's quite heavy yes yeah yes. and is that because of the it's taken the on water. the water yes yes okay. so it is quite heavy I might have to get some I was never very things. good at science and physics at school, so I couldn't <laughs> figure it out for myself, so I thought, well, I better just ask. <laughs> right, okay, so again, I've put some of the clear beads in here, and then I'm just going to put some little ceramic Father Christmases, push them down into the beads, so we get the same sort of effect as we did with the, um, with the seashells. Okay, oh, I can't quite see. In fact, I don't want to know what you're putting in here. I'm going to see them when they've gone in because, I mean, what could they be? <laughs> I don't know. It's quite exciting. And then again, just pour the water in. What is it? Ooh. Oh, Father Christmas. <laughs> oh, look. Just oh, these are water. brilliant. Now, not surprising, the, the clear ones are now limited in stock. When you see demonstrations like this, you can understand why. I mean, these could be Christmas baubles or anything, couldn't they? Oh, yes, yeah. there's in so there. many different things you can use, but this one's always fun, fun and what to a do. conversation starter. <laughs> and then if you wanted to, I mean, I use blue because I've got them here, but it would be quite nice to put a la layer of red ones on the top. Oh, so you can mix them up. Just oh, look like at that. that. That's so nice. Could, could you do that throughout the, if you, I mean, whether you're putting the little characters in there or not, could you have like a rainbow layer of those if yes, you wanted to? Yes, you can to? layer them all because they're really, really good quality beads so the, the, the colours don't bleed into each other so okay. you can completely layer all the different colours up. Yes, we've got That's, some here actually with layered colours. That is phenomenal. Oh my goodness, look at these. This is amazing. And this one's lovely because you're kind of going from that lighter blue um, right the way through to the darker blue. Um, I think they are illuminated there. So, um, oh, the pink as well. Oh, this is brilliant. And then a little bit of yellow there. That looks amazing. 
That's lovely, isn't it? I love the yellow. They're I all very it. nice colours. They're all very popular. But the clear ones are fun because you can make, you know, lovely centrepieces with them. Now, the purple and, and pink one, what's that sticking out the bottom there? No. You can put your flowers in there? Yes. So this is what they're really designed for. They, um... You can put your flowers in and the water is released from the beads to water the flowers as and when the flowers need them. Oh, so yeah. they're not sitting in stagnant, murky oh, water gosh, and yes. they're not being overwatered. Yes. So yeah. they're absolutely great for fresh flower arranging. They look so much nicer, the flowers, where you can see them here instead of all the stems showing in yeah. green, murky water. You know, they're really lovely, the beads. And also it means that you keep your flowers a lot longer. Okay. Because when... We often tend to throw the flowers away before they're really over because the vase looks pretty it disgusting. Never it doesn't pleasant, smell does great, it, no. which is no. such a shame because fresh flowers are expensive. They are. So and you want to get as much life out of them definitely. as possible. They so, always look so amazing when if you, you have flowers from a florist that they, they come and I always look at them and I sigh because I'm thinking that's the only time you're going to look as beautiful as that. Yeah. As soon as I get into them and take them out and put them in a vase, they just, yeah. But with this, you yeah. could arrange them quite beautifully. And they do. They, they actually hold them in place really, really well as well. So um, if you're not great at flower arranging and you just want to stick the stems in like me mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just easy makes what about it really if you've got artificial flowers maybe with a plastic stem is it okay to use those as well yes so we've got some lovely artificial flowers over here in the far vase and um, yeah they look lovely it's and they amazing don't again. Um, yeah, they're it. great with the, with the stems. They don't affect them at all. And the orchid as well. The, the orchid. How, how are they working with the yeah, orchid? Yes. So <laughs> this is really great. They, these are great for orchids because orchids don't like to be overwatered. That's true. So what I tend to do is take all the bark off the roots. Yes. And put them back into the um, into the pot, and then just surround them with the water beads. Water beads which are freshly yes. hydrated, so they're nice and plump and full of water. And then the orchid will just take the water from the beads as it needs it, so it's not going to overwater them. So now I'm thinking of things like hyacinth bulbs, where again the the roots kind of go yes. into the liquid, or cyclamen this time of year. Those yes. are all things that we see around this time of year. Or that if they come into my house, they're usually dead within a week. Because honestly, you, you can hear the plants kind of shriek as they come over the, the doorstep because they know they're not going to last long in my house. Same with me. <laughs> Even with the poor basil plants. I'm terrible. I really am. I don't know how I do it. But this, this is amazing. So anything that doesn't have a lot of soil, I'm guessing that you can... Yes, yeah. yeah. They're even great to pop on top of um, hanging baskets or anything like that in the summer. Really? Yeah. Because that's another one that's tricky, isn't it? If you're mm. going on holiday and yes. you've got hanging baskets. Just put lots and lots on the top or mix it, mix them in with the soil. So they could go in with the soil yes. as well? Yeah. <gasps> My goodness, this is a game changer, isn't it? I didn't realise, I thought they were just for decorative purposes, but now, oh my goodness, now. <laughs> with these, you are getting 12 of those packs. Imagine that, using these for when you're on holiday to keep those fabulous um, plants alive while you're away. Or if you're a bit like me that only kind of remembers to water a plant when you walk past and you see it's really wilting. Well, this is going to keep them going because as you heard there from Sally, it's going to take all of that fluid from the roots through, obviously, what um, these beads have uh, gathered over the time when you were soaking them for that initial six-hour period. So you've got 12 packs. Now, got loads of different colours for you to choose from. Um, obviously, we've been looking at the clear. Um, we've been looking at the different colours with regards to these. You've got the purple, the green, the orange, some gorgeous citrus tones with these. You've got a very contemporary style black with these ones. I'm thinking the possibilities of maybe mixing up the black alongside the white, giving you a lovely kind of uh, art deco look with these. You have also got this kind of pastel multicolour as well. And this is the fabulous thing that you're going to be able to create with these. And you can see there, those spheres there, that have gathered up all of that water to swell up, swelling up, I'm just going to bring it up, swelling up from that size. Now, obviously, this is the red, but that is the size that those spheres go to. This is phenomenal, absolutely amazing. Um, and so if you are wanting to get hold of these, please, please do take advantage of them, as many of you have. And they swell up incredibly so, so much so that the bowl that I've got here, you've got two packs in there. So you can imagine this multiplied six times then you are going to be able to create six repetitions of this in total. 
absolutely brilliant. Nine ninety nine. They're proving to be very, very popular. Um, and of course, you've got your choices with these. If you're wanting to go for any of them particularly, then you can go for repeats of them. So perhaps you've got a themed um, opportunity coming up. You know, those bright kind of carnival colours are going to be perfect. Or maybe you want something very in keeping with the decor of your home, and you've got a monochromatic style home. Then the black alongside the white would be perfect. Whichever way you are working with these, you have got phenomenal value for money. So five six nine at three two seven and of course the clear is proving to be very popular after those demonstrations that we just saw now with regards to these and um, i think sally are you going to show us some more with the, the the beads well i just want to show you how they um hold the stems of flowers in place okay because lovely. they are really good for this so you can see i just push them down in and they hold them exactly where you put them and again, things like tulips. Tulips are always difficult because they always seem to, to dip, don't they, when they're there? Yes, oh, they do. And daffodils. Yeah. Oh, so lovely to have, you know, a lovely vase filled with orange or yellow beads and then daffodils. Yeah, they're just really, them really nice. Oh, I've got, yeah. you've got a really pretty home, Sally. If you've got all these lovely things around, they look amazing, isn't it? All the candles and the. Oh, and it's the beads. lovely. <laughs> so relaxing. I bet. I bet it is. <laughs> there we go. So obviously I've just stood them in. I haven't done anything very artistic here at all, but just to see they really do hold the stems of the flowers in do. place. Sally, yeah. thank you again for that. So there you go. Whether it's a case of that you're using for your flowers, whether you just use I mean, they just look fabulous just as they are, don't they? Whichever way you're using them, though, you know that you've paid a, a fabulous price for these because you're getting 12 of those packs for less than a tenner. Now, other things that we've got on the show, which I haven't had a chance to tell you about. My goodness, I've just looked at the time and having a lovely time. Now, these are wheat bags. And these, have, okay, again, they've come, back from the, um, come from the same company, the wheat bag company. And with regards to these, these have got a fabulous, weighty feel to them now with regards to these Sally tell me about these why would we be using these and why is it a good investment well one thing it's a very natural product mm. so they're filled with wheat so it's English wheat which is cleaned really really well okay and they come with fresh lavender buds they smell beautiful or unscented okay. I mean the lavender ones are very very popular but we do also make them unscented just in case anybody you know finds it a bit overpowering around their face but the lovely thing about wheat bags is one thing they're so easy to use because you just pop them in the microwave for a couple of minutes and they stay warm for at least an hour. Okay. And Let me um, try this one because this one's going to go well with the red that I've got on. Oh yeah, that Ooh, looks great. You might lose this one, Sally. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So once you heat them up in the microwave for one and oh, a half to two minutes, full instructions are on the label and on the outer label as well. Um, don't overheat them. That's the only thing. Just put them in for one and a half to two minutes, and they come out lovely and warm. They stay warm for about an hour. But the lovely thing about the wheat, it sort of molds to your body. Mm -hmm. So how you know you could have this on all day working. You know, there, you know, yeah. It won't fall off. So they're just really, really relaxing. Great if you've got aches and pains. They just help to soothe it, help to lift it. Mm. If you have stress or tension around the neck and shoulders or a headache, mm -hmm. heat is really, really good for it. Well, I studied aromatherapy for two years at, at college, and I, and I have to say, um, I mean, obviously do your own research with regards to lavender and the, the kind of the properties of lavender, but it's got a lovely comforting feel to it. And I think if it gives you that feeling of comfort, then you're halfway there, really, aren't you, with it? Um, and they've got that lovely weight to them. And again, weighted blankets and that kind of essence. I always relate it back to when I was a child and my mum used to tuck me into bed and I couldn't move, but I felt so safe and secure, tucked into that bed, so beautiful and it kind of gives you that feel, that weight around your neck and on your shoulders there, just keeping you all cosy. I could just doze off as I'm talking to you, to be honest. <laughs> I could do the moment by myself, couldn't I really? Now the details are on your screen. Of course, you've got lots of choices with regards to these. So if you're buying them as a gift, you've got some really fun fabrics to work with. So um, of course, you've got some that are going to coordinate beautifully with um, the little tablets that we saw a few moments ago, the, the tablet holders. They've all got that lovely plush feel to them. So of course, that is the side that's going to be contact with your skin potentially so warm and toasty you can just imagine these so soothing the feeling that you're going to get from these so you've got your winter uh, your little woodland animal should i say there oh my goodness little penguins absolutely adorable 
My favourite, I have to say, is the tartan because this, the tartan, you've actually got that gorgeous plush um, feeling on both sides of those. And I wish you could scratch the screen and smell the aroma that we're getting with this lavender. It's beautiful. Um, you have got unscented versions as well. So this one is a different type of tartan with the blue and the black. And I think it's the black watch, isn't it, that particular tartan? So there you go. You've got a very traditional um, style with regards to that one. So if you're wanting to go for the unscented, you've got your choices with regards to obviously your black watch with those ones. Now, I don't know if I've got these mixed up. These ones, no, these are, that's an unscented one as well. So let me just swap those around. I didn't even notice that we've got the, the variants. So, so have we got two options with regards to unscented? Oh, it's the same options in both. You just decide, right? So it's a different item number. Fair enough then. So it's not too bad. Brilliant. Okay. You've got your bumblebees as well. You've also got um, your fabulous um, kind of little robins there. Perfect for the time of year. And again, you decide. You decide whether you're going to go for lavender or unscented. Unscented is on your screen at the moment there. So what, um, £11.19. pence. That's a very affordable price again, isn't it? Love it. And then if you want the scented, they are at the bottom. I'm just going to keep moving these because each time I move them, it's releasing the aroma <laughs> and it smells fabulous. Um, so there you go, 192495. Now, if you want in that similar sort of idea, but perhaps for a younger member of the family, or you're just a big kid like me, I don't think age comes into it when you're looking at these fabulous little faces. Look at these. Now, Sally, these are adorable. Tell me about these. They are. They are so popular. Everybody loves them. They're for all ages, over 36 months. They are so, so soft. It's really, it's the softest fabric I could find when I had them made. And uh, the little ears are really soft. The little pigs have little um, curly tails, which is really cute. Yeah, Look at that. And the dog. So these are unscented. We don't put any lavender in the animals at all because sometimes okay. children aren't too keen on that. Although these are not only for children, they're for all ages. Everybody loves them. So they just go into the microwave, pop the whole animal into the microwave for 30 seconds. And again, they, the wheat inside heats up and they stay warm for about an hour. Okay, I love that. So that could be long enough just for a child that's not feeling 100% to have a little doze, snuggle yeah. up to something nice, warm and toasty. And I must admit, I would much prefer these than a hot water bottle when it comes to children. because Much I, I do easier worry about and those. safer yeah. to use, exactly, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Um, so when you're popping them into the microwave, I mean, how long do you need to pop them into the microwave for? 30 seconds for the oh. animals. That's oh, wow. all because they don't have quite so much filling in. But with the admit, actual wheat bags, they go in between for between one and a half and two minutes. And the beauty is you've got your tag there that is going to tell you. So if you're like me, and Sally's given you that information, but in the heartbeat I will have forgotten the information, then you have got the details there. So it shows you there, depends on the rating of your microwave. Um, never exceed, so I'm guessing it's kind of a case of underheat rather than overheat. And as you can see there, some wonderful, wonderful ideas of how you are able to work with those and get the heat into there. And of course, you've got all your British standard um, elements on there if you do want that information, but you've got three choices with regards to these. You've got your two little dogs, here I love these with your darker tone as well as your lighter tone there and then of course the fabulous little pig I don't know which one I'd go for I just want all three of them um, they're adorable you're saving two pounds and ten pence on each one of those and of course all on the same item number so uh, if you wanted to get hold of them seven nine eight nine seven two they are so so quick um, are you all right <laughs> they've just said have a little look at Sally because Sally's just kind of like her shoulders are kind of you're very you're in the zone I there, am relaxing. I'm very chilled yeah <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> she was, yeah. yeah, be like Sally. Be like Sally and get yourself all cosy and comfy. Um, and I'm just still, I'm still stroking these wonderful uh, the neck the neck warmers as well. And again, you have got your instructions on those others that we were talking about earlier as well. So. I'm going to step away and tell you a little bit of information about the floating candles. Let me just move these little characters to the side because the bundle that we've been chatting about throughout the show has now got to a situation where it's limited in stock. It's gone green on your screen. We're down to the last 10% of our stock. And incidentally, you've got a variety of boxes with these as well, Sally. So if you want to separate them up and give them as gifts, I'm guessing. Three gift boxes, yes. Lovely. Um, love that idea. And of course, that works because you've got three sets of those wicks, giving you 50 in each one of those 
those bags. And then you've got 32 in variety of different colours with regards to the actual floats themselves. And of course, those gorgeous colours to change the colour of your water as you go. Um, but with regards to these, if you fancy getting hold of them, please, please do be quick. Now, we are busy for um, the Wheat Bag Company's um, Paddy um, pillows as well. I Paddy pillows. I love it. Paddy I. Paddy. No, Paddy. That's it. <laughs> Paddy I'm pillows. I'm putting too many eyes in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's been, a, it's been a long day. They're paddy pillows. That's what I needed to say. Um, these are proven to be popular as well. I bet you get a lot of positive feedback about these, Sally. We do. We make an awful lot of them um, in lots and lots and lots of different designs. They're a very popular product for all ages again. Um, great for children, in the back of cars, yes. on long journeys, watching movies and things. That's a good um, point, yeah. Just, they just have so many uses that you wouldn't even think of really, but they're great for using in the kitchen to follow a recipe. Yeah. You know, if you're relaxing in bed, watching a movie on your iPad at the kitchen table, yeah. absolutely anywhere. And I love that because what you've actually got, you've got obviously those little polystyrene beads inside here, but they're going to mould to whatever surface. So if it's a surface that is not completely flat, rather than you kind of trying to balance your tablet to watch it, this is going to take up whatever give needs to be taken. Yes. And then you've got that safe and secure um, kind of surface for your tablet to sit in. See the one down at the front there with the robin where you can see the tablet is sitting very, very neatly in there. That could be a mobile phone, it could be the um, your, um, your, a book perhaps if you're wanting to it could be just sitting on a tray you could be sitting in bed and this could be on the, um, the, the kind of your side table with these and as um, Sandy said there you could be on a train you could be in a car and it's something that you can use to safely keep that tablet secure because let's face it these don't come cheap we need to look after these because if they slip and they fall they break and there you go it's a very costly affair so very affordable way for you to actually secure um, and make sure that your tablet is sitting nice and neat within them so you've got your different color options you've got your cat you've got your woodland creatures as you can see here you've got your great with your polka dot your spotty um, you've got your bumblebees down at the front there and of course you have got your little shaggy dogs in the middle there as well as the robins and of course they are fully washable 30 degree wash don't tumble dry them just let them dry naturally um, and in no time at all you'll be up and ready to go again with them 12 pounds and 76 pence if you're wanting yours then do get those into your basket but of course one of the most popular items during the show has been those wonderful aroma glow floating candles. Sally was with us earlier on 10 o'clock this morning and we did go through them at the beginning of the hour but I know many of you will have just been tuning in so we're going to have another little look at these. So with these Sally tell me a little bit about these uh, for new viewers that have just joined us. The, the pad eye pillows. Um, oh I don't know I think it's the the, um, the oh gosh <laughs> floating <laughs> candles. <laughs> Shall I do another then? demonstration and talk it through? Yeah please do. Yes yes, yes okay. So these are very different from wax candles if you've just joined us. So wax candles look like this, which can sometimes burn one sided. It can be a little bit dangerous. With these candles, they're very long burning and very safe to use. So you can use any glass container you have at home, absolutely anything, wine glass, jam jar, fruit bowl. This is just a plain little footed bowl which um, a friend of mine very kindly painted for me. So I know lots of people love <coughs> painting on glass and it's a really lovely way of, you know, using your piece of art that you've done yourself, created yourself, just by putting the candles inside. So I filled the bowl with water, so it's about three quarters full. At this stage, if you wanted to, you could just add a few drops of the colouring liquid, which comes in the set to colour the water. It's like food colouring, but I'm not going to in this one because I think it's really nice just to leave it as plain water as it has a beautiful design painted on the outside of the glass. Now I'm just going to pour in some cooking oil. It can be the cheapest vegetable oil. It doesn't have to be expensive olive oil or anything like that. Just the cheapest will do. Just pour it into the water. Straight away you'll see the oil and the water separating. You want about a centimetre layer covering the surface of the water because that's fueling the wicks. This is how these special little long burning wicks work. They will only work from cooking oil. It's very, very safe. It never, ever gets hot. Even after 10 hours of burning, you could put your finger in there and it's just tepid. So you don't get any odors of cooking from it at all. Then you just take one of the reusable floats. They're totally reusable. You can wash them out of warm soapy water. Just push one of the wicks in as far as it will go like that. 
place it on the oil and when you place it on the oil straight away the oil will flow down the channels to the wick to meet the wick and then it's ready to light because that means the, f the oil is around the wick and that is the fuel and that's how they work. It's so, so simple. It's the original form of candlelight before wax candles were ever invented and I came across them many, many, many years ago when I was traveling in the Far East and absolutely fell in love with them and came home and decided to manufacture my own brand. And um, it's been such a successful product. I cannot tell you, people absolutely love them. Um, and then, uh, the thing that amazes me is just how simple it is and how effective they look. And you can see, when you look at, um, obviously, the bowl that Sally's just um, put these candles in, and then, of course, when you're lighting them, away you go. And you're adding a few drops of essence with this one as well. So you can just put a few drops of um, aromatherapy oil on the top. You don't need very much at all, just a little bit. It will disperse into the oil and give off a lovely aroma. So you can use any aromatherapy oils you already have at home and then you just simply light the wicks these little wicks are very different from a wick that you get in a wax candle um, they're pregnated with a solution to make them very very long burning from vegetable oil these candles Beautiful. are not available on the high street at all I only sell them on Hochanda and these sets are completely exclusive for Hochanda I so you can those. only buy them from Hochanda at these amazing prices today or directly from my own company I love it um, Sally you've got a fabulous array of different vessels that you've used I mean from cocktail glasses to vases whole array of different ways and as of course you've seen the demonstrations you've seen how simple it is Sally thank you so much um, I don't know if we is, are we going to see you back again before Christmas? Um, it's not planned. Oh, well, if I don't yeah. see you before, have a fabulous Christmas. And, and you, Hayley. Thank I'm you sure very much. I'm sure we'll see you back again next year, if not yeah. before. So make sure you're checking your baskets out, people. We've got some amazing deals for you. Take advantage while you've got the chance. So, what have we got coming up? Well, I'm looking at the clock and we're just coming up to six o'clock. So, uh, of course, we've got Pink Frog coming up straight after the... Ta uh, the, the um, yeah, in a minute. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katrina from Rowan Dean. We're a small family business that design embroidery kits. Embroidery has always been my passion and I'd love to show you how to do some of the stitches and some of the kits. We're based in Derbyshire and I'm really inspired by the landscape and flora of Derbyshire and I think other people will be too. Our kits are really easy and I hope they inspire you to have a go at stitching. Since we've been on Hachanda, we've had a great time. Everybody's been really friendly and really good. We've met loads of people all around the country who watch Hachanda and find it really inspiring. Don't forget to join me on my own Dean shows on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage and inspire all who want to paint, and that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint, but with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on a Chandu because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on a Chandu.
you heard of Hachanda Freedom? Did you know that as a Hachanda Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £5.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Achanda Freedom members badge, regular newsletters, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with Achanda more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause it if you're going away or you can cancel it at any time. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or head to the website, quoting item number 888888 and join Achanda Freedom today. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters' carry-all. We've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Well, what a one day special we are launching right now. It is full of amazing projects because this is what it is. It's from Pink Frog Crafts. You are getting Paralyzed Ivory Collection. You are getting paper, you are getting cards in different sizes that allow you to create so many different projects. And of course, uh, we have got, you will get the instructions on how to make all these card shapes, all those card boxes, because they are included with a one day special. Now, before we go into details, exactly exactly how many projects you can do and how many sheets you are getting. Let's talk to our Hazel. Hello. Hi, Paula. Are you OK? I'm very well. And you? I'm good, thank you. Really now, Hazel, excited. It's really exciting, mm. this one day special. Yes. First of all, I would say jump ahead and check out your baskets because once it's gone, it's gone. So please, that is on the one day special. Uh, but what I also wanted to say, uh, Hazel, you were so excited about this one day special. As a crafter of, uh, you know, with a lot of experience, what did excite you so much about it? Do you know what it is? It's the per lesson on the cardstock, which you don't lose when you're inking on top of as well. So you can ink and stamp and do quite a a lot of your normal inky techniques on it but to get that beautiful pearlescent shimmer as well is just stunning it, it looks beautiful if you're into card making there's stuff in here for you the, the kit size you've got your 15 by 30s you've got your 15 by 42s if you like making frames you can do that because that's in the kit as well if you like making bags and boxes you can do that as well and so it's kind of like if you're new to crafting this is your bumper starter kit. You're going to get all the card, the paper, and all the instructions to see you through. And we do step by step, so it's quite easy to follow. But then if you're more seasoned, it could just be a top-up kit. And can I say one th about the... Uh, because um, when I look at the ivory cards, I kind of think in sometimes uh, that is going to be a little bit more cream. This is more towards an ivory, a true ivory, like yeah. it's, it's enough white. It's almost got a bit of ice to it, hasn't yes, it? And it that does. shimmer is just beautiful. And like I say, when you put your sprays and your inks on there, you really don't lose it. It's, yeah, just it's hard for the camera to pick up it all is. I'm this shape it as well, but yeah. it's 260 GSM. There, you uh, go. there it is. There it is. You can see the uh, thing. Uh, very perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. You can see that beautiful yeah. pearlescentness here. Now, shall we go through the sizes? Because uh, I see, uh, for instance, that we have got the A4, which is the paper one, which is 180 GSM, which you are getting 40 sheets of that. Yes. Then we are getting. Uh, 
beautiful, of course, the same is the same nature, but of course, into car stock, 260 GSM. We are getting A3. We are getting. Uh, 12 by 12, we are getting 15 by 30, 15 by 40, and, and of course, how many we do we get in of the 15 by 40, for instance? So, um, 42. 15 by 42, 42, you get 25 sheets. 25, so yeah. that could be, you know, that, that could... will take you through your 10 card folds, so this you'll get an instruction sheet, let me get the right one, there we go. So, yeah, you'll get a sheet there, and it gives you 10 card folds. Um, to follow so then on top of that you'll have um, that'll take 11 sheets so you'll have then 14 uh, 16 sheets left to then make different projects with like your frames and and bits and pieces like wow. that. So there's, there's more than enough in the kit to have left over. So with this car stock, mm -hmm. we can make 36 projects, right? There's 36 projects there, all made from the kit, and there's card left over. So 36 different projects, but not only that, because it's some of them, for instance, yeah. may use one or two sheets, Correct. right? Yeah. And look at that. Some of them are incredibly large projects. It's not just like, oh yeah, 36. ATCs. No no no, 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 no. This is. That'll be like 3,421. <laughs> I mean, we cannot promise you that number. <laughs> but but you that. can see in here yeah. the size of, for instance, this bag. So that, that is, has been made. That's two sheets of A3, but then we've got a sheet of the 180 GSM paper on Absolutely. the front with the, the inking on too. In incredible. We, we have got also, of course, a fr a f a frames in there, box frames. We have got in different sizes. Imagine that, 36 different projects. Now, the paper flower is like you were saying, Hazel, not only is perfect for matting and layering, yep. but also for flower making. Uh, these flowers are absolutely beautiful. I have to say a massive thank you to Anita. I think she even had some help from George as well. But oh. the queen of flowers. So she made me the kusadamas and the beautiful roses from our two and a half inch die which I know is on the um, brand shop if you wanted to get hold of that. So if you wanted to have, well, let's have a look at these beautiful flowers by Anita and, and George. Uh, look at them. So look, you saw a thing that Anita has bought pearlescent lilac card, pearlescent lilac, uh, pearlescent uh, green card. She has inked them yeah. herself. And it looks stunning. You've still got that beautiful shimmer coming through. You just, you just don't lose it. And I believe that she's used oxides on there, which has got that chalky. And you'd oh, think, yeah. oh, that's going to dampen it down, but it doesn't. It's if if anything, that. it kind of gives it another texture, another does, layer yeah. texture, yeah. but it's still a pearlescent nature uh, coming through. Right, let's talk numbers, because it is a phenomenal one-day special. Twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. It's like Hazel was saying. Maybe you are starting, and this is can kick a starter because it has got all the instructions. Maybe. Look at it. You know, you are getting the projects, you are getting the instructions, you are getting the paper and card to make it. Now, twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence is the price. You are saving fifteen pounds. It is a phenomenal bundle. It works out at sixty-nine pence per project. Now, when you start, you divide it into it. You sixty-nine pence per project, but then you have got the knowledge because you have got instructions to keep uh, keep forever. So this is the thing. It is an incredibly one-day special. Look at the luster that you are getting. Double-sided luster as well. Now, also another thing I want to draw your attention. If you are a die cutter, you know that two fifty to sixty is the ball game that you want to be. To, uh, GSM where you want to be went to die cut intricate dies. So think about all your beautiful cards that dies that you have got at home. This is a card that is going to die cut beautifully. This is a card that is going to give you that luxury element into it. Think about it for Christmas but think about all year round. I personally think this is a perfect for the spring. I think in the new year you want to have a fresh pack of paper and card to dip your toes in and of course follow the instructions to create all those amazing, 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 uh, gorgeous uh, folds as well. Now, that is a one day special, 009 987. Do check out your baskets. Remember, the one day special is one is gone, is gone. The one day special is, of course, very busy. So please check out your baskets as soon as you make your mind up. Now, not only we have got a one day special, but we also have got a happy hour, which, by the way, I need to say, I need to go to the <laughs> gym okay after 20 years. Oh, 
Now here we are getting 300 GSM or super smooth. You are getting 160 sheets A4, right? Now, Hazel, this is a staple of any crafter's room, isn't it? It is. It's a game changer for me. The super smooth is, it, like you say, it's a staple. You can do so much with it. Um, whether you're stamping, you can chuck water, you can use your brushos on it, you can die cut it. There's so, so much to do with it. And I, I'm absolutely with you. I, I'm very lucky that I have got a stack of, well, I got a stack like this and now it's not as bad as tall. In fact, it's kind of diminishing it. Because once that you're getting it, then like you, Hazel, you are saying, it's yeah. like all the techniques, blank cards, yeah. you know, making memory albums. I have done them as well. You know, trusting as well, different colors. It doesn't matter what you're making. That's what you go for. Yeah, isn't I it? mean, I use my alcohol markers. That's my go-to for alcohol markers. Perfect for that. My go-to as well for a water, a water. When I went smooth surface of yeah. water pens as well, yeah. I would go to that one. When I went a textured, I go for the watercolor one. Yeah. So then, hence you have got. It's, it's like you say, it's, it's, it's one of those ones stock up now. Uh, you have got an eight pound saving, 13 pounds and 98 pence is what you are paying. Now, of course, 617168 is your item number. Now, there is a lot, a lot more on the website, so jump ahead if you want to. But we want to get ahead to Hazel to see the one day special in action. So take it away, Hazel. Okay. Right, first of all, I just wanted to take you through um, while the camera was kind of overhead that you can see everything that you're getting and the instructions, because I think it's really important um, that you know exactly what you're getting. So the first one up is 15 by 42. You're gonna get 25 sheets of that, okay? And then you're gonna get your 15 by 30. You're gonna get 50 of those. You can add it up as we go along. Oh, uh, Could you do that? That's yeah, 75 okay. so far. S 75. Yes. Um, then you're gonna get your 12 by 12 you're going to get 10 of those 85 good and the instruction sheet for the 12 by 12 is this cute little i'm just going to reach over this cute little um bag with oh, handles okay. so all the instructions for that on there pop that one back and then you've got your a3 now this is important you're going you're going to have oh crikey there's quite a lot on here there's a note look bag which looks like this one if i bring it in there so oh, you can so pop cute. lots of little notebook cards in there and your envelopes A6 fit in perfectly. That's one sheet, okay? Yeah. And then you can do the big bags that we've got up there. There's a bottle bag, there's a landscape bag, and there's a portrait bag. You're getting all of the instructions for those as well. And then last but not least is your, can't find it, here we go, your 180 GSM paper. So that is going to be brilliant for all your flowers, your die cutting and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to just show you a few quick folds with the um, 15 by 30. So you'll need a scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, you can use um, a ruler and one of these um, tools. But I'll just do a few quick folds. So if we was to score at 15, that would just give you your half fold. Okay, yes very simple and um, from there if we was to go so each measurement is just divisible by the 30 so yeah. the half would be the 15 you've got seven and a half and then 22 and a half if you're like me and you're rubbish at kind of doing that just turn it around and do seven and a half from that end because it's that less a lot numbers of sense. to yes, remember absolutely so then that one there this is for the pop-out card right. and that was quite easily slip inside now that is just the bones yes. okay that looks beautiful like that but you can start chopping into and having little bits come in out and you, the I, side it's, i think there is one sample somewhere there but it has kind of cut like cut a circle in the center oh, well like that one this that you one have. here so uh that's that's the same structure but it's without the circle 15 by 42 yeah. yeah but like you can go in with your die cuts you can um cut yes. your little apertures but you can also cut in i've done them before i did them on the last show and i will find a with sample. edges yes you can put your edges down there's just so much you can do with it i don't know where i got that one from now and um, so that's two for one kind of and then if we just go along and do seven and a half from each end but ah. i'm not doing anything difficult no. and i'm getting beautiful results 
I'm not even using a scoreboard. I'm just, I if, if somebody if somebody didn't have a scoreboard, could they use a trimmer, not a guillotine, but a trimmer that yes. has got a scoring board or a you just know just use one of these tools down the little channel Perfect. or some of the trimmers that you get will have a little tool Absolutely, that you can do yeah. that. So yes. Um, but again, look, a perfect gatefold card there with no effort at all. Um, let's do another one. So a nice one is a seven and a half and a 15. So this one will be a Z fold. But again, from here, this can turn into so much more. So if I was to put a little mat and layer over the front, it would be different. But then if I attached it kind of this way, I could make it into a little easel card. So this... It's just the basics we're giving you, but it's going to take you on to another level to give you more confidence to build and create your designs. So let's see which one I haven't done. Well, I've, there's quite a lot on here. Um, let's go for the try. So it's 30, so it's just 10 and 20. This could be one of those ones that you die cut a little aperture in. Yes. You know, like if you do cross stitch and things like that and you need an aperture card, this is the perfect one for that. I see. So that would um, that yeah. would build that one nicely. So that's a few on the 15 by 30. I mean, already how many? You have I know, like they're four just going to build. They're just yeah. going to build up. There's just so many. Uh, one of my favourite ones on here is the inverted stepper. So I might just pop... I'll do one of those, and what I'll do is I'll do the 15 by 42s um, when you come back. By it. the way, while well, you get that, uh, the, that uh, well, we I need to tell everybody that 10% of the one-day special has already gone. Remember, once it's gone, it's gone, so please do check out your baskets. Right, well, with you, Hazel. Okay, so I find doing the inverted steppers with a trimmer the easiest, um, and I'm just going to put my left edge on 2 centimeters, and I'm going to set that at 2 and I'm going to go two past the halfway, which we know is 15, so I'm going to go to 17. And I'll do the same on the other side. This time I'll start it at 17 and go up to two. Okay. And of course, all those instructions it's, are yeah. on the one-day special. When you receive the one-day special, you will have them printed there. So that, I think that makes a lot it of... It does. And do you know what? I make so many of these, but sometimes... My mind goes blank and I just need to reassure myself. So having your instructions, just laminate them and then you've got them and they're not going to get ink all over because if you're anything like me, yeah. my um, desk is covered. So um, two, four and 17. And then our halfway point, we're just going to go to that line and up. Then you've okay. got a mountain, a valley. Yeah. The outside ones are mounting, and then just put your hand through, pull that down, and that gives you your inverted stepper, which you can put a little mat and layer in there to make it taller if you wanted. It's your choice, but that's a quick look at the 15 by 30s. That is phenomenal. I love that because, and of course, this card, the one in the one that's special, has got that pearlescent, pearlescent, beautiful mm -hmm. finish, and of course, the ivory color. I, I would define it more like a, you know, it's a cool ivory. It's, it's, it's one of those ones that you can put white with it and it will look good. You can put a cream on it and it will look good. You can put purples, you can put cool colors, uh, co you know, you can put warm colors. It will look amazing. You can stamp on it, but the most important thing, the one day special, comes in with 36 different projects instructions 36 it's, it's almost like a magazine in terms of, of knowledge that you are getting in the one day special and you are being with the with that you are also getting of course all the cards and paper that you need to achieve those amazing 36 projects and then some and then you're going to have some leftovers imagine that imagine going through the different shadow boxes they the making the boxes the bags, the different folds, you are getting A3, A4 card, you are getting the 15 by 30, the 15 by 42, you are getting the 12 by 12, A3, A4 papered, so you can do beautiful flowers. Remember, you can ink, you can stamp, you can emboss, you can die cut. But that knowledge of the 36 projects, that is what I think is invaluable from this one day special. 24 pounds and 99 pence with a saving of 15 pounds. Grab yours, remember that once, that um, is gone, it's gone. 009987 is your item number. More to show you. 
Oyster Paralyzed Cards. Now this one is a little, this one is 15 by 42, again double sided, and I'm going to put it right beside it, the uh, one day special, so you can see it a little bit. Can you see there that the Oyster is much warmer in turn than the uh, one day special, just so you can see, otherwise it's a bit difficult. Now 15 by 42, again 50 sheets you are getting, 300 GSM, perfect to create uh, memory albums, uh, memory books as well. Look at that. Look, you can create mechanisms like the waterfall as well. Now this is incredibly sturdy. You can make all this uh, in with one kit. Absolutely. So we've given you, we're going to give you the memory book instructions with that one. We've put it together because it's that heavier weight. It is perfect for memory books. Absolutely. And then you have got, of course, you can still stamp. You can, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Those puppets. Uh, yeah. and then you can see, of course, you can stamp on okay, you can stencil and so much more. Nine ninety nine is the price for fifty sheets of that size. Uh, Two nine nine zero 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 is your item number. Six pound saving in that one. This is a brand new size, I believe. It's eight. 18 by 36, I believe. Absolutely, it's, yeah, I love this size. It's just the right size to post without it costing more, yeah. do you know? Um, is it, is it a bit more, a more about like a seven inches, seven and a half about, inches? Yeah, yeah seven just, inches. In fact, I think it's just under seven inches. Okay. Yeah. So you can have it, it so you can see it here. Uh, so if you want like, like that sort of size, this is perfect. Uh, super smooth. So you know again, yes, yeah. stamping. Absolutely everything. Absolutely. You, know, you know the drill. <laughs> Absolutely. I adore I adore Super Smooth. It's yeah. one of my go-tos. Like, literally, I have got a drawer that's like Super Smooth. And when it gets down, I'm like, ugh. And then I have got all the sizes. Why? Uh, again, like you have shown, uh, exactly. you can stamp, you can score it, yeah. different sizes. Does it come with different You've sizes? You've got your full instruction sheet to make 10 different card folds. Um, you have got a little concept suite there, which I notice you're going to um, hold up. But also with this one, which makes it slightly different, is you are actually getting the envelopes as well. So oh. you're getting a beautiful pearlized envelope. Yeah, indeed you do. So you are getting all you're you're getting uh, 50 envelopes as yes. well. Yes. So, so you have 50 envelopes. Perfect. And all, and the project uh, folding cards. And the, and the project sheet. Perfect. Yes. So all all of it you are going to get it for just 11.99. Uh, if you know anything about Pink Frog Crafts, you know that the quality of their cards, and you also know that the card sizes that they do, being on a score, it gives you the freedom to create different folds. Personally, I think is is that investment into cards that I know then I can score it as I wish is just invaluable. Yeah. It's one of those ones that is a stable. It's something that you want to have in your stash. I love as well that you can do a gatefold as well. Uh, right, 108866 is your item number. Oh, look at that. Then we have got mirror card. Now this is a phenomenal value. Now I need to mention that it looks like an A4, but it's a little bit narrower than an A4. It is the length of an A4, but it is uh, 20 centimeters. It's just about one centimeter that Absolutely, is missing. Absolutely, yeah, one centimeter difference. It is. So it's not much, but however, you are going to get here an amazing, amazing saving. Look at that 22 pounds saving. You're just paying 9.99. So it's basically 60, over 60% off. Right, Merica, what do you use it for, Hazel? Okay, great for matting and layering. Um, also, you can emboss it, which you've, I know you've got a sample in your hand there. But if you like alcohol inks, which I know that they're kind of a bit on trend at the moment. They are. Alcohol inks on mirror board are a gorgeous. They are so, gorgeous, yeah. yeah. And, and you can heat emboss on them as well. But how effective is that? That bag's got like um, black stays on on top, just oh, to yes. really highlight out. Oh yeah, that one. That's yeah, it, yeah. Absolutely. So I that's love that. just two sheets, and then obviously you can see it die cuts beautifully. We've got the two and a half inch flower die there. Absolutely. Beautiful. Now, 680237 is your item number. 999, as I mentioned, uh, you are getting over, uh, well, it's, you're paying less than a third of uh, a third of the price because you're having a £22 saving there. Uh, it's a, in fact, it's 69% saving. Wow. Uh, that's, you know, that over 60 is just like a really generous, uh, you know, over 60. <laughs> anyway, moving on to another one of, of course, uh, paying for, for our craft's uh, favorites, which we, is the Red Velvet. You know what? I, I know I shouldn't have favorites, but when it comes to mirror cars, I think I would choose 
the red velvet above anything else. There's just something, else. it's the, I don't know if it's the matte or it almost looks like you, it's quite tactile, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's a smooth, it's a satin mirror yeah. card. So it has got that kind of glorious, beautiful reflection. It's a deep red, it's that sort of passion red. Yeah. It's the chocolate box oh, red. Chocolate and that would look gorgeous. I mean, chocolate looks good and anything, yeah. but... <laughs> chocolate gives me my tummy. <laughs> no, that's the only... <laughs> you know, my tummy better. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> In everybody's stomachs, anyway. But look at that. Uh, well, anyway, £17.49 pence is the price. Then you're getting 10 sheets, and of course it comes with instructions. 871787 is your item number. Now, we have got a phenomenal non-shed glitter. Uh, again chocolate boxes but Absolutely. this is different as well i i can't believe the price of this kit to get what you're getting for the price is absolutely amazing so what you get in there each kit will be slightly different it's like the startup tonnage it goes through when you do the non shed glitter yeah. card it goes through a four print process yeah. to get the desired color yeah. so all of these different shades are what come off before you get the right colour. Ah, I see. Which you have to pay for, so that's where we can do this nice. Well, um, nice. Uh, well, that is 75% of the price. Yeah. Uh, right. I, I mean, you're saving £30. £9.99 is the price. You are getting 50 sheets. Do you get a 10 sheets of each colour? Oh, no, no, there is six colours, so I cannot count, so that, that's how it's worth. Uh, so then you probably are getting... Oh. Just kind of roughly, it'll be like evenly split between the colours yeah. that we have, but each shade might be slightly different. Oh, so I, I couldn't guarantee you that you're going to get ten sheets of exactly the same shade because oh. it's an impossibility. Right, because okay. of course that is the yeah. product. And if 999 I mean yeah. for 50 sheets of A4 glitter card, 285 GSM, makes sense to go for it. 790937 is your item number. Uh, but we also have of course the happy hour that we mentioned, that super smooth A4. Uh, do you remember that you are getting 160 sheets in total, £13.19 pence is the price you are saving eight pounds six one seven one eight six eight is your item number we also have got the masking uh, masket sheets <laughs> <laughs> you, you know have you seen the on the blooper uh, with the sh well anyway no. moving on now i'll show it leon is here in the building as okay. you know uh, okay. and he was about talking about this uh, anyway masket uh, this is brand new from Pink Frog Crafts. Suitable for the stamping, you can cut it and die cut it. 9.99 is your price. Uh, 9.76569 is your item number. So basically, are these uh, um, tacky? In yeah, yeah, it's got. Um, it, they're not really super super tacky because, to me, the super tacky ones are really hard because yeah. when you pull it off, it curls. Yeah, absolutely. This is perfect, um, and for me, a game changer because it's going to work in with the mylar, it's going to work in with your stamping and get you to create layered projects well, that look layered when you're on a flat surface which is brilliant. Absolutely. Uh, it's so one of those things, then, if you don't have a masking, um, you know, sh uh, fluid uh, fluid yeah. or something like that, but not even sheets, uh, do please invest in one. Try. 9.99 is the price. 9.76.569 is your item number. Let's head to, to Hazel to see uh, another demo. Okay, so I'm still trying to show you everything. Um, I want to show you our Mylar. Okay, this is yeah. how it will come to you. Um, and if I'm just going to grab, sorry for bending yeah. down there, a guillotine, because yeah. what I like to do is cut it down to six by six. That's going to give me four stencils. Um, do you have that um, board, the stencil board? Uh, or the stencil it doesn't board. matter if you haven't, because uh, I've got some here. No. Okay, just I'm uh, gonna grab it. I'm uh, gonna grab it. Okay, so um, when you've cut them down to six by six, you can go through your die stash and okay. let's just say I'm gonna choose a square. It could be anything, it could be a circle, a star. Um, I have done it. That's the board I yeah. wanted, yes. I found it. I'll let you show. Do you want okay, to show so that? Now? We have got the boards here in my hand, so if we can show it there. That what just simply shows you how easy it is to cut, and so you've got the negative and the positive, which are both very, very useful. Perfect. Um, okay. 
So you just take your die and you place it down. I mean, you've got the option. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to centralise it and I'm going to use my... Oh, I knew I'd lose something. No, it's in the top. My scotch tape because okay. again, which it's we more have got in the show as well. Uh, if you haven't tried the scotch tape removal tape to secure your uh, dies into your mylar, into anything, this is the one I use. I have been using for about I don't know 18 as years. As long as you can remember. Yeah, I mean, I just yeah, I remember at the shop I used to work at the time they recommended it, and this is my go to, and it's fabulous. And you can reuse it time and time again. Absolutely, and I've got a big pile on here, but. I'll tell you why it looks like that, because in my little packet here, I've got loads of different um, stencils that I've made here. So we've got these circles are from our cutting cutout dies. So I just popped four on there. I've got the circle there. I've done some hearts, some hexagons some moons will will basically any die that is open shape like you can see this simple one simple shape simple because one. this is it's 350 micron so it's a really sturdy stencil it's not going to like rip and crease Absolutely. and tear love the stars um, now one thing i did do i know that it was a favorite of everybody's this was our um what do you call it? Skyline die. Yeah. And I've managed to do that. So I've got the, the negative and the positive. Oh, I and see. And again, yeah. in fact, I'll just bring this into shot. Whoopsie, I'll turn it around. So that just shows you. How amazing that looks. And yeah. we've got that wedding ivory in the background yeah. with those beautiful inking techniques. Absolutely. But look at the shine through there. So can I ask you the question? I mean, two questions. Yeah. Uh, if I had the Cricut or a Silhouette, uh, you know, this electronic cutting machines, yeah. could I cut it with it? Right. I don't own one of those, okay. so I couldn't say. But I would think it's a bit too thick. Okay. Um, People that's got them, they know their capabilities, and if you think that it can do 350 yeah, micron, then, okay. then try. Uh, because I think, um, I remember um, my friend Marion from Wawin Wasim Powders, she cuts, she has got a silhouette and she yes. cuts uh, my alert. I'm not sure if this, this I suppose that the thickness is the, the, the key. But also the other question I'm thinking about it, what would be the difference between the musket? Why do you use it, the musket and the mylar, uh, kind of, the differences? Okay, so the musket is, uh, musket. The mylar is going to just last for ages and ages. Okay. And when I bring the, for instance then, am I going to be able to find it? See, you've got me on the hop, but I will find it. I'm oh, sorry. It. No, it's fine. Um, let's get a sheet. Oh, come on. So this is a sheet of the masket. Oh, I see, yes. So if I got the same die. Yes. And let's just cut a square. And then I won't be wasting it. And I cut that square in the yes. middle. What it's going to allow me to do is, say I use my mylar and I ink through. Yes. I'm just going to have to do it. I'm going to do it and show you. Oh, okay. <laughs> going to yeah. do it. Right, so I lay my mylar down on top of my wedding ivory. And I'm going to blend down some colours. So I'll just hold that in place. You could use your... Um, scotch tape okay but the ink glides so easy yeah. okay. and if you're new to inking i would highly recommend inking onto a pearlescent cardstock first because it's so much more forgiving if i go in with my sponge yeah i can then blend that out and that's of course the one day special yes. a, 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 a card that you are using yeah. remember that the one day special once it's gone it's gone and it has got that pearlescent beautiful finish perfectly for blending those yeah. inks so if we take that out of the way yeah. now, whoa, and i want to maybe um, i want to use this one because it will be a bit more spitty oh hang on there we go okay um up there the tissue can... yeah <laughs> so we take that off so these are the sorts of techniques that you would normally yeah. do on your super smooth or your watercolor but look ah, how effective. So you can still do that for Absolutely. bleaching techniques. So yeah. you can see the pearlescent nature is still even through the colors as well as those for bleaching. Look at that. So if I then cut this square from our masket, yeah. because of the depth of the mylar, if yes. I wanted to stamp an image, okay. I'm not going to get a stamp right up to the edge. And that's why you need both products.
Okay. And then we will have, of course, much thinner with a masked. I was just looking for the thing. Look, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a lot thinner, but you look when you pull it off. Yeah. It's not all curled up. It's perfect yeah. so that you can then lay that down. And then you can. Put... She says, "Look, get it in the right place, Hazel." So just line that up. Just let it fall. Okay. Okay. Yes. I'm a little bit off that side, but please, That's you, I'm sure you'll forgive me. Don't lose that bit because you'll use that again. And then if you was to pick up a stamp, so we'll go for our ever popular <laughs> poppy stamp set. Oh, the poppy stamp set. Maybe we'll yeah. have some of our script in the background. And it's just about, if you think you're going to go over this, ah, yeah. then use some more tape around Absolutely. the outside, which me being as clumsy as I am, probably should. And of course, um, the, having the masked means that you can go clean edges. Exactly. Not kind of those edges that you would get with the mylar, which would be perfect for stenciling, but not for stamping through. So if I'm just going to use a bit of VersaClair and just come off that edge onto the masked, but I've got right up close yeah. to that edge, so I'm not losing any of my image. And that's where, you see here, Yeah. where's that other bit? If I just lay that there, because I know I'm going to come over. I just want a little bit there, look. And could you stamp over it, and then for, with a stays on or something permanent, and then use it as a masking for the stamps then? Absolutely, and, uh, yes. Okay. That was the next thing uh, I was going to say. If we stamp onto there and cut it out, then we can do right. that too. So if I just quickly take that away for you, that's just going to show you. The only thing that. that you need to be careful of, I'm just going to stick that on my machine for now. Um, when you're stamping onto the pearlescent card, it's not going to dry instantly, okay? okay? So that is wet. What I would recommend is heat setting it or chucking on some clear embossing powder. I can't put that on there now because I didn't dry my background first. So if I put that on, it would catch all over, which would make a nice background. Yeah. But if you just use um, copier paper would probably be perfect for this. Just take off that excess there and give it a blast. That's going to give you... I don't know, it will dry it perfectly there. And of course it wouldn't damage the heat of the pearlescentness. You can see it shining yeah. it perfectly there. So that's a, a really good way of using your mask it. Obviously we can stamp on it, cut it out and, and use it for your stamping side of things. But on the um, wedding ivory as well, so we've blended onto it and we know that works. If you like using your blending brushes, okay. then that works too. And this gives you a real soft blend, which it looks like you haven't got any on. But when you put it against, you can see you've got a really soft blend there. So again, you could um, spritz on there. But if we just pop some ink directly down, we have had a question from uh, Janie uh, about asking about uh, if you are getting the instructions for the frames in the one day special. Absolutely, yes, and I didn't mention that, so thank you for calling in. Um, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you are getting, you of do. course, everything, all, all, the, all the samples that you have got here. Do you want here. me just to run through? Yes, please. Okay. That, that would so, be great. You get your 15 by 42 instructions, your 15 by 30. You get the 12 by 12 inch um, bag, which yeah. was that one that I showed you. You get a bottle bag, a portrait bag, a landscape bag, and a pizza box. You then get the notelet bag, and then you get the frame instructions. Now, the frame ones are quite interesting because you've got one on there, which is 30 by 30. You've got a 15 by 15 frame card. Then you've got a 15 by 30 frame, which is like a portrait one. Uh, and then on top of that, I've given you two more sizes on your seven and a half inch width. Seven and a half inch? I don't mean that. Seven and a half centimetres. Um, two more sizes on your 15 centimetres. And then I've given you three sizes for your 10 centimetre width. And what I mean by that is, if I show you these boards. Yes. So um, 
This is the width of the card, 10 centimetres, and they're the three sizes you can create. And then on this one, that's your seven and a half card, and they're the three sizes. And then if you have the larger card, the 15, so your 15 by 30 or your 15 by 42, there's your three sizes there. Okay. So for instance, this one, that's been made from the bottom one. That's the same size. Right. Okay? Yeah. So. Right. So that was that. Now, about five minutes ago, I did spritz. Now, it's not quite, it's not dried on there, which is good, because I just want to spritz my water at oh, okay. it. Okay, yeah. And get, if I... Oh, the drippage. Shall I turn it round yeah. so that you can see it dribble? So this is a sort of technique that you can do on your super smooth and you can do it on your watercolour, but you can also do it on to your wedding ivory. And no. I'm going to set that aside because I want to show you one more technique on it, which I absolutely love doing. And um, yeah, of course, sure. I want you to have a go at it because at right. it's really good fun. Okay. So I'm going to just quickly take that. Right, well, you re clean your yeah, mouth. Thank you. That'd uh, be good. We can uh, talk about. Um, Oh, I have got the happy hour here beside me because the happy hour is an incredibly value for money. What it is, it's also very heavy and my muscles are getting, you know, more action than they have gotten in the last 20, 20, 20 years. Anyway, uh, you know, it's just like the weights. Anyway, you have got here uh, the super smooth car collection. You are getting 300 GSM cars so that's super smooth and you're getting 160 sheets in total. Of course, it is amazing car stock. It's perfect for your stamping, for your mixed media, for your die cutting, for your base cards. To, you, you know, it is one of those ones that I have got the slush at home is the one that I kind of go almost for most of my my creations. But why? Because it will take alcohol markers, water markers. It will take a stamping, embossing. It will take, of course, blending up with the oxides. It will create for bleaching. Uh, of course, you have got an amazing saving of eight pounds. You are just paying thirteen pounds and ninety-eight pence only for this hour. This is a happy hour deal, which of course it means that the price will go up at the end of the hour. So basically, you have got twenty twenty-two minutes. Uh, to check out those baskets and get that bargain. 617-168 is your item number. Back to Hazel. Okay, so um, it's good if you've got the circular um, blending tools for this. But all I'm going to do is just go on to the cardstock and create little circles. And you're just going to go over and cover the whole space. Yeah with your three colours. So because it's pearlescent, it's giving you more time to play before it dries off, if that makes sense. Absolutely. I mean, it's going. it looks really quite nice like this, actually. It, yeah, it's, <laughs> and it's, it would make a lovely background like that. Yes, it's like the bouquet of photography. <laughs> yeah. Do that. So then, you spritz your water down. And then, I'm going to stand this up I'll do it that way. And I want it to be like that because what's going to happen is it's going to start Oh, but we cannot see it. Oh, you can can't we, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we can see it. There we go. Yeah. So, no, this oh, isn't going to reach. I see. I'm going to have to move it back a bit. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. So if you just watch that, I'm going to try oh. and get some kitchen towel at the same time. I mean, you could have to have it so be super smooth at the bottom, like our Leone has told us to do. And we would have a nice kind of colour yeah. from the bottom uh, rip, rip, rippage, that, uh, that L that you know, the moon. So now I've got a really good dribble there. I'm just going to pop that down. Oh. And then that's going to... Love that. But I really, really love the background. And you start putting your script stamp on there, um, or even just using your milers, um, we could do that, we'll put a bit on top. Whenever you're drying, make sure you dry from the front and the back. But look, can you see that sheen? Absolutely gorgeous. It just hasn't lost it, has it? It's yeah. beautiful. Uh, Jamie's had another question. Yeah. There, uh, is, is it a, a, a pure white pearlized card? 
Is this did, pure, did you have? Do you have? I think for a cross, pure white pearlized card. Uh, ice white. Ice white. Pure white. white yes. Yeah. yeah. But this is quite close, isn't it? Too. I think it's very close. I'm just looking to see if I've got anything white. Let's super put, smooth, even. Yeah. Should we put some super smooth yeah. near it? Um, well, this frame is made out of super smooth. So yeah. if I put that close. Yeah. Can you see? Is it better to go? There you go. Yeah. I mean, it is pretty much. It's not far off at all, but it is. It is. Okay, it has got the, think the, it's ivory. the sheen yeah. that makes it more Absolutely. ivory than. I mean, white. also from where you depends where you're standing. Like when I see here the bags, I see white. I see yeah. from a distance because it's I not see next white. to anything. Um, I think that's the key because it's yeah. not next to. Absolutely. So I've got that beautiful background. I could use that like it is. I could put some script on it. I could. Um, Let's just ink through. If you don't feel comfortable with those, your brushes do work really, really well. And it just gives, it, oh, it just is going to work yeah. so well. Whether you want it subtle in the yeah. background, then you can do darker ones, you can do bigger ones, smaller ones. I think there's just, Living. there's no limit to what you can create with the right tools around Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And the thing is that I think investing in cards is the best thing you can do. If you're a paper crafter or to start in your journey, you need good quality, affordable Absolutely. card. Yeah. You know, I have many times, I mean, I, I, like Euro, I, we have had similar, you know, long, you know, long, long time in the industry. Yeah. So we have got craft rooms full of crafts. The one thing that we I never give away is card. Absolutely, because you need card to be because, able to construct. Because that's the one thing that you can keep. You always will need it, no matter what. However old it was, I always, you know, that I'm like whatever shade of red or whatever shade, I will know that I'll need it. But lesson card and ivory in the beautiful ivory that means that i can use it for any time of circumstances absolutely and in my craft room more often than not whenever i make a project i start off with a blank sheet of card and i'll ink it myself and i'll stamp it or i'll paint it i like to create the backgrounds and that's what we've got here the building on top of that beautiful pearlescent Okay. That's gorgeous. I Thank love you. that. Right, if you want to have a card, a dad comes in with instructions on how to do 36 different projects. And the knowledge is educational. That knowledge you will be able to replicate time and time again. Why? Well, first of all, because it is based on the, the card sizes that, of course, Pink Frog Crafts brings to you. The A3, the A4, the 12 by 12, the 15 by 30, the 15 by 42 centimeters. So then you can replicate in your super smooth on the sizes now of course we have had a question from Yvonne asking about this the, the surface is it smooth the cars absolutely yeah really it's silky smooth it's like a per, well it's a pearlescent card it does it, it, you know uh, if you feel I mean I'm kind of feeling it does feel almost, almost as smooth as super smooth it almost it's, almost. it's, it's different it is, it's almost. It's, yeah but you it's know. just yeah, there's there's no grit or grain on it. It's it's a smooth surface, and it is yeah, it's would just it be beautiful. Able to, would you be able to print on it? Yes, I with think. a printer. Absolutely, in your um, inkjet. Is inkjet yeah. printer, no, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, that's even better because mm. think about it. Maybe you want to print some pictures with a pearlescent look. Wouldn't that look amazing? Especially if they are wedding pictures or something like that, or maybe baby pictures as well. Right, also, maybe you want to add it into your basket, not the one day special, because you have got a 15 pound saving. Check out your baskets, because that's the way that you are gonna get it. But maybe you want to also add to your baskets some extra shine, extra perla uh, extra glitter. And we have got it here. Now, these ones, of course, remember that you are gonna get a, a beautiful A4, non shed glitter now because of the process how it's made and what it means is that the colors may vary slightly when you get them because that's the whole nature of the process of the making it's absolutely non shed I mean I have been rubbing my hand all over this card and absolutely no one aspect of glitter but it still has got that beautiful matte uh, matte you know what I don't know matte um you know kind of not texture as well yeah, kind it's of still a smooth finish isn't it it's it kind is. of it's all encapsulated but it's not 
not glossy. Not glossy. No. So therefore, you can stamp on it. You could you could you could in the white as well. I think you could in in, in also stamp These and color. Take your alcohol markers as well. Ooh. Alcohol markers on that silver would look. Beautiful. I adore, I have to say, I adore especially the black yeah. because it gives you that superbly sophisticated black shine. It's like a black diamond sort of thing. Can I say, with the black, if you at home have got embossing folders and you like Ooh. gilding wax, Ooh. emboss some of that black glitter. That is it gorgeous. It looks stunning. Yeah. Right, if you want to go for this bundle, you're getting 50 sheets of beautiful colours, 285 GSM, 20% of the stock has gone. So grab yours, uh, you have got a massive saving of £30, which means 75% of 790937 is your item number. Now, Hazel, well, we have got, you're gonna sh we have got about six minutes okay. to the end of the show. Can you show us Can the I bottles? show you the glue bottles? Yes, of course. What I've got, I started off and I got one set, okay, and I've got my PVA and my EVA in here. Now, why the two sizes? The yellow one this is your 0.8 mil, okay? And that gives you a real nice fine applicator there. You're probably, right, I'm gonna put it down against this black card. Now, the lid has got the needle attached yeah. in, so you're not going to lose that. And when that goes in, that makes that an anti-clog okay. nozzle, yep. okay? So when you gently squeeze, you're gonna get that beautiful ah, fine line. Yeah. That's your 0.8 mil. When you finish, just take off the glue, rest the needle on your finger, and that guides it back in yeah. and screw that up. It's a nice, soft, durable bottle. This one is more like a pen. And this one is screwed up tight. <laughs> yeah. Right. So this one is your 0.3 mil. Ah, oh, it's even finer. I love that sound. Yeah, it's right. Okay, so this is all of your die cuts, yeah. you know, those really intricate little bits. Yeah. And again, pop your finger down, glide the needle through. Now, I was talking to a very good friend of mine, and she bought a, bottle, a set of the glue bottles, and she put some glossy accents <gasps> in this one. Now, I know Claire mentioned it last time that she was here. Yeah. Can I say this is a game changer? To have glossy accents <gasps> in not... this bottle is amazing. It doesn't clog. I mean, so... uh, it was so funny because uh, uh, Leone the other day, she came home to do some crafting. And, yeah. uh, you know, we are in a bubble together. And, uh, and of course, every time, every you get time we like, she was bottle. like, I had like five bottles of yeah. glossy accents. Yeah. All of them were blocked. Mm -hmm. So this is in the 0.3. Obviously, you can get that really beautiful fine line. If you imagine your stamping, say, I'm going to bring this in, um, our sentiments on there, and it could be finer than this, and you want it to glossy accents there. You still can use the nozzle to move it around, but how much easier is it to get around and do all of that 